All right, we got a big uh, date going on here. We got three tri- we got triplets, actual triplets, uh, who appeared in Playboy magazine a couple of months ago, and three guys who are going to try to win a date with them. How old are these girls? Um, I got my fact sheet right here. Hold on, they're twenty-two. Oh. Howard, when you see them in person, you've you've never seen anything like it. Just are they really hot? Just to see three women that beautiful who look exactly alike. All right, here come the uh, triplets. They're known as the Dom triplets. They really are stunning, Howard. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to see. These are three girls born at the same time. They're real triplets. They were in Playboy magazine. They even took a bath together in Playboy. Did their mother take fertility drugs, or are they real? Uh, oh, ooh. oh, ooh, ah, wow, girls, you look great. Good hey, look. Take a seat. They are identical. Oh, damn right. <laughs> damn right they are, and they look great. And here's David Creep. See, he's constantly getting in the way. Yeah. I told you, time to a chair and gag him. Yeah, just gag him. Thanks. David, you're really annoying me. You're in a bad mood today. Yeah, I am. Right. I, tr- I warned you. Came all the way from Los Angeles. Who cares? I'm turning off your mic. All the way from Los Angeles. I can walk. Yeah. Because he, he shelled out a lot of money to get these three girls in, put them up, and he's willing to walk away from it. Right. Uh, he, would, he wouldn't have walked away. No, I think he would have. If I called no, his he bluff, he would, he would not have walked away. He would have, st- he would have put the girls on. That's, uh, your mic's off. See, he, I told you, gagging. Right. Hey, girls. Hey, how are you? How are you? You are the Dom triplets. Mm-hmm. D-A-H-M. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, you look great, girls. You're wearing identical outfits. Mm-hmm. And Do you always dress alike? Um, pretty much. Yeah, you all have breast implants, right? Hey yes. Did oh, you get them right. at the same time? <laughs> same, same time, day. same doctor, hey same, same morning. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Look at the same stomachs. Yeah, you each, you each have hard, you know, abs. <laughs> It's so sexy. Now, you implied in the Playboy interview that the three of you did one guy at one time. Is that true? That is not true. No. You never did that? No. You have never you never slept with one guy? Mm-mm. Have you ever slept with the same guy? No. Nope. It might It might look like it in our Playboy video. Yeah, but you guys kind of imply that you did that once as a goof. No. You have you ever dated it. the same guy? Mm-mm. Really? They mix us up a lot. A lot. Where are you girls from? Minnesota. Minnesota. I might have to start interviewing David Creef again. Oh, <laughs> you're funny. Going back to him. But, yeah. I, I know that they're sort I'm of not talking. I know they're sort of quiet, but yeah. I, I don't know where to look. Yeah, me neither. I can't which one to look at. Three rings. Now, girls, you've agreed to go out with one of our listeners. Is that correct? Sure. Yeah, yep. definitely. Yeah, that's okay with you. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you consider mean... yourselves good dates? Sure, we'll show them a good time. Oh, Oh, really? We're three times the fun and three times the pleasure. All right, listen. Now is the big moment. There are three guys out there, and they are three losers. When I say losers... Uh Uh-oh. How did we find these guys? How come they're losers? I'll tell you why. They all wrote to us, Mm -hmm. and they all have serious problems in terms of getting women. And they would die for you. So this is like a dream come true right. for them. Now, I know you three think you deserve some prince, you know, riding in here on a white horse. Oh, not exactly. No, I wouldn't say, no, that. say that. Yes, I would. Sure. <laughs> but, you know, listen, you guys have a high opinion of yourself, and rightly so. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all open to anal sex? Raise your hand if you're open to anal sex. <laughs> Are you girls... That depends. Uh, any of you girls tried it yet? <laughs> you're very young. All of you have had intercourse, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you have. Oh, yeah, I can tell that. But uh, have any of you tried anal sex? <laughs> <laughs> What's with the nasty sound effects? Yeah. Obviously, when we don't answer, that probably means yes. yes. All right, thank yes. you. Yes. Do you, do you guys like it? <laughs> I don't know. You do not. I mean, I've tried it, but it's not the best way to go. No. Well, you're still young. You meet an experienced man, guy around 45 years old, who knows how to relax you. It's a whole different thing. The girl, the triplets have tried it. They've all tried it, and they've all agreed that they don't like it. Right, right. Would that be accurate? One in the middle isn't saying anything. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, you like it? Big fan. No, I'm not a big fan of it at all. No. Well, oh, isn't that weird? How Do they, they all... tell each other everything? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Everything. So with you, when you're with a guy, you tell your sisters exactly what happens. Probably. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Three gentlemen would love to go out with you. Only one can win the date. Mm-hmm. So this is very important to these guys. These are guys who don't get a lot of women. You want to bring in the bachelors? Yes, I would like to meet them now. All right, let's bring in the bachelors. 
the Dom triplets from Playboy. You've seen them naked. Is that a big deal getting naked, or you girls don't care about being naked? At first, it was a big deal, but now it's no big deal. No big deal. Yeah. You love being naked now. Mm-hmm. At first, we had never seen each other naked before, before the right. layout. Right. And how does their family, their parents feel about Oh, they're very supportive. supportive. Very supportive. All right, Bachelor number one has entered the room. He doesn't know it, but he's in the room. <laughs> All right, Bachelor number one, uh, what is your first name? Blind Bob. Blind Bob. I can see that you have trouble seeing. Is that correct? Very much so. How blind are you, Bob? As a bat? Totally. Right. You are totally blind. Totally blind. Girls, any uh, any animosity toward blind people? No. Not at all. Not at all. Do you mind when your dates walk into the room hands first? <laughs> <laughs> no. Blind Bob, have you ever Might had... be better that way. <laughs> blind Bob, have you ever had sex with a woman? Uh, yes. You have? Yes. How did that happen? A hooker? No, actually, it was uh, my first... My wife. I oh, had a wife. Yes, I had a wife. And she left you when you went blind? No, no, no. She passed away. She did? Yes. She Why is that? Seven months ago. She had uh, muscular dystrophy. Oh, oh my seven God. Seven months ago. All right. So you're, you've been blind since birth? No. Uh, just for 11 years. How'd you go blind? Uh, diabetic. You're uh, diabetic. Don't look, girls. The girls are dying to look at blind yeah, Bob. Yeah, they're trying to peek around. Don't you dare peek. <laughs> Don't peek. He can't. <laughs> Not yet. All right. So you're a diabetic. Yes. Would it be a dream come true to have... A date with these three girls? Yes, it would be. When was the last time he had sex since his wife was sick and then she died? Yeah. Um, about five years. Wow. So it was hard to get girls, I imagine. So you you, you hooked up with a chick who was, what was she, crippled? She had muscular dystrophy. Right, so she had to be like in a wheelchair or something, yes, right? Yes, she was. Yes. So she was pretty messed up. Yes. Right, but you figure, hey, a messed up broad is like all you can get being a blind guy, right? Well, I wasn't blind then. I see. Oh, you saw her? Yes. No kidding. Yes. Was she hot? Oh, yes. I got no. a picture of her you want to see her. Really? Yes. What is he carrying pictures for? I don't know. That is weird. <laughs> I guess he wants to prove that he got he some wants to prove what, what he could see earlier. Right. How does he know it's a picture? <laughs> I took it. Did you? Actually, no. It's uh, our wedding picture. I see. So you miss your wife? Oh, definitely. You do? You'd like to have sex with her? My wife again? Sure. Yeah. Well, I can dig her up. Oh, stop. Why not if the guy wants her? It's a I big deal. I he wants her in that condition. Oh. Right. But she wasn't sick when you married her? No. Oh, boy. Man. Well, you're a hard luck story, aren't you? Well, you're a mess. Any other bad crap happened to you that the girls should know about? Oh, a mess, a mess. Like what? When uh, I was like uh, in fifth grade, uh, two guys tied me up in the woods for two and a half hours and abused me. Mm. How really... sad. Anally? Yes. Holy oh, mackerel. He... Do we even want to know this information? Well, I think you have to know it. This he... is get... You want to know who you're going to get into bed with, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you girls are going to end up sleeping with him. He is Definitely the true story of it. deliverance. What? He's deliverance. These guys tied you up in the woods? Yep. Two and, and a half hours. Did they tied you to a tree? Yes. How'd they get you? And your butt was facing oh. the, uh, out, you know, the... Yes. Yes. All right, but let me understand this, Blind Bob. How'd they get him? <laughs> what? How did they get him? I don't know. I was walking down the street, and they came out of the woods, and they grabbed me and brought me in. Wow. How old are these guys? They were they were in high school, so I was, like, in like fifth, sixth grade. You weren't teasing these guys or looking for it, were you? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you you weren't flirting. Not at all. I can't wait to hear the questions the girls have to ask. Oh, boy. Girls, what about a guy like this? Uh, you have a question for him? Uh, David Creep's pants are down around his ankles. Obviously, he's, tur- he's turned on in some perverse way. I don't know, something about this morning show. I mean, this is unbelievable. Oh, girls, they're, they're stumped. Do you want to say something to the girls to get them to go out with you? Just why would we, why yeah. would we want to pick you of the three? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, I'm the better looking one. Well, he is a very attractive man. How do you know you're be- the better looking one when you can't see the other two guys? Well, I have seeing eye dog out there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if you could drive, what kind of car would you drive? <laughs> Describe an ideal day. Yeah. I drive a Maserati. All right, get your right. Bachelor number one, move over to the side there. Thank Casey. you, Bachelor like number one. Blind Bob. Yeah, get rid of Blind Bob, KC, and we'll bring in another one. That guy was a real downer. Girls, we didn't any... even get to see him. You can't no, you... see him until, until the end of the Not until you choose. Not until you choose. End of the game. <laughs> you might want to give Blind Bob a chair. Yeah, he might fall into the girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> well, uh, so far, Bachelor number one really told you a very... Uh, in depth. Oh, yeah. Right. How did they wind up with Playboy? 
They Who? found us at the University of Minnesota. Yeah. Oh, I bet they did. Yeah. They were doing a search so, for the girls of the Big Ten. And, and they said, of them. how about if we test them as playmates instead of the newsstand issue? And Did you ever fantasize about being in Playboy? Yeah, yeah of we, course we did. As we were younger. Really? We, we talked about it with each other. Since we were, you know, it'd be like, 13, 14. yeah, we'd be like, that'd be cool if they could have triple playmates. Who would I'm ever playing with myself while I'm looking at them. <laughs> I hate to tell you girls this, but my hand is underneath the console. I'm actually doing it. Oh, Howard. Uh, big is deal. Is there any triplet organization? Do they go to those meetings? No, but I'm playing with myself. Oh, <laughs> Who cares That's if there's a, a triplet organization? Are you guys wearing panties? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm shocked with those so, kind of type so. I have hands on, though, so. We can wear panties. If it was a skirt, that might be a different story. I wish you weren't even wearing pants. I'd love to see your beautiful long legs. So, uh, wait a second. So you took off your clothes in front of each other. And like, 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 what you think? Like, what'd you think? Well, it was kind of like you don't even really want to look. It's like, uh, you're more conscious like, of was, your own self. Yeah. Or we you all like shaved similarly. Yeah. yeah. That, that we talked about before, but never did it together or looked at no. each other, you we know. We just explained to each other all right, how are you shaved. <laughs> I yeah. see. And our chests were done by the same doctor, so they look the same. It was like looking at yourself. Wow. Yeah. I know your boobs are all like the same. It's so nice. Mm-hmm. Everything is nice. Well, oh, bachelor number two is in the room, Rob, and it's time to continue today. Okay, yes. Now, this guy obviously can see, so you girls might be more interested in him, but <laughs> he's uh, an interesting-looking guy. Uh, I noticed you wear your pants very short. <laughs> Is that true? Sweatpants. They're sweatpants. Those are sweatpants. Yeah, All right. Sweatpants. You have you have trouble getting girls too, right? Yeah. I, uh, uh, m- m- my name's John. I'm 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 a thirty year year old virgin stutterer. Um, I'm uh, I'm 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 on um. I'm in love with you. A star. I'm I'm on um. Five psychiatric drugs. I. I'm thinking of going on there. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? I'm telling you, a star is born. Seroquel. You had to ask that question. He's going to mention five drugs yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, Robin. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> hey, girls. Uh, Blind Bob is looking pretty good right now, isn't he? Uh, um. You're a virgin. Yeah. You've never but experienced why is a woman. Why on drugs? Well, look at him. <laughs> why are you on drugs? Uh, uh, I I I have obsessive. Uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, body dysmorphia. Um, What's uh, body dysmorphia? He thinks his body is uh, some part of his body is ugly. Yeah. What part of your body is ugly? Why well, don't like the way I look? I just think my face is ugly. And really, you're not bad looking. You look better than me, believe me. Really, you think so? No, oh, please. Everybody looks better than me. I'm a mess. Now get over that one. Take out that drug. Okay. Yeah, you can get rid of that drug. What else is wrong with yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> now, girls, you look a little disappointed. What do you think, Prince Charming was coming in here? <laughs> We're not disappointed. You're not. We're just- you guys got a couple of problems, that's all. Listen, okay. this is more important to him that he get a date with you than some good-looking guy. He's a real person. Yeah, he's a real person. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he's a really messed up person. So what else is wrong? Stuttering John's got to be crapping his pants right now because I'm seeing star written all over this yeah. guy's face. Dude, you got a job? No, I re- receive Social Security disability. Well, I got no, we can ruin that for you. Yeah, we're gonna, you're going to be making a lot more money now. Dude, I can book you into 50 bars right now. Really? Oh, yeah. We can so. put you on a world tour. John, come in and meet the future. <laughs> this is the new John. So he stutters, he's obsessive compulsive, he has body, body dysmorphia. dysmorphia. I have tension headaches from my... Um, Stuttering. Stuttering, I have. Uh, <laughs> but you can see uh, Severe chest pains and, you know. Oh, he's yeah. got anxiety disorder. You got this anxiety? Yeah. Boy, oh, man, it's a miracle you, you've even stayed alive this long with all these disorders. Are you? 30. Wow. 30 years old. John, stuttering, our stuttering John. A lot of people are questioning if he's real, Howard. Oh, he's real. I'm real. Oh. What do you mean? Who's questioning if John, stuttering John, John is? Stuttering John is. No, no, everyone's, just, everyone's <laughs> back there saying that maybe he's put it on. <laughs> oh, please, how can you be you putting have that not on? Seen yeah, no, I can I can totally um, vouch for this guy. As soon as I called up, he had no idea I was calling. I, he was like, uh, "Hello." You know what, John? You know, so I, John, get out of here. You're just jealous. Get out. Get out. Go ahead. Leave. Go, ahead. Go answer the phone. Yeah, go. Yeah. In fact, um, keep going. Go right out the door. Go right out the door. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you anymore. You're all of the stupid <laughs> triplets. I don't know if you can uh, if you can sense stardom in the room, but this guy's going to be huge. The, really? Yeah. <laughs> the, they um, drugs that I. 
take cause a lot of sedation. Right. Are you are you living with your mom? No. Oh, good. No. Well, we don't have to go through that hassle. Well, I mean, do they in, inhibit certain activities? Are you able to? Uh, Can you perform with these yeah. girls? If they, let's say one of them gets turned on by you, I mean, it could happen. Uh, oh, the, mm, that I have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> if I play five, I, 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 I <laughs> play five on one three or four times a day. So right. You know, five on one. Five on one. What is five on uh, one? No, five on one. one. Five, five fingers on one. Oh, five fingers on one. Yeah. Boy, five you triplets are smart. A lot smarter than I am, I'll tell you that. You girls college girls or what? We were. They we were, were at the University of yes. Minnesota. Oh, that's right. Oh, you yeah, dropped out? Yeah, we found. Once you got in Playboy, you dropped out? It's on hold. It's not dropped out. Well, we Playboy. got a little too busy for yeah, that. That Playboy ruins girls, man. What was their major? Major? <laughs> nursing. And nursing. Nursing. Really? No, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Imagine those three walk in. Oh, I'd love to have you as a nurse. Oh, yeah. I never get stuck with a nurse like you, three. See, so Blind Bob could have an end. They were going to be nurses. Isn't it weird the three of them were all going to be nurses? Yeah. I mean, it's so weird. It's like three people in one body is what it's like. It's really Doesn't it get annoying sometimes? Don't no, you ever want to break no, out? Not at all. Because no. mm -hmm. we're so much alike, we enjoy it, and we're best friends, so we don't want to get out of it. You know what you three want to do is get naked and play with yourselves and oh. watch each other. Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't tried that. Well, no. you will. <laughs> Once you become my girlfriends, <laughs> you three have never played with yourselves in front of each other? No, definitely oh, not. Oh, man, there's so much time being wasted here. <laughs> so, now... Well, number two there, are you excited about the possibility of going out with triplets? Sure, yeah, of course I am. Right. Yeah, I, I'm... moving. My social life is non-existent. Right, so this would be an opportunity to really hang out with hot chicks, right? Yeah. Have you ever come close to being with a girl? Um, well, I... I this is sometimes go to nightclubs, right. but when I approach girls and when they see the stuttering, they run for the hills. Right. Yeah, you know how chicks are. They're all shallow. Oh, dear. What about a hooker? You ever consider that? Uh, I, I I can't afford it. You can't. Have you ever been with a woman? Uh, no. You ever kiss one? Never. Never. Wow. Never even kissed a girl. He said he's, he said he's Virgin John. Wow. Never. Well, at least he doesn't have any diseases. You know, girls? That's Except the ones he has. Right. <laughs> I mean, I have kissed cousins, but not... Hey, oh, cousins. Oh, no. Kiss no, your cousin. No, no, no. Hey, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just said mm, not passionately. Right, right. You know, okay. So, you, so the closest you've ever come to being with a girl is kissing your cousin hello. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. So how far did he go in school? Uh Oh, I... I did, 12th grade. 12th okay. grade, all right. Okay, so all right. So you would be a good candidate to go on this date because he's a virgin and you three are very sexy. It would be a big turn on for him. Has he seen us before? Does he yes. know what we look like? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on. This guy, This guy. he rushes to the newsstand every time Playboy yeah, comes in. He's got out. a subscription. You must have. I know. I think he's got one of those keys, you know, <laughs> the Playboy key to the mansion or something. Did you three, any of you three bang half? No. 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 Did he ask? No, no. All right. He probably said we're all friends here. <laughs> yeah. He's he's real open about everything, but yeah. it's up to us, and he's real sweet about that. Very sweet. He wanted to go to bed with the three of you, but you said no. Oh, he wouldn't have minded definitely, but <laughs> right. he's pretty occupied right now anyway, so that's yeah, okay. He has, he has three girlfriends yes. now. Yeah, yeah. Right, and he's on the Viagra. Yeah, look, right. half has right. three. This poor guy's still a virgin. Yeah. Can you believe half has three and you don't have anybody? I so I I. I I can't believe that Fag Ralph gets so many guys. I, I hate Ralph. By the way. You hate Ralph. Yeah. You're a Ralph hater. Most people yeah. hate him. I hate his guts. Yeah. Right. He's someone you don't like. <laughs> He's a big nose. <laughs> Buffoon. Don't try to help him. Very faced. <laughs> Snaggletooth Fag. Right. All right. Okay. So th that's Bachelor number two, girls. <laughs> Questions for him? Uh, do you have any questions for bachelor number two, girls? I think, I think he's covered everything we want to know. All right. All right. You, you were very thorough. Very good. Okay. Uh, bachelor number three is going to walk in the room right now. So many guys are calling. I, you know, I'm looking at bachelor number three, and I'm seeing what a coincidence. Are you blind as well? Yes, I am. Wow. And how blind are you? Another blind guy. You're doing a literal blind day. Yeah. This is very blind. Well, how blind are you? As a bat? Yeah. Really? No one did you go blind? I went blind about 10 years ago. What was your problem? Same thing as Bob's, diabetes. Diabetes. Oh, wow. Wow, we. Yeah. 
I mean, so I hope it's not contagious. <laughs> not diabetes. So, and, um, have you ever had a girl? Yes. A hooker? No, no. Are Were you, got you a... married? No, I'm not married. Where'd Never you get married. a girl? Uh, I've I've been around a couple of times. Yeah, I've been around girls yeah. a couple of times, yeah. and they, and they go to bed with you. Yes. Well, the girls are gonna have a tough decision. Girls, I don't know. How old are you? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah, it might be a little too old for these girls. They're what, twenty-three? No, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, so young. Thirty's not. Thirty-one's not. Thirty-one's that old. not too old. No, that's okay. So, does this uh, blind gentleman have a job? Actually, I'm a karaoke DJ. Oh, really? Oh, you are. Oh. When the hell did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Want to be represented by David Kreef? Hell no. Hell no. So you, um, so tell tell the girls something. Seriously, try to win a date here because these are three of the most beautiful women in the world. Go ahead. Okay. Well, what would you girls like to know? <laughs> something that would want us to choose you as. Yeah. Since you've already tonight. had women, what else is there? I mean, well, I you're just... kind of at the bottom now because uh -huh. you're higher than the other two guys already. But yeah. yeah. When is the Let last us time? Know why you're better than the other two? Well, uh, I was gonna come in here holding three. You know, little teddy bears and hand them out to you girls, but my guide dogs over there wouldn't take us out there. Well, this guy has some personality, let me tell you. Well, there are three guys standing here who all want the date. Well, is there anything else to his story? I mean, you know, Blind Bob had quite a story. Yeah, Bob, Blind Bob had a sob story. Oh, Any... I have a real sob story. What happened to you? I was ridiculed, uh, ridiculed all my life when I was a child, going through elementary school. Why, for being blind? No, I went blind like 10 years ago. Oh, so what did you get ridiculed for? Uh, my middle name. What, what is, is your middle name? What is your middle name? Aslan. Aslan? Yeah. Get out of here. I swear to God. No, I mean, leave. I don't like that name. <laughs> it's upsetting to me. Why is that? No, so, so who would even know your name's Aslan unless somebody told them? That's not a sad <laughs> story, is it, girls? No, because no? middle that's... names never come up either. Gee, well, I want to bang one of you three I triplets. Used by, <laughs> I used to go by my middle name, and uh, that's why I go by Dovit now. Uh-huh. Okay. What are you, a Jew? No. Oh. no. Dovid? David. David is a Jewish name, you know. It's also Turkish. All right. So what else was what else happened in your life that was that? Well, I got diabetes at eight years old. I, yeah. Uh, recently, I just had my guide dog run over last year. Oh. Wow. That's sad. That's sad. I didn't see where he's going. And uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what was the guide dog blind? <laughs> no, actually, we were walking on the side of the road, and uh, dog got hit. I got hit. My leg got broken in five wow. places. Man. Wow. Yeah. Wow, so you're in bad shape, too. Sure. Yeah, they're all in bad well, shape. One of these guys deserves the date. What is it, Gary? I don't want to be a jerk or anything. Yeah. But i got to tell you something. I don't think this guy's blind. You don't? No, I'll tell you why. Sitting in the green room. Right. There's a whole bunch of, there's ten people in the green room. No, I he's turn, blind. I turn towards, hold on yeah. a second. No, no, no. I turn yeah. towards him, and I say to him, yeah. uh, where are you from? Oh, my God. What is he doing? He's taking out his eye. He just oh. took out his eye. Oh. Oh. Well, wait a minute. Oh. 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 Oh, He's blind. We, we also checking out Sarah, Sarah, the intern, even said, which we all noticed, he was checking her out in the hallway. He was. He was like looking right at her. Can you see out of your good eye? No, I don't have a good eye. He just took his eye Look's out. This eye. Oh. oh, man. He's blind, guys. Get this eye out. <laughs> Way to observe, guys. No, no. I mean, I wasn't the only one who said that. You guys doesn't have any eyes. Well, now we know that. All right. But he had those glasses on, and, and he's looking at Sarah. How do you, with his ten guys in the hallway, Sarah walks He in. follows any voice. What are you talking yeah, he about? He wasn't sensor. talking. I think it was coincidence. Okay. He's right. the charisma. His hand. It's the can't charisma. Oh. Hey, you, you take a chance. All right. Well, listen. Oh, my goodness. Sherlock Moron just got to the bottom of that. <laughs> well, girls, you look incredibly beautiful today. Thank you. And I know that you could get any man you want. But I think it's very generous of you to come in here and agree to go out with one of my three listeners. Now, Batch, let me refresh your memory. Is that day. the end of uh, the last guy's story? I can't take any more. <laughs> I can tell you a whole lot more. We're taking the take out next. There's you a whole mo lot more. What, what more is there? <laughs> well, uh, after I had gone blind, I had a... Uh... Oh, well, you know what? Now I'm getting speechless there. All right, I don't care. I don't okay. want to hear it. Okay, here we go. Obviously, this is very generous of you <laughs> to go out with one of these three guys. And it'll be our for pleasure. Them to make a uh, choice? I think so. Let me review. Okay. Let's review together. And maybe okay. if you have any last questions, we can do that. Okay. Number one was raped. Oh. <laughs> right, number one, you were raped? Yes. Right. You know, Jim Lang never said these words. Right. You were molested. You were tied to a tree uh, and raped by uh, two boys. 
started going blind or got diabetes at three. He probably doesn't even want anybody near him then. Mm-hmm. You want these girls near you, don't you? Oh, yeah. He <laughs> sex in five years and his wife died. Right. So, okay, you were raped when you were young. Some guys dragged you into the woods, tied you to a tree naked, and had anal sex with you. For two hours. For two hours. And he went blind, and he lost his mul- multiple sclerosis wife, or muscular, yeah, dystrophy, muscular wife. dystrophy wife. Man. He hasn't had sex in five years. Here's tape of him on his, out in the woods with those guys. All right, that's not funny. All right. This guy's had enough grief in his life. You've had a lot of grief in your life, right? Yes. It would make you very happy to be with the triplets, right? Most definitely. Right. <laughs> and then there's number two. No offense, I think he's in for more grief. I don't think he's winning the date, but okay. Oh, number two. Yeah. You're a 30-year-old stuttering virgin. Yeah. Is that right? Five yeah. different drugs. You're unhelpful. What drugs again? Seroquel. Neurontin. All right, we get the Clonopin, right. Selexa, and, and, and the Kalen. Right. Very good. That's a lot of drugs. You take those every day? Yeah. All right. Once a day? Uh, uh, twice a day. So All right. All right. So he's a he's a 30-year-old virgin. Are they helping? Yeah, I was just going to ask that. Are they Imagine. helping? Um, hmm. Well, they, they initially helped... With the stuttering, right? Um, but not now. No, yeah, they wore off. <laughs> this is pressure. Right. And also, we should say you don't like Ralph. Right. Right. We learned that. Ralph the fag, I can't stand him. Right. That you got out, no problem. <laughs> Rolled right off. Right. When I get mad, I don't stutter. Right. Hmm. Well, if I was you, I'd be mad all the time. All the time. All right. Now, number three is blind. Also. He's a karaoke DJ. He was ridiculed for his middle name. And his guide dog just got killed. And he took out his eye. <laughs> and he took out his eye right here in front now, of us. Not to mention, you know, my father is in Istanbul right now, and I haven't heard a word from him. Right. Yeah, there's a big earthquake oh, yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah, you see, your father might have even died. He may have. Right. Well, girls. But he's had women. Yes, he's had sex. Yeah, yeah when was the last time you had sex, number three? Ah, uh, it's been a while. Yeah. But he he doesn't have a, a party going on. He's not half. I think he's lying about that. Tom Triplets, it's time to make a decision. You are three beautiful girls. And three of you have to pick one of these Unfortunately, guys. only one guy can win the day. And unfortunately, we can't pick you, Howard. Well, let me tell you, I'm spoken for, girls. <laughs> okay. Right. But that's nice of you to say. The three of you would go out with me? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, really? Give oh, a right. We'll give you three Fukuokus. Oh, I'll give you a Fukuoka right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls, you got to decide. Is it going to be one, the blind guy, two, the stutterer, or three, the blind guy? Blind <laughs> date. <laughs> Number one was raped. Number two, stutters. Th- stutters. Number three is blind. Number one, molested. Number two, on many drugs. Number three lost his so guy. The music. Hmm. Girls, I, 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 it's a tough decision. I know. Yeah, it's a very tough decision. Uh... I see. Number two has his hands in prayer. He's, he's praying. That's yeah. beautiful. He's actually praying. You're praying for this, aren't you? Yeah. That's sweet. Even though I, I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist. <laughs> right. I found religion. Good for you. Okay, okay we'll, we'll give it to number two. We want yes. to Oh, that is so nice. At least number two can enjoy looking at you. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, you, you were my non musical hero. Thank you. Well, you uh, win. Howard, oh. Oh, oh, my m- m- <laughs> musical uh, uh, heroes are yes and the who's. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm very, very pleased that uh, I'm. I, 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 I've, I, I've been m- listening to y- y- you, Rob and Jackie and Fred, since a a a a a 
Well, let, <laughs> when you started in um, Philly. Well, let me tell you something. I'm very proud of that, and I can see we've had an influence thanks, on thanks you. Thanks for laughing at me. Right. Oh. Yeah, that's very, it's very sweet of him, isn't it's it? It's his honor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, number two has won. Let me introduce you to the two guys who didn't win first, Dom Triplett. Uh, number one, he was raped a couple of times, two hours in the woods. He's blind as a bat. This is Blind Bob. Take a look at him. You missed out on him. Blind Bob, those two. <laughs> Blind Bob, the girls are over there. There he is. Girls, you have hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. All right. Uh, Bob is shaking the girl's oh, he's hand. He's shaking the girl's hands. Right. We'll give you antiseptic soap when you get done with it. <laughs> All right. They had no. The girls had no compassion for him. Oh, the girls. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Number three was uh, Blind Dovet. Blind Dovet. Number three, uh, Casey. Show Blind Dovet where to go. Can he find himself? That could be fun. Yeah. Go, go blind Dovet and Casey are coming over. Girls, this is who you missed out on. Blind of it. Girls, uh, the girls are very sweet. They're all shaking his hand and saying hello to Blind Dovid. Dovid is kissing their hands. Uh, blind Dovid is a gentleman. I can see that. I'm sorry he didn't win. Guys, I'm sorry you didn't win, but we can only have one winner. And now, girls, it's time to meet your bachelor date. Oh, a guy. getting a kiss. Dovid's getting a kiss. All right. <laughs> Maybe later, Dovett will take his eye out for you, girls. They smell so good, Howard. Oh, yeah. These guys are class guys. They just can't see. It smells very important to them. Uh, no, this Now it's time to meet your man. Number two, as you know, is a virgin. He is. I can see he got dressed for the occasion. He is absolutely excited. He stutters, girls. Please meet John. Here he comes. And there's your date, your dream date. Yes. Uh, uh, look at this. Hi. Uh, John? I'm, I'm, um, stunned. How, how do the girls look to you? Um, great. They're great. Thank those, you. those three are your date, John. I made that come true for you. We help your stuttering. You didn't stutter in no. that last sentence. Well, 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 um, when I'm in, in, in the presence of such beauty i don't start well oh my it's starting again. Yes. Yeah, yeah well let me tell you something you girls are beautiful i i Thank even feel you. like stuttering now what would ha you know one of them could fall in love with john and is there a chance that any of you are attracted to john in the least and are thinking sexual thoughts right now any of the girls please be honest not at the moment. Not at the moment. But, you know, something could happen on the date. change. Maybe he'll it could change. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my looks? I'm told that I look like that scumbag Steven Tyler. Smith. I can't stand him. Oh, you don't like him. He is not a, he is not a scumbag either. Well, I we have to say. Think he is. We're a big fan of him. Yeah. You, got, you girls like Steven oh, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Right, he's hot. Yes. All right. Well, there you go. Listen, the girls are already disagreeing. They're uh, already fighting. Yeah, but you, you can understand that uh, stutter, stuttering John Jr. over there is, uh, you know, he he's just trying to make conversation. Yeah, he All right. seemed very sweet. Let's bring yeah. John Michael. We should have a nice day, time. Howard. Okay. Well, I listen. So. Okay, good. Girls, I loved meeting you. The Dom Triplets, and congratulations, guys. All of you played the game well. Um, congratulations, John, on the date. Thank you. Thanks, Howard. All right, and we'll be back right after these words. Hey, uh, okay, uh, let's get a plug in here for Annie Anderson. If you remember, Annie Anderson is the porno star who came in here and played Who Wants to Be a Vaginal Millionaire. One of our listeners actually had sex with her. They're putting out a video of it, and she wants to promote it. Here she is, Annie Anderson. She's very yes, tall. She's back. she's back. I invited her back in to tell us the what happened. Now, she was with Hank and everybody, right? She performed a hand manipulation on Hank, but Hank was so drunk that he really had trouble getting aroused. Isn't that right, Annie? Yes, he did. Right. And also uh, that day you had, uh, I guess, I guess, where, where is uh, your, your man here, uh, John the Stutterer? Yeah, bring him in. Not Stuttering John, but John the Stutterer. No, John oh, is there. a really bad stutter. Yeah. So who did you have sex with that day after we played Who Wants to Be a Vaginal Millionaire? I had sex with both John and Tony. John and Tony. Who's yes. Tony? Who was Tony again? The black Tony guy? Tony was the bodyguard guy. Yeah, the Puerto Rican? Yeah, I hardly remember him. Yeah. You probably hardly remember him, too. Well, I remember him, but um, he had a little bit of problems getting it up. Right. But, but he it was eventually because did. of the camera, so. But know. he eventually got it up. Yes, he did. Okay. 
Are you wearing underwear today? No, I'm not. You never do? Never do. Oh, good for you. And there is a John the Stutter who wanted to perform oral sex on a woman. Yeah. And you finally got to do it. Yeah. Right. And uh, you, you sound like you're speaking much better since you got to perform oral sex. Uh, n n no, uh, you'll soon find out. It's, no. it's, but why, it's why did bad. you have intercourse with Annie Anderson? I'll never understand that. Why, why the oral sex? Like, you, 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 you gave her oral sex. Right, yeah. Well, oh, I was a virgin, so I... Uh, so I had to experience uh, um, what I have m m missed out on all these years. Yeah, but don't you want to... Haven't you missed out on everything? Couldn't you give her oral yeah. pleasure and then uh, 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 have intercourse with her? Actually, he did have intercourse yeah, uh, uh, with uh, me Oh, he did. He did. Yeah, did. Oh, he yes. did. Okay, that's what I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah, because it seems odd to stop there, don't you think? I, I think so. And did you perform fellatio on uh, John the Stutterer? Well, of course. You did? Yes. Well, you're very generous. It's an, of course. Alex. How was it, uh, John the Stutterer? Did you enjoy it? Oh, uh, well, it was slightly better th than I thought it would be. Really? Slightly. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, in other words, as good as you imagined it to be, it was better. Yeah. Yeah, e e e e e e e even better. Even better. Yeah. Well, thank you. So that's a compliment. Yes, it At is. least you made his first experience a, a meaningful one. I'm glad I was able to do that. Right. So you And how was it for you? I had a wonderful time. I mean, John was really good. Yeah? yeah John, for you were his good. first time, I couldn't tell that it was his first time. Can I ask you a question? Did he hold out a long time? Was he able to sustain uh, an arousal? Yes, actually, he did. He did. For that. quite a while. And he satisfied you? I mean, I don't know if you had an orgasm, but uh, did you? Yeah, I had an orgasm. You did? Yes, I did. From from John the Stutterer? Yes, from John the from Stutterer. From that guy, right there. Yes. From this guy. Yes, Are you sure, like a police lineup. You, you could identify that. Did like, you point to the guy? Did you know she was having an orgasm, uh, John the Stutterer? Um, well, quite frankly, uh, I, uh, uh, my self-esteem is so low. I thought she was just faking. <laughs> really? No, she said she was really having one. No, yeah. I don't fake. You don't? No, I don't. How many did you have? Just one? I had about three. Wow. With John. Yes, yeah. with John. Wow. Yeah, well, oh, well, Howard, as I I'm showed... I'm impressed. I, 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 Look at him bragging now. I, I, yeah, 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 he knows I, something. As I showed you the last time, I have a great tongue. You do yes, have a great tongue. Yes, he has a wonderful hey, tongue. He really knows how to use it. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, Gary. Um, you know, it's really weird. The, the E guys were telling me, you know, they had to go and shoot this. Yeah. Which was pretty disgusting. The four they, guys they felt, standing around. It's felt kind of gay. So what happened was, they said that, <laughs> now, if you were, if you never had sex with a woman, you got a hold of Annie. What would you think you'd last? One, maybe two seconds. Yes. Well, they said that um, the John, it was the exact opposite effect, mm -hmm. and that when it, it, that it just went on so long that finally. To finish, he had to take matters into his own hands. Oh, really? That, that went on for ten minutes, and the camera guy said it seemed like hours. Wow. So, in other words, you literally uh, could not achieve an orgasm while having sex with Annie Anderson. You had to take matters. Did you think that's because you were wearing a condom? Uh, n n n no, Be because my various psychiatric drugs uh, caused oh. the lady that ejaculation. Uh. Oh, I see. All right. So you are on so many medications for what? Your uh, obsessive compulsive disorder? Yeah, and, and, and depression and, and, and body dysmorphia. All, 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 what is all, body dysmorphia? Also, I take uh, drugs for high blood pressure. What are you depressed about? You're, what, yeah, why are you depressed? Well, I hate the way I look. I hate the fact I can't get laid on. I don't think you're a bad looking guy, by the way. No, he's not. Special circumstance. No, he isn't. He's not that horrible. Oh, no, oh I my see. goodness. I, 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 actually, I, you are. I, I, actually, you are. I see a picture like a of you. With, yeah, I see you with your shirt off. You do look like a woman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are, yeah he could use breast reduction. Yeah, exactly. Why don't you work out? You have so much free time. Why don't you get into oh, the gym? Oh, oh, oh. Well, my n normal weight is 130, but, but I've gained so much weight from these stupid drugs. Yeah, why don't you go, why don't you join the gym and get off the drugs? Maybe you wouldn't be so depressed. Uh, no, I, 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 I feel too exhausted. Too exhausted from working out? N no, no, from, from the, the drugs. drugs. From the drugs? Yeah. What do you do well, all yeah, day? Yeah, stuttering also. Do you sleep all day? Uh, sl sleepy, cry, worry. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, the drugs seem to be working. You on TV? All right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever consider a relationship with someone like him, or is it impossible? You, I mean, you had three orgasms with him. Did you th right. think about being with him again? 
I think I would be with him again. You would? He was a lot of fun. I mean, he, we really had a good time together. So and that's he, what I like. So if he called you up and said, hey, Annie, forget about movies and forget about uh, TV shows. I, I, I want to I date you. Would you go out with him? I would never give up what I do. I love doing the porn movies. I'm not saying no, no, give up. He's not saying give it up. He's just saying he doesn't want to be just a publicity stunt for you. He wants He'd to like to take you out. Well, I'd go out with you him. You would? Yeah, even without the publicity thing. Really? Yeah. Uh, John. Do you hear what she's saying? I, yeah, <laughs> but I'm so accustomed to a failure and, 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 and and I, 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 Oh, my. You really locked him up. I, 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 What? Ostracizing him. Yes. Um. Ostracization. Why would you go for that word? I'm so accustomed to that. Um. That the. That whenever something good happens, I can't believe it. So I can't. I. I. I you think that she's she's lying? She's lying. Well, n the, well, well, well. I hate to say that because I think she's great. She's a sweet, a girl and all. But I just can't believe uh, when something. You don't believe that she could really like you. So you're not even going to try asking for a date. Well, well, I might. <laughs> but I have so much. Bad experience of. Would you be embarrassed to be seen with him? No, I wouldn't. Even though he stammers and stutters. And no, and because he's probably, a nice guy. You like it? You're like. looking you know, for a nice guy. If you right. went on a date with him to a restaurant, he'd probably knock over the water because uh, of that stammering and the flailing. Uh, yeah. Shut up, Rob. I just <laughs> took him out. But you haven't had you haven't had a friend since what, like 1980? Hey, 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 hey,
be- because I'm obsessive compulsive and and because I rarely get um s- s- sick. I'm a vegetarian. Right. Um, um, I, 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 I was slightly concerned, but the, the, then I realized uh, oh, when it went away, it was probably just some kind of bacteria. All right, so it went away for good, and you've never had a reoccurrence, is what you said. Right, right. I, 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 um, I very rarely get sick. Right. All right, well, there you go. Well, Maybe. I can guarantee you I am disease-free. You are clean as a whistle. Yes, right? every you month make... I go and get the full workup. You do. Yes, I do. Uh, you know, what, watch now, wait talk. a minute. I have to ask John a question. If you, does he have a problem with dating her because of her profession? I have uh, 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 some reservations. No, he, oh, 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 no. No, he thinks that she could never really like him. Like I just said, I I I uh, realize that I uh, uh, no no I just have to see him. I, I, no, will you, no, let me ask you something. Tested, so I'm not afraid. But, okay, but initially, well, well, what was it like when you happened, saw her totally nude? Afraid. You were slightly. Well, how did you how did you feel when you saw her to- okay, totally nude? Well, She's got a gorgeous body, well, Andy Anderson. Well, when Thank I you, first uh, when I first saw her. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I thought. <laughs> a holy mackerel. Holy <laughs> mackerel. Right, so you had a great time, is what you're here to say. Now, I have not seen and the You haven't seen any of the footage. We saw a little bit of it. A little bit I saw of it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, that, I couldn't take much of it. John, <laughs> I'll be honest with how you. How come you don't stutter when you talk about Ralph? This is the only time the guy doesn't stutter. Oh, hmm. oh. Be- Wrong again, Baba <laughs> Boy. Because it's, it's a sp- spawn. <laughs> hey, what's that dance you're doing? I gotta learn that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a spawn. <laughs> you don't want to miss a second of him. It's blue. I might have to order the tape. <laughs> this guy should have a TV it's, show. It's a spawn. <laughs> Suddenly it starts. Can he, can he do the news? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it takes off like a rocket. You want to stay in for the news? No, I mean, it's 6 o'clock every night. He should be on NBC. You know, you know, I haven't watched him for about five minutes. Yeah. I'm just looking at you, Annie, and Jackie. Oh, right. It's just funny to watch as he's watching him. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you got great facial expressions. You do. You're very expressive. All right. Well, uh, John the stutterer and stammerer, I, I got to tell you, Are you're you going to ask her for a date. I have to know. Yeah, come on, come on. Um, <laughs> uh, shut up, Fred. <laughs> what? Um, I, 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 well, I may. I, 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 you're I not going to do it here. When are you going to do it? Do you know how to get in touch? You don't even have a phone number. I don't. <laughs> I have his phone number. <laughs> You know? Are you yes, going to call I him? I have called him a couple times. You have. Oh, yeah, she has called me. Yeah. About what? Just to call him to let him know what all was going on with the tape and just to say hi, see how he's doing. And really? That's never... nice of you. Yes. It's nice of you to take pity on him. on her yeah. during these conversations. Well, n- no, I have. I just thought... You know what you'd be good... I would get rejected, so I thought... You, should, you, you, you were afraid of being rejected. I can understand why. Well, well, Annie is saying that she's open to a relationship with you. Believe it or not. Even I'm shocked. Or at least a date. At least a date. At least a date. At least a date. Right. Who How knows? Do you date somebody you already had sex with. Why not? Well, hey. You're doing it with your wife. <laughs> you take her out to dinner. No, I'm married to her. Yeah, so. But What's the difference? You've had sex with her. Yeah, but if you have Maybe some... the guy needs some good conversation. Yeah. He needs to... Whatever. As long as he shuts up and lets her talk. <laughs> uh, no, uh, uh, no, I would rather just have sex. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're such a charmer. Uh, you know what? You'd be good on the chat rooms. You could probably uh, meet chicks. Uh, n- n- no, they're fat chicks. <gasps> fat chicks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. M- <laughs> m- 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 my, m- my standards are higher than m- m- that scumbag r- uh, Ralph. Right. Why do you have a white trash uh, 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 scumbag? Well, John, why do you want to get stuck? Have you been wrong? <laughs> and he's a, uh, and, and, uh, he's a pothead. Right. But wait a minute! Have you been on the internet and tried it? You've tried it and seen that. Oh, they oh, oh! I, 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 I don't uh, <laughs> own, own, own a computer. Oh, I'm yeah. poor. Oh, yeah. You know me. He is poor. He, he can't get a job, obviously. Well, Annie, uh, great seeing you. I also wanted to give you and Robin a special Easter gift. Thank you. 
Mm. What well, I'm sure it's either a vibrator or a No, actually, a it's vagina. a chocolate egg oh, with chocolate-filled cream. Well, thank you oh, very much. Annie, welcome. you're very sweet, and good luck to you, and thank you for playing uh, Vaginal Millionaire. I, thank you for having me. It was one of the best shows ever. And uh, John the Stutterer, i, I got to take a break, but if you want... Do I have to take a break, or can I do the news? No, we should break. Okay, I've got to take a break. John, if you want to stay for the news, that's okay. Please. Really, thanks, Howard. I will, you, you're my god, and Robin's my goddess. <laughs> well, okay. And, uh, uh, oh, 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 well, I wanted to stomp a Jackie. You did. Uh, real quick. What, what? What's uh -oh. a Navy ship? And Mark Harris's butt have in common. What does a Navy ship and Mark Harris's butt have in common? Yeah. Oh, man. Jackie? They're full of semen. Yeah, yeah, right. A boatload of semen. All right. A boatload. You get it, boatload. A boatload. Okay. All right, why don't you sit down and shut up for a while? We'll be back right after these words. All right, listen, let's get to the Mike Walker game. I'm going to bring in... John the Stutterer, not Stuttering John. John the Stutterer is going to play He's the Mike Walker game. Star today? That's correct. I was going to say, maybe you should give Mike Walker your top ten list. Oh, he could publish it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Damn. I need another break. I'm not done with it yet. I've narrowed it down to about 15 women. Oh, you actually, I only have ten men. You have ten? You're down to ten? I, I, I'm not going to look at it anymore because I can't... Here's uh, John the Stutterer. You've heard him... You've heard him on the show before. John the Stutter, of course, got laid for the first time in his life when we set him up with a uh, porn star when he won Vaginal Millionaire. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, it is. Yeah. And who now, did, uh, in Vaginal Millionaire, what did he win? He, he won who did you have sex with? Oh, Annie Anderson. Annie Anderson you had sex with. Yeah. That was good, right? Yeah. And you oh, enjoyed yeah, it. that big tall girl. Yeah. 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 How so, have you been since then? Uh, oh, um, well, it's great to be here, of course, um, but, but I have to say <coughs> that that <laughs> la, la, life is like the wind. It blows. Right. You have a tough life. It's hard for you to get women. You haven't gotten laid since, I'm sure. Since oh, no. She expressed that she might be interested in having sex with you again. Did that ever come to surface? Uh, oh, um, um. Well, she she called me and we're scheduled to go out in um a June when she comes to Philly. Oh, how that's nice! A, that's a long time between uh, dates. Yeah, but he wasn't going to be doing anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. So you're going to go out with her again in June? Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Good for you. That's but great. But is it better to now have had sex and then miss it, or to never have had it at all? Uh oh, oh, it's much better. Um, it, um. <laughs> to um. <laughs> To, to um say that that I've had sex. Oh. Right. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Let me get Mike Walker on the okay. phone. Here comes Mike Walker with the Mike Walker a game where he actually uh, gives us four stories. You got to pick out which one is false. Yeah. And we'll I know. Talk to you some more. Okay. You want to do the intro? Inquiring minds want to know. Rosie O'Donnell was king of her high school prom. <laughs> I want to know. Ivan Reitman seduces Howard Stern on a lonesome movie set. Oh, I want to know. Exclusive photos. Robin Quivers giving oral favors to a cab driver wearing a turban. Oh, I want to know. And now, here's the man with the stories you want to know. Mike Walker of the National Enquirer. Hi, Mike. Hi, Howard. How you doing? You're with John the Stutterer. Mike Walker, of course, is a world-renowned uh, gossip columnist. He is uh, an author. His novel, Malicious Intent, has been selling well into the what? Oh. Hundreds of thousands? Many thousands, yeah. yeah. A Hollywood fable. And bookstores now are available at Amazon.com. Uh, John the Stutterer, say hello to Mike Walker. Uh, hi, 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 Mo hi Mark, how you doing? Don't, hey, don't, don't cut him off. Rush him. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. I know you don't work for Star Magazine, or I know it's a competitor of yours. That's right. But I see on the cover, I get all these uh, tabloid magazines. Mm -hmm. Kathy Lee is romancing Kevin Costner. Mm -hmm. do you, That's what they say. Do you believe that? Well, Howard, I, you know, as I said, it's a competitor. First of all, if I say it's not true, I'll seem jealous. If I say it is true, I'm helping them out. I see. So, what are you saying? Is it unfair of me to ask you about another newspaper story? I mean, well, yeah, I, I think it is. Well, I'm sure you knew about this. Why did you not go with this story? Well, I. You sound again, like John. I'm not gonna... 
<laughs> you know, you're putting me in a funny position here. Good. And, and by the way, later on when I see you, I want to put you in another funny position. <laughs> oh. <laughs> by the way, we missed you at the uh, Hawaiian Tropic. Uh... Here we go. Don't torture me. No, it was it was really great this year. It was fantastic. It was fabulous. Yes. And I everybody's imagine. heard you ruminating about possibly coming this year, and the girls were very disappointed. How much fellatio did you receive? Oh. Uh, Howard, this is, again, a myth. Oh. I, I do this as a public service. Okay. Now, I understand you brought your wife with you. Did she enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mike, let's do this uh, four stories. I'm not going to get anything out of him. No. Yeah. Well, the Kathy Lee... Uh, Is she look. in love with Kevin Costner? I think uh, Kathy Lee her. finds Kevin very, very exciting, very charming. I think she likes the idea of... You know, Kathy Lee, for all... Do you, you know, think she's had sex with him? He's very attractive. Do you think she's had sex with Kevin Costner? No. Do you I think don't. that they rendezvous? Or this do way? I think do I think that she is using this to uh, to tweak Frank? Yes. You do. do I think she likes to feel attractive? Absolutely. Oh, and so and so Kevin so is a dog. You know that. Listen to this, Kathy Kevin Lee's. Is a dog? Yeah, she has sex with women. With women? Are you kidding? Kathy Lee's flirtation with Kevin is the worst kept secret in town. She's been flaunting their relationship in front of Frank ever since she, ever since he cheated on her. And when Frank begged her to stop seeing Kevin, she told him no way. It seems that wherever the Giffords go, Kevin shows up. And when Kathy Lee is traveling alone, she accidentally runs into him. Really? It's a weird romance, but they both seem to enjoy playing at it whenever they can. Mm -hmm. I think playing is kind of the key word there. You don't believe that there's been actual intercourse or fellatio involved? Do I personally believe yes. that? Yes. No. Then why would Kevin be interested? <laughs> because, well, first of all, look, stars are not foolish. I mean, he knows. First of all, he enjoys flirtations. He does, very much. He's famous for it. Secondly, he knows that this will give him attention. Kevin's career is not that hot right now. Right. True. You're right. You're absolutely right. I didn't think of that. And, and now Howard Stern's talking about it. Exactly. All right, let's go to the four stories. John the Stutterer, are you ready to play the game? Yes. All right. Okay. Hmm, that was an easy answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What makes you think you're prepared? To, do you have any qualifications to play this game? Um. Well. Well. N n n no. But n n none's required. A m moron could play this game. All right. Let's go. Hey, well, speaking of that, I think Gary good. wants to play. What is it, Gary? You know what's sort of funny? Yeah. Mike's in a little bit of a rush today, which you mentioned to us. So of course we got a guy that takes eight years to give us seven. Oh, okay, Mike. Let's get right well, no, to the it. The reason. Then. The reason is I'm not in a rush, uh, but I have to be on stage in front of cameras today, looking halfway decent. So I've got to go back to bed. You know, I'm in L.A. All right. Let's go. All right. Donald Trump, who's usually a great admirer of the female form, was so infuriated by those up to here, down to their photos of barely legal model daughter Ivanka in British GQ that he ordered the magazine banished from every newsstand in every casino, shopping area, and apartment building he owns. Go ahead. Noses twitched when Uma Thurman and hubby Ethan Hawke wandered into an antique shop in their Manhattan hood. They were totally greasy and grunged out and stunk to the high heavens, said the shop's horrified owner. <laughs> then they plunked themselves down in two antique Windsor chairs and started making out. Wow. Mm. Did you whip out the Febreze? Go ahead, number three. <laughs> Good fellow Ray Liotta tooled his brand new Porsche convertible up to L.A.'s conga room and sternly warned the valet to be super careful. Make sure you park at the safe place, he shouted as the guy drove off. Well, when Ray exited a while later, attendants were bringing up every car but his, and he finally exploded, where the F is my car? Finally, it came roaring out of the night. An apologetic valet explained that because Ray made so much fuss, his attendant had parked the portion of vacant lot next door, so it wouldn't get any nicks, but the guy went off duty without telling anybody where he'd put it. Go ahead. I call this one Burn, Baby, Burn. In Chicago, filming Driven with Keanu Reeves, gorgeous Marissa Tomei dropped into a local salon for a bikini wax, and ow, the hot wax was a little too hot and dripped into a very tender spot. Oh. Marissa, screaming in pain, actually suffered blisters and stormed out of the shop, threatening a lawsuit. All right, here's what we have. Donald Trump uh, doesn't want anyone seeing Ivanka, his daughter, and banned the magazine. Uma Thurman and her boyfriend, Ethan Hawke, smell. Ray Liotta lost his Porsche almost and got upset, and Marissa Tomei mm -hmm. burned her private parts with bikini wax <laughs> and got blisters. I'm going to turn to uh, a man who says you don't need any brains to play this game, that a moron could play this game. Let's go to John the Stutterer. Um, well, s s 
so frequently with this game that the, the most plausible sounding story is the um the false w- w- ah, he's one ironically so I would say three number three you're yeah. talking about Ray Liotta loses yeah. his Porsche yeah I, okay I'm not even I'm, I know that Mike's in a rush so I'm not going to ask you oh that's, that's just, I'm not in that he good. just wants to go back to sleep that's all all right, let's go to Fred, who seems to stutter. I can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. He can't play? You can't play this week? Fred can't play this week. All right, let's go to Jackie the Joke with Marlon. Um, I think i got to go with Trump. I don't think he would have done that. But um, I, I can't believe somebody would make that bad a mistake with that hot wax. But I want to believe that's true. Cause All right, so Jackie goes with Trump. Robin? I think it is the Uma and Ethan story. Why do you say that, Robin? I don't think they smell, oh. and uh, they're not making out in antique shops. I heard that Ethan I is complaining that. that Uma hasn't touched him since the baby. I think that Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke is the real deal. I do believe they smell. <laughs> and, and Robin, I have two other stinky Ooh. items in the car. Stinky! Oh. Right. Oh. Um, I believe Marissa Tomei's bikini wax. I believe she has oh. blisters on her private parts. <laughs> oh. I believe that i do uh i've met ray liotta and i think that uh you know him losing his porsche and it was parked in another thing sounds kind of weird I- i'm gonna go with, are you going with i'm gonna go with ray liotta right. with uh, john the stutterer wow. i don't think he'd use the f word uh-huh. i think he's a tender man <laughs> all right let's go to mike walker what's the answer well, the answer is uh, that John the Stutterer and Howard have it absolutely wrong. Oh. Oh, I always right. lose. Yeah. And uh, I'm surprised at Robin. I mean, that sounds like one of those statements that, you know, celebrities never never stink. <laughs> Again, I direct you to the column. I have two other stinky star items in the column. All right, so they're not And going. so it's Donald Trump. Jackie the Jugman. Thank, Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Jackie the Jugman. Well, I figured Donald's so upset about the pictures that had to be true. Well, you're yeah. right, John the Stutterer. Well, he was. He, 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 there's, there's a germ of truth there. I mean, he was not thrilled, believe me. John all the, those pictures, right? Yeah. Oh, man. They were very sexy. Very sexy. And by the way, what do you make of Donald Trump's uh, top ten list that I think appeared at the Inquirer? Didn't it? I think it was the star. Oh, it was. Star. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what about if I make a top? Annoyed. If I make a top ten list, would you print mine? <laughs> Your top ten list will be in the Enquirer, Howard. You will put it in. Wow. Absolutely. All right. I am going to announce my top ten most beautiful women in the world list. I would. I would love to have that. Would you? Would you please uh, do it through me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, call me, not the star. No, I'm going to call you. Thank you. All right. All Thank right. you, Mike Walker. That'll be your exclusive. And uh, we wish you luck with Malicious Intent, your great new novel. Yeah, and remember, our TV show, renewed for next season, folks. All right. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. There he is, uh, Mike Walker, every day on TV. Now I know. So, Uma and Ethan smell to high heaven? Oh, they didn't shower. <laughs> but, I mean, it sounds like they didn't shower for days. <laughs> Well, John the Stutterer, uh, you you would lose not only at this game, but you lost in the game of life in general. Oh, right. yeah, that's... With all of your various phobias, your obsessive it's... compulsive disorder, your tics. What medication are you on? What are you on? Um, right in that... now on on a four oh, four different medications. I'm not going to ask what they are. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, on our phone is one of the greatest superstars. Of the millennium. Oh. A man... Yeah. Well, let me just finish the build-up. A man who has not only conquered the world of film, which is no easy okay. feat, yes. has also conquered the world of television. Oh. He's also a master. Considered in a master... Well, put John back on the couch. I didn't dismiss him, Casey. Please. Because he stutters. Also, this man has mastered... The ancient art of karate. Well, now I know. Aww. Fighting Koreans hand to hand combat with no gloves and defeated Koreans who fight dirty with their. Because I know about it. They fight with their knees and elbows and would kill you sooner than have you win in a fight. The gentleman I'm speaking about, Mel Carmazan. Oh, man. No. no. I'm talking about. (laughs) This is a man's man. 
and we have simple questions for him because we've been reading some stuff, and I want to discuss this with him. The great Chuck Norris. Chuck, are you there? Hi, Howard. How are you doing? See, Chuck, you're so humble after a buildup like that. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> But Chuck, you've conquered them all. I mean, you must be proud of your career. You've you've done karate films. You've uh, you, you go on television. You have the, one of the number one shows. Uh, this is a great accomplishment. You're number one uh, at beating Koreans in hand to hand combat. How many Koreans did you destroy? Go ahead, brag a little. Over my 20 years of fighting, I, I fought a lot more than just Koreans. I fought just, uh, Japanese and all the Americans. In the what years. about blacks? I'm sorry. Did you fight blacks? I fought them all. You did? And did you beat the blacks? Oh, I, I beat just about every ass. Some man who he beat... He took a... on every race and he wow. beat... This is a white man who can beat up black guys. <laughs> did you fight Indians? <laughs> but do you got to admit... the Indian, Robin. <laughs> did, did you ever... yeah, that's right. He is an Indian. <laughs> but he isn't sitting on the reservation drinking. He's out there working hard. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? That's true. Right. Fighting those stereotypes. You're fighting those stereotypes. <laughs> no, you know as well as I do, Chuck, that the Koreans fight dirty. They will use. Tough fighters, you know. Did they bring in yeah. weapons that they weren't supposed to have? Yeah, those little stars. <laughs> oh. What do you call those things? No, they're just real tough guys. You know, during the uh, the Vietnam War, they were the most feared, one of the most feared group of fighters over there. You know what they would do? My brother, you know, who I, I lost his brother in Vietnam, but he was a uh, black belt in uh, Taekwondo, and so he would train with those Koreans over there in Vietnam, and and they uh, he was out drinking with them one night, and uh, three GIs got to an argument with the, this one Korean guy in the bar. And uh, my brother says, you know, hey, back off. Don't don't mess with this guy. And they wouldn't let back off. They went out and fought, and uh, the Korean killed two of them. Wow. Of course. In fact, uh, you, though, let's brag a little. When you got in the ring, you would snap their, their, their twig-like arms in, in half. You didn't break any arms. <laughs> Did you break their arms? Those little arms like twigs? A few noses, but I don't think I broke any arms. <laughs> and isn't it true that rice farts are the most deadly? Oh, if the they would only the rice farts, they would they would unleash them in the ring. <laughs> well, I tell you, actually, they were the least I wanted to fight. They were, right. they were pretty tough. They're the toughest ones. All right, yeah, now listen, tough. Chuck. We were talking about you the other day. We want to clear this up. You've always come on the air and talked about everything. We were talking on the air that says here in the in the, one of these tabloids. Did that, you read oh, that article? Did you read this? No, I heard about it though. All right, we got to address this. Okay. You have a beautiful new wife. Right. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Are you sober right now, by the way? Yes. Sober. Well, I want to make sure I'm getting the right answer. No, I'm very sober. All right, I just want to make sure I'm getting the right answer. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been hitting the sauce. <laughs> You think he's drinking? You're a superstar, but I, I don't know if superstars drink this early. <laughs> I'm TV's Chuck Norris. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, so you have a beautiful wife. Yeah. I've seen her. Her body is near perfect. I don't see any flaws. Near? Well, maybe there's got to be a flaw somewhere, like a, <laughs> like a little bit of peach fuzz on her ass or something. I don't know. Am I right or am I wrong? And by the way, I see you had to put the missus in the infomercial. Uh, yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Why don't she press you into that? Uh, no, not actually. Uh, th that was uh, American Telecast, the people that promote that thing. They're, they're, She's they're, muscling out Christy Brinkley. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, Chuck, you put me on TV or no oral for a week. <laughs> I know how this works. <laughs> so, so Chuck, so it's said in this magazine that you and your wife were having some problems. And maybe the, you know, the, the marriage was... The bloom, is, the, the bloom is off the rose. You're in the winter of your relationship. <laughs> and... The solution you two decided is that you should have a baby, which I'm against for you, and I don't mind saying it. And well, you, did you get a vote? Well, please. I know Chuck pretty well. He's been to In my house. Marriage. When I was married, he came to my house. Absolutely. Right. And Chuck, it says here you're going to reverse your vasectomy. Well, you don't think that'd be a little hard. I've had a vasectomy for 30 years. I doubt there's any fish flying around it, floating around in there. Right. You do but not. Secondly, mainly. Gina has two children. I have three. Go ahead. And I think five is plenty. Right. So you are not going so to try... you're giving up the marriage? No. <laughs> no. Oh. Gina and I are happier than we've ever been. Oh, uh, okay. So, Chuck, I, don't, I don't know where they come up with that crap, but... You know. <laughs> we should go to scores and discuss this. Uh, yeah, you know, we should. We you really know, need to. It has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I think we need to go, my friend. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> so what you're saying is, so that everyone now knows... There's that, no truth. That number no, one... there's absolutely nothing to that... Stupid article. I, you know, I haven't read it, but people have called in saying they read it and told me a little bit about it. And, but there's no truth to any of it. Uh, no, we're we're very happy the way everything is. We still got two children to raise right now. Right. And, and uh, you haven't been to any doctors. No. And you have not. No one has touched your sack except your wife. Oh. 
<laughs> She's the only one. Right. All right. All right. That's all we needed to know, Chuck. Once again, because uh, I couldn't believe it. If any of that is true, I was going to beg you not to have more kids. No, 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 no. I you don't need that. Is, I've been there, done that. I want to, you know, I want to start really enjoying my life. Yes, and I told I told everybody on this show, Chuck. And I hope you don't mind. No. I told them you were you were uh, dating very seriously an aerobics instructor that had a body that wouldn't quit. And uh, she was too young Almost because, married because she oh wanted God. to have kids. You guys, you guys remember that? Yeah, she wanted to have kids. Yeah. And you said no. Yes, that's exactly right. So for you to start uh, having kids at this point would be crazy. Yeah, that was that's, that was the reason for it too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, and 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 by the way, your wife doesn't have any shopping problems, right? That also said that no. she shops too much and you're mad. No, heck no. You got enough ah. money for a shopping spree. <laughs> That's why, you know, the thing is, is that that's why I work, so we can enjoy some of the things. Of course. Right? I mean, we all do. People that's have why, questions. Why do we work this hard, Howard, if we didn't want to enjoy it, right? Right. You did, how are you enjoying it? What do you do to enjoy it? Well, right now, uh, we took a, an African trip with mm. Africa on a, on a uh, safari, and um, then... Do, I, the, do the Africans know you over there? Oh, my gosh, yeah. They, they do? Know. Yeah. They don't mess with you over there. You know what, the TV series... Uh, you, it's it's incredible, you know, because we have over one billion viewers. Wow! Worldwide, on, on wow, even bigger than your films, probably. Yeah, but even more than the films, you know, because the show airs every week all over the world. Mm. In mm. fact, uh, this uh, Saturday is our, our is our final, you know, the finale, and we uh, uh, it's a two hour, by the way. So if the, your listeners uh, who uh, watch Walker should uh, tune in at nine o'clock rather than ten o'clock. But anyway, you know, guess who's on? Joan Jett. Oh, no kidding. Joan Jett plays a, a, a top flight assassin, and I have to do a big fight scene with her. Really? You, oh, you, could, Jones? you could kick her ass. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did any of those Africans give you a shrunken head? I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> Chuck's head is smaller? Yeah, Chuck's head. They try to shrink Chuck's head. No, I love that. And did you, were you able to kill any zebra or... Uh... No. Actually, no. we got chased by a, a wild elephant over there. You could not hurt the elephant. You couldn't uh, use your karate on it. Oh, it was amazing. We were doing a night safari. Would you ever fight an elephant? If I could set that up for pay-per-view? Pay-per-view, sure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fight an elephant or, or a bear or anything. Really? You would not fight a bear if I could get the rights to that? <laughs> no. Bear, bear is the one thing, Howard, you would never get me to pay for. Really? No, because you can't outrun them. You can't outclimb them. There's nothing you can do. They can run 45 Can't you kick them in the nuts? No, I just did a I just did an episode of Walker last week that aired last week though, where I, I, I have a confrontation with a bear. By the way, on my uh, new show, Son of the Beach, uh, you know that uh, Notch Johnson, the lead character, his favorite show is your show. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah, Walker, Texas Ranger. Wow. That's true. He always quotes it. How in the world did you, uh, how do you do it? Do you talk about me working hard? I don't know how you do it, Howard. Well, I, 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 you know what it is? I just want to give back to the people. Yeah. I'm a good man. Jackie, what is your question for Chuck Norris? Go ahead quickly. This man's very busy. Yeah, I heard that he drinks a cup full of his own urine every morning. And oh. I was wondering if that was true. Chuck, could that, that be true? That is true. That is true. Do you not even close. You do I'm, not right now, I'm drinking a cup of coffee right now. That, that's I don't know. You seem kind of like a freak to me. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm serious. You seem a little freaky. Get out of here. By the way, the uh, person on the phone, I recognize your voice. That is Les Moonves, oh. the head of the uh, CBS network. <laughs> wow. So, so Chucky, do not drink your own urine. Hell no. You drink anybody's urine. Yeah. Hell no. And despite what this person just said, you are not a freak. Not, not in that respect. Right, no, respect. but what respect are you? <laughs> Please, I bet the score is Robert, enough, you've known me long enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know me for ten years, Robert. <laughs> well, listen, the, the season finale of Walker, Texas Ranger, a special two-hour episode tomorrow night at 9 p.m. on CBS. And let's just re remember something. That A, Chuck's marriage is not in trouble. B, Chuck will not reverse his vasectomy. No reversal of the vasectomy. C, I don't urine in the morning. <laughs> that he doesn't drink urine. D, this is a man who, despite everything, could could you take the greatest action stars, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Stallone, he could kick all of their ass in a real fight. All of them together. All of them together, probably. Steven Seagal, he he, you don't have any problem calling Steven Seagal a pussy, do you? You've already done it, Howard. Exactly. All right. So he could take them all on. At uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Could you kick his ass in a fight? I believe you could. Chuck Zito beat him up. Well, you know, again, I, like I've said, uh, said before, I was the world champion for six years. No one ever beat me, so. Right, exactly. What about Chuck Zito? Oh, man, Chuck and Chuck. He's a good guy. Chuck's the greatest stuntman, man. Could you kick his ass? Huh? Ooh. Can you kick his ass? I, I don't know. He'd be a tough guy to fight. Right. Mm. 
Chuck, you know, because Chuck Zito, the only person he's afraid of is divorce lawyers. <laughs> Other than that, all? that's right. <laughs> we all are of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you talk to Chuck, come high for me, will you? I absolutely will. So he doesn't beat me up when I say it. <laughs> All right, the great Chuck Norris, when you're in New York, please come visit us. So you count on that. And and please, say hello to that beautiful wife of yours. I sure will, Howard. Right. You and Robin Geary and I'll take care, huh? All right, All right, take care. Chuck Norris, and don't forget the season finale of Walker, Texas Ranger, a special two-hour episode tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on CBS. Everyone is watching it, even in Africa. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. The great Chuck Norris. There it is. He answered all the questions. And we've gotten it straight from the horse's mouth. John III, I want to thank you for coming here. I have Kid Rock, uh, who is waiting to come on. I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to meet him. What music do you listen to, John? You like Kid Rock? Um, no, I lo lo like um, late 60s and early 70s rock. Um, yeah, Yes, The Who, Hendrix. Zeppelin, you know. Oh, this kind of classic rock. Yeah. 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 All right, then you can leave the room. <laughs> All right. Uh, John the Stutterer, thank you for coming in. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 Howard, I... Just <laughs> All right, Fred, let him talk. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to quick, quick, quick. Quick. There's nothing quick I, about you. I, 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 um, oh. I thought it would be that they break, break comedic, um, um, f f father, um, um, you're <laughs> Well, but, um, but, um, You're about as funny as they get. Um, but, um, uh, um, but, but, um, I don't want to miss a second. Right. <laughs> um, 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 but I suffer, um, from the so called. You know what's amazing? You know, whatever he has to say isn't even that important. No, but go I ahead, yeah. love him struggling to say it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's very funny. Please. And what's great about it is his hands rock back and forth when he stutters. Yeah. The whole yeah. body goes. You want to endorse a high school candidate? I know one money for treasurer. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make your point. I know you have something serious to say. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I, 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 I um, suffer from something called the so called psychotic. <laughs> form of of body dysmorphia and 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 um right. and, and what? the biggest symptom of that is that i feel my head's um too um small and uh, slowly shrinking you think your head is too, so you feel like you have a shrunken head uh yeah you think your head is shrinking in fact your head is very big it is it's just it's the opposite growing. yeah oh. It looks actually large to me compared oh, to the rest of your body. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. bigger than the last time you were here. Yeah. Howard. Yeah. You mean that when he looks in the mirror and he sees Beetlejuice? <laughs> right. <laughs> in fact, your head's the size of a pumpkin. I wouldn't worry about a thing. John the Stutterer, thank you. Is there anything you need to plug? Are you appearing anywhere? Are you uh, doing anything in the future that you need to uh, say to us? Oh, no. no. Just a, one last quick thing. Thing, I promise. I I, right. I w w wanted to stomp a, a, a uh -oh. Jackie real quickly. All right. <laughs> no, I got Kid Rock here. All right, go, if you can do it quickly, I, I'll appreciate oh, please, it. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> what do you call a a young uh, a young black wo woman who y y y y y uses rich old men for her money? What do you call a young black woman yeah. who uses rich old men to make a living? Yeah. Yeah. For the men. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm dying to see you. Oh, oh well, then. This is a somewhat racist, um. No! A, a joke, um. um I would never have guessed. Uh, um, um, well, well, I, I, I'm not, not a racist. Well, well, but, <laughs> but, but the, 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 the a, a, a answer is a gold nigger. A, a gold digger? Gold nigger? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh. So bad, it's not even funny. First of all, as a racist joke, you but didn't Jackie tell it right. Probably it was, it, first of all, funny. I don't approve of this, but the answer is a niggolo. Instead of oh, a well, I, I and I've heard that before, that's and it's a pretty bad what? joke. It's a what? terrible joke. It's a I horrible a woman, joke. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, Robin. Say what you have to say. The, the, a woman who who goes after rich <laughs> men is not a gigolo. No. Right. 
It doesn't make sense. And what did he say? A, a, uh, a gold nigger. Yeah, gold I, well, the guy nigger. who told it to me one time after uh, I beat him up <laughs> said, uh, Niggolo. But that would be a guy. I know. Comedy's not always perfect. It's not oh. In your case, it's never perfect. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me that is the answer to the joke? Yeah. Wow. No, no, no. No, no. Gold, gold, uh, gold. Uh, gold, uh, gold, uh, gold uh, Baker, that's the answer. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't like that joke. But I, 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 I know that Jackie loves it. He just... <laughs> Not a joke. Just hold him to Did you make to... that up? Yes. Yeah. You made it up. You made it up. You bastard. You bastard. <laughs> All right, listen. Thank you, uh, John the Stutterer. Uh, uh, in addition to all your problems, you're also a racist. And, uh, and not funny. And not fu <laughs> an unfunny racist. At least Daniel Carver makes us laugh. No, I'm not a racist. I know. You don't. You don't that, that's not racist. All right, listen. we got to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to meet Kid Rock. Who is taking the country by storm. And he's with Uncle Cracker. And he's with Uncle Cracker, Robin. <laughs> More on that when we get back. <laughs> Thank Champion you, John. Ball buster and phony phone caller, Ponce de la Fogue. Let's go to line three. Who's this, please? Daniel Carver. Hi, Daniel. Jewish Bench is what? What is it? Company what? Jewish Bench is what? So, I'm sorry. Uh, say it again. You're so dumb, you don't hear what I'm saying. Right, thank you. Let's go to uh, line two. Who's this place? Reach out and f*** with someone. Anyone. It's the Howard Stern Show. Uh, let me uh, set this next phone call up. Uh, everybody knows John the Stutterer. We got him laid for the first time with a porn star. <laughs> I'm not talking about stuttering John. I'm talking about John the woo, woo, stutterer. Uh, I gave him a trip to the Playboy Mansion. That's right. I yeah. forgot about that. That's right. And believe it or not, this is the saddest thing you ever heard. The guy has no friends. He doesn't have anyone to take. I got him a, a visit to the Playboy Mansion where there's a real party going on. Is this really true, John? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah Howard. I, uh, uh, I, 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 late Thursday morning. Right. And, 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 and did you want to invite someone to go with you or you just wanted to go alone? Uh, oh, oh, well, I wanted Annie Anderson, um, but, um, she, 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 um. Well, why bring Sam to the beach? What? Why bring Sam to the beach? Why do you need Andy Anderson to go with you? Uh, oh, uh, oh, well, well, because I. I'm sending you a party with tons of hot chicks. No, the chances of uh, getting the late the there or no. Anyway, sadly enough, this guy has no friends. He doesn't have a friend to take with him to the Playboy Mansion. And I heard this and I said, this is insane. Not that I'm going to, you know, offer someone to go with him. You want to go with somebody you know. But can you imagine not having one friend? Yeah, well, uh, well, well, my little friend is going to be going yeah. Sucks, you know. I mean, but you got to get out of the house and meet people. Mm. Well, you are going to go to the Playboy Mansion on Thursday, right? Yeah. You going to go all alone? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Oh. Yeah. There he is. Sorry. Picture of him. Yeah. What is it, uh, Gary? You know, it's funny. Like we know him. You know what I mean? But I was talking to the woman who's setting up the promotion. She says he's a great guy. But if you don't know him, and this guy calls your office mm. to start doing business, it's really rough. Yeah. Right. You know, she's spending hours on the phone with him. But she, but he doesn't have one friend. No, she nothing. Said she, she was. Real, I said, who's he going with? She said, nobody. He said he didn't have any friends. Wow. Yeah. Come I, on. Are you lying to us? And then, no. In fact, he didn't call no, us well, to tell us. He's not bragging about it. Robin. He's not bragging to us. Gary found out from the Playboy woman <laughs> that he wasn't bringing anybody. Because you know, it's kind of like cool if you have a friend to go with. Yeah, even if you go through the whack pack mm. numbers, you find somebody. Why don't you bring your? Why don't you bring your? Like, do you have a dad? Uh, uh, uh oh yeah, yeah, but he can't get off from work. Yeah, and plus I wouldn't want to bring my dad to the Playboy yeah. Mansion. Not really. A cousin, cousins, yeah. friends from work. Uh oh, uh, oh, 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 I hate the, most of my family except for my sister. Do you work? Parents and brother. No, he I, doesn't work. Why don't you bring your brother? Uh, uh, oh, um, well, uh, well, well, he couldn't get off from work. Uh, Do you work? What? Do you work? Uh, no. Uh, did you say bring your boss, even? Your doctor. No, he doesn't work. 
But yeah, you know he's got medical people who yeah. he deals with. He can bring his doctor or an orderly know. or somebody. Somebody. But then you start to get into what you have to start asking orderlies to go. You're down at the bottom of the list. That won't go along. If you were somebody's brother, you'd take off to go to the playground. Yeah, and what is it? We're sending him to one of those parties? Yeah, it's um, it's for politically incorrect. So, that, like, Bill Maher's having a party there to celebrate that, you know, the ex, I don't know, some number show. But it's a party at the mansion. Yeah, well, you know Bill Maher will be getting laid. Yeah. That guy knows how to network. He's no better than you. Yeah, believe me, you're better looking than Bill Maher. Uh, 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 Bill Maher's nothing. Not a good looking guy. Right, know. right. <laughs> yeah. You got a better rap than him, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess, yeah. All right, so listen, have a good time. You're leaving Thursday for California. How long are you going to be out there? Um, uh, uh, it's, it's a Thursday until uh, Sunday. Okay, so have fun. Enjoy the party. When is the party? Friday night? Oh, um, no. No, it's Thursday night. Thursday night. Oh, that's going to be great. Uh, you ought to take your buddy Ralph. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's just sad, Howard. You can tell, like, when he, inside there is a guy with a sense of humor, mm. you know, inside that body, but it's so long for him to get to it, it's hard for him to be charming with a woman. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I go to my clubs, but when I approach women, they run for help. Really? Right, well, right. Now with the Internet and stuff, aren't there, like, chat rooms for fellow stutterers? Aren't there female stutterers that you might be able to date? The stuttering amongst females is very rare. Very rare, I know. Yeah. It's mostly a guy thing. girls are taken. Yeah, well, yeah. They're the cream of the crop. <laughs> yeah, 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 and, 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 and the, <laughs> most of the female stutterers I've seen are pigs. Right. <laughs> All right, listen, good luck at the Playboy Better Mansion. Be alone. Do me a favor and call us and give us an update uh, Friday and tell us what happens uh, with you Thursday night, all right? Uh, uh, oh, sure. Sure, I will, Howard. All right. And, 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 and I love... Let me just say that you know for our day of... Um, Zeppelin of a radio. Oh, thank you. All right. Love you. Thank you very much. Love you too, and have a great trip. And I hope you, I hope you have some happiness out there. Oh, uh, uh, well, well, I hope to uh, see you soon. Now, uh, stay out of the water in the grotto. I'm telling you, Hef's in there making egg drop soup all the time. If he gets into the water, just throw in your clothes. That's right. Yeah. I, uh, 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 just the one. Uh oh. You can't get off the phone Let's with this guy. Me. All right, well, quickly. He has a friend. Last the thing, Howard. I'm quickly. They get King Crimson, uh, Stan and I, uh, I liked your version. Thank you very much. All right, uh, listen, have a great trip, and we'll speak to you as soon as you go to the party. Let's find out if you meet any chicks. Um, well, thanks so much. All right, all right, I get it. Money with this trip? Watch out. Yeah, you know what's going to be funny? You know, I hope he doesn't end up, like, just standing in a corner at the Playboy Mansion. That's exactly what's going to happen. The update on Monday yeah. will be, what happened to you, uh, Don the Stutterer? Nothing. Yeah, well, I like his optimism. Something could happen. Maybe he'll meet, like, a Jamie Bergman or something. Yeah, all right. I doubt that. Well, that came through loud and clear. All right, good luck. Um, well... Oh, okay, goodbye. Well, thanks, Howard. Bye, Howard. All right, bye, John. Okay, bye. Right, John the stutterer. One more thing. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, w -w wait. <laughs> you know, then you, you're like, oh, my God, not more. <laughs> I have no idea. I so. All right, uh, a lot of people, um... Before we get to news, want to know what happened with John the stutterer. Not stuttering John, John the stutterer. I'm going to ask uh, John the Stutterer to come in with Trudy Beers, who says she's a hypnotist. Trudy's by herself. Where is John the Stutterer? <laughs> she didn't kill him, did she? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Trudy, uh, you're, you you say you're a hypnotist, but you're kind of a student hypnotist. Yeah. You were I, heavily reliant on your notes. Oh, well... You were reading from a book the whole time you were hypnotizing him. Yeah, well, some of it. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you spent now four hours with John the Stutterer. You worked on him. He has a horrible stutter. Right. Uh, I almost don't want you to tell me what happened. I'd like him to I walk rather, in. Yeah. See okay. the result. Okay. I told you if you cured him, I'd say you were the greatest hypnotist that ever lived. Right. And here he comes. I'm anxious to hear him talk. <laughs> Something tells me 
Nothing is different. Uh, yeah, but give it a chance. It tells me this was a big waste of time, but oh. let's hope I'm wrong. Let me ask you a question. John the Stutterer. How's this work? Um, well, when I was in... When I was in the relaxed state, it worked okay. He was yeah. quite actually good, actually. Did anybody tape that? Yes. They got that on tape. Did you see any of that? I, mean, I would like to see that. I like to hear you not stuttering. So, in other words, you do still stutter. Yeah. Can you do anything unusual? Can you talk Japanese now or anything like that? Cluck like a chicken? Can you cluck like a chicken? <laughs> no. I, oh, Trudy, what went wrong? You said I you were going to cure him. No, I saw well, it. Well, he was. I'm telling you, in in the relaxed state, yes. he was not stuttering at all. Wow. So that, uh, that part, unfortunately, nobody heard. Yeah, well, you guys didn't come in on that part, of right. course. Oh, but, come on. Tell me we don't have any of that? You do have it on tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, I'd like to hear that. that. What did he say? The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane? No. <laughs> can, so can he stay in a completely hypnotized state for the rest of his life? So he doesn't... Or can you hypnotize him every day and just leave him out? Were you under, John the Stutterer? Do you yeah. think? You were. Yeah. 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 All right, so she at least got you under. See, in a relaxed state, he definitely didn't stutter. That means that he has the But I wanted to hear him not it. stutter. Yeah, well, of course, we would, we would all like that. Can but you put him back under? We could put him under, I think he has to go under several more times. I see. Because mm -hmm. he has to completely uh, agree to... John doesn't want to be cured. He just wants to spend more time with Trudy. Right. <laughs> right, yeah, right. right. You want to go out with her? <laughs> well. No, he's been with enough therapists, I think. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think uh, that... He, there's no curing him. Ability. He is cured. Are you he, has, he is cured. Yes, he has, uh, let me let me see evidence of that. Speak speak a little bit. So Say the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Okay. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. That's what was better, that? Much better. Wow. That's better, Howard. You got to say that. Wow. All right. All right. I'll ask you a question, an impromptu question. Maybe it's because that was rehearsed. Yeah, probably. Yeah. No. I know. You, I know you're a stutter. Uh, when is the last time you had sex with a woman? Uh oh. Um. It was in February. What well, the porn star? Uh. With the a a Annie Anderson. Oh wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you name uh, three of the five senses? Yeah. Go ahead. Sight. Touch, taste. Well, he's not so bad. Yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe there is some improvement. He's definitely maybe improved. Yeah. He is. And this can work. And we will do it again. I already gave him my card. Really? I'll work with him again. Where are you going to work with him? In his place or yours? No, in my office. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because yeah. I can get your hopes up. what his place looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go to his place. <laughs> we may never see you again. Right. <laughs> Any chance he can touch your cans if uh, he goes over to your place? No. I, now, uh, I noticed that you, uh, were you laying on hands or doing anything? Yes, I yes, see. Well, yes. John, It looked like you would have touched his wiener. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I, what, that she would have. Yeah, I was waiting yeah, You're all that. better. You're all cured. <laughs> well, you but give it's him. better. So you that's, see? That's great. Do you feel better? Well, well, to... Uh, well, uh, quite frankly, Howard. Yeah. Shut up, Fred. I'm trying to <laughs> Yeah, all right. He's having a hard enough time. Fred's not okay. helping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, shut up, Howard. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Everybody okay. in the room, remember? Yeah. There we go. I'll try to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 shut up, Fred. I can't talk. Really. All right. What is it, Gary? Go ahead. You're a very nice lady, but really, how do you sit there and say with a straight face that he's cured? I mean, well, he's not. No, or even better. He's no better than he was two days ago. He's definitely better. Based on what? Based on speaking, he just said things for you right now. Before. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Clearly. Howard, what do you think? 
Well, I mean, he did say rain in Spain, but I, I know that when you give him a set line, he does better. You need to be, he needs to be able to have a conversation. Well, hmm. the point is that it may be a progression with him. Don't forget he's done this right. for 25 years. Yeah. Well, look, do I think he's cured? Yeah, he can actually get out. Yeah, he couldn't do that. No, he gets it out sometimes. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't think he's cured, no. But maybe, uh, let's just let it work with him a couple of times. What else has he got what, to do? What, John, John, just, uh, just talk to me. How are you doing today, man? Oh, uh, well, what I was just trying to say was as, uh, as y usual, uh, I, I feel like one of that... The, Bitches, Kathy Jeffords used tampons. I, apo I, you know what? I, I, I apologize. You're right. He's better. <laughs> no, do you feel better from the hypnotism? Is that yeah. is that any better? Are you less depressed? Are you are you mm. anything? Seem a little more relaxed. Um, well, well, now the, the that I've come here, all, 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 all my um. All, 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 all my thoughts of low self-esteem have have been drudged up again. Right, right. I yeah. think she made him worse. I think she made him worse. I, 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 I think at one point they said she was trying to get him. Well, I, my interpretation she was trying to get him to cry. She was telling him to let it all out. Uh, Never let it out. Uh, yeah. right. Did he cry? No, he didn't. And that's he ain't gonna thing. cry. He was like, he's a real man. Yeah, I, 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 I,
me. You love you. <laughs> I don't love he doesn't believe that. I hate me. Yeah. I am gentle. Well, I got to admit, hey, Gary, you got to admit, yeah, he's I'm much gentle. better there. Uh, you wheel him around on his back with a blindfold on, he can talk perfectly All right, well. but it's a start. No, it's, it's, it sounds yeah, great. That Although, means he can do it. Come on. Look, that book that you're reading from, what, what's all that from? It's like, from my class. Because it sounds like you should be selling flowers at the airport for the Moonies. Well, sounds like campfire girl. It really sounds, no, get a person. It sounds very um, religious. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. He was, he was speaking no, clearly. He was. That's the point. That was pretty amazing. Do you think he was speaking clearly because she's having you repeat stuff? Can you do it here oh, now? I, if you say stuff. another a line like that, can he repeat it? Uh, yeah, he did. The rain is No, I mean now. All right. All right. Repeat after me. You ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. I truly, truly love myself. I truly, truly hate myself. No, no, no. See, he can no, do no. it. See? He can do it. He can. When you, we don't, when you program him to say something, he's fine. See, see, most of stutterers don't stutter when they have to read. So or when I you sing. To, to, uh, yeah. Right. If you sang, you wouldn't stutter. Right. Oh. Right. Well, then well, sing everything. Right. Why don't you just sing everything? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. So it's lack of confidence in what he's saying. Because I would sound <laughs> like a fag walking around singing everybody. No, you wouldn't. He just sound worse this way. He has to be reprogrammed. All right, well, listen. We're doing. We'll never know until he like, stops studying. He won't stick with it because he'd rather be this way. That's the problem. Well, some people do. Yeah. They stay in their place. Well, oh, oh. Well, well, Howard, the o uh, the only solution for me, for me, unfortunately, oh, he's suicide. better. Suicide. Yeah. It's suicide. Um, no, you don't need suicide. The, the negative. I'll lose you on the show. I'll be doomed. <laughs> what I tried it. Well, Oh, once I failed, though, unfortunately. How did you really? Seven years ago. He, he, ch he, he cut his wrist, but he used an electric razor. <laughs> All he did was chafe. Psychiatric pills. <laughs> Psychiatric pills you used? Yeah. Well, you know, every stutterer we develop wants to leave us. Would yeah. you stay? You just stay and don't kill yourself. Yes, Dominic, go ahead. You're on the air. Dominic Barber, the bloated attorney. Uh, let me tell you something truly about the issue of stuttering, because I really was involved in it and know a lot, a lot of All right, what do you want to say? All right. What happens is actually they always thought it was psychologically caused. But it's not. Too, it's, it's physical. Your mother was too strong. Your father was too weak. But in the last 10 to 15 years, He's they right. found that it's actually, a, it can be a mechanical issue with your brain. No. He's right. Really <laughs> That's what they say about obsessive compulsive. No. Wrong. It is a psychological issue. No, he definitely has no, a mechanical brain. brain. And until you start realizing that, you'll never be cured. If he can sit there and recite like but, that, he well, can speak normal. Of course. Well, it is a psychological well, issue. Schizophrenia is is not, is a, a breakdown brain? of the psychological. No, no, no that's an illness. No, no. That means brain damage. No, no. it is a nervous breakdown. They call it brain damage. No, no. Yes. No. Let me shut up. No, you're saying, that, you're saying that a person is born. You say Robin is saying a person is born with a bad brain that will inevitably lead to schizophrenia. That's right. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. no. What is it, stuttering, John? You can talk to a schizophrenic all you want. You're know, never going to not be. You a both, I think, uh, uh, have a point, Howard. Something traumatic happened in his life. That I don't want to talk about it. I'm done with this. He is not cured. No. <laughs> and that is the end of it. I want to. What is he screaming? Dominic. Dominic, go back to breakfast. I ate breakfast already. All right. He got this. Don't practice the law, Dominic. <laughs> All right. Trudy Beers, thank you for trying at least. John the Stutterer, thank you for trying. I'm sorry you're not cured. But remember, stay alive for us, if okay. anything else. Okay, Howard. If no other reason, stay alive for us. We love you. Okay. But, uh, Howard, yeah. you know when John's alone talking to himself, he doesn't stutter. No, I don't. That's right. Which it proves proves it is psychological. He's got something of, course. of course. That's of course. Of course. Of course. It is. We found it. We just couldn't release it. Of course. You're absolutely right, Trudy. <laughs> Trudy, fine. Trudy, I'm going to release you now. Thank you. All right, and uh, John, the stutter, I'm going to release you. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm. Uh, well, I'm g uh, going t to go home and then now to choke the chicken. So. Right. Yeah. All right. Go choke the chicken. Okay. Give you something to do. Yeah. I bet you doesn't stutter while he's choking. I bet. You. Oh no no. Of course not. No.
And Chuck Andy, Chuck Trudy, wasting your time. Bad. I'm Just sure he enjoyed spending time with a woman. Trudy, though. very attractive woman. A yeah. great set of cans. What are you, a D cup? I have no idea. Oh, I please, don't. you know. <laughs> you buy bras, don't you? Uh, C, probably. Really large C? Holy <laughs> mackerel. C didn't stutter. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll do the news for you. Or can we start now? Let's break first. All right, break first. We'll be back with the news right after this. Uh, 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 hi, this is John Stutter, and, and you're listening to, to Ben Stern's Mentally Disturbed Masturbating Masterpiece. Today, Junior! Howard Stern. I don't know, man, but I read it, though. I got, so I'm a hypocrite. I read all this stuff. I do, too. But I hate when they do it to me. Well, I enjoy reading about you. I hate it. <laughs> I hate when they had me on the cover of the Post. Those son of a bitches, man. It, man, it put me in the doghouse with the kids and everybody. But I, gotta, I, I guess I got to put up with it. R R R Rupert Murdoch he is an ugly old prick. I can't stand a guy. He's a right-wing nut. Well, I would have mind if Rupert Murdoch put himself on the cover of the goddamn newspaper and gave but out his own home address. he's doing his thing, and he doesn't get Oh, everyone's afraid. Yeah. And I kept saying to the Post, I said, I work with you guys, man. I, I do books for HarperCollins. I, I do my TV show, Son of the Beach, for FX. Where's the loyalty here? He's up to things. Talk he about could care, him. He could care less. I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my camera crew out, and I'm going to follow Rupert Murdoch around. But you didn't do it. Why not? Because I'm not a scumbag. Oh. Plus, I want to work for the guy. <laughs> hey, beggars can't be choosers. There's nobody to, you know what? In the show business in, uh, industry now, it's only like five guys you can work for. So you can't get on anybody's key? No. It's crazy. It's crazy. Whole thing's crazy. Hey, hey, Mike Walker's on the phone. I like to keep this guy waiting because he'll be bad about it. He's a very important man. Oh, boy. He is. Hey, Mike, how you doing? I'm doing fine. How More important doing? than the president, you know. Boy, I love Robin. It's really getting, gosh. Robin, you're getting so so pious. In your oh, old age. By the way, I heard. Yeah, she gave it. She gave it to you last week. Uh, yeah, listen, I heard when 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 the host of our show, Jack Maxwell, came on. Right, I heard all this stuff about how good looking he is. Not right? for me. I think you're better looking. Wait, thank you. Know. Yes, I know, Howard. I heard that remark. I do. I thank you. Mike, what did I say? You, you were all over. Oh, you are better looking than Mike. Uh, the first time some blonde-haired white boy comes along, right? Yeah. Uh, did he send you candy, huh? Did no. he ever send you candy? Hey, Mike, let's play the game. Forget about all that look Let stuff. Me say, I said they are all good looking. He's just the best looking of the bunch. Uh, no, Robin, you are so fickle. Man, I suckle Mike whenever I can because he helps me. I'm trying. He won't let me. All right, John the Stutterer, you're going to be our guest celebrity today. Okay. We were supposed to have the chick. From um, what movie was that? This chick, Jamie Presley. Ever hear of her? Oh yeah, she's hot. Yeah, we were supposed to have her sitting in that chair. What movie is she from? I don't know, but I've seen her in magazines, almost naked. I don't Jamie know. Presley did uh, Poison Ivy two, the second, uh, the follow up to uh, Drew Barrymore's uh, oh. movie. Yeah, she's hot as a yeah, pistol. Yeah, very hot. We were gonna have her in. Her? What what happened to her? She bombed out on us. Oh. She thinks she's already big. Thank God for uh, John the Stutterer. She's By the way, I'd like to apologize for a couple of weeks ago. Remember, I didn't. Uh, the phone beside my bed rang and rang, and uh, apparently I had it on vibrate. Wow. Oh. We thought you were in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the first time you ever called me that early, too. But uh, it's eight. No big deal. We're, we're back on track, John the Stutterer. Let's find somebody for you to play with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Mike. How you doing? Fine, man. How are you? Uh, um, that good, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> no tax, it might. All right, let's see if we can't find somebody to play this here gossip game. I'm going to so go give away some money. to Michael. Michael, you're on the air. Hi. Hi, Howard. All right, you got John the Stutterer playing for two airline tickets to anywhere in the continental United States. Ooh. Plus... One thousand dollars cash from Hotwire.com. It's a, it's a great deal. A great trip starts with a great deal, and Hotwire.com is the place to give it to you. So you're playing not only for airline tickets, which but is nice, money. but for cash. Thank you. Now, John the Stutter, all you got to do is pick out the fake story from Mike Walker of the National Enquirer. Also, Mike is the author of Malicious Intent, a great book called Malicious Intent, available in bookstores now or available at Amazon.com. All right, Mike, you're on. All righty. Item number one. 
A female fan of Oprah Winfrey spotted the star out shopping and gushed, where can I get gorgeous eyelashes like yours? In the blink of an eye, Oprah ripped off her fake lashes, handed them to the shocked woman, and said, here, take these. I believe that. Ben Affleck? That. Ben Affleck, you've got mail. A guy looking for empty boxes was poking around in a dumpster behind Ben's Hollywood Hills pad and made an amazing find, a carton packed with nearly 150 fan letters to the star that had never been opened. Should have checked them out, Ben. There were two photos of naked female fans, and one of the girls wrote that she wanted to show you a new way to play post office that would have made you forget how you that you ever knew Gwyneth Paltrow. Now, let me ask you a question. They say that uh, Ben Affleck was out on the town with... Uh... Jerry Seinfeld's own girlfriend, that uh, the woman with the big boobs, Shoshana okay. Lonstein. Is that true? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Number three. Okay, item number three. Is he banging Madonna. her? Madonna. Sorry? Is he banging her? Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not that close to the situation, Howard. Hmm, thought you were. No. What about Ben Affleck and Chelsea Clinton? What was that about? Yeah. Well, that was kind of interesting because that was really something. This girl has an absolute, complete, total crush on this guy. And uh, I, you know, wouldn't be terribly surprised if something went on there. you got to be kidding really? me. He don't want her. Oh. But he's I did, the, you well, know, she's the president. So now. what? Now, Howard, you know, come on. Come on. Maybe come on. he doesn't want there. her on a permanent basis, but I'm not saying that. I don't believe it. What's going on with your phone? So like somebody... wait, wait a minute. Are, Are you in a fight? I'm sorry? Is Skippy over there tasering you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Something going on with your phone. Go ahead, number three. All right, item number three. Madonna just gave one of her girlfriends a birthday present worth $1 million. The material girl showed up with three musicians at the woman's L.A. home and sang a medley of her hits. Oh. And that's exactly what a European businessman recently asked Madonna to do at his birthday party for $1 million, but she turned him down flat. Madonna sang at somebody's birthday party? Mm -hmm. And she got paid? One no. million dollars. No, she didn't get paid. Oh, okay. It was worth a million dollars. Go ahead. A million dollar present. Okay. Fairy Godfather Department. Despite all that porky's packing, Marlon Brando gets a little light in the loafers for his starring role as a gay blade in The Score. Insiders say Brando's hilariously believable playing a swishy villain who fences stolen merchandise, sporting bleach blonde hair, custom made pearly white choppers, and a diamond pinky ring. Here's what we got, John the Stutterer, and, uh,. I'll let Michael uh, advise you as well. You got Oprah Winfrey just whipping off her fake eyelashes and giving them to a fan. You got Ben Affleck who doesn't open up his fan mail. Too bad he didn't because there were two photos of naked chicks. Madonna sang at a birthday party. That's worth like a million bucks. And Marlon Brando is playing a gay dude in a movie and he's very believable in it. Uh, all those are very tricky stories. Uh, John the Stutter, do you have any thoughts on this? You're, um, you're playing for Michael. Go ahead. Uh, um, well, well, well. Uh, well, you, you, usually the uh, usually the most plausible sounding story is the uh, false one. John, so it's I'm, almost Christmas Eve. I was going to say, is right. it next week already? Yeah. Um, I, don't we have to? So oh, didn't we miss the weekend? <laughs> sorry, I have right plans. Um, Go ahead. Um, so I'm. Thinking of the Madonna one. Madonna one. You think that's fake? Yeah. All right, John. What do you think of that, Michael? You think he's right? Uh, well, well, Madonna. I think she would sing, and and I think she would give a gift. But I I think the Oprah story is totally fake. Well, John, the stutter is the one you're banking on, and he's going to choose the Madonna story. Let's hope he's right, because then you cool win. for me. All right. Uh, I I got to tell you something. I I agree with John, the stutterer. Yeah. I don't believe that Madonna is a giving person. I don't believe that she's going to sit and sing like a dancing monkey. Uh, I do believe the part that maybe somebody offered a million bucks to do it, but I do not believe that she she's sang. Up and sang at somebody's party. I'm going with John the Stutterer. Go ahead, Robin. I think I'm going with you. I okay. believe that Ben Affleck doesn't read his mail, and I believe that Oprah can rip off her lashes, and Marlon's probably playing a gay dude. Yeah, I mean, uh, what else is left for him? <laughs> Be a big, fat, gay guy. Jackie, what do you say? Uh, I don't agree with anybody. I think I read that Marlon Brando is playing a homo, and uh, I oh, think wow. Madonna would sing at her friends. And the Oprah thing's so stupid, it's probably true. And I think uh, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is the uh, fake one. I think he gets his letters at the office. Probably other people open them. They're not at his house, and that's obviously the fake one. Well, Jackie makes a good story. Makes like a good point. The, 
fan mail goes to the Joke Land office, not my home. John, oh. yeah, yeah, Jackie Jack has the same operation as. Uh, <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah, uh, John, I the stutterer. Uh, what do you think of what Jackie just said? You losing confidence in your, your decision? Um. Well, I, I, I love, I, I, I love Jackie. I, oh. I, but uh, he's an alcoholic drunk, so I, 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 I'll come over there. You uh, ass. All right, go ahead, Fred. Shut up. <laughs> yes, Fred. I don't think Ben takes the fan letters home. I think someone reads them for him. So I'll say Madonna. Madonna also. All right. So we all um, think Madonna, except for Jack who says Ben Affleck. And let's go to the expert of gossip, the maven of talk. Let's go to Mike Walker. All right. Well, uh, only uh, one uh, deviant here. Uh, <laughs> or rather, one person deviating from the norm. Sorry, Jackie. Right. Uh, but Jackie is uh, absolutely right. Oh. His, I can't believe it. His answer is, is right. His, his analysis, unfortunately, is wrong. Um, I base this on the fact that this has happened in two or three cases. I've even reported cases of stars who uh, throw away their fan mail hmm. unopened. I thought you said he threw it away at his house, though. Yeah, at his house. He did. He did it, it say that. It does happen. They'll send, you know, there are some stars will say, oh, I'd like to see them. They send them over. And a lot of people have assistants at their house, Jackie. Well, let me just say that uh, Jackie's explanation made sense. I really thought it was the Madonna one. It, you it had does to make some sense. Jackie is right, but Madonna it has actually happened. actually did that. She went and sang at somebody's house. I yeah. think mm -hmm. if you counted up all the times Jackie's been right, he's got to be, he is amazing at this game. Yeah, Jackie is, uh, has a very good, very good record. Robin once had a good streak going, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's twice Jackie, in a row. Uh, yeah. Robin sometimes gets it, but the, yeah. the problem is uh, uh, she goes horribly wrong sometimes. And too. you can't count all the times that she says, oh, I was going to say that. Oh, shut <laughs> up. That might be more well, I'm so, you know what I feel bad for? I feel bad for uh, Michael. Yeah. You didn't get to win the thousand dollars in the yeah. airline tickets. I want to thank our friends over at um, um, uh, Hotwire dot com who just line up all that great air travel. Uh, sorry there, Michael. Oh, it's okay. All right. Well, there, there's it was a, a nice try. Go yeah. back to being a loser. Okay, that sounds really bum. That's a bummer. Mike Walker, you are a winner. Uh, Malicious Intent, The Hollywood Fable, is uh, everyone is reading it. I understand they're trying to make it into a movie. That is correct, sir. They're fighting over the rights right now as well, we speak. Well, not exactly fighting, but looking good. That's right. Well, Jackie being in the business would like to get oh, it yeah. on that. And see Mike Walker on uh, TV. National Choir un Uncovered. That's right. Thanks, Mike. Okay, thanks, guys. There he goes, the top guy, Mike Walker. Ooh. Now I know. Now I know. Me too. Thanks, Mike Walker. You're listening to the man who thinks he knows everything. Howard Stern. And John the Stutterer, it's always good seeing you. Oh, uh, um, well, 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 it's great, um, saying, saying you, my God and hero. Well, that's very nice. Hey, let me ask you a quick question. You, the last time you were here, we had you set up to do a makeover. Yeah. And I understand you did not show up for the makeover because some women had insulted you and it drove you into a rage. And you were yes, so dis some C's. Some C's. You were so depressed what, what that you, you would not leave about? your house. Tell us what happened. Uh oh 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 um well I went out to a Philly my club and I uh, approached uh, some C's and they um <laughs> And, 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 um, they, uh, made fun of my stuttering, called me a stuttering retard, so. They called you stuttering retard, yeah. And yeah. so you couldn't come out for days after that? Right, yeah. Yeah, he would not come out. He would not come out for his makeover. Yeah. Never heard that before. Yeah. Well, that... Uh, oh, well, what what happened? Scheduled. You hit on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to... F trying to be friendly. Pick them up, yeah. Were you rude? Uh, uh, no, of course not. What'd you do? What'd you say? Um, well, I asked them if I could buy them a drink, and they just laughed and called me a stuttering retard. Oh. Well, that is not nice. They're all, uh, they're all a bunch of F and C's. Well, let me tell you something. It's hard to believe that a woman would make fun of you. Uh, you think they'd have some compassion? Right to his face. You know? Right. I don't know what went wrong, but uh, I'll tell you who is coming in here next. Erica the Gymnast. Do you remember her? Holy mackerel. Right. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, I'll, let, maybe I'll let you stick around. I'll let you take a look at her. She just got her new breast implants. Sounds great. Uh, 
I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I uh, I hate <laughs> to ask. <laughs> the, uh, uh, okay, I'll t- let him talk, Fred. Uh, 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 slow. Okay. Right. Um, I-, I hate to ask this uh, of you, Howard, because you <laughs> because you've been so kind. Thank you. To me. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> The, could I sit in for the... Mm, that, you know, would that be possible? Or? Well, let's see. Let's see. I'll let you sit in okay. for the gymnast. We'll see we'll how see things how go. Do. i got to take a break. What is the case? Hey, Howard, before you take a break, John always has, like, the best jokes. Did you bring any jokes with you this time? Uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. How long is a chink? How long is a chink? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. How long is a chink? Uh, That's right. How long? Oh, get how it? Long how long? Get it? get it? How long? Yeah, how long? Oh, how, how long, long is a chink? How long? Oh, 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 o
Joel and he's the colorist. colorist. Right. And we actually have another partner named uh, Roxana Pintelli, and she's a uh, manicurist. And everybody thinks like uh, Edward's gay, but he's not. He bangs all the hottest chicks. Yeah. yeah. And he has to. Right. To prove he's not gay. You're like Warren Beatty in shampoo, right? <laughs> I used to be like Warren Beatty in shampoo. <laughs> you oh, you come down now? Oh, you married? Uh, married 13 now. years, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... A 10-year-old boy, I'm good. Oh, really? He retired. I'm good. I retired. What's that about a 10-year-old boy? I have a 10-year-old boy. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, okay. He has a son. What? He's married to a model. Oh, you're married to a model. Well, that's I'm not yeah. stupid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if he's going to give up his title, <laughs> it might as well be to a real winner. So Edward was in charge of the haircut. Did he have a tough head of hair to cut? Actually, his hair was very, very fine. Yes. And in that respect, it's tough. Right. But he's a good-looking kid underneath. Yes, I mean, he is. Really, Way when you really underneath. break it down and look at him, that's right. a, he, he has good structure. All right. Now, let me introduce you to, from spa treatment, this is Jillian. Right, Jillian? Yes. And spa treatment provided a uh, skin conditioning... Glow skin spa. Glow oh, skin yeah. spa. Take all the dead skin off. You exactly. got all, <laughs> that must have taken you years. Honestly, when I saw him, I, I said, you know, I bet you use soap on your face. And he said, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I said, Is it bad to use soap on your face? Get closer to that microphone. Um, really bad. Too. It's bad. Yeah. Huh. It um it ruins the pH level of your skin. Really? Yeah, you should use some sort of like cleansing milk or something that's a little bit more gentle. Um, really? I even him. guys. Even huh? Edward's even guys. nodding his head. Yes, is that true? Yeah, it is. You don't use. What dog? do you use, Edward? Uh, you're beautiful skin, Edward. <laughs> yeah. What do you use? Uh, cleansing, cleansing soaps. Cleansing soaps. Right, specially made for your it's, skin. It's okay if it foams a little bit, but um, uh -huh. we used a purifying cleanser on him. And Dove is no good? No. I use that. Not I'm gorgeous. Not for your well, face. No, what I was going to say is that he has gorgeous skin. I said, you're not leaving me with much because you've got great skin. So he was in pretty good, he was in pretty good shape skin wise. Mm. We did extractions. We did a papaya. Extractions. extractions. That's where they pop your pop zip. Yeah. We, I mean, we had a great time. He was like, extractions. That's a nice word for <laughs> yeah, pop and zip. Right. I like that. What is it, Scott? I want to say that Jillian's company also does waxing. Mm -hmm. And I had my disgusting back hair waxed off. Did you really? Yeah, let me see. Lift up your shirt. Let me yeah. see what's doing back there. What did, why don't you do your front, too? You got a lot of discussion. I, I asked hair. her about that. And what'd she say? We didn't have time because John was coming in. So oh. but that's next week. Let, Let me see. Look at his back. Oh, oh clean as a baby. Now, how long is that going to last? Wow. It'll wow. last about two weeks and it'll grow back a lot thinner and not as coarse. And really? Yep. You yep. should have done his bikini line, too. <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, a mild form of torture. <laughs> yep. Did it hurt? Where'd he go? He Did it hurt? He didn't act like it did. It hurts a bit, and then you get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. And we like it. I like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Laura is here, because she had to do the uh, clothing. From the, And you're from GuyShop.com. GuyShop.com and GirlShop.com. He needed help with his clothes. He doesn't know how to dress. John walked in with a members-only jacket. Right. 20 from, years old. Yeah, from the 80s. <laughs> right. So he needed a little help. He needed a little updated. All right. Yeah. So you guys worked on it. All right. Let's say hello to the John the Stutterer. John. The new John the Stutterer. Oh, well, let me say that we had three outfits for him. Okay, what is he coming in first, do you know? First, he's coming in sort of a club look. So he has Ooh, a club look. A metallic leather top on, snake skin vest, and studded pants. Wow, a club look. Let me see this. <laughs> so this is Studio 54, John. Oh. <laughs> you see that club look? Wow, look at you. Oh, look at you. Oh, and you got some new glasses. Man. Same guy. <laughs> she still Shut stutters, up, though, right? <laughs> Shut up, Jackie, you pothead. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is your club look. Yeah, i got to say, it's a much improved look for you, isn't it? I also like the hair. Yeah, the hair looks good, and the new glasses are much better. Yeah. They're not those big, giant aviator glasses. Yeah. Take off that moon jacket for a second. Let me see what they're doing underneath uh, the jacket. Um, uh, uh, I'm... Uh, I'm a fat. I don't want to... You're fat? Yeah. How did you get fat? Like, my breast and my belly. Oh, I see. All right, see, okay. I don't want to expose it. Nah. He's not firm. I can't do that. So, uh, why did we make you over? I don't even know why we did that. Oh, it, well, it, it it was Doug's idea. It wasn't Doug. Doug, remind it me to fire idea, you. Yeah. <laughs> I should really fire Doug. Who cares if John the Stutter is made over? Your okay, hair is funny, much, yeah, much better. It was a mess, and it's always fun to do these things. And You should keep going to uh, Edward for uh, haircuts. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, uh, well, uh, Howard, um, I, 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 I must uh, emphasize the point. Um, <laughs> the uh, hair's great and the clothes are great, but I still f feel like crap. <laughs>
You don't. Oh, you don't yeah. feel good inside. No, it didn't make you no feel- I feel. I feel like one of that bitches Kathy Lee Gifford <laughs> used tampons. Really? Oh, That's how bad you, don't you feel. feel. Any better? Well, it, well, no. Um. Well, Robin, no. The, uh, as, as I said, uh, uh, Edward <laughs> did a fantastic job with with the hair, but unfortunately, <laughs> like I have a, t- uh, uh, I have a, a <laughs> tiny head, so to sm- um, uh, Sorry, I I hate you, Doug. Um, <laughs> so hit him again. So to short. I know so, I'm going to later. So <laughs> so the, so, so, well, you look like shut 15, up, Fred, man. You look oh, like no. she, Fred's driving me crazy. You look like fifteen bucks. I swear you do. See, um, I'm saying if he shut up and never said a word, just stood at a bar quietly. So how you could, he could get a girl? Oh yeah, so women how? would come up to him. We tried so that. We took him out on the street. Hold yeah? on, John. We we took him out on the street. Yeah, they're all. Uh, uh, yeah, all the girls Hot said. Hot chicks are all. Uh, uh, they're all a. A bunch of F and C's. I can't stand them. Wow, you're angry. You're angry yeah. with women. Yeah. yeah, you don't like to be rejected. What happened? Well, a lot of the women said, "Hey, he's a nice looking guy," but they wouldn't go out with him. Yeah, see, it it just it just brought back memories of of all the times in the past when I have gone to clubs and girls have called. And well, you girls are good looking. Wouldn't it be hard? Retard. We'd be honest. Wouldn't it be hard to date uh, John because of his unusual stutter and tics? Well, I have to say that when when I met John, he really didn't stutter. I feel like when he's on the camera, when he's on the phone, he tends to stutter more. Yeah. He wasn't stuttering that much yesterday. I he wasn't. He was I very, do think he's calm, a... Very, he was very calm. Nice, very, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, Howard. He's really mellow. Mellow. Yeah. And he's a good-looking guy. Howard. Yeah, I thought he looked uh, like a scholar. Yeah, but you still want to go Howard. Yeah. Howard, you know that... <laughs> ha- Howard. Yeah. Howard, listen. You know as well as I do, the, these two beautiful ladies wouldn't touch me w- uh, with a... <laughs> well, you have a... You have a, you have a million real foot real complex. Because you have a chip on your shoulder. Who wants to go near you when you're so See, bitter? No, n- no, Howard. These girls I, don't want to be yelled at and screamed. No, but... No, no. No, when I no no no. <laughs> okay, now listen. Okay, right. okay, now listen. Now, what other looks do you when have? When I yeah. I approach I, women at clubs, I approach I, them very I de- demurely, and I simply <laughs> say, "Hi, my name's John. Can I buy you a drink?" And it's just, and of course, I stutter horribly, and I'm shaking, and right. they, you know, they well, walk maybe you away should try course, maybe. Cold calling in a bar is a very difficult thing, even for the best-looking guy. It's very difficult. Yeah, with the what music going? He, do? he needs he to do? take up a sport or an activity where girls will get to well, know him. Like well, why can that skank Ralph get laid? He's a skank. Well, he gets He's laid. He's a big nose, berry face stuff. Uh, but he has a rap with the chicks. He's a. He, he doesn't stutter. He uh, <laughs> right. Ralph. Uh, Ralph is an ugly. Berry face, <laughs> big nose, snaggle tooth, <laughs> lisping. Bisexual douchebag, <laughs> and I hope he gets pancreatic cancer. Oh. He never stuttered. Oh. Oh. I hope that skank gets pancreatic cancer. Well, you are very. I hope he gets pancreatic cancer. Oh. And the sorry. most deadly form of cancer there is. Oh, you see, you and, Ralph, him. and if you are listening, I want to box you on the show, as I said at the MTV Awards, and I will knock you out cold. It'll be the great. It'll be the highest rated show ever because 99.9% of Howard's audience hates you, Skank. So if you're listening right now, call in or come uh, down right. and I will you beat the obs- crap out of you. Why be obsessed with Ralph? And I will beat the crap out of you. What did he do to you? You're mad that he gets laid? He's a laid? Skank. He's a Skank. Howard. Yeah. Do you notice when he says, I'll beat the crap out of Ralph, that, that he doesn't stutter at all? He just talked for two minutes hey, about I get mad, out. Jackie. That's why, though. See, you should stay mad. See, yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's a oh, spine. It it's a spine. It, <laughs> it's gone. That moment is gone. It's a spontaneous uh, uh, explosion. All right, all right. But well, you have a lot of anger in you. Jack? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, John the Stutterer has been remade. I have to yeah, congratulate. Right. You look good. I have to congratulate the team again. Thank you. Uh, I know you had your work cut out for you. You guys are geniuses. Was his hair colored at all? Yes. We did color it. Yeah. You did? He's got highlights. We put, we put highlights and a toner on it to, to take the dryness out of his hair. And it makes it look a little thicker, too, doesn't it? It's it, it does thicker enough. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, it, it, well, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> why, uh, why the emphasis is about... Why, 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 
fly a small head, though. No, it doesn't. No, it, you're insane. <laughs> you don't know what oh, it emphasizes. You look cute. You're worried exactly. about a small head. Oh, 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 okay, Robin. If I look cute, you, you, you don't... <laughs> <laughs> well, man, you're going too far. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. X, take what you can get. Well, listen, she, she said you look cute. She didn't say she wanted she, to go to bed with no, you. No, this is well, a, no. a big leap. Well, no, she should don't... <laughs> Mr. X... I think you he's know, gonna meet more girls this way. You do, absolutely. No, I don't you. think so. I, I think so. He's gonna meet fat more, girls. He's gonna meet more girls. Fat girls. girls. So you'll meet some fat girls. No. Why? The nice no fat companion will be good. No for way. You. <laughs> so sit on you. Keep you quiet. No <laughs> well, the let me model say. in the salon. Yes. After we we made him over. All lies. Came over, right? And she said he looks great. Lies. Yeah. Lies. What yeah, lies? He could have said that. Come on, every girl. If they think he looks good, to date him, they they could say you look well, good. Well, you, have to date you know who I've gets had girls? So many b bad experiences. You know who gets in, girls? In the past. You know who gets girls? That guy, that Stephen Hawking's guy, gets laid. Yeah, because he's got something. He's going in a wheelchair. On. Well, who's he? He's the guy in the wheelchair getting uh, the car. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. That genius dude. The guy's in prison. <laughs> guys in prison get laid. But, yeah. But, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah but, but those guys. In... <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> Her, Calm down, you're going to explode. Are, uh, <laughs> gonna are, are, but those guys in prison are uh, homos. Well, here is a before <laughs> photo of you. This is your before, and look at you now. <laughs> See? Gorgeous. Much you're much cleaned up. The, the, He's hipper. I want to say Edward Tricomi, you did a great job. Thank you. Uh, and, and thank you to Edward from Warren Tricomi. You should really get over there for a haircut if you want, because if they can make him look decent, right? Wait, they can make anybody. They with you? Right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and your skin, uh, uh, and your skin oh. is glowing. Uh, 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 you, oh, you, how many Pollocks oh. uh, does it? Uh, how many Pollocks does it take to screw in a light bulb? Jackie, I, I'm gonna let John have his fun right here. Go ahead, okay, how many? Jackie, too many to count. Get it? Get it? Too many to count? All right. uh, Get it? Your skin is glowing <laughs> thanks to Jillian. Jillian, you've done a fine job here. Thank you. Could I also say... Yes, that please. If you can't get to Glow Skin Spa, I have a beauty website that you can buy all of your amazing uh, holiday gifts on. Would that be spacadet.com? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> but it's really I'm on there all the time. It's really, really fun because not only can you get awesome bath and spa yes. products, but you can get products called Total... Can I say the B word? Total bitch? Yes. Total bitch <laughs> soap and wash away your sins. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really, know that. Really Total fun. bitch <laughs> soap. Girl bubble bath and loofah loafers. And, really? Um, I wonder if Edward Tricomi uses any of that. <laughs> I think she's onto something, man. <laughs> yeah. like really funky, fresh, and fabulous. Fun things that are good for you. Out of control. <laughs> and Laura, you did a great job with this uh, high-tech uh, outfit yeah. for uh, John the Stutterer at GuyShop.com. You can go shop on the internet for clothes now? You can shop for clothing, and we have great gifts for holiday. And I'd like to plug my other two websites. All right, go ahead. Girl you shop. deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> Look what you had to work with here. This guy, you're ready to explode, See, my friend. You're starting from scratch. You seem angry about the makeover. I thought you'd be a happier guy. Go ahead, As I said, Howard, they did... They did a fantastic job. They it's did. Just that, it's oh, just that stop putting I'm yourself down. I'm a psychological down. and You have problems. That's you true. Make over but your you're mind. not a bad-looking yeah. guy. Oh, yes, I am. I've seen a lot worse. Look at the guy standing next to you. For <laughs> All right. You know, Burrell. I was feeling that way yesterday. Or that skank rail. You probably made him oh, feel man, good for the did. day. We did. We did. Did We're, you rub his face personally? I did the facial. You did. Yeah. And um, when she did you get did you get aroused? Stiffy, yeah. You did. I knew it. Uh, yeah, I got a stiffy. <laughs> <laughs> do not, do not say See, that. Jillian, do not say that. That's what was going on. Yeah. No. I was uh, no, no. no. By the way, can I tell you something? I was something? hoping for. Uh, I was hoping oh, no. for. A happy ending? Yeah, a happy ending. Yeah, all right, listen to me. <laughs> she ain't giving you no happy ending. Thank you a happy much, ending. Bye. I got to tell you something. I saw the tape of you at the clothing store getting remade, you know, yeah. getting it done over. The guy, they put on a nice pair of uh, gray slacks on this guy. He, he, he stops because he has to go to the bathroom. He has to pee. He comes back. There's a big wet stain <laughs> on his crotch. No, there wasn't. Oh, you want to see the tape? <laughs> no, no. You got to see it. <laughs> You got a wipe or something, like a girl. <laughs> what you got to do is shake it a little. Oh, here yeah. you go. Look. Oh, well, I <laughs> Look at the <laughs> well, I <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> what happened? You were in a rush? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, to a... Uh, 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 all right, all right, listen to me. Uh, 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 and to keep my skin so great, I drink... T- Tons and tons of water. Good all right, all right. Uh, Laura, you were plugging your, soap. you were, yeah, don't, don't use soap. Laura, please uh, plug the. Uh, okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. What were those uh, uh, clothing places? Uh, Girlshop.com. It's for women. Great, funky, cool clothing. Funky, I like. Funky, you yes. love it. We brought a, a tote bag from girlshop.com for Robin. Oh, thank you. tote bag. And actually, Howard, we'd love to get you something from Guy Shop. So. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about you, honey? <laughs> Grab you up, he'll take you home. And I actually brought you a, a spa basket for the holiday. You did? Oh, isn't that nice? Thank you. Yeah. I can use, Go home and do with, yourself a face. I need to folate. Did you get him some bitch soap? <laughs> did you get me bitch soap? I did. Because I want that. I've got you use it, really? Oh, bitch soap's the best. Really? Awesome. I've got the soap and the cream. <laughs> Wash away your sins, so although I don't think you. you have very many, do you? I, oh, please. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> right. A lot of time for sinning. Yeah, it's probably time for a bath. <laughs> and again, uh, thanks to Cone's Fashion Optical on 57th Street. Yeah. John the Stutterer, congratulations on your new wild look. Good. This well, is a new you. I hope you you look at Well, the- Howard, what? Howard, yes. you, uh, you are my god and hero. Oh, isn't that nice? Ra- uh, Robin is a beautiful black f- princess, and Jackie and Fred is z- <laughs> a- 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 after <laughs> you. And Jackie and Fred. Jackie and Fred. Jackie and Fred. Okay. All right. Okay. Why don't we end it now? Jackie and Fred after you. I know you hate Ralph. The two greatest comedians minds ever. All right. Well, I don't know well, about I that. Well, I hope he looks in the mirror and starts to feel better about himself. Yeah, I do, too. Yeah, I think, that the, do. I think this team has really uh, helped. You, you've done a, a, what they call a mitzvah. Well, you, you've, you've actually gone ahead and uh, uh, in some way improved his life. Step, yeah, this is, a, this, is a, this is a charity case. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Just one last thing. This, uh, I told this joke before. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, uh, I got to no, go. No, but it's so good. You it, must tell it again. No air guitar, please. Ah. Look, I gotta go. There's repeating. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. What is, oh, okay, what is the best way to get a woman to perform fellatio? Go to a, get a spa facial treatment? No, no. Well, this, that's yeah. a terrible, terrible no, joke. No, it's not. It's funny. That's, that, that implies a rape of some kind. And yeah. But it's Violence. funny. It's not funny. There's you, nothing you funny. You shaking violently is funny. Yeah. What's funny is watching you. <laughs> All right, listen. Holy All man. right, you tried to do you some jokes. him holding a gun to somebody's head. He'd oh, shoot man. everybody but he'd shoot himself. Right, he'd shoot himself. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I want to thank uh, all our friends here, Edward, Jillian, and Laura, and uh, John the Stutterer. Good luck to you. Thank you for your new look. And I have to take a break, and then we're going to try and do something a little bit more highbrow next. Like what? Highbrow. Yeah, we're going to um, talk to a guy who likes to uh, be thrown up on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're crazy. And uh, then we'll be back. I'm Jackie the Joke Man Martley. I'm on the air for the duration of the show, and I've been full-time with Howard since 1986. I write lines for Howard, I get abused, and I laugh my ass off when I'm not the one being attacked. I also endure Fred and Howard doing my voice 24 hours a day. F my cohorts. And by the way, no, I don't hate Robin. What is it? Uh, what is your name? KC. Hey, I was during a commercial, you were doing this commercial for this. Uh, it was some. Yeah, John was telling racist monkey. jokes. Oh, oh, and by the way, we brought a John the Stutterer out here. Uh, uh, ha, 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 Howard. Let me preface by saying I am no, I am in no way a racist. Ah, I, I. So you do this I for am, one reason. You know I what? Am, if you are a I racist, am. I understand it. Uh, no, you, if, uh, you're the racist. only person allowed on this planet to be a racist. I am extremely liberal politically, and Jackie has told racially tinged. Give him them. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. All I said was when you were doing the commercial. Should I say a case? Yes. Okay. <laughs> when you when you were doing a commercial for the monkey mon- thing, I, I see, see the monkey. Uh, 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 it's a beautiful stuffed monkey. Yeah, and what I said, yes. and what I told Case was it resembles Spike Lee. That's all. Oh, uh, that's your racist joke. Yeah, see, that's not see, a joke. See, see, <laughs> see, but I know that you guys, that you guys, especially Robin, 
despise Spike Lee, and I also despise him. He's a little bug-eyed peanut uh, chimp. Oh, no. Oh, that's Sorry not about right. that. That's uh, not right. Uh, no, that's I, not right. I, uh, no. You know, Howard I am in no way a racist, Howard. No, Please. no. I'm, I'm not a racist. You just call the black guy a chimp. You don't stutter either. You just proved it. Howard, Howard, political correct. Political correctness has run wild. Okay? Not, not out of your mouth. <laughs> Everything's running wild out of your mouth, but not Wait, that. Bill Moore has a show called Politically Incorrect. Right. You know? Okay. But he doesn't call people chips. <laughs> yeah. You know what I did think of it? Uh, the other day, they got on Bill Maher's case for calling, uh, re comparing retarded children to dogs. So, well, yes, yeah, see. But the show is called Politically Incorrect. Yeah, well, forget uh, that. See, see, well, I think that that was wrong, though, because... Because retarded people are helpless victims, but Spike Lee is an arrogant black racist. Yeah, he doesn't know his place. Hey, Howard, <laughs> there you go. He what is, is it, Casey? He's a follower of Farrakhan. Howard, in between uh, John's racial slurs, he was telling me that he really hates Ralph, too. Yeah. Oh, no. he, 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 he keeps that. going on with What is Ralph? your obsession with Ralph? What did well, he do? Where, By the way, where are you well, staying I, in Los Angeles? Are you, are you at the hotel with us? <laughs> oh, the, yeah. No, I wish I were. Um, no, no, I'm staying way up. across town at a place called the Crown po uh, Crown Plaza, and it's, and it's a very nice place. But Casey can vouch for me. I I I, I waited about five hours today to get to. Checked in. There's a <laughs> bunch of foreigners. Were, I can't uh, imagine people treat you badly. There. There's foreigners. Well, <laughs> checking there. them in. <laughs> and, and the cab driver who drove me um, from 15 uh, miles away. Uh, I was. I spent 33 dollars for a cab, and it was this. And it was this, <laughs> and it was this foreigner who could, uh, who could barely speak English. See, <laughs> see, did, you, did you talk to him at all? My, no, no, see, 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 right. see, my speech may not be fluent, right. but I am a very articulate, intelligent guy. Yes. I am. Yes. Okay. Well, so is that see, Gary can test that, right? Yeah, well, so, so when you speak to him, did he think something was wrong with you? Oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course he did, yeah. <laughs> what is your problem with Ralph? Well, what did he do to you? Well, I want to reiterate <laughs> that you are a a burry faced <laughs> a, a burry faced big nose snaggle tooth lisping douchebag bisexual and and people call KC gay you're gay straight guys don't don't dress like women and they don't and he stopped stuttering and, <laughs> and and your best friends aren't transvestites and transsexuals. Look, look. Douchebag, I think you got me confused with douche somebody. Douchebag, no, no douchebag. You're the guy. Uh, what did he do to you? Guy. He did nothing. You're right. the guy He's who hangs out with transvestites and transsexuals. They are your best friend. Pervidia, uh, Fabian, who's the other guy? Straight guys Dude, don't. This guy's in love with me. Straight guys don't hang out with freaks like that, right, Kate? Yeah. Right, Kate? Perfidia or why are they freaks? Or Patricia of Fields. Why are they freaks? They're freaks. Wait, you're, you're mad? You're mad? Wait a second. You're mad at Ralph? Freaks like you. Wait. Why are they freaks? Wait. You're mad at Ralph? John, you douchebag. John, you're mad at John. And Howard. You're mad at. And you are. And you are. And you are a blood sucking leech who uses. Howard. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah, are you mad? Are you if, I, if I'm friends with all these weirdos and faggots, Howard and I are good friends, so how do you explain that, stupid? Shut up, douchebag. Oh, oh, that's a good answer. Oh, that's a good answer. Oh, I thought you were so articulate. Oh, no, douchebag. <laughs> Wait a minute, John. You, what happened to your you are, liberalism? You are a... You <laughs> Why are you mad? Shut up, you racist. You, you are racist. a very faced, big nose, snaggle tooth list. Why are you, why are you mad? Snaggle. You ugly douchebag. Why are you... you John, John. Douchebag. John. Look at him smiling. Why are you... Snaggle tooth bastard. John, why are you wow. mad? Why are you why, mad at why, a guy... Why, why are you he, so upset with because me? Because he's gay? a blood-sucking... Uh, because he's a blood-sucking leech. I think I actually it's felt crazy. sorry for Ralph last night at the Super Bowl party. He had to walk oh. through the balcony, and everyone was yelling, faggot. <laughs> yeah, faggot, faggot. What is wrong with, why would you, why would you, I think everybody. you're a liberal. You homo. <laughs> you homo. Do you not like gay people, John? No. No. 
I am. Do you want to do some racist gay, gay I just jokes? can't stand him. Oh. <laughs> That's all. All right. All right. And, and We've listen, had enough. And listen, KC does not hang around with Perfidia, Fabian, and. And, uh, <laughs> and who? Who's uh, uh, who? Oh, who's oh, who? Oh, who's oh, who's oh, hanging around with huh? Dana? Oh. What? And, huh? and that what? time, what? and that time what? when Dana was on the show, he was sitting and rubbing her forearm, <laughs> and you can watch the tape, Howard. Straight guys don't do that. Your friends are freaks, and you're a freak. <laughs> All right, I think we had enough. Thank you, Casey. You can sit him down. All right, that's it. Okay. Dude, you're watching. You're watching me a little too closely. You're watching me a little too closely. I think you're a homo, dude. You homo. You homo. Why don't you go have sex with Dana? Go have sex with Dana. All right, thank you, John. Go have sex with your best friend, Dana. You can't even keep the microphone away from Dana. Wow, you know a lot about wow. Ralph. You know an awful lot about me, dude. Holy mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> He's not done with Ralph. Right. Him unless I, d- I didn't say him, Dude, but if but you weren't retarded, I would get upset with you. But I'm giving you oh, a pass. F you, F you, F you, <laughs> okay. F you, you That's homo, good. you <laughs> homo. All right, John, you homo. You're Diana, Diana, Perfidia, Patricia Fields, straight guys, <laughs> straight guys do not hang out with freaks like that. Dude, seriously, why? Oh, you're F you, weird. F you, you what? big nose what? snaggle tooth. What why fuels you, this, Howard? Fuel? What fuels him? You must he's have done real. something. He's really he's upset. Upset. Uses you, Howard. Really? But John, I don't feel very used. And he's also an arrogant, conceited douche. But can you ca- And he criticizes girls. Let he, Gary ask you a question. He, he is an ugly right. douchebag. Can you calm down for just a second? Because I, re- I, I do have a question, because this is okay, interesting. Okay, go ahead. Okay, did anything... Cool, did, I, I, no, I like I you. you. I like. Gary. Did anything happen... Specifically between you and Ralph, any sort of an incident where he or did said look like someone no. that did, did something to you? Well, no. Or well, someone no. You like? uh-huh. well, no. Like? What did you say, fag? <laughs> you faggot? Oh, you faggot? Did you, you, know, did, did you have you, somebody you assault you? No, he's a douchebag. No. No, Howard, right. like 99.9% of your audience, I can't stand it. Stand up. And why do those guys... I, 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 All right, you look, you I want you to calm down. Retard. I want you to calm you down. You dumb, inarticulate... <laughs> all right, all right, calm him down. Come, take the microphone away. All right, okay. Uh, should I go get him like a drink of water? Yeah, he needs a drink of water. Howard, I swear, I didn't, I didn't provoke it at all. You He's in a trip. And, and he goes, he goes well, Ralph, 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 I turn. He, cr- he clearly... I, I, I will <laughs> see you. I don't, I swear, I don't, I don't want him near me because I'll hit him. What? You do uh, I don't want him. <laughs> all right, all right, let's you, let's, let's. you retard. Bye bye, retard. I'm not going anywhere. Bye bye, retard. I'm not going to retard. <laughs> you big nose queer. <laughs> you ugly big. All right, and, it's and time to have sex thing. with Diana. He's sitting there rubbing her arm. <laughs> straight guys don't do that. You know what? Come on. Hey, douchebag. That's straight that's guys gay. don't sit and watch other guys that's like you. That's gay, douchebag. You, so you, do, you retard. All right, you obviously this has gone horribly. You are so in love with right. me, you little fag. You're a retard. All right, there might be something going on. You want me to kiss you, don't you? You want me to kiss you, don't you, you big fag? I'm not going to, though. John's going to get a drink of water. All right, Ralph, why don't you go relax? (laughs) Go to the other side of the building. Go get him a drink of water. Clearly you're upset. Get him a glass of water. Oh, my goodness, they're walking him out of the studio. I just wanted to go relax, because... He's still ranting. He's still flipping the bird. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Ralph, obviously you don't have a fan there. Turn What'd you say? You don't think I can turn him around? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> hang out. Usually, you know, I'd say there could be peace, but I don't think so in this case. All right, John the Stutterer is in the ring with you. We decided to do a rock and roll trivia contest between these two guys who hate each other so yes, much. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna begin. John the Stutterer, I'll start with you. We're gonna, we're gonna, well, we're gonna be nice during the question. You're gonna be nice during the question. I am the goal. He doesn't stop with me. John the Stutterer. <laughs> You're the one who started with me, so I simply defended myself, so you shut the hell up. You little what? No, no, you started with me, and I defended myself, so shut up. You're the one who started the whole thing. No, oh, yes, you did. You made fun of my stuttering when Howard called me. You made fun of my life. No, no, but you're the one. No, I know. Howard called me, and Howard called me, and remember that I was good at Rock and roll trivia, and you made fun of my stuttering, and that and that is how the whole thing started. You dumb.
little idiot, and I defended myself. You dumb little idiot. You started the whole thing. All right, Everybody let's start it. Let's All right, go. tell us your question. Everybody agrees with me. KC agrees with me. It's going to be rough, Robin. I know. You started I'm the losing whole control thing. rapidly. John, your first question. Do they have yes. that CBS uh, Jumbotron up yet? It's up and working? John, let's just answer the question. Shut up. Hundreds, Shut up. soon to be thousands of people are lining up outside. It looks incredible. You started no, it's up. It's up. Is okay. it running? It's up. It's been up since 7 o'clock this morning. Oh, it is running. Yep, okay. it's running All right. Perfectly. If anybody needs to see the fight, you can see it tomorrow night on our syndicated television show, or you can actually, if you're in Times Square. Go right now. It's unbelievable. Is that considered Times Square? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you think right it yeah. Howard, as people leave Port Authority, they, it's the first thing they see. All right, you'll see the Jumbotron. We're actually going to broadcast the fight live right on there. Okay, here we go. John, the stutter. Here's your first question. Oh. Name Shut up, douchebag! You homo. You might have to cancel this. I know. John, keep your attention okay, here. Okay, focus. Name the guitarist who replaced Brian Jones in the Rolling Stones. Oh, Mick Taylor. Easy one. All right, Mick Taylor. All right. That's one point. That's one point for John. Hank, did you know that one? Yes. That's easy. I'm a big Rolling Stones fan. All right, uh, Hank. Name the guitarist who replaced Mick Taylor. Ron Wood. That is correct. All you right. believe this? We've got a contest. I'm always amazed that Hank can even stand up straight. Hank is as drunk as ever today. All right. Uh, John the Stutterer is an expert as well. John the Stutterer. Name the guitarist from Chicago who accidentally shot himself in the Easy head. Easy one. Terry Kath. Terry Kath is correct. Wow. Okay, okay. I, I didn't know. I gotta give John credit. You didn't know that one? No, I didn't. Well, then lucky for you that you didn't get asked that. Ah. All right. Hank, yeah. the angry drunken dwarf. What's David Bowie's real name? David Jones. David Jones Another is correct. Easy. That is correct. Let's go to John the Stutterer. Name the Grateful Dead's guitarist Bob Weir's Bob Weir's side band that he played with. Grateful Dead guitarist Bob Weir's side band. No, I'm not a dead fan. That he played with. Shut up, Homo. John, John, keep your mind on the contest. Go ahead, John. Uh, oh, a uh, rat dog. Wrong. Go to Hank. Uh, Hank, do you know the answer? Golly walks. No, the answer was Kingfish. What? Kingfish. Kingfish. Uh, all right. So Bob you're Weir. both still at the same score. Uh, that's right. That's one to one now, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Two to one. Now it's one to one. I don't know how that happened. No, they l both lost the point on that yeah, question. They did. Okay. So the score is even. Yes. All right. Okay. It's one to one. All right. Here we go. I think we're back to John. John. Yeah, it is John. John, what band? was Randy Bachman in before he formed BTO. Uh, oh, the guess who? That is correct. Wow. Easy. That I know. You knew that. Okay. All right. Right? Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. Robert Fripp was the founder and lead guitarist of what popular early 70s British band? King Crimson. That is correct. Hank. Yeah. And John. How is it possible that Hank could be doing this? He's amazing. All right. He's amazing. Let's go. When does Hank listen to music? I don't know. All the time. But ugh, John the Stutterer. You. Ted Nugent had a big hit in the late 60s with a one-hit wonder band. Name the band. Oh, uh, I know this. Oh, man. What the hell's the name of the band? Oh, man. I know that band. Oh, I know it. I know it. Oh, oh. oh. The Amboy Dukes. Yeah. Right. I know very that good. Journey to the center of the mind. Yeah. Journey to the center of the mind. Yeah. That's right. Very good. Very good. He's right. He's right. He's right. Hank. Are Shut up, ready? homo up there, Zolar, you Wait retard. I hope you okay. had thought. Okay. And go have sex with your mom, Zolar. What a retard. Uh, Hank, your question. <laughs> yeah, well, that's if I can hear it. Zolar. I, I, I want a mic on Zolar. I want to know what he's Zolar, we can't hear don't Zolar. die. All right, here we go. Zolar is yelling out crap. He's just yelling out homo. <laughs> homo. <laughs> You're a homo, Zolar. All right. Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. Big time homo! Oh, boy. You're going to lose to the little dwarf. All right, here we go. <laughs> homo, boy. Look at him shaking his legs. His pee-pee's getting excited. Zol Why don't you go have sex with Ralph? I'm over here, homo. What? 
Why don't Over you got here. sex with Brown? Over here. Well, watch out, I'm sick enough for a Why don't you got sex with Brown? All right, now let's go to Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. All right, all right. Neil Young was in two different bands to make it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Name the two bands Neil Young was in. The Buffalo Springfield and Grocery Stores National Young. That is correct. Very good. I'm going to name a song now, John the Stutterer. You tell me. Actually, I'm going to give you a lyric, and you name the song. How's that? Heavy Metal Thunder is the lyric from this 60s classic song. Oh, uh, Born to Toby Wild, Steppenwolf. Right. Right. Wow. I'll give you good. credit where credit is so. Did you like that? Well, I'm sticking up for you. What are you talking about? Uh, Hank. <laughs> Hank. All right, Hank, your turn. Right. I'm going to name an album. You tell me the group. Eat a Peach. Almond Brothers. Correct. John the Stutterer. Goat's Head Soup. Sure. Oh, the so, Stones. So, yeah. 73, 1973. Yeah, he's right. That's right. Uh, right. Okay. Hank, wait your turn. Don't answer questions for him. Nobody's, no, you didn't mention anybody's name. I said, did. Hank, this is your question. All right. Name the album, you name the group. Days of Future Past. The Moody Blues. Right. John the Stutterer. Four Way Street. Oh, the Crosby, Stills, and Nash and Young. Wow. Hank. What was the first Led Zeppelin album that had a title that wasn't a number? Uh, that's a hard one because, uh, uh, Houses of the Holy. That is correct. Wow, hey, you pulled that one out. John the Stutterer. <laughs> what album was the song Houses of the Holy on? Oh, Physical Graffiti. That is correct. Man. When is somebody going to miss again? Hi, Vey. You're going to run out of questions. I, well, I got tons of them, but I think it's an even match. I know. I think we have a draw. You I'm got anything guess, Hank, difficult on that? I, I, got, I, got a real, I got some real hard ones. All right, go to them. All right, let me find, let me find it's some. Well, it's still getting harder as it goes on. It, right, yeah, yeah, it's time to separate the wheat from the chaff. Yeah, I mean, You're right, Robin. I agree with you. <laughs> Hank, name the lead singer for the Spencer Davis group. Steve Winwick. That's correct. Oh, well, Hank, I thought it was going to get harder. <laughs> John the Stutterer, name the priest in Eleanor Rigby. The priest? Yeah. Uh, that I don't know. I knew this one. Hank, what's the answer? Father McKenzie. That is correct. Uh, Hank moves ahead. It's Holy eight mackerel. to six. Eight to, is it eight to six or eight yes. to seven? Wow. Well, he lost the point. Wow, he, he did lose yeah. the point. Yeah, eight to six. John, you need to come back here. It's very dangerous when you miss. All right, I believe it's Hank's turn, though. Yeah. There's a real chance for Hank to move ahead. Hank. Name the drummer of Queen. That one, I, 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 Brian May. Wrong. Let's go to John the Stutterer. Drummer of Queen. It's a chance to get even with Hank. You got it, John, or no? I need a kill with Derek for that. Nothing? Hey, give me an answer. No, that I don't know. The guy's oh. name is Roger Taylor. Yeah. Wow. Unfortunately, now the score is seven to, I think, five. I think you lost the point for that one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. You're leading, Hank. I only uh, have one more question left. Let's wow. See. Well, oh. this, this could tie it up, or Hank can run away with it. People are making too much noise. All right, here we go. Hank, who released the hit in the summertime? Mungo Jerry. That's correct, yeah, Mungo Jerry. Yeah. Hank pulled it out. Final score. He's still the champ. Is eight to five, Hank. John the Stutterer, I'm sorry you didn't take him. Oh, well. But uh, Hank proved once again he is the king of uh, rock trivia. You will give him that. Are you upset about it? You look a little uh, stunned, John. Uh, well, no. Uh, well, no. Because I'm not a big fan. Right. <laughs> because I'm the, um, what? Not because it's bottom. That's not the reason. Hey, slow the... Adam is screaming. Slow Adam, what is your problem? Slow Adam is yelling. What is it? What is Slow Adam is all upset? I'm ready for you. What is it? I'll, I'll tell you right.
now. I'm glad Hank won. Hank kicked your ass, you fruitcake. Mom, come on. Your ass you right now. Freak. Shut up, you retarded freak. There's a lot of shit. Shut up, you retarded freak. Adam, slow Adam. What do you got to get? Shut up, you retarded freak. Slow Adam, what is your problem? Let's slow Shut Adam. Up, you, retarded. you retarded freak. Slow Adam, what is your problem? Why do you? I'm from South Pennsylvania, and where I come from, we feed pussies like you for we eat pussies like you for breakfast. What is going on? I have no idea what is happening. I want you, I want you real bad. I'll knock you out in the first round. I'm not here then. 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 Slow Adam, obviously. Wow, it's unbelievable. I'm not here then. You faggot. Daniel oh Carver, goodness. Daniel Carver, this is more exciting than a Ku Klux Klan rally, isn't it? I mean, never seen Your that. parties aren't like this. Your parties aren't like this. <laughs> make no sense. Uh, they can't make any sense. <laughs> he can't even make. Sense. <laughs> Daniel, you yeah. can't make sense of this. No, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, fruitcake, come up. No, 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 no. All right, we got to take a break. When we come back, I'm gonna go. Free. Come up, pull what? I've never seen one of them upset anybody. Why are you giving anybody? John the stutterer such a hard time? He told me to say this. Oh, he told you to say this. Sal. Sal. Sal, Sal I you haven't said one thing. I'm just helping him out. He's a little slow. I'm <laughs> giving him some assistance. That's all. <laughs> but you got a lot of walk. Put whipped cream on my nuts. Put whipped cream on my nuts. Just helping. All right. Hank. <laughs> Hank. <laughs> Hank, how do you feel you, you won? You won. I won twice. What's the matter, John? Hank just kicked me. Hank just kicked me. He did? I don't think he did. Yes, throw him out. He just kicked me. All right, all right. All right, let's break it up. Throw him out. Yeah, throw him out. Yes, throw him out. He just kicked me. All right, go ahead. Separate you guys out. out. Yes, Hank, out. you took the uh, win. <laughs> all right, all right, hey guys. You're the fruit. You read, sir. All right, you all right. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back. All right. Angry homosexual with tons of bad tattoos. I'm gonna knock out Angry Black in the third round. Or an angry black man. You are a failure at life. You are a failure as a person. You are a failure as far as boxing goes. In a boxing match, who would win? Let's find out on the Howard Stern Show. Crazy Cabby versus Angry Black. The Howard Stern Show. Scale from a one to ten. You sh oh boy, she's a twelve. How you doing, John? The stutter. I haven't seen you in a while. Um. Well. Okay. Okay. Well. Ah. 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 Okay. Well, on the positive side. Ah. Ah. As all. All. Always, Howard. It's. Great to be here with you, my God. Oh, please. Uh, uh, and uh, why would you waste uh, your time? Uh, no, mm, Let me no, say Robin. something to you. Mm, <laughs> no, yeah, like, like, why, why go into ass yeah, kissing if you, mode? If you it's, can only talk like this, wouldn't you just get to great. the point? I say he must have something really good to say, and then it's like, <laughs> oh my God. Ho, 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 It's great to be here with. Hey, you, hey, hey, my hey. non-musical hero, the lovely Robin. I'm your musical hero. No, no, no. Hey, hey. I said that Howard's my non-musical hero. It's great to be here with yeah, the yeah, yeah. Right, thank you. lovely Robin. It's uh, e e e e it's uh, e even great to they they here with Fred. Why don't you get a BlackBerry and and send me messages? <laughs> and uh, and now it's great to, to they here with all already. What I have to say, I, I'm one of the, uh, those hardcore fans who still misses Jackie. Jackie would like. To I want Jackie back. 
He's going to be back any day Jackie. now, I'm sure. He would really love to hear from you. Yeah, you should write him on his joke land. Uh. <laughs> hey, uh, in the movies, Time Machine, number one movie, 22 million. You know, I saw that. It wasn't as bad as the reviews. Was it okay? It's okay. Yeah. We Were Soldiers brought in another 14. All About the Benjamins, 10 million. Who yeah. would go see that? I don't know. <laughs> and uh, what's John Q? Is that good? John Q is the other Denzel Washington movie that's out right now. Is that where he take, kidnaps a, a hospital? He yeah. kidnaps a hospital, yes. No, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Actually, I, again, the only reason to see it is his performance. Oh, well. You know what? I don't need to see his performance. You can wait. Uh, I can wait on that. <laughs> I hate to see everything, so you figure out what the hell. You know, I just don't want to see some guy kidnap a hospital. I've seen his, enough of that. This kid needs a transplant or something. Yeah, it could be terribly melodramatic and very TV movie of the weekish, but he he makes it a little bit better. Hmm. We well, you know what happens, right? Probably at the end. No, you know. I didn't see what, it. What but... happened? The kid gets the operation. Yeah, the kid lives. And right. I mean, I, he I, needs a transplant. The kid ain't gonna die. I'd rather the kid dies. <laughs> right. They say, you know what? Your father's a schmuck. We're gonna we're gonna let you die. Dead you can't Zelda just. Here, oh. Well, the whole thing is, you could never respond to a person who takes a hospital kidnap to get his child a transplant. It's every a week. Rash of that stuff. Every week, I get in the mail a, a magazine called The Onion. And oh, I yeah. got to hand it to these guys. It's a humor magazine. They're funny as hell. Yeah, they are funny, yeah. Really funny. And, you know, I always read it, and I never give them a, a, an acknowledgement, but they're very good. I'll give you a... Uh, it's, it's in the, it comes as a newspaper, not really a magazine. It comes as a newspaper. It's called The Onion. Uh -huh. It's like the old National Lampoon. Uh, like the top headline is, Everybody browsing at video store saying stupid things. Chicago. Video station customer Peter Lisowitz expressed annoyance and amusement Monday when every single person in the video store was overheard saying the stupidest things imaginable. Quote, I was wandering up and down the aisles looking for something to rent, Lisowitz said. During that time, I was privy to some of the most ridiculously idiotic comments ever uttered. In the 20 minutes, Lisowitz browsed the store before deciding to rent Memento. He actually heard with his own two ears customers saying that being John Malkovich was really weird and made no sense. Dead Man Walking was depressing and went on way too long. And Francis McDormand is too ugly to be in the movies. Oh. <laughs> uh, he even heard the comment one woman said about Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is such a great actor. He really gets into a role. Oh I wish he'd do a movie with Tom Cruise. Oh. <laughs> Boy, they really know acting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a great headline. Husband and wife have conflicting ideas about what constitutes healthy sex life. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the headline. Um, telemarketer won't take F off and die for an answer. See page 10. Isn't that great? That's great. Former high school bully pulls over person for speeding. That's great. Became a cop. Every high school bully became a cop, right? Well, what else would they pay? You got a gun. I like that. Uh, Somebody pays them to tell people. Else. Anyway, so I don't know how you subscribe to this thing, and I'm just giving them a plug because I think they're funny, and they send me a free copy every week. What? Wait a second. I can't hear you. I don't even know what microphone you're on. What? They distribute them free all over this, at least all over New York they do. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, they used to be out of the Midwest, that paper. They just moved to New York City, their offices and stuff. And you can get them all over New York now. It's pretty cool. Look at this headline. 6,000 runners fail to discover cure for breast cancer. You know they always have that run? Yes. That run, uh... <laughs> they fail to discover cancer. Yeah. Despite their diligent, dedicated running, the 6,000-plus participants in Sunday's 5K race for the cure did not find the cure for breast cancer. Oh, that's funny. You're running for the cure, but you don't find it. Yeah, it's funny. It's just a funny magazine. I don't know who writes the thing, but it's good. Uh, so listen to this one. Here's the headline. Third grade scientists successfully vaporize water. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, let's see. In a recent report, economically disadvantaged men more skilled at communicating attraction to women. <laughs> I, like, I like all of it. I just love it. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't even know who the guys are. The guys who put it out are really smart. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares about the onion. 
<laughs> well, they can get it for free. Just uh, keep your eyes open. It's around. For free is pretty good. I don't know where you'd find it, though. Only Benji could find it because he's out on the street walking up and down every he minute. He lives on the street. <laughs> found it with the FHM. Let's go back to making fun of the handicapped. Yeah, like me. Yeah, you. <laughs> what do you, you get laid yet or what? Um, well, all, all, all oh. on the, the negative side, oh. the all, uh, 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 those of happiness continues t t to, excre to escape my digress. He can't I'm get laid. Still not getting laid. The all. If he could get laid, he'd be happy. Yeah, yeah. The all e e e elusive vagina continues. Elusive vagina. To, yeah, yeah. Continues to escape. My, Bang him, Rob, and put him out of his misery. Yeah, yeah. It continues to escape. There's a certain yeah. kind of woman who who does. <laughs> not you. Yes, yeah, what? What? I can't even get slut. Well, we're going to take a uh, break and then we'll be back and do the news. A man of science. He needs a good rest. Howard Stern. Good God. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. The, the Howard Stern Show continues after these on WBCN. You're listening to a man whose underpants are more stained than Monica Lewinsky's dress. Hey, Howard Stern. Help us, Lord, today to realize and understand that when we change ourselves, hallelujah, we change, hallelujah, our communities. Help us understand today, hallelujah, that yes, we need jobs, and yes, we need education, and yes, we need health insurance, but most of all, we need Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. For when a man's soul dies, he's lost everything. You said in your word, if in this life only we had hope in Christ Jesus, we would be of all being most miserable. Help us, oh God, to realize and understand that when we change others, then we have the ability to change others. Let every drug addict, every alcoholic, and every yeah, hallelujah prostitute, and every everyone that's in sin, for sin is the greatest enemy of mankind. Sin is what divided us. Sin is what brought us down. Hallelujah. hallelujah. But Jesus is able to live to say they are born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Highs and gains that we have ever known before we're able today through the power of God to go higher. The song says I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Hallelujah. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord plant my feet. Oh, it is a woman who was, uh, after she saw the cover of FHM, went uh, berserk. Wow. On higher ground. Right. We don't have a job. She says there is a God. We got Jesus who's the provider. When we don't have education, you say the Holy Ghost would die us in the old truth you said men shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free only the truth Shut up. will set this nation free in this now here's a job john the stutterer could man. never have yeah. Yeah. Food. well are you amazed when you hear someone like that yeah. she must be like superman well uh, well wow. my motto is if uh, there uh, is uh, a uh, god he's a real prick so. all right i've heard that line before yeah it's a good motto when we don't have, hallelujah, health and shares, we certainly know a doctor. When you hear a woman who can talk that quickly and also without stammering or stuttering, you must go, my God, that's superwoman. She's already on to the yeah, next thought. Yeah. You're still stuck. Uh, I, 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 I greatly and en 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 envy her. Right. And yeah. en envy her? Okay. Yeah. And yeah, Rob. <laughs> so I guess when you hear me talking or Robin talking, you go, oh, my God, how do they do it? No wonder you're his God. Right. Right. Good absolutely. Job. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know what? You're right. Yeah. I am God. Yeah. So that's above all of us that's able to heal. Hallelujah to the very depths of our souls. Hallelujah. She's so busy talking, she can't even get out of Hallelujah. Can't finish the word. So I, go with. Uh, sorry, John. I I wish I spoke uh, as, as I, I, fluently as John does. John the stutter. Just stuttering, John. Stuttering yeah. John. Yes. Yes. Oh, Stuttering John has a problem with you, by the way. You go... Uh, it's not a... You know, you didn't do anything. But Stuttering John winds up being thought of as the person who's doing what John the Stutterer does. Mm -hmm. oh. the, John the Stutterer went to the butter, Bunny Ranch. And then uh, one day John read somewhere in the newspaper that he had been to the Bunny Ranch. Yeah, there is some confusion. Yeah. Gee, what well, a heartbreaker. Well, well I he has to explain it to his wife. Well, I always clarify to people... You're John the Stutterer. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Stuffy. I don't know if anybody's getting the distinction. It's much, much different. Well, well, You're well, the classy but, one, believe me. No, uh, well, well, those, uh, well, those, uh, well, those oh, fans of the show who can't, those, those fans of the show who can't get the, the distinction are. All right, all right. Let's go on, Let Robin. Off. Let's do some news. <laughs> Please. Daddy got out. First of all, a new survey has come out. It's called the Hot and Bothered Survey. Survey says. And the survey <laughs> says. That who is the sexiest actress? Let me see if you know. Sexiest actress right now, Pamela Anderson. No. I mean, real actress. Real actress. Sexiest actress right now. Yeah. I'll tell you. Either Char Charlize Theron, although I don't know what she's in, or uh 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 no, the Dom triplets. They're not actors. No, well, they're good. No, but the hottest girls on the earth. I'm not into the hottest girls on the earth. The hottest girls on the earth. Brad Pitt. No, I hate Brad Pitt. The 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 can you sing the Diddy song? <laughs> That's it. No, I hate rap. The D, the I, the D, the no, D, I hate the rap. Y, I can't the D, the I, the D. It's Diddy. Diddy. Not, mm, mm. No, I'd rather sing Close to the Edge by Yes. Have, have, I love Yes. Sing? So. Sing it. Well, yeah, but I want to be a a ra a ra a ra a ra a ra a roundabout. So embarrassed to sing it. Come on. Now I don't want to do that. And you 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 and I. I I I. Ah, their friends kill me. All right, the hottest woman. The friends. Hot hottest. Woman in Hollywood is is according to Movie Line magazine's Wait. hot and bothered survey. I'll give it to is you. Jennifer Connelly. No. Yeah, oh. Jennifer Connelly looked great on those SAG awards. I saw that a beautiful mind over the weekend. Yeah, That's she a is beautiful, beautiful ass. She's a beautiful ass. Never mind her mind. Beautiful girl is what they should have called her. She's a piece. But uh, Cameron Diaz. Cameron oh, Diaz. No way. She's a piece. I I I I I I I I I agree. She's a pig. John said she's a pig. Angelina Jolie. No, 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 no. She's hot. She's hot. Ha 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 Oh, oh, she's oh. hot. <laughs> uh, Ashley Judd was number three. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, 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 she's hot. I agree. Yeah. Judd, 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 Judd. <laughs> And, and, today, today, and, today, I'm the luckiest lucky. And, and Jennifer Lopez. Ah, uh, uh, she's a pig. Fat ass. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> now batting, 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 batting. Who is the hottest guy? B -b bad, b 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 bad, He's a homo. The guys. Huh? Yeah, I know guys. <laughs> Brad, Brad Garrett. Brad Pitt. Homo. Was number one, followed homo. by Benicio del Toro. Homo. What? And George Clooney. Homo. Oh, stop it. <laughs> John, You're just jealous. John's having no, commentary. On <laughs> Homo. That's the one word he could say. Yeah. Meanwhile, did you see the trailer for the new Star Wars? I did that? not. I, 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 I did not. <laughs> I didn't either. I, I, I. But they unveiled the two and a half minute trailer on Fox on Friday, I think. Uh oh. Oh, 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 good. <laughs> and you can now see that in movie theaters. I want to see R, 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 two, 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 D, 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 two, 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 two. You can see that proceeding in the movie Ice Age coming Friday to theaters. I, 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 Ice Age. They say that it didn't give away much of the plot, but 
It appears that... Uh, that, that. <laughs> it will focus on the rebellion and is darker than Phantom Menace. And they say, in the trailer at least, but, uh, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar I, 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 I stutter. <laughs> yeah, Al, go ahead. You're on the air. Nowhere in sight. <laughs> you got to bring this skinny stutter and pack it on more often, man. Uh, listen. I'm telling you. Uh -oh. Howard, this is the most uh, entertainment I've gotten out of Fred in the goddamn so year. Hey, Zolar, scumbag, come to, uh, scumbag. Listen, how did you, you know I was Zolar? Zolar, you how did you know, you little skinny faggot? Zolar, faggot, you threatened me at the fight. You, uh, listen, you threatened me. Come down I, here today I, for the show. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. Come down and do the show. I'll kill you. You throw a punch at me. All right, all right. Anytime, 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 you skinny little faggot. Come to my tattoo party, you little punk. No, come down here today. Come down. I'll come down there. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't handle me. I'll breathe on you. You'll fall over. My breath is worse than any bone in your body. No, You come down here today. Come down here today. Come down here today. Come down Come down today! Come Set down. it up, Howie. You, you don't even you know Set it up, Howie. I was Mike off. You started with me! Set it up, Howie. You started with me! Set it up. I'll, I'll no, stick you in your eye bowl with my nose. No, it's so big. street fight. You come down here today, you faggot. You? Don't I'll come down there. Howie, can I come down there? No, you started with me at the crazy cabbie fight. All right, listen to me. Faggot. I think no, his point was... No, I think his point no, was... No, 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 I think his point... No, Zola started with me at the crazy cabbie fight. No, you started with me. You're a faggot. That's no, what I thought about you. What are you going to no, do about it now? No, no, no. A street fight. You come down here today. Yeah, yeah, come down. No, come no, down yeah, today. yeah. You come down <laughs> come, here today. Come. Anyway, I come think on, Zolar, Zolar had a funny point. He said, Zolar he's, all, right, all right, we heard you. We heard you. We heard you. We heard you. You guys take that up off the air. Yeah. I think Zola was saying you should have John on more because Fred woke yes, up. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Fred is amazing. Like so you come down here, you faggot. Today. Today. Uh, uh, all right. He's gone. Today. He's gone. Today. He's gone. He's gone. He's not John, calm down. John. Today, you... Jeez. Today. You got a lot of anger. Today, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> what, Howard? Listen. You scared him. Howard. He went away. So Howard, Solar is the guy at the crazy cat. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Who cares? Move on. Move, move on. Move on. Solar, you faggot. I want you to meet all right, me outside enough with the, the studio. Enough of He's it dead. Already. He's dead. He wants a street fight. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll be outside today. Howard, is and Marty Phil Eagles eat, on the Phil phone yet? Phil, eat crew. Come down here, Zolar. You did. I'm trying dead. to do, do something here. Okay. Now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> when he gets angry, though, he doesn't stutter. I know. It's oh. spontaneous, Howard. It just comes out. I'm so mad. Wow. But the moment Solar, but you. not you, Howard. But keep, no, I know, but keep, it, keep, it, keep, uh, keep that anger going. You won't stutter. That's right. You could get a girl. Yeah. Anyway. No, uh, I doubt that. Right. Marty Ingalls. Is he on the phone yet? Uh, Shirley Jones has announced she's divorcing him once again. Well, of course. You know, this is the third time they've separated, and this time she actually went and got the divorce. I think the two of them are nuts. They're such a great uh, couple. He's, uh, I don't know how old he is, but she's, no, he's 65, she's 67. According to his sources, the family feud began long ago when Shirley's son, Sean Cassidy, Borrowed three hundred twelve thousand dollars from Marty, and then when he got back on his feet, he only paid him back part of that sum. So they've been feuding ever since. The kids are so happy to hear that Shirley is finally untied, untying herself from Marty. And the end came when he started construction on a new guest house on the couple's two million dollar Encino property. They say that Shirley had forbidden Marty to start new construction, a new construction project. She's tired of the dust, the noise, and the lack of privacy. So she moved out and then shortly after that filed for a divorce. She is also requesting that he not be given any spousal support. So she has to make sure to move that uh, so that he does not uh, get any alimony from her All right. after this split. But he always calls us when they're separated. So I'm wondering if he'll be on the phone pretty soon. <laughs> also in the news, uh, this is this is from the tabloids actually this week. Uh, that story was, and so is this one. They say Benjamin Bratt 
is much happier without Julia Roberts. Well, of course. Well, you know, once you get past the fact that she's Julia Roberts, she's a big pain in the ass. He wants... I say this is a very good move for him. He put in his time to get right. his name out there. Because you never heard of him before. You wouldn't know him if he hadn't slept with Julia Roberts. I still don't know him. So there's, there you go. We now know his name because he was Julia's... Uh, I would go out with Julia Roberts for a month, get, let everyone see that I was going out with her, and then I'd dump her in. He put in a lot more time than that. You think it would only take a month? Yeah, that's all I need. <laughs> Just get him from the cameras. <laughs> it's not like banging Roseanne. It's still a hot chick. Still Julia Roberts. Right. Yes, Zola, you're on the air. He is such a pussy. Oh, so hey, Zola. 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 I'll, I'll fight you no. with one hand behind Dag my back. Dag it. Come down here. I'll be at... Listen, I'm going to be... No! I want you to cut a street fight. Come down there. The 40... You're a pussy. I will put no, one hand behind fight. my back. Listen, Hi, faggot. Behind. You... Listen, you faggot. You started with me. And That's I'm right. What are you going to do about you. it? You... Come down here and fight. Artie, me. Artie, do you think this guy can take me? Here, I think it'd be a good fight, man. He's got a lot of anger in him. It's like, yeah, it'd probably be like fighting a retard. You're, a, you're just gay, first of all. Curse. He cursed. See, that's the sign of an intelligent. You intelligent. You really think you can fight him? Oh, yeah, Do you think you can beat him up? How would you know he can't beat me? You started Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, he was fighting the abortion doctor on the way out of his mother. He should have been a BJ. You, oh, no. You, you started with me. So you right. should have been all of All right. All right. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone now. He's gone. Did you two just get along? John, call him a faggot. Yeah. Listen, you faggot. No, no. So are... Listen, you faggot. You started with me, so I have to defend myself, all right, faggot. All right, all right. And He's if gone. you come down here, He's gone. No, no. I you come from your him. stupid tent. No, no. I hung up on no, him. He's, he's gone. Not fair, He's gone. John. He's gone. You're, You're arguing with yourself. Uh, Man, I, I hate that guy. He okay, started with okay. me, Howard. All right, I understand. Calm he down. did. He's an a, uh, an a hole. Right. You're going to have a heart attack. The Texas Wait, that's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. the Texas Man, I hate that faggot. The oh. Texas nurses so aide war. who hit a, a man Polak. and allegedly drove home with his head stuck in her windshield, <laughs> according to reports, laughed as she told friends, I hit this white man. Oh, that faggot. That faggot! <laughs> that faggot! That faggot! That faggot! That faggot! <laughs> who do you hate more? Who do you hate more, Zolar or Ralph? Seriously. Uh, probably Zolar now. Right. Oh, okay. Shante yeah. Mallard is the 25-year-old uh, charged with this murder. She's black, and uh, they claim she mowed down Greg Glenn Biggs, 37, with her car on October 26th near Fort Worth, uh, her home in Fort Worth, leaving him to die over the course of several days in her garage. Mallard giggled when she said, "I hit this white man." according to an affidavit filed Terrible. by a Fort Worth detective. It's really the lowest story I've heard in a long time. Really low. Ralph, you're on the air. I'd like to talk about why John can't get laid, seriously. Okay. Uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph, I don't, now, John, you you Ralph I don't want to fight with you, Ralph. Are you going to listen? Are you going to listen like to him? Maybe he's got a point. Listen to Maybe him. Maybe he can learn Stop. something. Maybe Stupid. he has some good advice for you. <laughs> Stupid, look. Look, Listen, Lester, you can't get no. laid because you're, there's a few reasons, but no. you're so angry. Lester, See, look at you, you're no. yelling. No chick wants to be around that. And also, Howard, you know, I really think no. he is gay because every time, like, an attractive guy, like, you know, you mentioned Brad Pitt, he yells faggot no. because that's what he's thinking. No. Because no. you're thinking like you're attracted to him, so you're like, faggot. You're Same like when you call me a faggot because you're in love with me. No. You, you little faggot. just call me stupid. <laughs> and, and Howard, you mentioned all these hot no, chicks. You mentioned no, all these hot chicks and you called you them pigs. Call Who do you think's a hot no. chick? Who do you think's a hot chick, John? You just call me stupid and I told you I didn't. I didn't call. I, that was a loving term. Stupid. <laughs> then don't call me stupid then, stupid. Then don't act do you stupid. Think, do you stupid. think Ralph is onto something? Stupid. That you might no. be gay because you uh -huh. call everyone gay? I, I... Don, why is everybody a faggot? Why do you just throw I that word around? I just told Ralph I didn't want to fight with him. I just was fighting... You're in the middle of a fight with Zola. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. you got to concentrate one at a time. Yes, yeah, so don't call me stupid, then. <laughs> stupid. 
Oh, then don't call me stupid. Now, Zolar stupid. and Ralph are on the phone together. Uh -oh. Hey, now. Don't call me stupid, stupid. What is it, You Zola? are the biggest faggot. First of all, oh, I'm not a Paul Rock. Shut up, you tattooed homo. Oh, you looking at my tattoos? You looking at my tattoos? You are so gay. I He's very attracted to tattoos. What? He's very attracted to tattoos. Hey, scumbag. <laughs> you're the biggest on. piece of crap, John. No, if you had any balls, you'd come and fight me. Why don't uh, 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 listen? Why don't you just come down here and fight me? I told you oh that I would. All right, all right, all right. I would only come show down here and fight you if you got you to come down here and fight me. Come down here, homo, with long hair, trying to look like Howard. You're trying to look like Howard, you smelly homo. And 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 and. Yeah. Does John still have a bullet? Yeah. You are ugly, very face, snaggle to me. Don't talk about Ralph. Ugly scum. Don't talk about Ralph. See, 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 John, that's me you're aggravated yeah. with. John, that, that's not helping. This is not going to get you laid. Big nose scum. Chicks don't want to be around that. You are Howard, I can get laid, though, Junior. Howard. Yes. I have a girl who will bang him. I bet you he won't do it. I bet he can't get it up. I bet you he can. I got a girl who would do her. All she has to do is I have to say do him and she'll do it. All right, I'm hanging up on you. No, don't hang up on me. How much is she gonna charge? I won't charge him a dime. You little faggot. You can't even do it. You can't even do it. Scumbag, Ralph. You were probably molested by your father, right? You, you, you STD riddle Yeah, who'd you get molested by, John? Who are you molested by? Adopted scumbag, Ralph. You your uncle? You. What happened Adopted in your childhood, you yeah. faggot? Adopted scumbag, Ralph. All right, let's call this over. Uh, Anytime he wants to come see me at no! my place, he can come down now. No! No! You come down All right, today. I'm hanging out. I'm out. Hanging out. No, so we can you do this come live. Out. I'm hanging up. No, no I have to take a break. I'll put one hand behind my back. Uh, 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 no, is off. you're just going to have to turn off the microphone. John, 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 they're gone. John, they're gone. John, they're gone. They're gone. What's the point? Yeah. Oh, and, and Ralph is an STD. Oh, he's off the phone. Riddle fag. He was adopted. You. And his mother. And he's <laughs> ugly. All right, you're and upset. You're upset. You're upset. Very faced, big nose. We have to take a break, bad. and then we come back. We can finish the news. Yeah, You've got to calm down. Yeah. You're in two fights now. You're fighting Ralph. They sport it, though. Well, wait a minute. When was the last time you were in a fight? You can't fight anybody. How do you know what he can do? I'm asking. This guy's crazy. He can fight. <laughs> how angry he is. I wouldn't yeah. fight him right I now. I wouldn't fight yeah, him. Yeah, but you know, sometimes somebody, Robin, like, wait. they get so angry, they're like an easy target. Do you want... He becomes Tasmanian <laughs> devil. <laughs> stand up and... Do some show karate. Yeah, show uh, your, skills, my, your boxing moves. skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah show, show your, your boxing moves. skills. Yeah. Do, do a little, uh, what do you call shadow boxing. <laughs> oh, Don't knock yourself out. <laughs> the kid can fight. You see he's right, challenging let me people. See, let me see. Who's he yeah. going to beat up right John, now? go ahead. Do some shadow boxing. Let me see. Go ahead. Look at him. Hey, he's moving. <laughs> Why? That's good. Why are you laughing? Oh, my goodness. Look, he's stick, good. Stick well, you know, it's one thing to box the air, huh? Well, meanwhile, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Somebody's going to be throwing punches <laughs> back at him. Do you use your feet at all, or do you just punch? <laughs> Which punch? John the stutterer. That only shows an offense. Where's your defense? I didn't see any bobbing and weeping. Go fight him if you think you can do better. says he just yells <laughs> while he's boxing. Good job. He kicked their ass. You all right now? Yeah. All right. Are you all right or yes or no? Well, you shouldn't put solar on, man. Well, what am I supposed to do if he calls? Am I supposed to hang up? You don't want to hear what he has to say? You know, some people say we shouldn't put you I'm on. I'm fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Who are those idiots, Robin? <laughs> Let's take a break, and we'll be back right after this. Here's Craig Kilborn on Howard Stern. We were off last week. I did the Howard Stern show, the great, the legendary Howard Stern. I did a show, and, I, and everyone, it went well. I, I put up with some of his stuff, and I answered the question. And to me, he, you know, he's a special broadcaster. You know, sometimes he delves in that sex, that perversion stuff. But if you look past that, he's so adept at, at interviewing um, uh, the mentally challenged and the dwarves. So he's a... But he's special because he's still, he's nearing 50, the guy's going to be 48, and he still has that audience. You know, normally when you get older, you, there's a maturity level that comes along, but he can still grab that young audience. Big hand for Howard Stern. It was fun. Right? Those are compliments. I was just complimenting him. Did that come, come out? Okay. I want to make sure. 
more of the Holly Stew Show in a moment on WBCN. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. Well, I'm going to kick your ass, Zolar. <laughs> Robin, go ahead. You wrap up the news. I'm not Help putting you down here. I won't put Zola. You're the story. You, you. Oh, please, Fred. You. I know you can control yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Fred's killing me. <laughs> a canter in Pennsylvania has now turned himself in. He surrendered to face charges of sexual, child sexual abuse. He is accused of molesting his nephew. A canter? Yeah. Yeah, the church is happy. Uh, the <laughs> church? That would be a synagogue. Found the, no, the church is happy because they found some Jews who were doing oh. it, too. A non-Catholic guy finally molested a kid. Yeah. Uh, the uh, abuse happened over... Uh, a on three occasions between 93 and 97 while the boy was three to seven years old. The thing that is most incredible about this story is that the boy has already testified in trials against another uncle and a cousin, I think, because he was molested by them, too. And all of these uh, episodes of abuse happened when these people were visiting his home. So this poor kid who uh, has been in therapy for quite some time, they said he testified against the other two and they're already, you know, doing their time. But he was always afraid to come out against this uncle who was the cantor. So now he's been through enough therapy that he's ready to face him and testify against him in court. And so now that guy has been charged and he finally turned himself over mm. to authorities. Meanwhile, the Catholic Church is finally cracking down on... On abuse by priests, homos. And why do you think that is, Howard? <laughs> because of the lawsuits. Yes, it's costing them millions. Yeah, that's what it is. Otherwise, They've they wouldn't say a word. They've had to pay off so many people as a result of lawsuits filed against them. The payouts are co going into the hundreds of millions of dollars, and so finally they realize they better get this priest deal under control. The bishop of the Palm Beach Diocese resigned yesterday, or a few days ago, after admitting he allegedly uh, inappropriately touched a boy 25 years ago. Religion's a great business if you can start one. Uh, there's hundreds of millions of dollars in it. In fact, that's how Scientology started. A, a fairly bad science fiction writer said, I'm going to start a religion. He bragged to his friends and make some real money. And that's how it started, and that's how all these religions uh, go on. It's a tremendous money-making operation. Mm. And the only way to make them do anything or respond to anything is apparently to hit them in the pocketbook. And it's so great when you have a religion because you make up any crap. It's even better than um, astrology or, or palm reading or contacting the dead because, it, you know, you can really pretty much say anything and everyone buys into it. You know, God wants you to not eat the today. You make up a bunch of rules and people eventually start to believe in it. So well, They're even saying now that Paula Yates... The reason she was so crazy and thought that she needed to kill her kids was because she believed what a preacher wrote in a newsletter. Oh, yeah. He wrote that, uh, you know, women today were bad mothers and uh, woe be to the children of these Jezebels. So she thought she was evil and that her children were cursed. The crazy people hear these crazy pronouncements and believe them. Yeah. So anyway. So anyway, she's on trial, and uh, I guess they're trying to determine whether she was so crazy she didn't even know it was wrong to kill her children. I don't know what you think, but I think she did. Today is the six-month anniversary of September 11th, the attack on the World Trade Centers. And there was a memorial service, and it's continuing, I guess, down in lower Manhattan. Mayor Bloomberg was there and said these words. C5, Howard. He said some words? Yeah. Somebody dropped the helm zone. No, no. Is that That's him? not him? <laughs> Sounds no. good. That wasn't him today, anyway. All right, let's see what he said. Exactly six months ago, on Tuesday, September 11th, New York City came under attack. Unfortunately, I was in the Bahamas <laughs> partying. <laughs> okay, one of my mini houses. Yes. I was in my house in Barbados, <laughs> on my way to my house in Spain. <laughs> here today to dedicate this memorial to those we lost.
He began the ceremony with the unveiling of the Sphere, a sculpture which sat atop a granite fountain in the World Trade Center Plaza and survived the wreckage. People will be able to go there and touch it. Later tonight, they will uh, turn on those beams of light. Yeah. That will uh, shine exactly where the towers once stood. I like the beams of light. I think it's a fitting tribute. Well, good for you. Yeah, do you like it? I, I, I would I like, like it. to see them, sure. I like it. It's cool. I would like to see buildings, but... Uh, well, they'll be there. Uh, give it a chance right now. It's beams of light, which are, you know, I think that's kind of dramatic. All right. I make people remember. They say the the beams are much taller than the World Trade Center. Yeah, anything that'll make people remember, so they so they we continue this war. I'm for. Meanwhile, our Vice President Dick Cheney is in London to discuss the war on terrorism with British Prime Minister Tony Blair. The first stop in a 10-day, 12-nation tour that will also take Cheney to the Middle East. During his trip, Cheney will try to rally support in Persian Gulf states for U.S. anti-terrorism efforts. The threat posed by Baghdad is also likely to be discussed. Iraq's vice president is slamming Cheney's efforts. Iraq's official news agency quotes him as saying, This criminal cannot determine the fate of an Arab nation. Well, let's see. Yeah, it remains to be seen. <laughs> Tell Iraq to calm down. Uh, they also think that Osama bin Laden is still alive in Afghanistan, somewhere near the border with Pakistan. And He's they, absolutely alive. And they think that the reason these Al-Qaeda fighters they've encountered are fighting so fiercely is that they're trying to protect him. Still haven't seen a glimpse of him. Why is that? I don't know. And uh, Yasser Arafat may be uh, getting a chance to move around a little bit today. They're going to loosen up the reins on him and allow him to travel. He has been stuck in uh, whatever city he's in over there in the West Bank because the Israelis have pinned him in. But because uh, we're sending an envoy there, Anthony Zinni and uh, Saudi Arabia has made some uh, efforts toward the peace effort. I think they're loosening up on uh, Yasser Arafat so we can see if we can try to get that peace effort going again over there in Israel. You'll be pleased to know Mindy Herman called me Yasser Arafat is getting an e-makeover. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. That's He's why they're letting him over. He's going to be He's going to be wearing a whole new tablecloth on his head. Fashion emergency is wrong. He's, He's the man. He's going to look like Martin Sheen when they're done. Right. Remember David Caruso, Howard? I certainly do. He left a hit television show called NYPD Blue for a film career and blew it. That's right. He was very popular on that show. Everybody loved him. He left because it was stifling his creativity and he wanted to do movies. All of those movies failed. Well, where is he now? Selling tickets to the stuttering John the Stutterer versus Zolar fight. <laughs> Not quite. He is moving to Miami, I think, to open a clothing store and a home furnishing shop. Oh, my God. Man. <laughs> yes, he's decided to give up on Hollywood. You're kidding. No, that's what the Post said this weekend. Isn't that funny? Now Beetlejuice is more popular than him. <laughs> that's right. And has better chance of getting a job. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens to people who leave hit TV shows. Yeah. Has NSYNC's Justin Timberlake Yes. Said goodbye leaving? to Britney Spears. They have broken up. It was announced over the well, weekend. Well, come on. The kid's got to start getting some. He's a big <laughs> star. Yeah. How long was he expected to wait? Really? They say that uh, Britney was out on the town with her friend, uh, the girl from American Pie. What's her name? Tara yeah. Reed. Tara Reed crying her eyes out, crying in her beer over the weekend. So apparently it's true. It's over between Justin and Britney. Didn't they live together? Yes, they did. I guess they'll have to sell that house. Now, of course, over the weekend, the SAG Awards uh, were presented. And Russell Crowe, once again, was given an award. And everybody's trying to get him to blow up whenever they ask a question. So uh, someone was goading him. He said he didn't do a poem this time for his acceptance speech. But uh, he said something about uh, poetry and something hmm. else while he was uh, up there on the stage so when he went backstage somebody tried to get him to explain what he meant B5 I was I won't would you, would you at least tell us what it means to you then or no, I won't poetry is up to the individual in terms of uh, defining its meaning there's not one absolute so that's the beauty of poetry was he on Thorazine <laughs> <laughs> beauty of poetry so I guess the reporter was poetry. trying to go to make him uh, lose his 
cool, but he did not. Halle Berry was asked what it meant to her to win the SAG Best Actress Award. What'd she say? C1. All right, here we go. That feels really important, and not just for somebody that's... I heard enough. No, 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 you got to keep going. Really? Called beautiful. I mean, what is beauty? I don't even know really what that is anymore. But for someone of color to have the word award-winning attached to their name, I think, means hope for every other person of color uh. out there that my reality now can be their reality. She thinks she's a person of color. And she thinks she's... Thank it's you. not beautiful. Like if somebody who not look, doesn't look like her can do the same ba, 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 ba. She's whiter than I am. Uh, huh? I don't know whether she's white or not, but she sure is beautiful, and that's why she gets into the movie. She's a hot chick who got banged in a movie. Now she got Don't award. think it can happen to you. Come on. Meanwhile, Melissa Gilbert is the president of the Screen Actors Guild. Oh, good. But it was kind of controversial. She was running against Valerie Harper earlier this year, and there was something wrong with the vote, and they had to re-vote, so Melissa won again. And here she is the first time she's uh, speaking about uh, the uh, contentiousness of the election and calling for people to work together. See, too. This, this is a democracy, and everyone is entitled to their opinion and to their voice and to say whatever they choose to say. I would only ask that if it is an internal complaint, that it be kept internal, because it's been my feeling, and I've said this all along, that we can be a house divided. I don't have a problem with that. I'm not here to make friends. And if this continues, it just weakens our image. And that's a Ooh. mistake, I think, in my opinion. Mrs. You know, President, take to that. Say whatever she chooses to say. Mm. There. That's Miss Valerie Gilbert. Valerie Harper apparently gave a concession speech <laughs> without mentioning Gilbert or calling for working oh, together. That's weird. <laughs> no to Morgenstern. <laughs> so funny. I thought, I thought it would have been like, Valerie Harper found dead. <laughs> it could come to that the way they're going. You f f faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie is not a lesbian. <clears throat> That's what the officials uh, at Mattel are saying. In my Give her a vagina. Let's find out. <laughs> In my head, she always will be. I think she's bi. Uh, she has so yes. many girlfriends, and there's only that Ken. Poor Ken by himself. Uh... They say that a movie came out in Mexico or something depicting the doll as gay oh. was scheduled to be shown down there. And uh, local reports say Barbie gets sad, too. It was, it was set to be viewed in uh, Mexico City at a festival. Tom Cruise's lawyer has fired off seven letters. Court order to stop the showing. <laughs> wow. So Barbie's just like Tom. She gets things stopped when they start talking about her being gay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost time for Matthew Broderick and um, Nathan Lane to leave the producers. Will that Oofa. thing fall flat on its face after they leave? No. It will go on, you know? Yes. Okay. Stephen Weber is filling the shoes of Matthew, I guess, and Henry Goodman, I guess, will take over the role. Stephen Henry Burton. Goodman it will be fabulous. <laughs> Played by Nathan <laughs> Lane. I, I mean it. <laughs> I've seen it without that, Lane, Nathan Lane. No big deal. Oh, let's go. Josh Hartnett, I guess. Yeah. Now what we're calling a big star. He's in 40 Days of Absolutely. He was also in Black Hawk Down earlier this year. He's marvelous. Yeah. He should replace Matthew Broderick. Here he jokes about the <laughs> secrets the film shares mm -hmm. on men and sex. A three. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you guys, uh, if you guys want to find out all about what, yeah, what guys are all about, come see this film. Uh, no, it's this you guys. Know, the worst interview. It's got, <laughs> this is a joke. It's got a, I think a well. I bet he tastes like jam. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful strawberry jam. Yes. John speaks better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I die. Uh, he can't finish the sentence. I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Josh here explains why he's not embarrassed when his character does outrageous things, A4. It's it's all about not being embarrassed because the character is going through something, you know, and uh, that's one of the first things I ever learned. Uh, okay, come on, we got to get out of here. <laughs> Josh, hot net. Kristen uh, Scott Thomas is in something called uh, Gosford Park. <laughs> and she says that she loves playing the nasty rich girl, A5. It's really nice. It's really refreshing being, um, <laughs> doing <that>. not having <laughs> to play somebody who is <laughs> so nice. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Anything, Robin? <laughs> 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 
Ice Cube, you were talking about all about the Benji Mice earlier. I, 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 Here's I, Ice Cube. Cube, Cube, Star of that movie on what makes him laugh. Damn. What makes me laugh is, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, Three Stooges type comedy. You know, the, yeah. the real hard me too. physical comedy. And I'm a fan of a good comedian. Good. Yo, 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 who isn't? So good comedians make him laugh, Robin. Yo, 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 yo. As opposed to bad comedians. I'm glad you played that clip. Yeah. I learned something. Yo, good, Eddie good Griffin. Is you know that homeless man with his head in the windshield? That, yo, that yo, dad yo, makes yo, me yo, laugh. That's funny. That's some Three Stooges crazy <laughs> stuff. Yo, 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 yo. Right. Uh, Eddie Griffin happens to be in John Q, that Denzel Washington film. And here he jokes about working with A-list actors in the film. Working with Denzel and, and what's interesting watching him work, work? It's, it's a classroom. Word. You know, I'm getting paid really to go to school. So. <laughs> I mean, there's a guy who's nominated, 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 Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. You know, Robert Duvall, Oscar, 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 Oscar James Oscar. Wood, Oscar, Oscar. I, so I'm I, standing around nothing but the statue carriers. Damn. <laughs> that guy... <laughs> right. <laughs> Made a speech therapist. <laughs> <laughs> and finally this morning, let's hear a little bit from Mel Gibson, who was asked if he feels blessed with his job. Yeah, yeah. blessed. Oh, absolutely unfortunate. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, very pleased to, uh, to be to, to, uh, and able to do what I love doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we love and it too. And does he ever mm. wonder if these good opportunities will always There's come always his way? There's always been another job. Yeah. But you know, to tell you the truth, if it dried up tomorrow, I'd find some other avenue. I really would. Uh, yeah, like uh, spend the money. It, um, I think <laughs> he not like prepared to let avenue. go. If it dried up tomorrow, he'd find another avenue. Yeah, Four hundred million dollars. Yeah. What uh, avenue? What avenue does he <laughs> what need? What does he need what to drive down another avenue? Buy an avenue. He's gonna open up a deli or something. <laughs> Toll booth well, collector. Yeah, that's what's happening. See Stephen Baldwin on Celebrity Fear Factor tonight at eight o'clock Eastern Time, and don't forget that John the Stutterer is alive and well, and girls, he's out there. Yeah, get him. But I have the, this w w w one last note, oh, exactly. Howard. To all the Philadelphia sluts who reject and laugh at me at Philly nightclubs, die, bitches, die. I hope that you all get sea cancer. <laughs> Email John at i i i i i dot com. W w Do you ever leave your house or you just stay home all the time? Well, no. As as I said, I do go out to clubs and I I approach girls, but they call me uh 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 uh. They call you uh. No, they call me uh, stutter mm, retard uh, and things of that nature. That's really? Not nice. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, they do. They're oh, that's uh, awful. sluts. That's awful. I know, but uh, the <laughs> world hates stutterers. But, you know. Oh, come on. you got to just go for different kind of types. Of, I told you, go for deaf chicks. Who's he no. going after? Hot. No. Oh, he's going after these, these well, club girls. girls. No. To be a good-looking deaf chicks. No, yeah. there's a yeah, lot get of them. Marley Maitland or somebody. Oh, like yeah. no. You're not a bad looking guy. You no. just got to go after the right kind of chicks. You're wasting your time with girls in clubs. No. You're looking for Mr. Perfect. No. no. I mean, really? Come on, yeah. John. Well, Ralph's. Mm -hmm. Ralph can talk. You have not a, a good looking guy. He's ugly, though. He's not He's a bad weird looking guy. Yeah, listen. You're not ugly either. No. You got a handicap. You got to learn how to play. When it. you're going up to approach a girl, do your arms fly around like that? Oh yeah, that? they oh, do. That's uh, crazy. You know, yeah, they guy. do. Yeah. yeah, that's scary. You might need a do. blind girl too. Then <laughs> what you're saying? Blind yeah. and deaf. But but to wax philosophical and possibly poetic, life a life would be a lot less colorful sans the blue. So and. and the, I I I uh, stole that uh, uh, line from the great uh, British bluesman John May. Also, all right. Thank you, uh, John the Stutterer, who waxed poetic, and we'll see you tomorrow. WBCN. Then I got John the Stutterer here who wants to do the news with us. And he'll probably get into a fight with everybody. And if Beatles comes in, they yell at each other. That's kind of funny. Why don't you bring in John the Stutterer? Okay. Hello.
we'll hear Drunken Jamie's pitch real quick. Good. And then we'll do the news. All right. Rob, you're on the air. Hello. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Howard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow, that was quick. Uh, listen, I got a videotape of uh, Courtney Love, a uh, porno. All right? Send it in to us. Yeah, I want to send it in, but I want to make sure you're going to get it. You know, I, don't want to, I, I sent in a tape a couple of years ago to somebody else. Uh, some, something else it was. Uh, um, uh, Another videotape about four years ago. Just write down what it is and we'll take a look at it. What's that? Just write down what it is and we'll take a look at it. All right, should I put it to your attention? Yeah, uh... put it to my attention. All right, listen, I got a question for Artie. Artie, you there, Artie? Yeah. Listen, on on Man TV, I saw an episode a couple years back, some wrestler come out, and uh, I don't know, you guys were really tearing him up one time, and then he came back on the show, and he beat the hell out of somebody. Was that real or was that staged? I wasn't Remember there. That? I wasn't there, man. Yeah, no, you were there because you came out at the end and were like, what the hell's going on? What was that all about? <laughs> I think that was after I left, man. No, no, you were there, man. I remember you were all big, you know. He doesn't remember. I sir. think I was drunk. <laughs> John, is that your nose whistling? No. Yeah, you just sat down and your nose is what? No, it's not. No. Yeah, I said Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, why don't you go out and get a Kleenex and blow your nose? The schnats are whistling. Into the microphone. No, no, it's not. Trust us, it is. You don't want to. You don't want to trust me. You don't think I know? I hear everything. No, no, it's not whistling, Howard. It's I. I blew it already. I mean, anyway. You know it's No, it's not. All right, well we'll see. Yeah. Just in case it whistles. It's not. Mm, 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 no, it's it, 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 it's a. Uh, I don't care about your stutter. I don't even hear that anymore. It's clear. All right, all right, good. All right, it's clear. <clears throat> good. <laughs> Why do you always fight with Beetlejuice? Uh, um, uh, no, with a Beetle. Close and I are friends. Yeah. No, no, we just, uh, we just fought that one time when I first met. I guarantee Beetlejuice will say something to piss John off. Yeah. No, he won't, no. No, no, because when I first... I don't care. No, no. I would, uh, no you drunky won't. Jamie wants to pitch me a script. You give those guys two seconds in here. Well, this time it's a show. He says he's got the ultimate reality show. God, his nose is whistling right into that mic. Yeah, he can't hear it. I, it's not. Li li listen, Howard. No, 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 no. no. You're it's not hearing clear. it. clear. Okay. See, my nose is clear, though. Okay. It is clear. All right. What do I know? Of course. All right, kid? Jamie, two seconds because i got to do the news. I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. The what are you guys been, this. Are you guys been drinking all night? I'm telling you I've been drinking. What I no, I've had enough, no, Jamie. No, no, Jamie, I, I, you I use the S word. I don't want to get out of here. You get out. Get about it. You just use the uh, S word. No, no, no. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I can't have that on the air. I, I'm, oh, I'm just not interested. No, I did that before. My bad. But you know Sean, what, what do you want? The reality show. Sean, what are you drinking? I'm not drinking anything. I'm with Beetle. That's not Beetle, that's Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Yeah, right, what do you I'm want? I'm the new guy that runs this show. <laughs> I run the show with Sean Mooney thinks that he's going to do something for me, but... Right, I I've had enough. Have you had enough, Robin? I'm fascinated. You really are? I'm fascinated because I'm running the show about Beetlejuice because I run the show... Real quick, what's the show you want to pitch? Pitch a, pitch a show real quick. What are you going to do? I'm going to tell you right now that um, it's called a reality television show. And then the world would look at Beetle and say, I want to look at Beetle run a show. And I say, if you run a Beetle show, oh, what are you, nuts? The guy, he's like William Shapes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sean, what do you want? I'm just Sean, you're you're taking something. I mean, you no, you're not drinking all day. All right. Okay. okay. Jamie, thank you. Thank okay. You. What do you say, Hal? I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it sounds pretty good. I would love to be in business with you. <laughs> I mean, it would be a would great know. experience. But, but if I did a show, if I did a show, if yeah. I had to be the producer, and I had to take care of business. 
Yeah. Would you want to come in business with me? No. If you're scared, say you're scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. If you're scared, say you're scared. I'd be scared to be in business with you, yes. Because the E channel is scared? Yes. Oh, Everyone is scared right. of you. Okay. All right, Jamie. Okay, whatever, buddy. You're frightening. Oh, I am frightening. I always been frightening. My it's enough. It's enough. You, had, you did enough. You, 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 you killed. You killed. You killed me. Thank you, Jamie. And thank you, Sean. And, Sean, thank Beetlejuice for me. What happened to Beetle? No, and, Sean, it's okay to sit in any room. Yeah, it doesn't matter what green room you're in. No, no. Trick a beer. If you're scared, say you're scared. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> That's okay, Sean. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> you try something. I want to get stupid. I want to talk about Lester. Lester, going to tell you the truth. The truth is, if you want to do a, a reality... Where's Beetle? If you want to do a reality television show... About him and us? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? We'll put the ratings up through the roof. And they're with you, and you made it happen. So bang them. Who cares? Oh. Mm. If you're scared, oh, say you're scared. Lester, tell him, Lester. <laughs> Lester, Beetle. tell him. Beetle. Forget about that. You want it? Our stern made you, and we're going to be happy about that. <laughs> What's up, kids? Who told you that? You? Who told you that? I heard about you. If you're yeah, scared, who told scared. you about that? My bad. I'm scared, kid. Yeah, who told you no, about but that? Howard, Howard, who said, told you about that? You know what, Howard? I heard somebody said on the E channel that they, that they, that they, that they were, were all fucked Oh, up, look man. who's talking. Look who's talking. You. you call Harry Stout a, a pussy? Look who's talking. All right, I ain't mad at you. Yeah, Choker J, you called my pussy last time. No, look who's talking now. Uh, what's yeah, uh -huh. yeah, he got you on the show, Drunken Dwarf. Huh? My name is Charlie yeah. Snowlad. Yeah, you're Drunken Drunk Ass. My name is Charlie yeah. Snowlad. I found him on the street, man. Shot something on the street. Uh, uh, they call Drunken Jamie. All right. All right. All right. Hey, my name is Charlie Snowlad. He's a he's a dog the whole time. We get kicked out every week. He's probably doing the All right. No, no, no. All right. no he can't butt naked. It. What do we get him? What do we get him? We get him butt naked and he no. walks down the stairs. We got him a transvestite. We get him a transvestite. Know what it? And he didn't even know yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Let's go. He's gay in a limo. He said, Howie, I like to suck you. Beetle, go ahead, go ahead, go relax, relax, relax. All right, thanks, guys, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, thanks, Beetle. What? I'm telling you the truth. No, no, I believe you. You have to leave now. He loves you. They're waiting for you on Oprah. They, they're waiting for the. Yeah, you got another video. show to. You got another show. You got the Good Morning America. <laughs> thank you, Beetle. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Sean, and don't Thank forget JollyDwarf.com. Hey, Six zero. If you want to do that for me and Bengals, Howie, do this for me. I will talk to you about Howie, that. Thank you for everything. Talk Re to me, Pablo. Read his call. You guys are late. I'm sorry. Talk I'm to sorry. me on my phone. By my heart, talk to me. All right, Beetle. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. We wait for that call, Beetle. All right. We'll wait for you. <laughs> now, go ahead. Go ahead, Jamie. Yes, See you later. Hey, we, we have a problem. Ja ja Jamie, go ahead. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> They've got microphones. They won't leave. It is out of control here. All right, Sean, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Yes. yes. Alcohol is a very dangerous drug. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drive and drink, boys. All right. Next up on the View, drunken Jamie. <laughs> you gotta love those guys. Yeah, they're they're lovable guys. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Okay. All right. Next time. See you later, Sean. Uh, he's still going out there. He's out there screaming. <laughs> <laughs> the guys you want to hang out with? Maybe you. Wow. Uh, maybe go to the jet game or something. I can see why you fight with those guys. <laughs> hey, what's this uh, device they got on Oprah that cures stutter? <clears throat> that cures stuttering. Do you know about this? We want to try it out on you. I I. I her 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 her. her, her. I, I I I've heard a. 
Good or about it, yeah. 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 And what does he do? They say they can put something in his ear. And it would stop his stutter completely. It isn't Fred. That's why. <laughs> yeah. If, you, I, if, if you, this device can stop your stuttering, wouldn't you get it? I mean, it would be a whole new life well, for you. So, well, well no, no, no. See, so you see, like the stuttering? No. No, I thought about it, Howard. But... But I'm. But then you'd have nothing to blame for your miserable no, life. No, no. Because my would not change. Because my fear is that I still wouldn't. I I. Why wouldn't you? Have wouldn't, a, if I gave you magic and could get rid of your stutter, why wouldn't you get rid of it? Because I still wouldn't. Stop <laughs> dancing and talk. To <laughs> <laughs> get weighed and and whoa 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 whoa. You gotta put another thing in his ear to give him a personality. You're telling me <laughs> that if you could stop your stutter tomorrow, you wouldn't do it because you'd be afraid to live no. life as a real, you know, as a, as a viable person. Because because I still because the reason that I'm not. Getting laid is not because you want to be able to commute. Forget about getting laid. No, 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 no. But you want to have a normal life where you can have a normal conversation and maybe get no. a job and be have a you know a social life. And no, 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 you don't no, want no, any of that. No, 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 no. We're on the radio. You don't know where we are. Say that. No, I said pun. I said pun. Oh, all right. Okay. I did say. Well, no one knows that. Oh, well then, C then. All right. Yeah. This guy. Uh, you don't want to know the person. You just. Uh, you know what? Nobody no. gets that. Next time you come in, I'm going to have the device here. We'll try Wait it out. Wait a minute, Howard. You know a, a lot of shallow guys. Oh, like, um. You. You. Your friends. Who. Uh, um. So you don't even know my friends. All your friends are shallow. Ralph's shallow. Ralph is not shallow. You just have that uh, yes impression he is. of him. He gets a, uh, a lot of guys. He's ugly. Lots of guys get laid who are ugly. So if you didn't stutter, maybe you could get laid. You have that bad a self-image? No not yeah, going to go out I with do. you now with that stutter? <laughs> they get scared. I get scared of you. Yeah, well... So, but the point is, once you get rid of it, you, you're going to be normal. We're going to force you to take this cure. Well, well this guy's afraid to try. Well, you're I'll afraid, try it, yeah. And then we'll send you out to a bar and see what. Yeah, yeah, what's we'll shallow? Because the guy wants hot chicks. You want the same thing. You're just jealous that he's getting yeah, them. You don't even want to speak to the girls, Ralph. At least have a little conversation. Uh, uh, well, no. When I approach, Who's shallow? no. When I approach. These good-looking sluts. <laughs> look at the call, better, look at no, every no, girl's no, a slut. No. The, they call me stutter and retard. They say no, they don't. Not every girl because, calls you stutter well, and retard. Well, well, How do you approach well, well, no. them? I, uh, I, I. What do you yell at them? No. Mm, every girl no. calls you a stuttering retard. Well, no, mm, mm, no, it's mm, not accurate. Mm, Be real. Mm, no, Howard. Stop it. Some of them. Just this is so silly. Laugh and walk away. Yeah, uh, well, and some fine. Say some of them are going to walk away. People are mean, but some women are nice. And if you get rid of that stutter, maybe you could meet a girl. He acts as if every girl Ralph talks to takes him up on his proposition. Like he never gets rejected. He gets turned down all the time, and your nose is whistling. Yeah. <laughs> well, I blew it, though. I blew That's it. Right. Right oh, you blew it. All right. I wish we had that thing here right now. I wonder if it worked. Yeah, Richie, go ahead. Richie. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I think uh, John the Stutterer is a faker. Remember when you sent him out on a date with those girls? Yes. Okay. He sit up there. The camera's kind of hanging back. And he's talking to not a stammer. Not a stutter. Dude, this yeah. guy's about as real as it gets. Really? Oh, wait a minute. Listen, John also has P 
periods of fluency, and it also happens with me. Yeah, but most For stutters, minute. when they get mad, yeah, they, they I don't stutter. like nobody's business. John gets mad, and he speaks clear as a bell. No, uh, no, he can't be fight with, you know, a perfect no, example. No, no, most stutterers, when they get angry, there is a great deal like the of spontaneity involved and stutters. Spontaneity? <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah, and, and stutterers uh, speak. Uh, spontaneity. 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 Yeah, yeah. No, right. yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, and I think John will attest oh, to this. I, I don't care. John, I want to help John him. goes through All periods right, okay. of I'm fluency. He doesn't want I'm not a faker. Not real. Dude, That's I awesome. know you're not a faker. This is ridiculous. I, I have been stuttering since I was five years right. old. Dude, who even cares? Don't even pay attention to that guy. That's ridiculous. What's the matter with him? What's wrong with you? He's fake, and he's the best fake I ever heard. It's an open act. <laughs> it's an open act. I mean, come on. That's, that's, that's really impressive. All right, Robin, let's do some news. John has sort of asked if he could sit in because he's very lonely in his house. Well, if he yeah. got rid of his stutter. Do you live with your mom? No. Oh, no. You live by yourself? No, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's lonely. Yeah, but what I have to say, Howard. Does anybody ever visit you? Oh, like social workers. Well, my parents. Your parents were yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, but FedEx. Not one friend. FedEx. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I still love a uh, friend. Though. Once we get rid of but his stutter, fact... once we get rid of his stutter, I bet you he'll get girls. He's not a bad looking guy. Yeah, you take yeah. a bar hopping one. But you're going to need to work to do a makeover a little bit. We had done a makeover on him and he wasn't bad. The makeover wasn't that good. I, I, it wasn't bad. He had a nice haircut. I, I got someone who's going to do the makeover on him. What a Howard. I have to say though, I, 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 I I, 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 I really I, do. Here's your Joe Millionaire. I, we, we said we get him that device. He doesn't stutter. I really do. I, 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 I really do. I, 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 really do to, to, I get a great deal of joy and a pleasure all. Very <laughs> fleeting. To, uh, I got to get to the news. When I, Come on the show. All right, thank, thank you. All right. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. So this is a good day. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's have a good day all together and do the news. Now. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> see how long it lasts. <laughs> see how long it lasts. See how long a good day lasts. <laughs> Robin, you're on. All right. Uh, Phil Spector, the man who is responsible for the wall of sound and uh, termed a musical genius by many, was arrested yesterday and charged with murder. A 40-year-old woman was found dead in his mansion out in California. He is 62 years old. The neighbors say they heard two shots, bang, bang, like that. Uh, about an hour later, police came and took Spectre out in handcuffs. And right now, police are saying he is the only suspect in the murder of this woman who has been termed a B-movie actress. Hmm. They're not saying any more about uh, what their relationship to each other might be. His friends say that Phil has been uh, pretty rational of late and had stopped playing with guns for the most part. That that was, you know, from his past, he wasn't like that recently. So they're all shocked and surprised to hear that this has happened in his home. Well, he's been living rather quietly. A lot of the neighbors didn't even know he lived there. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh. He would go into the studio waving guns, pointing them at people. The Ramones told me he would wave guns at them. And he's crazy. But the most he ever did before was wave the guns. I don't think he ever actually fired him at anyone. Ronnie Spector says he was nuts, too. Yeah, she says he put a gun on her to make her sign the divorce decree. Meanwhile, nobody knows who the hell he is anymore anyway. He's got kind of a history. I guess his career needed a boost. He saw what he did for O.J. and Robert Blake. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wants to know him. Yeah, so uh, 
He's back. And uh, we'll have another celebrity trial to slog through, I guess. Nobody's better than O.J. I mean, yeah, you can't follow O.J. <laughs> Blake and Ramon have nothing on him. I mean, Spector. I mean, Phil Spector. I don't know why I keep calling him Ramon. I guess because he worked with the Ramones. Well, did you see the picture in one of the papers? He looks, he looks like the Ramones. Whoa, man. <laughs> That's a wig, by the way. Why would you buy a wig that looks like that? That's really? a wig? Yeah. It looks like a hobbit. Come on. Uh -oh. That's what Steve Dunleavy said in his column today. Really? Because I can't imagine buying a wig that looked like that. Meanwhile, Courtney Love is also in trouble with the law after a disturbance aboard a transatlantic flight. She's crazy. <laughs> Another crazy. She really is crazy. She's just crazy. I've spoken to her on the phone. She's nuts. The widow of Nirvana's late lead singer Kurt Cobain was arrested in uh, London's Heathrow Airport today. Virgin Atlantic officials say the 38-year-old Love was detained after an onboard disturbance during a flight from Los Angeles. A spokesman for the airline says Love verbally <laughs> abused the cabin crew during the flight. I love that she's Love, but she's abusing everyone verbally. <laughs> and the plane's captain had to be notified. So uh, he then notified the police. British police would not immediately confirm the arrest, but a source said it appears that that is the case. You know what would be the greatest story? If uh, Phil Spector goes to jail and produces an album with Robert Blake, <laughs> <laughs> it's a hit. Yeah. The Wall of Sound. Beretta and the Wall of Sound. He already <laughs> mentioned that he didn't really do much for Yoko Ono when he produced her. No, he should have shot himself. He should have shot himself and Yoko <laughs> during that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gee, he couldn't make Yoko into a star? <laughs> Phil Spector. Uh, not that much of a genius. The uh, investigation of the space shuttle disaster continues. They say that now the debris path is a lot larger than they originally expected to be, and they have found the um, nose cone of the shuttle. They'll be unearthing that today because it had burrowed itself into the ground, and they also say there were a lot of human remains hmm. around the area where they found this cone. Yes. So uh, they will be I hope they're gathering that up. They're still telling people, please do not touch what you find because they're going to try to re recreate this, the shuttle in a uh, plane hangar and try to determine what happened. It looks more and more like that uh, piece of foam that fell off did have something to do with the damage that caused this horrible tragedy. And it means a lot to the people who are still in space. Russia says the Space Shuttle Columbia tragedy will adversely impact the International Space Station. The Washington Post quotes Russian space, ofi space officials as saying that their spacecraft, the little uh, robot craft that they send up with supplies, can only bring enough food and fuel to the outpost to maintain it in a bare-bones fashion. They really need shuttle deliveries to completely supply the space station. But right now, the shuttle... Fly, uh, fleet is completely grounded. So. I've been thinking about it. If I found a piece of space shuttle, I think I'd keep it. Because you know what? They're going to just take it, and they know it went wrong. They know exactly what went wrong. I want my piece of the space shuttle, and you know what? Why shouldn't I have it? Think about it. They're, they're putting out this story that if they find the shuttle and they reassemble it, they're going to be able to know what went wrong. They know what went wrong already. They know exactly what went wrong. Well, why don't you say that when they're looking for pieces of a plane? That was a lot closer when it fell from yeah. the sky. I couldn't get any of that either. I never, you know what, I never get any pieces of anything. I'm the only guy to have a piece of anything. I have a piece of moon rock, nothing. Uh, Captain Jenks has some in his backyard, evidently. Yeah. <laughs> My tax dollars pay for that. I own a piece of that. Meanwhile, now there's going to be a debate as to whether we should continue with a space program. I believe we should. Why? Well, I think a lot of good has come out of the space program. They tell me that a lot of the stuff, a lot of the medical advances, a lot of the... Uh... That's what some people say, but I uh, there's now a debate among scientists. Really? And there's one scientist at least, this guy from the University of Maryland Physics Department, physics professor Dr. Robert Park, who says science has gotten absolutely nothing out of the space program. Yeah, really? And that it's probably equivalent to like a high school project. Wow. It's just curiosity, I think. You know, it is kind of true. scientific research gathered in space may have some interesting results, but it can be done on the ground. The only thing I'm thinking is we're going to screw up this planet so bad that we're going to need to move to another planet at some point, and we might need this technology. But uh, I actually don't care right now because it's never going to be perfected in my lifetime. 
And it doesn't apparently seem to be the ability to go outside of our own universe. We haven't gotten very far. No. We haven't gotten to another planet yet. That's the drag. I mean, even if we got to, like, Mars, then maybe we could set up a telescope and look for some other planets. Right, but we haven't gotten anywhere. We just haven't found anything. You know what? And, and the sad thing is we're alone in the universe. Well, it's that's not true. Yes. There's no other life in this universe. That's not true. Oh, I know it's true. Where are they? I would agree with They're that. They're far, 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 far don't, away. They're probably as stupid as us. No. <laughs> but don't you think there'd be evidence of it by now? Look, of course. You, you don't realize how infinite the universe I is. I do. And the probability is right? great that this accident occurred elsewhere. No. Well, no, it isn't. No, yes, it is. Uh, someone's not reading their Old Testament. <laughs> What's up? I can think of one thing that's good about it. We, we, if they didn't go over to space, would we have satellite TV? Sure, you can do that robotically. You oh. can play satellites. They, please, they do it all the time. They send up uh, rockets with satellites on. Yeah, but that technology, the rocket came from the no. NASA program. Going up in the first place. No, yeah. the rockets came from the war program. No, no, no. The satellite technology came as a result of Sputnik. This doctor and... says that everything that is claimed to be a byproduct of space is a misnomer. Well. You know what? They did an article in Newsweek, Howard. They're saying that the spaceship that went up to Columbia. That it's ridiculous that we set that up because that was built with the idea that we were going to go up 15 times a year and fill it up with people and stuff. And we just don't. I like as a ride? It, well, no, but they're saying that we were going to go back and forth a lot and that we were going to need all this giant stuff to, and all this room to bring it. And we don't. We hardly use it. They said the Russians had the same exact setup. They sent it up once and it cost so much money and was so useless that they stopped sending that one up. They so in other words, it was a useless trip. Like there was nothing really to be done. And right. also, the, also the rocket that goes up, it's too big, it costs too much money, it's not cost effective, and with the, you can go up in a smaller... So why did they send it up? I don't know. That's what we have. That's what we put our money into. Right. We don't have smaller ones anymore. I do know I read that each trip costs $500 million. But, you know, the thing that's really disturbing is they know these, these heat tiles have always been vulnerable. Right. And uh, they say that they could have invested in developing metals that could withstand the... There are 3,000 yeah. degrees of heat that are, are produced when you re-enter the atmosphere, but it was very, very expensive to develop that technology. Right. And uh, well, I mean, the only thing you can say is, you know, you know, we love air travel, we love all, you know, all the advances, and that this is a step toward who knows what kind of travel. Like maybe someday we'll just go up in space and do all kinds of weird stuff. Well, so, you know what the problem is? We don't have any goal. We're just going up. Yeah, because we keep going up and not going anywhere. We need to we go to a planet. Ten-year plan to get to Mars right. or twenty-year no. plan to get somewhere. We're just going up. But even if we get to Mars, and coming down. Yeah. Even if we get to Mars, what will we do? I don't know, but I mean, we should have some goals. What will we do? How fast the fast track we got on when we wanted to reach the moon? Right. There was a goal. There was a an object to to reach, and we did it. Now we just go up. We go up and then we come down, yeah. You know what we've gotten to now? Whether we're going to send celebrities into space. But maybe, yeah. <laughs> but now, maybe you got to go up and go down a bunch of times before it's you like can a, take the next step. It's like a big amusement ride. Mm -hmm. Now we're thinking of making it more fun I, to just go up. I think what you're saying is right, but I think what Robin's saying is we're not doing that. So what do you do? Do you continue to program or not? Let's have a vote. Go ahead, Robin. I think you have to. I think there must be something right. out there exactly. we need to do and need to discover. And it's the last, the final frontier. Right. We must explore. It's like Christopher Columbus. They yes. could have made the same argument. Absolutely. You know, there's not, there doesn't appear to be there's anything out there. out there. I say yes, continue it, but not to discover stuff, to get rid of stuff. Like go. <laughs> Garbage. Seriously, right. That's could, right. If you could figure That's out a right. way to get rid of garbage into space, this planet would be a lot cleaner. That would be you. He's absolutely right. So, what about that? And then Are then these right? Yeah. There you go. Garbage and maybe homeless people. Well, the thing that you're saying is true, too. If you could figure out how to, like, say we could figure out how to get out of our universe at some point, maybe there's something else out there that we need. I mean, there is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, might be some cure for yours. cancer. Yeah. And not only that, look at what Australia was to us. We, we dumped all our convicts there. Maybe the moon's going to become that. Well, we didn't dump our convicts. Well, a lot of people did. The British did. Well, there could be a whole new marijuana on Mars. Or I don't know. Yeah, Maybe a new high out there. All right, so it's, it's all good. All right, so we vote to continue the space program. We'll be back right after these words. A proud black man speaks out. No, 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 no I think you're right. I think I, you've convinced I'm me. you out of respect for me, mm -hmm. out of respect for all black people who are too dumb and who cannot realize what you're doing, okay? Oh. Uh, I'm the so, the leader of the black people. To stop playing that tape. I'm going to say something. You are the stupidest black guy on the planet, and, and, and you are not in charge of black people.
people. I'll worry about what black people are going to hear hey, and what they're going to do. Black people who come on your station like Mr. T. Hey, John genius. King. Why aren't you working? Um, MC, whatever his name, Marvin. Yeah. If those type of guys had any kind of sense, oh, they would not come and you on have sense. and promote whatever they're promoting. And you have sense. You I think you're dignity. the smartest black guy. I have dignity, Howard. No, you don't. I you have, have no dignity. dignity. You have no dignity, and you have no ability to understand what we're doing. Howard Stern, bringing the races together. The discussions you will hear. Two of the biggest loads on two feet. Represent the result of sincere, logical, and scientific thinking. The Howard Stern Show. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Hardy. Welcome back, Mr. Light. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, Mr. Wayne. Creepy. Welcome back, Hardy. Hardy, I might be at the Brooklyn Diner on a Friday. Have a coffee. So if you see me, stop by and say hello. I love you, Hardy. Oh, oh. I feel like I need a shower. Racker Ted Nugent's new cologne has been tested on every known animal. It's the Onion Radio News. I'm Doyle Redland. Unveiling his new cologne fragrance, Nugent, at a press conference today, Ted Nugent touted it as the most extensively tested cologne in history. We tested the stuff on every animal we could catch. We injected it into a kitten's bloodstream, sprayed it onto waters with open wounds that we inflicted, and we squirted it in a duck's eyes. When we ran out of cologne, we just started punching the duck. The cologne, now available in store, features an ivory bottle stopper and comes in a genuine panda skin pouch. Doyle Redland for The Onion, Radio News. <laughs> Tonight on E, the world's meanest listener contest. It's the most brutal and hateful contest. Me, Robin, KC, and Artie take insults from our listeners. Don't miss it tonight on E. There's a show I should make you aware of that's coming up, but I think it's brilliant. They animated our FMEs. Oh, my every God. And it's funny. Yeah? Oh, yes. Robin, you look beautiful as a cartoon. Nice. Beautiful, luscious Robin. I'll have to catch that. You're in a gorgeous gown, and I'm in a tuxedo, and we <laughs> host. They animated it. They did a brilliant job. I don't know when that's airing. I just uh, happened to see the advanced copy, and it was spectacular. That's cool. <laughs> I just knocked Hi, my Eric. headphones off. When is that airing, Robin? Is this the executive producer extraordinaire? Animated executive producer. That's right. Uh, it is this Thursday and Friday. Oh, what Super. a great, great episode. animated by Peter Folks. Folks. <laughs> Folks, you. Peter Folks. An up-and-coming talent, if I ever did see one. And the audience is all animated. You see, Artie animated everyone. Wow. Oh, no. Fred. What does that look like? Even Beth, my girlfriend, is in the audience. Oh, really? I noticed her. Yes, very subtly in the background there. I see her behind. Uh, I think Fred. Yeah, they just Double A will be watching. <laughs> very funny. I wonder if Double A will whack off to the cartoon. I got Tom and Howard's crazy. When I saw Beth on that animated special, I thought it was crazy. I, I, anytime I think you have the greatest show ever, ever you had, it, it just keeps getting better. But how are you doing? Thank you, Double A. So, uh, yeah. Oh, John the Stutter is here today. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, ha, 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 by the way, ha, if you're ha, a... Ha, oh, sorry, yes. Oh, oh, real quickly. One, <laughs> one sixty-year-old woman that you forgot to <laughs> mention who's... Bangable? Uh, 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 yes, yeah, so there's a 60 year old woman that I would find bangable. Well, uh, who, who is it? Well, the, yeah, that you find bangable. Yeah. Who is it? Okay, uh, um. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Okay, quick. Okay, quick. Okay, quick. 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 Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. Hurry, 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 okay. hurry, hurry. Okay, hurry. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. limited on time. Okay. Hurry. Okay, hurry, okay. hurry, okay. hurry. Okay, okay. Hurry. Okay. Hurry. Hurry up. Okay. I only have a second left, please. Nordy. Okay. All right. Let me just say. Nordy, a leader. Um, hurry, hurry. Trent Lott? No. Oh. <laughs> Representative. Nancy Pelosi from California. All right. If you're a hot chick. 
if you're a hot chick that wants it, thanks for uh, taking up all our time with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hal. It's okay. If you're a hot chick that wants a chance to win a date with a sexy porn star, now when I mean Whoa. date, Tabitha Stevens will have sex with you if you're a woman. If you want to win the date, you call us at 1-844-STERN, and we'll give you all the details. But you got to call us first. Yeah, you haven't been announcing that. I know. I, I, I screwed up. 1-844-STERN. Yeah. I, I... You're not a hot the, chick. Well, well, yeah. Uh, well, I, 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 I wish that she would let me... Oh, God. All right. <laughs> we got to stay on the air. What? <laughs> Her C for five hours. Oh, oh! John, bringing it down to another level. <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> speaking of weirdos... Yeah, me. <laughs> me. A no one was thinking that. <laughs> a Pennsylvania man is being held behind bars and charged with more than 200 felony stalking charges. 55-year-old Charles Bainig of Mechanicsburg is alleged to have targeted his female victims by reading newspapers and finding women who had either lost a family member or had been in a car accident. Wow. He would then telephone the victims, and once he got them talking, he would begin making obscene statements. <laughs> he say, I, 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 I want to eat your C word. <laughs> For five, <laughs> five hours. hours. Police say most of Vanek's uh, victims were in the Hershey area, so... Uh... Yeah, I like to lick the Hershey area myself. Oh, yeah. I, 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 They, um, fudge from... All right, all right, come on, let me move along. Secretary of State... Hershey Highway. Colin Powell is scheduled to provide the U.S. security council with what he calls a straightforward, sober, and compelling set of proof of Iraq's weapon. Weapons program tomorrow, uh, and many don't think there's a question of their guilt. However, others right. are expecting very detailed accounts because they really need to see a smoking gun, a real yes. reason, yes, a concrete reason to invade Iraq. So we'll hope that Colin Powell is very convincing, if it really is necessary. Robin, on the air, we have one of the biggest celebrities in the world. Who's that? Howard Stern. Howard, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Hi. What can I do for you? I don't know. How old are you? I'm 49. Are you cute? No. <laughs> are you really good looking? I'm really not that good looking. What do you look like? Well, I'm six foot five. Slender. Wow. Hey, is this really me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good, okay. Um, six foot five. Well, I look like you. Do you think O.J. was guilty or innocent? Guilty. Absolutely. Right. You know, you're the best guest I have. <laughs> Actually, this is kind of boring. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I'm in love with you. were with a woman. Last time I was with a woman last night. My girlfriend you and I hooked up. Uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you lucky bastard. Right. Ooh, that, no that's normal. There. That's normal is right. So when you say you want to lose your virginity to me, does that mean that you actually had fantasies about me? Right, I've got to go. I'm done with you. I would. Yes. You're the man, man. You're the man. Thank you. On our phone, Robin, is John... Is you again? No, John the Stutterer's father. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You <laughs> suck! <laughs> Sal, you are one ugly scumbag. Uh, 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 I'll box you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's get to the news. You uh, ugly wop. I hope you die. Uh, all right. Let's go to um, let's uh, go to the news. Yes. I uh, just want to remind people, Michael Jackson is going to be featured on Thursday night on a special broadcast of ABC's 2020. I think they're stretching it. It's supersized to two hours. They know. To deal with Michael, apparently. Looks good, is. actually. He gave some reporter incredible Enough. access to his personal life. And yes. it took this guy eight months to put this footage together. But you will get an inside view of what it's like. Can't wait for it. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson talks about how he used to sleep in the same bed with Macaulay Culkin and Kieran Culkin, his brother. And they would all... They... What's wrong with Mom and Pa Culkin? I even had a 12-year-old sleep with him about cancer. And Homo. The kid got... <laughs> <laughs> What else is in the news? So uh, that's something to look forward to. The Vatican is concerned about the proliferation of New Age religions. Yes. 
They say it should be seen as a warning for the Catholic Church. Yeah. In a 100-page document, the head of the Holy See's culture department says people who adhere to New Age have authentic spiritual thirst, and the church should ask itself why they are looking elsewhere. Well, you know, uh, the, those newfangled religions have so much fun. <laughs> yeah, they're not nearly as strict. They got, like, hookups. They can hook you up to stuff and tables, and they give you a lot more personal they contact. They give you special powers. Yeah. And they don't molest your kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no real priest involved. That's no. a big plus. collecting going on. I think John Travolta's in some newfangled religion. He thinks he can cure people. He well, can heal. Well, he likes... Um, Michael Jackson. He can lay hands on people and heal them. Michael Jackson lays something else, I think. <laughs> Harry Potter, however, is okay. The uh, Holy See says that I'm sure that all of us grew up with the fantasies of uh, fairies and magical things, and that's not harmful. A lot of the priests grew up with the, the fantasies of fairies. Yeah, what kid doesn't have that? What red-blooded American boy? Mm. Boy, the church has gotten so liberal. They say Harry Potter's okay. Wow. <laughs> it's okay to go see those movies or read those books. Mm -hmm. Owen Wilson with us this morning, the guy who is teamed with everyone in Hollywood. <laughs> He's not white. Once again, teamed with Jackie Chan in Shanghai Nights. The chink. Oh, stop. Come on, come on. No, That's uncool. I, no, mm, mm, I invite you in here. You don't have to, you don't have to disparage everyone. Mm, mm, no, I just said that mm, all right, for all right, comedic enough. effect. Well, it wasn't right, funny. Right. Well, you're no comedian. Right. I've seen comedians. So you're right. not one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're the furthest thing from it. Really, Robin? Because I was, I was upset I didn't think of the chink. <laughs> Here's uh, Owen Wilson on his relationship with Jackie Chan, A1. Yeah. I'm anxious to hear this. I really do get along with Jackie, or we just kind of, I just find the stuff he does funny, and uh, he's really good for me to act opposite, of, you know, just his expressions, and um, I guess we do kind of obviously couldn't be more different. Uh, old School opens on uh, February 21st, and Owen's brother Luke appears in that one. Here he is on if he can relate to men in their 30s trying to relive their younger years, A4. Yeah, well, I mean, I can relate to an idea. It's like, you know, people having midlife crises and getting a sports car, marrying somebody. I don't care. Uh, uh, you can relate. Okay. Kate Hudson has a film that... Uh, Her I care about. ...opened this past Friday, but didn't seem to do very well. Here she is on if... She and her husband, Chris Robinson, found flaws about each other when they started dating. Me too. No, we, we fell in love so fast that it, it all happened so quickly that we didn't have time to find any flaws. It was just all love. So. I'm just hitting myself flaws. No, it was, it was a... Uh, yeah, although I must say, at first it didn't go so fast that I had one moment where I went, Okay, wait, is this... Is this good? Is this a good thing? You know, am I jumping into it? And and then I just went, oh God, the hell with it! And I jumped in head first. <laughs> Shut up! And she says her husband makes her laugh all the time, and she explains why that's important in marriage. Eighth grade. There's nothing better than laughter in any relationship. You know. I had a weird thing with her. I think I could have gotten her. Really? Yeah, it was right before she met her husband. I was at a party at Rick Rubin's house, and she was there. She was. She was talking to me. Oh, that means you could, you could get her? Yeah, if a chick talks to me, I think I can get her. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, but, you know, if she was 20 years old, I'd be wrong. She got her mother's ass? <laughs> She's a great-looking girl, but she looks like a kid. She has a very young look. Well, she's 21. I mean, you know she's not a kid. But I look like a kid, so. Yeah, you're younger. Yeah. You should have slipped her some roofies. Yeah, there you go. Just going to jail, wreck my life. John, lock again. <laughs> I like that better than the chink comment. The chink. But I'm so dumb when a chick talks to me, I think they want. But then when I saw she married Chris Robinson, I could see where I kind of look a little like him. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm about as ugly as he is. Yeah. Is she better looking than me, Ron? No. <laughs> hey, it's Robin. Yeah, is your name Robin? <laughs> yes. Yeah, chink. <laughs> Uh, you have a similar look, but he's he's got you know the, he's got Sexier. a sex appeal. Right. <laughs> hey. 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 Thank you. I I I I I you you um look uh, like you're 35, Howard. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. No, you do. Seriously. I appreciate it. And you look 20. 
No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You look young. Yeah, I, I'm, I, 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 I turned, I, 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 34. Well, anyway, my point being, my point being. <laughs> January 21st. So. Right, my point is, I'm a little 34? Yeah. yeah. My point is. <laughs> Yeah, see. No, no, my point no, is. No, 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 no. no you see. should have stuck a gun uh, to her head. Because that's how I want a woman. And said, suck, bitch, suck. Oh, All right. <laughs> wow. But you are angry at women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah. because they ridicule well, and reject me. Once we put that thing in your See, ear, you're not going to stutter anymore. Go ahead, Robin, please. Okay. And finally, uh, sorry, one Howard. more example of why it's bad to drink. In a <laughs> tragic story coming out of Florida, <laughs> a drunk man was killed after entering the wrong house. Yes. It was his own. Oh. John Arnold shot Jeffrey McNeil to death after McNeil banged on the front door, then burst in screaming obscenities. Wow. Authorities say McNeil actually lived two doors down and thought he was going into the home he shared with his parents. Hmm. They believe he was intoxicated at the time. The two men didn't know each other. Their homes looked almost identical. Oh, well. Hey, 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 hey. And that's what's happening. All right, thanks, Robin. Um, thank you, John, this stutter. It was, it was great to see you. And, thank uh, you so much, Howard. And just uh, real quickly. <laughs> no, there's no such thing. To all the good-looking <laughs> Philly slots <laughs> at Philly clubs who ridicule and re reject me, die, bitches, die, and I hope you all get sea cancer. You evil, cruel sluts. Well, that'll win them all. Right. And, and if I was king, king of the world, I would kill all the good-looking women with very few exceptions, including Robin. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's terrible. What no, you I said it's over the no. line. Oh my Bradley, God, poor Robin. No, okay, few you're exceptions. Right. I said I would kill oh, Robin. No. I wouldn't oh, kill Robin. Oh, right. I said I would kill. A lot of anger in you. We would get the idea. I no, I said make that edict very clear. Could you just try to kill Robin, Ronnie? Get in here and drag it out. No, I said no. <laughs> we know no, what you I said. said no. I, uh, no, I said John, I would John. kill now. all the good John, women in the world, with very few exceptions, and one of those I wouldn't kill is Robin. All right. All right. And uh, bring in the stun gun, and and and, 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 John. and 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 I would and I and I would and I would, and I would, and I would rape would, their corpses one by one. All right. So you have a lot of anger in you. Yeah. You get that. You're John angry. with his famous yeah. sign off. But I... He just said he'd rape you, Robin. No, okay, listen, we got to go. She's I didn't stuttering. say Robin. I didn't say Robin. John is stuttering. Uh, I love Jews, Robin. Thank you. Jollydwarf.com, 800-604-9004. want to thank also uh, uh, the E-Network, the World's Meeting Solicitor Contest. Check that out tonight. Don't forget Thursday and Friday, animated FMEs. It ah. is a scream. I love it. Um, thank you, Justine Priestley, the sister of Jason Priestley. Thank you for coming in here. She's at Hogs and Heifers, and she has a short film. Just look up Justin Priestley on the internet. And, mm. Justine. Uh, uh, Justine. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, 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 Let me finish uh, uh, that. And uh, Yes Rules. Yes, the band Yes yeah. Rules. All right. Okay. And that's it. And if you're a hot chick that wants a chance to win a date with sexy porn star Tabitha Stevens, Before call John us. John kills you. 1-844-STERN. Okay? Everybody all set? Yes. All right. Thank you. John the Stutterer, you're on the air. Ha ha hi ha hi hi ha 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 Oh my. I I I was just calling to 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 defend of the that then she to say that he should should sit at the the table in. Vegas, eh, 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 and that that dirtball scumbag Ralph 
should get no air time in Vegas because 99.9% of your fans hate I love, Ralph. I love John the Shutterer, but, you know, this can go on all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Benji's defense. <laughs> yeah. What happened to you? Killed it in, 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 in a... Uh, <laughs> Vegas Howard. Uh, 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 no. You never know what he like halfway in. I go, yeah, this will be funny. John the Stutter will be on, but halfway in, you're, and when you're with him in person, yeah, you're like, how do I shut him up? I know. He's cornered me and started talking. He should get no airtime at all, Howard. We hate him. All right, John the Stutter, everybody. That we've never used him to like for a phony phone call where like he calls and books our tickets for the airlines. Right. And, and, how can we not? And I would start. And, and I would love. Is that called a conjunction? Uh, Look at you. And I would love to spread your lower. <laughs> He's so sexy when he talks like this. I know. I'm Lark, getting Lark so the way for five hours. Thank you. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, there's more. Uh, what? What, Howard? What's sad is the guy's got a lot to say. Oh, too much. You know. What? What? Oh, 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 and you don't know if he's like an interesting guy or maybe he's a bore. You know what I mean? Um, on I don't know what his story is. What? Border politics. What? <laughs> <laughs> Say again. He wants to have sex with her. Yeah, in fact, not only is she coming to Vegas, but we are going to deal a hand of blackjack, and a guy will have, i got to call it a date with her, oh. but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The, oh. The, oh. Be, because the, I would oh. love... You could do whatever you want to her on that date. Yeah, because I would love to, uh, uh, to um, <laughs> French kiss her Something sexy. Five hours. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you I thought you were going to kiss Robin down there. Now you're kissing her. <laughs> well, her too. Yeah. Both of them, yeah. At, at the same time. Yeah. So is John coming to Las Vegas? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what John's doing. It sucks when all he gets out is, I'm going to French kiss her little, and then it's up to your imagination to figure out what he's going to say. Lives. It's like Mad Libs. Well, yeah. Howard, I would love, love to do All right, let's review come. But, but that's not all. What, what I call for action. Oh, I, no, I, no, no. Wait a second. Wait, yes. Josh, Josh, you're on the air. What do you want to say? Uh, get this guy off the air. Uh, John the Stutter. Uh, you're over. Uh, you're uh, over. Scumbag. Yeah. Wow. See, that's not fair. John, you still there? Yeah, yeah, right. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> Thank God. All right, listen, John. Yeah. I got to run. Okay. All right. 
See, he never. Well, 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 you know, Tom Chiasano will barely fly down the Butterface contestants. Really? Yeah, I mean, I, I finally got him to agree to that. Sorry, John. <clears throat> it's not. A, it's not. I do want him there. I mean, he's fun to have. Yeah. Well, what am I supposed to do? He's great. Ah. Uh, oh well. The, 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 you got to hear this. Double A. You know the guy who calls oh, in. Hi, this is Double Wayne. How was Double Wayne? What's going on? Uh, What's going on? Uh, he, well, well, he called and said he called to, to ask us to take care of him in Vegas, like make uh, sure I'm taken oh, care of. Well, 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 what are you taking care of? What I don't know. Mean? He wants to be taken care of. Well, last year he got into that pool party. Well, yeah, but who brought him? I, I think he won a contest or something. Oh, maybe there was a listener. Wait, there's a whole conversation going on underneath. Well, Howard, I'll just wait until the next... All right, John. Yeah. John, I got to go. I got to go. Really, I got to move the show along. If you could, if you could just get say the next. Well, I hope you have a great day. Okay. Okay. Bye. John, thanks, man. Okay. Bye. Write me a letter. <laughs> and to all the hot chicks in Philly who reject me, die, 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 <laughs> die, you, die, <laughs> <laughs> bitches. <laughs> he went. He went off the last time because chicks reject him. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, what, what was the what is was the sign off like? That's a sign off all the hot, to all the hot chicks at the club. But it takes like an hour. To, 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 to. I'm a. Listen, I just want to welcome to the show our great friend, Evil Dave Letterman. Dave Letterman. Yeah, we've been up to some hijinks. We, we tried to call John the stutterer yesterday. You know how he hates Ralph? Yeah. We tried to tell him that Ralph was booking all the trips for the WAC Pack to Las Vegas. And that he'd have to talk to Ralph to get to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> he knew he knew he was pulling his leg, though. You want to hear that? Yeah. All right. I got a ton of stuff here, and I got a whole bunch of rag magazines I got to read you. So hold on. Listen, um, I just wanted to talk to you a couple minutes. You, you know we were, we're going to Vegas in... Um, That's KC. He likes KC. Okay. In in April, probably about three weeks. Yeah, uh-huh. And you know how I usually book you, and, you know, we went up to L.A., and I booked and stuff like that. Well, I'm not doing travel anymore this year. Uh-huh. All right, I'm, I'm involved in more of the technical aspect of the show now. Yeah. So I'm not doing any of that, but um, you know who's... See, that's where it fell apart. Who's going to believe he's involved in the technical right, aspect right. of the show? Right, right. What's wrong with him? <laughs> that's a tip-off right there. Uh, yeah. Casey suddenly found a brain. Somebody would let him take care of something really important. They're actually doing it is, is Ralph is actually booking all the travel for all the whack pack. What? Who is? Ralph. <laughs> Ralph is like his Niagara Falls. Right. He just starts screaming. Slowly I turn. Uh, n n n no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, actually, he's got that, that account this year because uh, I'm not doing it all. That account. So, um, you know, let me transfer you down there because I know he's he's made decisions and stuff like that. So let me transfer you down there. All right? I'll, I'll call you back later because I have some other stuff I need to talk to you about. Hello? Hello? John? Yeah, who's this? It's Ralph. Uh... uh... Oh, <laughs> uh, not you. Yeah, dude, sorry. Hey, uh, listen, you know, the, the, you know uh, we've had problems in the past, you know, uh, you, you, you yell and the, you yell at me and stuff like that, and, you know, you there? He hung up. John? <laughs> he hung up. John, where are you? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He hung up. So we called him back. <laughs> not you. <laughs> Yeah, Case. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, so did you talk to Ralph? Case. 
I do not want to talk to that big, to, uh, I do not want to talk to, to that, uh, uh, prick. Yeah, I, I know you don't like Ralph, but he's the one that's... <laughs> the, 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 the case is a joke. The, 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 the case. Yeah. The case. Why are you... The, the, no, he's... Man, it's starting to kill me. Yeah, he's... Not the one I handle in trip. Of course he's not. You don't think he is? No. We all share responsibilities when we do these trips. We bring in extra people. Now, now Ralph happens to be handling <laughs> whack pack travel. No, no. No, he's not. No. No. You, you just don't believe it? No, uh, no. I don't, no, no, man, you're lying to me. All right, all right, John, you're right, I am lying to you. You're, you're too smart for us, but uh, you are going to come with us to, to Vegas. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, the, 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 the case, so the, yeah, listen. Not if I had my way, though, you <laughs> prick. Oh, uh, 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 Who's the case? Who's the case? Who's the case? Who's the case? Is anybody like Casey? What? 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 Okay, I'll be quiet. What? 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 You want me so bad. You are so gay. You are so in love with me. You are so in love with me. You, you, you. You criticize you, you, everyone you. else, but when someone criticizes you, you won. <laughs> what? Like a fag. Oh. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> what? Dude, really? Ser 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 seriously? Seriously? Ser you, you know what? Seriously, I'm gonna. I am gonna talk to Howard and you see because you weren't gonna come you at first. You were. You were gonna. Come. I'm gonna do everything well, I can to make sure that you don't come. You, I will uh, break your jaw. Oh, you can't break an egg, you pussy. You can't break an egg, you starting retard. You can't even get laid. You can't even get laid. You can't even get laid. I will break your jaw. You can't break an egg, you pussy. Uh, see that? Because you Why are you so angry? arrogant faggot who makes fun of everyone else, but when they make fun of you, you whine like That's one not true. Fag. But he stops stuttering when he gets a hold of Ralph. Oh, the word faggot he has no trouble with. <laughs> faggot! You faggot! <laughs> I can't believe though he wouldn't even deal with Ralph. It sets him off though when he hears Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> not you. Not you. Not Flick. <laughs> <laughs> you That's not like true. Bag because you That's not true. Everyone else, but when they make fun of you, you whine like a fag. That's because not true. You are one arrogant hypocrite because you can make fun of. <laughs> I love this show. Yeah. Everybody's at war, yelling at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's just a funny thing to me. Everyone else. That's not true. No. This goes on for eight minutes. I don't know if you want to hear it. No, no. no. You know, he's just going to keep stuttering out that you whine and you don't. Right. Whatever. There's no real dialogue going yeah, on. Yeah, he doesn't change up. It's like the U.S. in Iraq. <laughs> Seth, you're on the air. A couple of quick phone calls. Oh. My phone calls there? Guess not. <laughs> what happened? Juliet, you there? Yes. What's up? Hi, Howard. How are you today? I'm fine. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm not doing so long. I'm here with John, the stutterer, and, um... You're there with John, the stutterer? 
Are you his girlfriend? Um, yeah. I guess you could say that. Sure. Really? Yeah, really. I'm I really never very knew. Fond of him. What? Are you charging him? Um, no. You're not a hooker. Well, look, I'm going to be honest about it. I'm not saying I don't do it. Take. I'm having a really bad time of it. I'm struggling really, really hard. Having a really bad drug problem. It's really unusual that I would pay attention to anything other, you know, than it means to an end to my life right now. And John just got my attention. He's something, you know, that just, I don't know, it's just unusual for me to spend time. Wait, 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 wait. John the Stutterer has a girlfriend. Yeah, and he's somebody that I'm paying attention to, and for me to pay attention to. And are you a hooker is what I'm asking. Well, I do what I need to do to supplement my drug habit, you know. Wow. But he doesn't pay me for sex. What kind of drugs are you on? I'm on heroin and cocaine, and I'm out of re I, I have no recourse. Gee, what a catch. Me. What's that? Let me speak to John. Okay, but Howard, seriously, I mean, I don't, I know this is not, you know, this is material that's going to, you know, get people's attention or anything. I just seriously need some help, and I have no recourse any longer. I have no more funding source to turn to. If you could do Can I speak to John for one second? Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Could you put him on the line? Uh, ha, ha. Hello? Uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. Goodbye. <laughs> Get him back on the phone. I want to talk to him. Ha, ha, click. Uh, double A, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, how, how's it going? Hey. Hey, listen, uh, your show has been awesome lately. I mean, the interviews you've been conducting, and uh, it's funnier than ever, these, the, the, the whole show. But anyway, I got the uh, Razor magazine with uh, Beth on it, and inside there's a couple of nice... Uh, Nip slippage inside uh, with Beth. <laughs> with yeah, Beth. I've heard that. I, you know what? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the nip slip. I haven't Let seen any of it. it. There's, there's actually two two pages, like page fifty nine and page sixty one. I'm gonna talk to her about that. Is she doing that on purpose? Do you oh, think? I don't think she cares. Real good. <laughs> page fifty nine is a nip slip. Yeah. You see her like in the in the pool over there with the red. Oh, I see. You can sort of see through. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That is that is nip. Yep. And what about page what sixty one? Sixty one. If you could. See. Yes. That's yes, right. Very obvious, huh? Looking very good too. <laughs> hey, uh, why are you bogarting that razor? <laughs> You're already. See my girlfriend's nip. Yeah, not for nothing. You've seen. It. But you really, I mean, like. <laughs> you yeah. gotta be really looking, or is it? No, it's, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. You can see it, you know. Nip slippage. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is good. I'm going to buy a razor. All right, thank you, Double. Hey, let me ask you a question. Yes. Have you been, uh, you know, uh, like Playboy, uh, ask her to... to she she was, before she met me, uh, when she was like 21, they asked her to do it. Yeah, she's uh, it's been asked a number of times, no, I understand. But uh, that's not her thing. All right, here you go. Evidently. You know, hey, uh, will she be in the studio anytime soon? I want Today, to... actually. Today? Yeah, she's uh, doing um, the JD makeover. Oh, that's right. Today's the day. She's going to take JD out. Nice. And and uh, you know, I called Doug Goodstein, and I said, uh, and I told Robin Rodzinski this. I said, don't. You know, at first I think they were bringing Beth in to just, like, uh, kind of be the eye candy in the piece and stand there. And no, while, no, no, she can really do know, this. She wants to bring him, and then she said, do I, can I bring him over to you know the stores I want to bring him to? And uh, or do I have to, you know? So so I said, yeah, I want you in charge. Right, it's your makeup. Yeah, I want you to do the makeup because they had, and then they had him booked at a tanning salon. I said, no, 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 nothing jive. The guy doesn't need to be at a tanning salon. Just fix him up. They should have gotten with Beth and said, what do you want to do? Can't be done for some reason. I shoot over. You think she'll find my magazine real quick? What today? Yeah. You're not in town. Oh, I'll shoot over. I'm in Jersey. Oh, you're in Jersey. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. Cool. Thanks, man. I'm on my way. <laughs> Who cares? That's so funny. Uh, oh, John the Stutterer. Uh, oh, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm... Sorry, Sorry Howard. Um, uh, 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 then they hung up the phone. Hey, I just wanted to say to you, I just spoke to your girlfriend there. Yeah, yeah. Way to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I... How'd I, you get her? I, um, <laughs> Is she hot? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, I, 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 um. You did her, and you're banging her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long has this been I, going on? I um m m met her at 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 at. You must be. You at, must. At a, who cares? You I must. Are, uh, she, she's a stripper. Yeah, so. but you must be like. What? Out of your mind, happy. Yeah, it it it, it, it it's a sur a real What's it? How what's often it? do you uh, see her? Well, I got a million questions. Yeah, I mean, what what is it, happening it, here? It, it it's a surreal experience. Like so, how much is it costing you? I mean, I know, it's, I know it's not a direct payment, but what do you got to do? Just feed her? Uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, so, I mean, what, what? what's the yeah, extent? Is she living with you? No, no. Yeah, but, no. What is, but what's it like? She stayed some nice, what, Howard? Uh, look, you... I think his stuttering would be improved. Not at all. You know, like he'd be more relaxed. But yeah. it is the beginning of the relationship. And I understand she's a heroin addict and a cocaine addict. But but you got to overlook these things. I mean, come on, look at him. I mean, he's got the stuttering problem. It's perfect. And and it's like, you know what? Yeah, at first you were bummed out for You guys could be good. I'm not bummed out at all. I I'm thought thrilled. when you first heard, you yeah. go, what a catch. But uh, now you're thinking, this is perfect. No, I, would, I meant what a catch. I mean, it's terrific. <laughs> she's a breathing woman, Rob. I mean, she's a woman. She's a stripper hot. So she's got a heroin problem. That's why she's with yeah, but you know, so she what? she could be a problem if she's sharing needles and uh, that kind of stuff. That's true. Well, the Howard, um, she she um um she looks she looks so. Let me talk to her. You're impossible. Yeah, Howard. Uh, um, uh, I I I no, Howard. Uh, Stuttering uh, Romeo. She looks so. Like a Sarah Silverman. Um, um, she wants to. to you got to bring her in here. Well, she was asking you for something, oh. Howard. Hello. Is she hanging up the phone? Yet? Howard. Honey, it's hard to talk to him, but Look, so let me tell. Explain it. Just answer my questions and don't go into any of your heroin ramblings. No, it's not anything like that. All right, let me understand something. You're a stripper. Yeah. When did you meet him? How many weeks ago? How long ago did you meet him? No, honestly, Angelou, we met a while back, but we started dating about a month ago. I had no okay. idea who he was. Don't break his heart. No, of course not. I'm serious. What are you talking about? I believe you. I mean, he's a good dude. No, I honestly, he truly is. And what we, like when you first met him, did you think there was something really wrong I with him? I didn't even know anything was wrong with him. I had no idea who he was. <laughs> you really are high. Yeah, I was going to say, how no, good is Harold? No, not at all, because you know what? It's... it's you know, it might take him a little while to get something out, but what he gets out makes perfect sense. And he's a beautiful listener. And he's a really quality person. He has a really quality heart. And that's unusual. You know, I don't come across that a lot. Beautiful. So. And you're banging him and everything, huh? Well, I don't really trust him telling. I think it's kind of personal between us. But you're not sharing needles, are you? Anything, but you're not sharing needles with people, are you? No, I'm not. And you use condoms when you're doing your other extracurricular activities. Yeah. yeah. Look, look, I just really <laughs> have no resources any longer. I do want to spend more time with John. You know, it's really difficult to do so because I have to... You know, I'm always trying to, you know, find a means to an end to my problem. And uh, how much does it cost your problem? It's like about 150, 200 dollars, maybe a day. 150 a day. I'm down to be 150 a day. Honey, we got a sponsor, but I'm afraid to get you off heroin because no, I need some serious help, and I'm really ready. But if she gets really off, well, if she gets she off, might leave John. I don't want her to leave John. Yeah. Well, you know what? If I paid attention to him now, and even paid attention to anything other than. You know, it's like I don't really have any use for my... What's that sponsor we have that can get her in detox? It's the one, the detox. What is it That's called? what I need to do. I need to get in a detox desperately. I got I one no for you. Source. But I don't want you dumping John. I'd rather have you on heroin and stay with John. That's a terrible thing to say. I know. But, you know, we have... I have a, but i got to think of him. ...a interest in this. Right. Well, I know is you'll get healthy and then you'll dump us there. Yeah, you'll find no, a good I guy. I think, you know, like I said, if I was, if you could penetrate me, I don't mean physically, I mean... Just Emotionally. You know, my mind, yeah, Through your haze, right? Now, mm -hmm. Then I know that I'm paying attention to All right, let me speak to him. Let me speak to him for a minute. All right, just a minute. All right. Uh, uh, hey, hi, hey, John. Hi. John. Hi, Howard. I'm back on the phone. Hi. Okay, listen to me. Yeah. You want me to get this chick off heroin, or we want to keep her on heroin? 
Um, <laughs> it's a big choice you make it. Because, I mean, I don't want to I mean, have you, you thought about the your consequences? Because that means if, if we clean her up, she's going to leave. She's going to probably go, uh, you know, she'll probably, like, get her head together. They'll tell her, you know, like, hey, you need to, you know, change your life. She could get a quality guy, you know, um, somebody who doesn't stutter. Well, yeah, well, um... See, he's torn. Well, well, uh, Are you saying I, you're torn? I, uh, 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 I really uh, uh. would like to say her, Queen Howard. Does she shoot up in front of you? Because does she shoot uh, up in front of you? What? Does she shoot up in front of you? Uh oh, she she, she, she snorts it. She what? She, she snorts it. So she does that in front of you? Uh, well, what? Uh, she used. That's hot. Uh, I mean, he's got a girl. He doesn't care. Uh, shoot. She uses to... Well... Uh, to, um, <laughs> well. <laughs> well I mean, you're, you're in a conversation with him. You're not going to snort a little heroin? Well, that's what I'm saying. Do we really need her off this yeah, drug? Yeah, wait till she gets straight. I mean, <laughs> normally I'm for helping people, but this is... I'm glad uh, you're uh, <coughs> clean. <laughs> Dude, a simple yes or no will suffice. Dude. Seven years... What Howard? Uh, dude, I dude, really dude, dude, would dude. like to see her get better. Dude, because listen to me. I really feel she uh. does like me. <laughs> because all right, all right. You know, I'll he's got to test it. That's what he's saying. Maybe all right, put her back on. Seriously, put her back on. Put her back on. Okay. I can't take it. You know what he's saying? It's like, I think she really likes me for me, but i got to see if she likes me when she's straight. Guys are always screwing that yeah, up. Yeah, they got to test it. That's like that goddamn Superman in Lois Lane. When, 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 in the second Superman, when Superman says, I, I, I'm going to get rid of my power so I can right. be with you, she was ready to ditch his ass. <laughs> Guys always want to know. That's right. they got to be liked for themselves instead of what's going on. Hey, what is it, Joe? Joe. Joe. Speak up. Yeah, she's there. Go ahead. Hey, honey? Yeah. All right, I'm going to clean you up, but I know. Have you tried cures before? Yeah. How long have you been on heroin? Um, I started when I was about 22, so I was about 20, uh, I don't know, maybe three and a half years. I got on methadone for seven years, maintenance, which I never want to do again. Oh, methadone. Oh. Hey, Dan. And then yeah, I was... Yo, Howard. What's up? There's a great place in Bowling Green, Kentucky, called The Bridge, right? That's where I went. I got, got back over seven and a half months. And you can't even smoke or drink coffee because they consider that self-medicating with caffeine and nicotine. And they teach you, like, you know, codependency is the, is the stem for dependency. It's a real great place. Yeah, I but got I, I got to get a freebie. I, I'm sure they'll work something out with you. Nah. It's all right. I, I, got, I got a sponsor. Wait. Hey, uh, Gary. Yeah, this, this guy group will have her off in 24 hours. They said they can clean you up real quick. What's that called? ODI or something? I don't remember. What's it called, Fred? I think you're right. I think it's ODI. I wish you could remember the name of it. I don't know if they're any good, but they're my sponsor. They no, got this it. is, yeah, this is the deal where you, you know, you go in there and you get detox and you don't even have any cravings. You don't get, go through withdrawal. That sounds like, she, she doesn't sound like she has much willpower, so right. this sounds good yeah, for she her. She doesn't need to be in pain. You need to lose weight. I got trim spa. <laughs> hey, honey. Yeah. Hold on. I, I'm trying to get word from Gary, but he won't answer me. Oh, here he is. What's the sponsor? ODI. Oh, right? oh, 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 well, I know we were running commercials last week for a place. Wasn't it called Rapid Detox? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it had another name to it. Yeah, yeah. that's what they do is, is that Rapid where Detox. They... Sorry. What? I think that's where they kill you. Yeah. Because <laughs> no, you don't feel no anything. Pain. I think they get. You, I think they said they can get you done in like. Yeah, it was 24, 24 hours. In yeah. 24 hours, what they're claiming is that, uh, and it sounded pretty good, that they know how to detox you without any pain. Well, methadone will do it. If I can get into methadone. No, 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 no. That's just another drug. Oh, these guys are Not for maintenance, just uh, like a five No, 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 they know how to do no, it. No, no, no. This is a good program, I it's think. It's like 20, 15, 10, 5, and you're off. Honey, yeah. listen to me. You've okay. tried that before. Okay. Want to know something? I don't know anything about 20, 15, 10, and 5. We're talking 24 hours. Right. To me, 20, 15, 10, and 5 are weight stacks. Yeah, or no, what no, does the quarterback no. yells before he makes it? Right. <laughs> this stuff will get you clean before John can say, I love you. I, 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 I,
Um, he's. Uh, I don't know if I ought to comment on that. You can. It's all right. He doesn't mind. No, because this is something that he doesn't know what you're answering. That. Honey, What's just that? tell me: is the kid doing good or what? Look, I just think that I'm not going to put you in rehab till you answer. Okay, that would be a yes. He's good. <laughs> all right. And he's good at oral, right? That's another yes. Huh. Well, can we? Can you tell me the sponsor if we can hook her up? I have to, you know, check with Tom and see what time. Yeah, we gotta go stuff. to traffic, I guess. All right. I'll get your number and everything. All right. Okay. I don't have any phones, and I. Well, have you got no, John the Stutterer. Um, source. What's that? John the Stutterer's got a phone. Okay. He's, he's saying funds, my darling. F U N D S. That's what I'm asking you. What? I have no funding source at all. I said, well, I'm trying to. That's what I'm telling you. I'm trying to get you in with the sponsor. Okay. Okay. One of my commercial sponsors. I didn't ask you for any funds. Yeah, we're not going to give you money. It's pretty obvious you I don't, don't have need any money. any money. I just need, I need to go to detox desperately. How much money have you gotten out of stu uh, John the Stutterer? What's that? How much money have you milked, uh, I mean, gotten out of John the Stutterer? No, I, truly, honestly, it's, it's, John has nothing that, you know, would help with my drug habit. Nothing. Right, I'm just asking, does he lend you money? Nope. Yeah, Zero. In fact, you know, what, you know what I do? I don't come here unless... I've already had everything taken care of because that way I don't have to disappoint them or let them down. Because there have been times when I've come here and all that's on my mind is that, which means I have to leave and say I'll be gone for an hour and I don't come back for two days. So now I make the point not to come here until, because I want this foundation. I mean, there's nothing in my life. Uh, all right, all right, all right. All right, let me speak to him. Okay, just a minute, please. Hold on. I feel like I'm in uh, one of those uh, hi, 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 hi. Uh, hi, hi. How do you? Howard, hi. Boy, she talks a lot, that brush. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah. He, and she yeah. says he's a good listener. Oh, well, he can't get a word out. <laughs> yeah, chatty. Yeah. Chatty, chatty. Yeah. Hey, but bro. you're in love, aren't you, John? Uh, uh, e e e yeah, somewhat, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be careful, though. You don't want to get any, you know, she, as long as she's not doing needles and stuff. Are you wearing a condom? No, no. Oh, you're oh, nuts. No. <laughs> you better get a condom on there, son. Are you kidding me? Good knowing you, John. No. What, what are, are you, you doing? thinking? Well, well, it, it, it's the first time in my life. So you wanted to kill girl, you? So, so I figure, hey, uh, 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 why should I? Uh, do well, she's on drugs, and who knows? Worry. Well, she's on drugs, and, you know, maybe she she does a lot of guys. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Think uh, that one through. Yeah, that's when you worry. Yeah, well, well, well my little... you got a good life going. Life you don't want to die. Anyway, so. Well, you don't want to die that way. You want to uh, die, but... Yeah, you want to die, but... It's nice and pleasant when you die. Right. Yeah, well, well, I, 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 um, I... want... You don't want a, a disease... Vecta her C for four hours, so... <gasps> Jeez, what do you give her oral for six yeah, for four hours? hours. That's what yeah. he said. I can't imagine a woman wanting that. She was probably well. <laughs> look at when you're on heroin. I mean, <laughs> she was passed out. Yeah, she perfect girl for him. <laughs> All right, here we go. What is this? The opiate. opiate Detoxification Institute. It's under college. <laughs> and Tom said that even though we haven't spoken to yet, we'll do everything that we can to make this happen. All right. They can get you off uh, methadone, heroin, Oxycontin, or Vicodin. Is she on any of those beside heroin? She was on... No, no. Cocaine. Uh, you know, they're getting clean can be worse than living clean. They take the nausea out, they, they, the despair, the fear. 1-800-ODI-0011. All right, all right, I'll get in touch with them. Uh, okay. All right. And we know how to get in touch with you. Thanks so much. All right, all right I got to go. Uh, congratulations. Uh, all right, congratulations, bye. Uh, uh, okay, Howard. All right, all right, bye, 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 bye. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, all right. We'll talk to you later. We'll talk to you later. I'll see you. <laughs> Man. I well, he's found love. I can't he's still saying goodbye. <laughs> hey, Chauncey. Hey, Howard. Yeah. The, the problem isn't detoxing with these people. Anybody can detox over a course of a weekend. But you've got to address why they got on heroin in the Chauncey, first place. Chauncey, look at me. Well, you so, go hold her yeah. hand. But, and that takes months, sometimes years. I guarantee you, and I'm not even joking, that this girl will be dead in a year. Oh. If you clean her up over a weekend or a week, she'll be back on heroin within... 
a week, two weeks, a month. Chauncey, look at me, look at me. Dude, dude. The woman called up, said she's on heroin. I did the right thing. I checked with John the stutterer, see if he wants her cleaned up. He might like things the way they are. Yeah, Chauncey's now going to make us her parents. Mm, yeah. I'm not in charge of her. There's a sponsor that happens to be on my show that might be willing to give her a shot. They've had some success. I know you had a girlfriend who died of this. And you know what? Not everyone is your girlfriend. Everyone has different experience. And it's up to the person to clean no, themselves I'm up. They, we can't she's, she's looking for a, a break. This might be it for her. It might not. And let's see what it's happens. Don't get involved. All I'm saying is, oh. don't get involved. See, you have to be involved. I'm no, not involved. In All right. You know what? Forget it. I'm out of it. Gary, this don't call anyone. Get into trouble. This is how I get into trouble. This is how I, you know, I try to help someone. You got the Chaunceys of the you'll world. And then you'll say, you didn't do it right. Well, and, and why did your girlfriend die exactly, Mr. Helpful? Heroin. Yeah. So where were you? That's right. It's hard. So how do you know? Now it you know how that's, to do it, huh? I mean, it didn't work for her. It didn't work for her, but you ruined this girl's chance. No. How? Oh, I see. You know everything. You, what I'm trying to tell you yes. is that you have to cure why they got on a drug to so begin with. So we're out of it then. Are, All right, are so you we're, happy? Now we're done. Now we're not going to help her. Thank you. Thank you, Chauncey. In other words, any help we, is not We're not in the we got to find out business. Yeah. The guy called me up. I know I happen to ha I'm lucky. I have a sponsor that does this kind of work. But you already have decided that because you went through it with one girl, you, you know, know everything. How it should be done. Yeah. I'm saying that it's well, you should open process. up a clinic, Chauncey. It's a long process for the girl you were with. For anyone and I don't know that, that it's not a... For anyone. Well, yeah. Well, so, we so I will stay out of it. Since you know more about it, I'm going to give you John the Stutterer's number, and you take care of the no, problem. Instead of staying out of it, why, why don't you give the girl a break and then maybe... I'm not her dad, stupid. Who are we all the well, time? Then why get involved at all? You're telling me not to get involved, so I won't. I have a sponsor who does this kind of work, but you seem to know everything about everyone because you you, you sponsor, write a free paper with misspellings in New Jersey. And you get hair plugs your from the sponsor, penny saver. Aren't you sponsor, the guy who gets hair plugs from the penny saver? <laughs> your sponsor gets people off the drugs. Chauncey, the facts are that lots of people have heroin problems don't get off drugs. You're right. And no matter who tries Most to help the time them, they die. Most some the time. people are able to. Believe it or not. Not your girlfriend. Not you. But maybe this girl can. I'm just giving But you would here. rather take that chance away from her. You got hair plugs from a garbage man. <laughs> you write a free newspaper filled with misspellings. You 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 have a tattoo on your back that the tattoo artist ran out of room. And you misinterpret every girl's overtures. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're saying, oh, don't get involved. Don't don't let her go to the sponsor because uh, I should sit there it and hold her work. hand and do I psychology said. with That's her. That's not what I said. That's what you're saying. You're saying I should get involved <laughs> and I should sit and research rehab centers. Because that's what I have time they to need do. Long-term therapy. All right. So I will now. So maybe she could get that if she could get straight for a while. Why don't you get her after you clean her up? Well, why, don't I, why, why, why don't I do nothing then? How's that? Since I was going to do something, but you're telling me it's so bad, I'm going to do I'm going to do nothing, like the rest of the world. And you're just angry. You're very no, I'm angry with you. Why doesn't stepping out do it? Yeah, Where's you're out? you're the expert. I you're an expert. Can of worms. Oh. Sure you did. You called in. You had to get involved. I, I'm just giving you. You're going to save her now. You're going to tell me what we're doing wrong and what you know what is right. So now stepping out, I'm going to give you the phone number. Responsible. I'm not responsible you know for her. I don't know the correct what, treatment for her. Give me a phone. I, I you will try help different her. things. Good. I will help her. And, and you're going to help her like you help your last girlfriend. You'll help her like you help your last girlfriend. That's, 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 that's exactly what you're telling me. She died, but you're going to help her. So you did the right thing. That's the worst thing you've ever said to me. That's before. right. And there'll be worse things than that. Because you're annoying me. You're a dick. That's the worst thing you've ever said. No. It's, it's not, because I already have 50 more things I'm going to say before the end of this conversation. <laughs> Imagine a guy. How dare you? Call in. I go, hey, i got a sponsor that maybe can help you. Oh, that won't work. That's why not did the you right get, way. Why did you get involved? Why you, I have, you have a no girlfriend. How listen. Listen. You have no ability to listen. No. We did you listen. I listened to, to listen. her. I heard what you had to say. You're so telling you me I should go out and research. I said beyond, beyond detox. I, beyond uh, detox. Chauncey, I can't cure the world. I'm a dish jockey. I happen to have a sponsor 
that gets involved with people like that. This is what they've devoted their lives to. And le at least she would be talking to some experts, not a disc jockey and a newspaper guy. Right. And you know what? Just because a treatment, a certain treatment didn't work for your girlfriend, doesn't mean it won't work for her. They're different people. No. She might Howard, be at a different you're, point. You're an intelligent human being. Are you telling me you don't understand what I'm saying when I say you have to cure what got them on the drug? Dude, How do you know she's not ready to take that step on her own? I'm not sure that this sponsor doesn't do that. Let them have a crack over at over it. one weekend? It's they not over weekend. I said over, over the weekend, weekend they can help you detox, you ass. There's a difference between detoxing and... I am not an expert in the field. There's a sponsor... How does he know what the sponsor does? Don't, how do you know there's not some kind of aftercare know. program? Chauncey, you're jumping to conclusions. You're a moron, and you don't see it. You're just a moron. So here's the other choice. We don't do anything. How's that? How do you like that one? We'll leave it up to no then one. Dead, then she'll die. Well, right. if we do something, she'll die, and if we don't do something, she'll die. Yeah. That's and, what you said. And by the way, I don't know anything about the field, but there is a sponsor willing to get... I don't even know if they're willing to get involved. Why are you not on heroin? <laughs> After this conversation, I'm Yeah, busy. no good. I can't believe you called like you're just, that. You're just idiotic. All I said you're idiotic. I'm some insight... That it's a long term We process. know that. They Don't you think we all know? On You're the, the only one. The whole world has read books about heroin addicts, has seen television shows that these people have long term recovery. The world doesn't give a crap about people on that drug. <sighs> What are, you, what are you talking about? There's tons of people who give a crap. We yeah. do give a crap. Yeah, you have, you have a lot of experience when it comes to that. Oh, my. You have one experience. Yeah, and that was enough. Yeah, you have a lot of experience, Chelsea. One person. <laughs> I know that nobody cares. And she died. I know She's that nobody cares. So he has no experience. <laughs> exactly. You didn't bring any back from the brain. He has one bad experience. And, and you know, know what? People don't care. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. You know what? I don't. I mean, we're trapped in his nightmare. Chauncey, yeah. as a guy hey, hey, who... Howard, I said all I had to say about yeah, and, it. And, and it's idiotic what you had to say. Yeah, Thank you. Very stupid and by the way, I'll, I'll bow out, Chauncey. I'm going to give you the phone. It's a very stupid thing to say. You're right. I agree. No. Long-term therapy is great. I don't know what our sponsor does. They might do that. I don't know. So you're saying, saying like not to do anything is a stupid thing. I'm out of this conversation. Bye, Chauncey. I'm leaving, too. Good. Oh. oh, my God. What an ass. Uh, he doesn't even know what they do. I can't believe him. Yeah. You know what? Most people who are on heroin have tons of problems and never, and never get over the problem. But you try. Mm -hmm. I tried. I was going to turn her on to someone who is in the business. But Chauncey but doesn't like it. That wasn't good enough for Chauncey. But they need long-term therapy. Well, okay, I don't have that available right now. Oh, he's saying you should, you should, you should. Hmm. And then he say, turn it over to him. He goes, it's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Hey, Howard. That guy is some knucklehead. Oh, of the, of the highest order. <laughs> he, you know, you were doing the right thing. You're trying. Anybody with a half a heart or half a brain can see that you are trying to help this. Well, I was thinking, gee, what could I do? There is a sponsor. It just so happens. I'm lucky. There's a sponsor that takes it. Maybe they'll take her in as a charity case. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He, he needs mental rehab, that guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what they do. I mean, I don't know if they, if they, if they do long-term therapy, short-term therapy. It's got to be better than being at John the Stutterer's house and, and having sex. Uh, withdrawal. And having four hours of oral. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I mean, it's got to be a step up from there. You know, absolutely. as a person. He needs the uh, school for Mama Luke rehab. I mean, who doesn't know that most heroin addicts go into rehab and then they just try to escape and get out? And, and start right back up as they, soon as they get out. They have tremendous problems, and most of them die. But, but yeah. you know, so, so here is a sponsor who, who maybe can help but her. you know who maybe I'm not. more worried about now? Chauncey is crazy. Yeah, he is. He's, he's got a problem. Well, he, he doesn't comprehend. He's not a bright guy. You know, as a person who stopped abusing drugs and started abusing alcohol, I think it's worth it for her. <laughs> to give it a shot. To give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, give it, give it. Hey, we all have our life. Don't you know she needs long-term She probably so needs new know. parents, too. She yeah. needs a whole new childhood. Yeah, she that's probably needs new upbringing. to get out of the stripping business. She probably needs to be in therapy 10 days a week. I mean, she probably needs to get away from John the Stutterer, but we'll let, yeah. she probably needs she probably needs about five million dollars in therapy. Now, you you know, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm sure yeah. she does. You're right. You're right. Cause what Chauncey's forgetting is this would be one of many things she needs. Right. right. It's just giving her uh, one. But I he just, would rather take that away than. I was just trying to give her something. Maybe right. it would give her some hope. No, it's a chance. Mm. It's positive. Matt. Great. Hello. Hello. You there? Yeah. Hold on. Here. Hello. Yeah. Howard. Yeah. 
How you doing, man? Listen, this this guy Chauncey, he's just so far fetched. You know, it's just it's ridiculous. The guy the guy ought to just keep his uh, priorities in line. You know, well, he's I mean, he's, big... he's pointless. He's he's making a point yeah, that he's saying don't even start. There's nothing know, profound he, he, about what the, he's the saying. Guy has, the guy has no clue. He's he's excited because he had someone in his life on heroin right. and he's become an expert. Well, you know on what it. this is? It exactly. touches a nerve in him because mm. he probably feels guilty about something. Right. right. And it's like, you know what? Hey, I just happen to have a sponsor. Oh, you know, you, if you it's guys, no good, it's no good. What can I tell you? You give it a shot. You guys give him a lot of time on the air. Sometimes he's got some good points, but, you know, other times, because the guy's yeah. just so annoying. He's off for this time. Thank you. Uh, Mike, go ahead. Did you calm down by now, uh, John the Stutterer? Or what? I heard you were crazy out in the hall. What are you doing? He's crazy. He's crazy. You're losing what are you your mind. Doing to yourself? I mean, he went out there and he started yelling at Yucko's girlfriend, and she has nothing to do with what you're doing. Crying. Yeah, I mean, dude, what you're a dude. Doing? What's the matter? You want to beat up girls? Well, well, let, well, you want well. Me to explain. Yeah, yeah. Explain for me, King. King. <laughs> Here's the King to explain. <laughs> Uh, when he came in the when when we went into the green room, get close to that microphone. Come on, what's came, wrong with you? I'm sorry. When we came into the green room, um, he was filming us, you know, and and he hit him. Um, what's his name? Yucko. Yucko hit him with a dildo, <laughs> with that black dildo, <laughs> and then he just went crazy. Oh, Stop all right. Calling his girlfriend a whore, and because he wanted him to fight him so they could fight. Oh come on! Right. Stop it! It's ridiculous. What? So. Everything was everything was quiet. And Yoko touched him with his black thing he had, you know, that the black dildo. Right. So right away now he's ready to fight, and for some reason he started with Yoko's girlfriend. Yeah. And started calling her effing whore, and yeah. she started to cry and ran out of the room. Of course. Which wasn't right. She has nothing to do with exactly. it. Exactly. If talking. he's got something to take up with him, let him take it up with him. He has no reason to attack his girlfriend. But you're he was getting, trying to getting crazy with the anger. You still taking medication? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Not this morning. Yeah. Well, Ron. Well, well, Ron. I don't apologize to her, Why but not? I apologize to you for causing what? you stress. Wait, wait, wait. What did, wait, she, what did she, she do to you, do? Ron? Ron, she did look, nothing to you. Uh, uh, look, I, I, uh, look. He, st look. <laughs> that, I feel like looking. Hey, we look, got past look, the word look, look already. Look, look, okay, yeah, Howard. You keep saying look. Okay, Howard. Right. That that smelly scumbag started with me again. But you don't go after his girlfriend. Uh, yeah, yeah. She didn't do anything but, to you. Go after him. Look. But I insulted her because I knew it would enrage him. Uh. And I and I wanted him to hit me. So it would give me an excuse well, to hit this him. Is too cra I'm so not letting he... you two together anymore. Howard, can I say? I know I don't want to be. See, what? But I wanted to. I wanted what him it, to hit me she, so I would have an God, excuse. She was. I'm she sorry, was, Gary. Yeah, but you're here at the radio station. She's minding her own business. What, Howard? That's, she, like hitting, that's like hitting someone else when you want someone else to hit you. I just want to tell you how much she was minding her own business while this whole argument was going on. She stepped out of the room. She wasn't in the room the whole time those two were fighting. She's right. like, I don't want to get involved in there. Right. Right. She came so in. So that was, went. I thought that was nice of her. She wasn't even looking at John. She's like, I'll be outside, let them argue. It. Right, of course. And then you walk out, you attack her. As soon as she walked in, he said, and she's a whore. Wow. Yeah, you never do that to a chick. Never. Never. Even if she was. You know? Even if she is a whore. You never do that. Say sorry. You better apologize. You would not. No. Say sorry. No, wrong. I'm not. You're wrong. You're wrong. No. You're, listen sorry, to me. You know I'm a smart wrong. guy, right? Say sorry. Just say no. sorry. No. I'm a smart guy, right? No, I'm. Um, I'm not a smart guy. I'm not. No, 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 Howard. Look you at me. are I'm a smart guy. I'm telling you, you're wrong. If I tell you, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm Howard, telling you, you're wrong. Howard, I am not going to apologize. You're wrong to, to say her. that to a, a girl who's uh, an innocent. Uh, 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 I apologize to Ronnie for causing no, him you're stress, wrong. and I apologize no, 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 that's not to Gary for causing him stress. No. The girl did nothing to you. She yeah. minded her no, business. No, you, you, you have to give her an apology. No. That's the right, as a man, I'm not going step to up to the plate. No, I'm not going to. You're man. wrong. You no. have no defense. No, I'm not going to. Now you're not being a man. Was she ugly? So, so was she ugly? No. She wasn't ugly. No. So why'd you call her ugly or? Because no man insults a woman who isn't insulting because him. Because that scumbag clown enrages me by... 
ridiculing me, so I want crazy. him to You're stay enraged. To I think you can fight. No. What, no. He, what he doesn't understand is that Yucko's thing is that's his thing, that's his act. He but Howard, he takes it serious. But Howard. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but Ron, you saw him. He threw a bottle at me in Vegas, that was and I Vegas. was thrown out. That was, that was I was thrown ago. out, and he wasn't thrown but that out. That was Ron. six months ago. No, he's got a point about that, but you do not attack an innocent bystander. That's all. Uh, Especially a woman. But I did it because I wanted him I to hit me. I heard why you did it. Yeah, we're wrong. You don't do that. You want a and man, you, know, you say to him, step outside and let's have a fight. But well, now you won't apologize to her? Well, that's what I said. I wanted to... John, if apologize. you want to shoot one no. person, would you shoot nine people to get to that one? Obviously, he would. You would do that? <laughs> then you know what? You're as bad as like a, a, a terrorist. Yep. No, Howard. I, do. I, I, I they, am blow a, up, they blow up innocent yeah. women and children. No, Howard. That's what I, you did. I, I, you did it. I am a you did it. Apologize. The guy who's afraid of apologize. guns. I can't even handle no, no, you're, 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 you're a terrorist. A, 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 no, I'm not. You're going no. after innocent women Howard, and children. No, I'm not. That, apologize to this woman. Come no, Howard. No. You're wrong. You're wrong. I can't do it, Howard, no. That's Muhammad Adda. I can't that's do it. Right. Right. That's the guy who flew into the World Trade Center. Let me ask no. you something. You think it's right to fly into the World Trade Center because no, you're pissed of off, at, you're pissed off at America? No, of course not. So you're doing the same thing. You're no different. All right, all right. If you can't apologize to her, apologize to Yucko. No. <laughs> no, of course not. I'm not even asking you to do no. that. Uh, to an innocent woman who you don't know. No, no Howard. No, then no, you no. agree with terrorism. No, I don't. That, now. You're a terrorist. No, I don't. No, you I heard don't. her because no. she was no. bawling. I was like, you blew no. up a busload of children today. Yeah, the girl was. That's the same thing to me. I'm being serious with you. That's not the right thing to do. Yucko's a real man too. He let her walk out and cry. I want to console her. Should have. Yeah, man. Osama Ben Stutterer. <laughs> <laughs> that's you. That's that's surprised. I thought you were a man of honor. Let me tell you, I, 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 I. <laughs> Let me tell you, look, 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 look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, well, Howard, I am honored to be your object of ridicule. I'm not ridiculing you. I'm being. I'm but I'm not discussion. honored to be the object of that ugly. I'm not ridiculing you. I have never ridiculed you. No. Well, you haven't seen the shoes. I, just, I oh, saw no, the shoes. I'm just playing with you, no, man. You know. No, Howard, those I spent 300 Yep, yeah, those wow. are good quality. Really? Plus, yeah. Well, now I am going to ridicule you. <laughs> He's a handmade in Italy. <laughs> Send them back. <laughs> Send them back. <laughs> yeah, they're watch shoes. Now, wow. that's a good, that's a good those are Clay Aiken shoes, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> the these are identical to, to, uh, uh, to the shoes that... <laughs> All right, look, I got to get to the news. Hey, Howard, I just don't agree with what you did, and I want, I want to go on record to say that. Let me page you. What? You're coming off bad. You, you used to have a good. Uh, used to used to come off good, but now when you do that to a girl, that's not good. You should you should apologize. Yeah. You guys just gave me tape of uh, of John yelling at at uh, Yucko's girlfriend. Oh, Let me hear that. Let me hear this. Let me hear what you're out there doing. I'm not allowing you near anyone anymore. You're out of control. And you don't apologize? That's crazy. She asked me why did you do it. What did you say? I just said, you know, he's just trying to get him out. It had nothing to do with you. She said, you sure? You ugly chop <laughs> and and your ugly whore hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, man. Man. And your ugly whore sluts. That's not right. That's not right. You want to fight now? You want to fight now, pal? Wow. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. You just try to get them riled up. Oh, boy. Wow, boy. It's just not right. It's just not right. Yeah. Okay. I but no Howard, every for that. time I see him, he starts with me. Though you know he's an insult Take artist. Care of it. Every time, he's a every time, coward. every so time. So either, either realize he's just some guy in a clown outfit. Yep. Yeah. Or, or what? Or, 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 or all of the or, fans or, that I run into from the show, they all can't care. stand them. And now. they like you. Now you're going to come off bed yelling at a girl and not apologize. So if he had his little daughter there, would you call her? His daughter no, no. Oh, oh, no, no, it's all no, the difference. No, a daughter. Blow them all no. up. No. They all on the bus, blow them up. I tell you, man, that's bad form. 
No, seriously, I always agree with you about what you know you say about Yucko. I understand you got to. Okay, I. I realize it was wrong. So yeah, sorry, I I'm do sorry. seriously. So apologize to her. Yeah, I I uh, am no. sorry. Oh, All right. that's it. I am that's seriously. Yeah, you should. I am sorry. All right. All right. All right. All right, that's it. Enough said. Oh, right. That's now, it. I put on some gold that. chains. <laughs> now apologize. <laughs> be complete. Now apologize for the World Trade Center. What you should have done. Is banged his girlfriend, right. picked her up, and said, "I'm a better man than him, and I'm going to take you That's out." Right, That's right. Girls like guys to go uh, uh, Oh, by the way, that Jewish stripper that I was seeing, she uh, left in, in me. In, uh, oh. Uh, oh, she, she left, left you. me. Yeah, yeah. So. Why? That's why he's. She was in love with you. Oh, what? Well, she got a sick of me. See, Howard, she used me, thinking that she could get a drug. A treatment program through the show right. if he, you recall but um but no one through the sh show has called her so she hasn't she gotten it on. anyway she moved on yeah so, so she just left you well you yeah. got the banger though well yeah but that's over with now so well, hey, how been... long did it last uh for a month Oh, well. If I knew that, I would have had someone call her. Tell me that's what you needed done. Well, that's yeah, what I so. called. People were called. Oh, it was Chauncey, as a matter of fact, who called to criticize us that we weren't doing enough, so we withdrew all help. I offered a drug pre treatment program. Oh, oh, but n n no one called me back, though. No. About it, so, yeah, know. I think mm. they took us seriously when we said we'll, we'll withdraw our offer since... You're going to criticize us if we do anything. Yeah. So now you're going to blame them? No. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got months of getting late. It's enough. Yeah. yeah. All right, Robin, let's do the news. <laughs> hey, Mike, you're on the air. Howard. Hey, no, I'm a hook nose. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to call you that. Well, listen, mm -hmm. check it out. Uh, you could probably do a background check in the time it takes Stutter and, uh, John to stutter uh, to do a screen phone call, dude. Yeah, I know. Hey. I called earlier this morning, bro. He's like, I, I, I said, all right, Stern Show, what do you want to talk to Howard about? All right, no problem. Yeah, I kind of like it. I, I, I like the idea that you get a guy on the phone that stutters a bad. You know, it's kind of cool. You think so? Yeah, it's I don't a, know. It's, it's Where is he? Get in here, John, the stutterer. Take a bow. Let's uh, talk about your first day here trying out for stuttering John's job. Here he is, the man of the hour. Yeah, who says just because you're answering the phones you have to be able to speak? Yeah. <laughs> Why do people have to be discriminated against? It's a common misconception about phone answering. <laughs> yeah, like... There he is. There he is. Stand over there. Some stand-up. Quick visit. Get a good starter with the couch. By the time the guy sits down on the couch, that it can take forever. Take ten hours. How you doing, brother? Hey, uh, I, I, I'm, I, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm going, uh, um, 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 uh, 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 fairly, uh, <laughs> hey, let me just say something. Before fairly well, Howard. Okay. So you have a bunch of medications that aren't working. Casey, you ought to share medication with John the Stutter. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, we should, yeah. But uh, I got you here for the job. I thought this would be a dream situation for you. I hear you're yeah. all full of anxiety. You don't know if you can make the whole week. Uh, oh, uh, oh, no, no, no. What's well, your problem? Uh, oh, no, oh, well. Oh, uh, what's wrong with you? Oh, no. 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 I mean, it's finally a chance. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, listen. In fact, listen. John's job has, a, uh, has, has money. Ow. It's a real job. Uh, brought to you by Trim Spa. TrimSpa.com. 1-800-TRIM-SPA. Get John's job. Brought to you by Trim Spa. It's completely a federal-free formula X32. So there's a lot of money here involved in this. Oh, see, Howard... No, the, the oh no oh 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 oh, oh no oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, Howard. I okay 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 when. Okay. 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 When I when I when I spoke spoke to Casey last week, I I was anxious and I thought you wouldn't be able to handle it. Right. Right. And just say right if I'm right. 
You wouldn't be able to handle it, but now that you're here, it's starting to get. It's, you're having yeah, a good time with it. And 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 I promised myself. And 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 I promised myself that I'm not going to get upset. Right, you're getting big laughs, by the way. Yeah, which is hard to do. That's what it's about. <laughs> uh, 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 Are you coming to Vegas? Well, it, I heard you were booked for Hollywood Squares. Oh, th th good, yeah. I think you isn't he? Yeah, he's booked for Hollywood Squares. Yep. He doesn't know about it. Yep. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <yeah>. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. I right. appreciate. It. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Okay, Howard, and okay. Uh, 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 I promise myself <laughs> that I won't get upset at callers who... I heard you had a fight. Did he have a fight with someone? Yeah, some, yeah. Guy, some guy was Where doing the business. Oh, it's... <laughs> Joey... Oh, Joey Boo. Yeah. Yeah, and I. Uh, uh, right, let me stop you for a second. I, I, no, 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 no. I. I, I let me stop can't you. Get upset. Let me stop because, you. Because my doctor told me it, uh, uh, I, I, I could have a stroke. Oh, Jesus. Or. or oh, oh. Uh, uh, well, I this, this should be your last day. No, no, no. Wait a minute. No. I'm just sitting here? No, no, no. A stroke here? No, 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 no. no. No, 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 Howard, listen. No, 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 no,
Frank Howard and and Robin enough for for a, but letting me come on the show. Not to be confused with the man he may replace. Here's this week's applicant for John's job, John the Stutterer. Yeah, I'm talking to Howard. Yeah, um... What's wrong with you, man? What to... What would you like to do? Discuss. What? What would you like to do? Not my penis. Uh, 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 What would you like to discuss? I saw my penis. Why? Because. Because why? Because it's, it's uh, interesting. I uh, paint my balls blue. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for the call. Okay. You put me through? No. Why's that? Hello? Well, you... You uh, suck, that's why. I sucked? How about you? Yeah. You suck. Hello? <laughs> yeah? You heard me. So? So what are you going to do about it? What? What are you going to do about it? Well, you can come yeah, okay. by the studio here and wait for me. And, and, and fight what? me, yeah. Fight you? Yeah. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> I'll knock you out. Take me two hits. Oh, Take yeah? In face, you hit well, the then come by then. That's right. You're not stuttering now, are you? Let's go to buy. He took five phone calls in an hour. No, in, in two hours. Oh, dear. I say we have a winner. He's funny. He gets the job. <laughs> you want to understand he works hard. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Let's go take a couple of phone calls because we haven't gotten to that this morning. I've been so busy talking. Frankie, you're on the air. Uh, hi, hi, hi. The... This is John the Stutter, and and and, and I can't. Thank Howard and and. Robin enough for for a, but letting me come on the show. Not to be confused with the man he may replace. Here's this week's applicant for John's job, John the Sutherer. Yeah, he. Um, we have him back there answering phones, and his bit today is uh, just taping himself answering the phones. <laughs> Seems to be working. It's a good bit. He got back. He's answered like about nine phone calls all morning. Uh. <laughs> Is the pace going up or down? And then he got they got into a fight with Yucko, who called in just to bust his balls. Oh. Uh, darn show. Hey, 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 scumbag. Hey, scumbag. Why don't you go have sex with your mom and dad? Why don't you go have sex with your mom and dad? And when I see you in Vegas, I'm going to break your jaw. When I see you in Vegas, I'm going to break your jaw. When I see you in Vegas, I'm going to break your jaw. I'm going to break your jaw. I'm going to break your jaw, and I'm not stuttering now, and I'm not stuttering now. I'm so f mad at you. I'm going to break your jaw in Vegas. I'm going to break. I'm going to kick your ass. I am. I, I will kick your ass in Vegas. I'm going to kill you in Vegas. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to. I'm going to break your jaw outside, outside, outside of the Hard Rock. I'm going to kick your ass outside. Uh, I, uh, I will break your jaw. I will break your jaw, and you go have, and you go, and you go f your mom too. Yeah, yeah, you homo. F your mom, okay? F your mom, homo. Child molester. You child molester. F your mom, okay? F your mom. F your mom, okay? Go. F 
No. Your mom. You're dead in Vegas. Well, there he is. He's doing uh, it. Oh, Stern show. No, there he is. I thought he wasn't going to yell at anyone. Well, <laughs> that's a pretty hard bit to beat, though. Yeah, it's definitely compelling. Is he going to be able to complete the other task, or will he just do a bit every day? Yeah. Trying to see if, uh... Yeah, wait. He's supposed to have to write a song parody, find a whack packer. I think his song parody is going to have a lot of humming. <laughs> and, John, are you going to be able to complete your tasks? Because I know he likes it back there. I know he's having a good time. And I know he wants the job. He has not a stroke yet. Yeah, I'll talk to Howard. Yeah, um... What's wrong with you, man? What to... What would you like to discuss? What? What would you like to discuss? When you yell, you don't stutter. It's like the guys who sing. Yeah, I know, um... Why don't you just yell at me and then we can get through this? Oh... Because I really don't want to end the jeopardize my health. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were going to calm down. They said relax when you do this. And then the uncle gets on and right away you lose it. Because I can't stand the guy. You yeah. all, all, but you got to chill out, dude. I know. I have to for my health's sake. I know. You don't want to die. you got a great I life. Oh, uh, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be able to complete? Because I heard you're a nervous wreck and that you won't be able to do anything. But... Tomorrow, just you can go out and interview some people, interview some celebrities on the red carpet, or yeah. Um, well, I, 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 uh, song you could do. Apologize. Uh, I, 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 I tried to c come up w w with the song. Dude, any music where you just try to sing a yeah. yeah. See, see, I was. See, see. See, uh, You're missing uh, what's uh, funny about you. See, uh, 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 I was. Why don't you come in tomorrow with some celebrity interviews? You can do it. Don't freak out. See, 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 Ryder. The only problem. See, see what you have done. The only problem see, with celebrity interviews is that because of the psychological factors involved. It, it, it no. will just. You ain't. Exacerbate my stuttering. So what? I That's won't perfect. Even, That's what we want. Yep. Yeah, well, I might not. If no one's I, gonna walk uh, away from you, you from from a stuttering guy. Not like you. Yeah. Okay. I'll ch try it. Try, try it. Don't try. get your blood pressure uh, all up. Uh, 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 and um. Uh, 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 what I wanted to do was a song parody of my a, 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 a song by my second favorite band, The, the Who. Do that. Behind blue eyes of that right. fat scumbag Rush Limbaugh so called, do that. called the Behind the the the. the the glazed eyes. <laughs> you, <laughs> all right. Why don't you? Do, you, know, you, know, you know. All right. I have Colin Quinn. How about behind? How about behind? You can. You can do it. Yeah. yeah. Do it behind pig's eyes. Yeah. Or glazed eyes. He's a druggie, of course. Yeah. All right. So do a song. But, uh, oh. What about a uh, 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 and, uh, 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 I found out a a a a staff a. See a secret. All right, that's tomorrow. Okay. Do that. All right. No, I have that now, though. It's real. But do it tomorrow. Save it for tomorrow's bit. Oh yeah. Are you coming back tomorrow? Well, what do you think? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You killed uh, today. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, I killed all right. You yeah. sure did. You yeah. killed me. But is he going to be able to find a whack pecker? I mean, is he out there? Yes. Combing the. Well, well, I wish that I could f f find a whore for myself, and that. <laughs> Dude, you can find a whack pecker. Just be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You already got that covered. Yeah. Mickey, you're on the air. Hey, now, how? What's going on? Hey, John, the stutterer, you suck, bro. You can't even talk. That's I, I. Well, that's hey, the idea. Uh, well, sir, I, I hope I, that I, you drop I, dead, okay? 
Drop the I. I. All right, Annette, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hey. How are you? First of all, I have to tell you, you know, I started listening to you years ago, and I thought you were not with it. I didn't like your show, and now I'm addicted to it. I yeah, I'm, a lot, I'm a lot like Starbucks coffee. You drink it the first time you want to puke, Dang, and then terrible. then you come back a second day somehow, and before yeah. you know it, you're hooked. You're like a I enjoy you God. guys, but listen, that KC, he is whack. He right. definitely needs more drugs. I agree with his sex part, but this gynecologist and male massage, oh, God, he's All right, whack. I'm not going to get into that. Com- Shut up. Honey, you're not a man. You don't know what it's like to have a wiener. Exactly. You don't. You have no idea, and... and and it's very difficult to last a second. But KC can do it. You don't chime in on this. Well, because he's gay. <laughs> no. Well, my man can do it. He's driving on his way to Philly right now. Yeah, well, how long has your man there. been having sex with you? Um, what's that matter? Well, I'll tell you what it matters if you want an honest answer. How long you been with this guy? He's been that way since the first day I met him. How long you been with him? I'd rather not say. All right. Ten years? No, less. Four? Around that. That's why you can last. He lasted that way when I first started dating him. How much do you weigh? Uh, 120 pounds. Be honest. I swear, I'm a size four. I'm five foot four. I'm a size four. You got a butter face? You got a butter face? <laughs> no. She's a buck 80. All right. Well, what do I know? Then? Hey, Maybe it's Robin. Robin's a nurse. I wear... Yucko, you're on the air. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry to John. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. John, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for a lot of things. I'm sorry you're a stuttering mongoloid. Stop it. it. Uh, You better calm down. Nah, 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 nah. Childish. Oh, childish. You're childish. Right. childish. Yucko doesn't care. He wants to give John a stroke. I think. He does. He wants to stroke him out. I can't lose my new guy. <laughs> All right, John the Stutter, you're doing a good job. We'll see you tomorrow with your either your celebrity uh, interviews you. or your a story about a staff member, whatever it is you're going to be doing. Okay, thank All you. All right, we look forward to it. Thank you. Good job. you got 45 minutes left to answer one more phone call. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can get another one in. All right, Colin Quinn was just voted one of the on the top 100 list of Comedy Central's. We're doing a cool thing on the website now. Anybody who applies for John's job writes a um, a little diary that they post up there every day of their day's work here and what oh, it was like for them. It's kind of fun to read. John the Stutter. It's it's interesting because you can read John the Stutterer and he can't talk. So you get actually what he wants to say. You don't yeah. just get a lot of noise. It's a better form of communication for him. Can actually, he, although it turns out when he writes, he really didn't have much to say anyway. Ah, uh, so there really isn't anything you're missing? Yeah, I was reading his thing and it kind of, uh, I was like, wow, he finally isn't stuttering, but you know what? He's really kind of boring without that. <laughs> when I found out what he had to say, it wasn't interesting. Yeah, he didn't really have anything interesting to say about the job. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. So I figured maybe we'll interview him, ask him some questions, and stick it up there on the. Like, like we said to him, write whatever you want about your impressions of working here and. Basically, had nothing to say. The guys tell me he writes about as fast as he speaks. Oh, really? Dear and me. It took him hours to write those two paragraphs. Hmm. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> John the Stutterer, of course, is applying for John's job. Get John's job brought to you by Trim Spa. Completely ephedra-free. Formula X32. Where is he? How's he doing back there? He's doing good. He's, he's doing some phone calls. He's still working the phones again. But he was still telling me after he left yesterday about Yucko. He's got this thing about Yucko. He just hates him. Yeah, they went at it yesterday. He gets stuck on things. Where's that tape? It's in there. Is it? Yeah. What, oh. did they have another confrontation? Yeah, and what is he doing today? Is he going to give us a staff reveal? Yes, yes. He's got a... Uh, Does he want to do that now? Sure. We can All right. Staff secret. Casey's a polo. Yeah. We know that. Uh, s- <laughs> darn show. Uh, hey, it's better it's better. Hey, 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 scumbag. Hey, scumbag. Why don't you go have sex with your mom and dad? Why don't you go have sex with, with your mom and dad? And when I see you in Vegas, I'm going to break your jaw. When I see you in Vegas, I'm going to break your jaw. When I see you in Vegas, I'm going to break your jaw. I'm going to break your jaw. 
I'm going to break your jaw, and I'm not stuttering now, and I'm not stuttering now. I'm so f man at you. I'm going to break your jaw in Vegas. I'm going to break. I'm going to kick your ass. I am. I, I will kick your ass in Vegas. I'm going to kill you in Vegas. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to. I'm going to break your jaw outside. Outside. Outside of a hard rock. I'm going to kick your ass outside. Uh, I, uh, I will break your jaw. I will break your jaw, and you go have, and you go, and you go your mom too. Yeah, yeah, you homo. Your mom. Okay, your mom, homo. Child molester. You child molester. Your mom, okay. Your mom. Your mom, okay. Go. You're dead in Vegas. Uh, Stern show. You know, his doctor told him that because he's on so many medications, he can't get excited. Well, he's got high blood pressure. Uh, he started with May Howard. Yeah, but you didn't even do your job. You were supposed to find out what Yucca wanted to talk about. You know what I'm saying? You get caught up in your personal fights. You can't, you can't react to that stuff. You just got to just say, excuse me. You have to Barrel be professional. Barrel ahead. Barrel ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're getting into a whole big... I'm going to break your jaw. Meanwhile, are you such a tough guy? You're challenging everybody? I mean, are you a good boxer or something? Oh, uh, well... Yes well, or no answer? Well, uh, I can certainly kick his ass. Yeah, okay. All right. I don't know. He's, I mean, I didn't know... Whose ass have you kicked? Have you ever kicked a man's <laughs> ass? Well, uh, uh, yes or no? Okay, okay Howard. Yes right now, no. yes I challenge, no. I challenge him to a boxing match Ooh. in Vegas. Ooh. Set it up. Set Ooh. it up right now. What Set about up. what about your medications? What about the risk of? Uh, Who cares? You don't. I'll kill him. You don't care if you die. No, I'll kill him. Set up the match right now. Interesting. Set it up right Yucko now. Yucko versus John. The Set it up right yeah, now. Physical. Set it up right Let me now. Up. Can Yucko be in full clown regalia? No. You want him dressed as a man? Yeah. Not a clown? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, you think that outfit will give him some kind of an advantage? What do you think of the outfit? No. Like a superpower? No. <laughs> yeah. No, I want him... You don't want to kick a clown I, I... No, I want him to... <laughs> to... <laughs> take off his fag makeup <laughs> and to... Uh, 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 ex expose his... Child molesting self. <laughs> self, you set up the match in Vegas. I will kick his ass. I want to fight him in Vegas. All right. Set it up, Howard. Set it up. He never answered the question. He's never kicked anybody's ass. Uh, when I will, was a kid, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> when I was a kid. When I was a kid. All right, anyway. Set it up, Howard. Anyway, uh, you're trying. And I want him to expose himself, and he's going to fight me. In Vegas, set okay. it up. Pal. Okay, set well, it up. Let me look into it. Let's see. Set it up. Let me see. If... Set it All up. All right. Set it up. He's no. a pussy. Set it up. S set it up. Set it up. Yeah. No. <laughs> set it up. <laughs> I I I. <laughs> By the way, you're getting a lot of email. This is good for you to know because the person who gets John's job will get the most amount of votes on the internet when we have the voting in the end of ten weeks and. Um, I'd say it was about a 60-40 split. 60% of the people love you. Okay. You, you. you need to keep John the Stutterer around long enough to do karaoke with you guys. He, he has to do row, row, row your boat. <laughs> and by the time he gets through the first verse, you could have already rowed to England. <laughs> yeah. you got to do it. Here's another one. This guy is golden. Please give him the job. I have never laughed so hard in my life. As I do with John the Stutterer. I almost ran off the road because my eyes were tearing so much. If he doesn't oh, thank get, you. If he doesn't get John's job, at least let him answer the phones. Finally, John the Stutterer is fantastic and should definitely be given the job. He is a great guy who really needs a job, and he's, oh, always, and he's always hilarious. Yes, he is. Thank you. Okay, so maybe pr pr productivity will decline on your show, but let's face it. It's not like too many of those callers are any good anyway. <laughs> Howard usually hangs up on callers, so what the hell's the difference? Give John the job and make us all happy. And, and I mean, it went on and on and on. I laughed more in the first five minutes than I did all week listening to Dan the Song Parody Man. God will punish me, but I'm dying over, over John the Stutter right now laughing my ass off. All right. Mm.
So, I mean, lots of positives, but the negatives are hard to take, too, you yeah, know. Yeah, I don't care. Read them. It's only 40%. <laughs> Please don't let that idiot, John the Stutterer, on again. Not only is he annoying, but he puts extra effort into stuttering when it's a bit. He's a moron. <laughs> and then this one. We don't know how much time we have left. Please don't waste it with that mentally ill, aggressive, dysfunctional jerk. I don't think I could dislike someone more than stuttering John, but John the Stutterer is a no-talent who sucks the energy out of the show. Here's another one, and it's hard to take, but you no, get, it's not. I, I get that annoying F off the air. He's always fighting with everyone, and he's an effing idiot. And finally, Howard, are you out of your effing mind? <laughs> I have been a fan for 20 years. Then you hired that a-hole Artie. I turn off your program every time he opens his fat, dumb mouth. Oh, that, see, that's ridiculous. Hire that stuttering moron, and I'm gone for good. Oh, good. No. <laughs> Who needs him? S screw that guy. <laughs> Thank you, John. All right, Dev, today your task is to, and I don't even know if you can get through it, you say you have a gossip item about the office back there. Yeah, well, see, my first... Initially, oh dear. This. All right, let me take a break, and then we'll hear your celebrity gossip about him. Give you a chance to collect your thoughts. Okay. All right, we'll be Does back. Does it need that much of a setup before he gets right into it? Yeah, maybe you could, you could just get to the essence. Just like give the guy's name and say what he did. Okay. No, it, we're going on a break, right? Yeah. Who does the celebrity gossip about him concern? Do you want to give us a tease, or do you want to wait? I'll wait. Wait, okay. The tease could take an hour. All right, we'll be back with John the Stutterer, who is plying for John's job. Brought to you by Trim Spa. Completely ephedra-free. All right, Robin, what's in the news? Let's get to that, because we do, we've do. we had a full show, and it really is time to wrap things up. Robin's double whoppers, their conversation stoppers. And I should mention that John the Stutterer is here all week trying to John the Stutterer is here all week trying to get John's job trying out for the job on a bus! <laughs> I I I I I I, 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 I called here and started with me I didn't do a damn thing to you before you hung up on me because you're so stupid. No. You, can't even you started with me, fatso. You're fatso, you dumb stutter. Yeah, you started with me. He's actually uh, answering the phones for us this week, and everyone is calling up and taunting him, and he's uh, yelling at them. And I told him to relax. Well, he said he needed his doctor, has warned him. Put me on with Howard. Eh, 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 anything else? Well, what do you keep saying anything else for? I swear to God, John, I know exactly where you are. Where the studio is, I'll be standing well, go there. Ahead. Go ahead. Running out the back door with Ronnie as your guard. Let Ronnie guard you and escort you out of the building. I'll kick his ass and then I'll kick your ass. So? Well, go ahead. Come down here. Frick Frick me? Right now. Get the guy. Come down here. Go Stop ahead. Freak. Go ahead, fatso. Mullet head. Fatso. Mullet head. Fatso. Going well, isn't it? You got this at least gets laid. So who and cares? You're ugly. I bang chicks, dude. What do you bang? Nothing. Okay? So you're ugly. Okay, I'll tell you what, John. Oh, yeah, you I see it. you in Vegas. I'm kicking your ass, okay? Good. I'm going to kick your ass before Yoko kicks your ass, okay? Good. Oh, yeah. He... Yeah. He kicked your uh, ass. I, 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 I,
ay, 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 I, I, uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I, I. Called here and started with me. I didn't do a damn thing to you. Before you hung up on me because you're so stupid. No. You, can't you started with me, fatso. You're fatso, you dumb stunner. Yeah, drink. you started with me. You're going to bang chicks. Now put me on with Howard. Eh. Anything else? (laughs) (laughs) Well, there he is, John the Stutterer, and we uh, welcome him for the week, and he's trying very hard to make his way onto the show in a more permanent way. That's great. As a matter of fact, if you go to HowardStern.com, I I think it should be up there by now, but all of our contestants, all the people applying for this job, if you will, are keeping a daily log. You and you can read what their thoughts are as they go through the job. Yeah, and you can read John the Stutterer's uh, thoughts, and quite frankly, I don't know what he's yeah, thinking. I, he doesn't have much to say, but hopefully today he will. <laughs> yes, Mike, you're on the air. What? Hey, the uh, guy who's here for Stuttering John's job this week is John the Stutterer. People are really enjoying John the Stutterer. Yeah, he's good. He's killing. He's good. He's doing a good job. He was uh, going to bow out after the first day because he said it was too stressful, but he came in, he did the job. People are laughing. Is he here again today? Yeah. I don't know what his bit is today. Hey, John, come on in and tell us what you're going to be doing. He's been answering the phones. Basically. <laughs> well, that is part of the job, right? Yeah, and it's funny just listening to him answer the phones. Which one is this? Him and Yucko again? Yeah. Oh, he, no. Yucko calls up and just taunts him. Uh, st- st- darn show, what would you like to, to, to discuss with Howard? Uh, I'd like to talk to you about, a, uh, about doing an interview with you with the New York Post. Oh. Uh, this- is this John the Stutterer? Yeah, hi. Hey, how you doing? I'd like to do an interview with you. Just take a couple minutes of your time. Can you do that? Um, well, uh, <laughs> uh yeah, frankly, I, 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 pull, well, politically, uh, I, of uh, pose the, uh, the the uh, the uh, post because of the yeah, look at John the Stutterer turning down the post based yeah, on his look politics at him. politically he can't do yeah, it a prick fool me why did they the way that they treat Howard and the way that they uh, uh and the a way to, and the way that they are in the pocket of Bush, and Bush, <laughs> the Republican right. Party, and the, and you just hear Yucko just dying. To right, he wants to <laughs> yeah. it in. The religious right. So no. I, so I, so I will have to. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 no, they decline, sir. Oh, so you're against the uh, the FCC violations. What do you think of Yucko the Clown? I, I, 
you angry yeah you gotta uh, watch your blood pressure though so uh oh howard and if tom does not put this fight t together yeah. and i don't want to jeopardize the trip but i should have done it last <laughs> year i am going to hurt him and i'm going <laughs> to get him alone oh, and i'm going to knock his teeth down his throat because he deserves to get punched. Checking in with us. Wow. And Sal, the stockbroker. Tell you. Yeah. Uh, 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 you don't uh, care. Uh, 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 <laughs> we still. Uh, well, Howard, <laughs> if, yeah, yeah. if Tom yes. does not put this fight together, when that prick is alone and he's not around those stupid rockabilly guys who were with him or Dan, the song parody guy, when he's alone, Howard, I swear I am going to pummel that prick. He is the most annoying. He starts fights with everyone. I swear, Howard, I'm going to beat the crap out of him. And I don't care if it jeopardizes my trip. When the prick's alone, I'm going to beat the crap out of him. Wow, and you don't stutter and, when you get mad. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. How I is don't. That, how is it you don't stutter when you get mad? Oh, well, like most stutterers, when I sing, uh, uh, when I sing, <laughs> I, I gotta don't... hear that. Yeah, let me hear a few. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, well, I'm a, a, a b, 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 embarrassed to. Who <laughs> was saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sing this. Slide of the bumblebee. This is your song. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. You don't need to sing. You can't notice a stutter. <laughs> this is John Stutter. All right. It's it's, it's great. Well, well, I don't know how he's going to work here if people get him to the point that he wants to kill them. John, I gotta ask you, man. Like you're my boy, but he's a clown. He's just a clown. Like a case. Case. I'm not gonna do anything at the show. I don't want to get kicked 
out of the show. I'm saying outside when I see him. Yeah, I know, but he's like he's he's just a clown. You know, I mean, he's, yeah, he's but the guy's a guilty. prick. Yeah, but the guy's a prick, Case. He's just trying to press your buttons, man. Case, I'm telling you, I'm going to do what I have to do. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I. <laughs> you want to hear me sing? I'll try it. All right, go ahead. Okay, wait, okay. 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 <laughs> no one knows what it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man. Behind blue eyes. Okay, that's. I'm in 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 my ID. <laughs> is here. What? What? Oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> well, I. Uh, I. Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. I I I I I, I, I wasn't able to, to, to come up. This is John Stutter. <laughs> All right, Mike, what is it? Go ahead, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, listen, you're already on a 20-minute delay. Give him the job. I know. You wait forever anyway. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Let's go to Callie. Callie, oh, you're not there, okay. Well, you're doing a great job. Okay, Howard, okay. All right, okay. you don't have a bit for okay. today? Oh, okay. All right, let's talk later. You know what? I got uh, double A here with um, Sunset Thomas. And I understand. Oh, 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 what I have is... Uh, Okay, okay. I wasn't I... able to come up with lyrics for my song parody, so so I have some catches for the show. Some what? Some ketchup. Pitches for the show. Pictures. For pitches. Pictures. Pitches. Bitches. Bitches. I I wish I did. Bitches for the no, show. No pitches. Pitches. I did. Oh, pitches. Pitches. I did. Pictures. Pictures. I did. Pictures. Pitch, no pitches. Ideas. 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 Okay. 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 All right. Listen. Let's do this later. Do okay. later. All right. Let's let's tease it. I'm sorry. We'll have you back and we'll let okay. you do your pitch. All right, John the Stutter. We're doing a great job. He's on the phones. He's screening the calls. We'll do the pitches one day when we have 11 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we have absolutely nothing there, to get there's to. nothing on the agenda. All right, i got to take a break. We'll find out what happened with Sunset Thomas and Double A. Mm. Why didn't she apply for John's job? Yeah, I would have hired her to <laughs> heartbeat. She never comes in for any of the contests. I'm glad you uh, mentioned that. Uh, there are going to be ten people all trying to get stuttering John's job. And with us all week is John the Stutterer. Who people love. Some people love, some people hate. More people love him than hate him. So, uh, and then know, that, on the uh, streets, I'm just hearing really great things. Yeah, and John the Stutterer, I think, went out and did some celebrity interviews. John, if you want to come in and just say hi to everyone and reintroduce yourself. By the way, America will vote as to who gets John's job. Are there any blacks applying for John's job? Mm. Uh, I don't think so. We're not going to waste time <laughs> because you know America won't America vote for them. America won't vote for a black person. That's black right. Women. Ladies and gentlemen, John the Stutterer. How are you, sir? Hi, hi. Oh, hi, Howard. Hi, Ashley. That's John the Stutter Ashley. <laughs> I realize it makes everyone uncomfortable to perform in front of my daughter. Well, oh, no, no. Does it? No, I'm not. No, I'm not uncomfortable. No, yeah. no. You don't need some little 11-year-old kid laughing at you, though. 
<laughs> no. Um, Actually, you're forbidden to laugh at his stutter. No, I don't mind. Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, what uh, I have. Uh, 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 Sorry, that Howard. That not only. Dogs uh, hate me. But uh, animals hate me, and uh, kids hate me, too. Really? <laughs> oh, come on. Nobody hates you. I mean, everybody I loves you, except Yucko the Clown. Uh, and girls. Yeah, and girls. This <laughs> raises an interesting question. Can Ashley laugh at Fred making fun of John Stone? That's okay. No. I don't mind. It's not polite. None of this None of this is right. It's all wrong. <laughs> no, it's not. John, did you go out? I, I'm not sure. What are you doing for us today? Uh, oh, um, oh, uh. Oh, well, I was hoping <laughs> I, that I could be... Uh, oh, um, oh, well, well, uh, 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 I, uh, I, uh, I want to, to, to um, did, did, recap what I did. Did he go out last night, last Casey? Night, yeah. He did? Yeah, um, Isaac just told me that he went out to the rainforest yes. oh. and tried, tried to get uh, some celebrities, but they couldn't get in. But they found one guy, like this guy, Radio Man. Oh, like, uh, okay. oh, you interviewed Radio Man. Semi-celebrity. That's who you got? Yeah. Wow. Because... When, 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 when... Despite... <laughs> okay, Harry, listen. Okay. No. Okay. When, when, let, me just, let me ask you a question, because it's very difficult to sit through the whole explanation. <laughs> really, I have no patience. When you were standing on the red carpet, if you will, and the people would walk by, wouldn't you see, let's say, Sting or Elton John? Oh, no. No, see, Harry. No, so you didn't see them. No. 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 So, Aren't there why, celebrities in the audience who walk through the red carpet? N no, n no, Robin. Okay. Listen. All right. So you try despite please from Isaac, we weren't uh, uh, we weren't allowed access inside. No, I understand and that. But what about outside? N no. The All right. So you didn't. You got celebrity in we spotted was he. he I'm in 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 solid room. Reaction. A stutter retort. All right. Okay, out. The only celebr the only celebrity we spotted was the. E e e Okay, Howard. Go ahead. I'm Who is this celebrity? I can't guess. Okay, you saw that? one celebrity. Yeah. The only one we spotted was uh, <laughs> India Iree. India Iree. Yeah. B -b but we didn't realize who she was until the last five seconds. Oh. And, and when I was calling out her first name as now I stuttered. So, family, we didn't get her. Right, he never got her name out. So <laughs> What? You know, Isaac produced a segment last night. Isaac took him out. He said John was doing some sort of funny things. Yeah. He said first when India Ari walked by, John commented that she looked like it's she should be in the rainforest. Oh, it was. Howard, I'm uh, not a racist. I'm an extremely liberal guy politically. It was just a joke. Were you doing a black impression in front of a black photographer? <laughs> well, yeah. The, the, <laughs> Yeah. What? Let me hear that. Who doesn't that? do that? Where is that? It was a joke. Where's all that stuff? No, I said. Where is that tape? N no, I I just <laughs> said to Isaac when when they got out of the limo, I said, 
What? Howard. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> All I said was, I said what you guys often say. I just said, there are some blakes. That's all. <laughs> Blake, uh, yeah. Blake. Uh, so, Blake, uh, are you gonna, Blake, Blake. later on in the show, are you going to have tapes for us? Is that what you're saying? Oh, well, all right. No. He's going to have tapes. The only one that's got his radio man. Okay, well, we'll listen to that. Why not? It's an interview. Yeah, and and the radio man's and, in on the joke. He listens to the show. That's the problem. And, and where are you? Uh, uh, do you have a tape of you making fun of the black guy? No. All right. No, I, I wasn't. Making fun of uh, of the black guy. I, I was... All right, come back later and we'll listen to your tape. Is what I'm saying. John the Stutterer, who's okay. having an incredible week of broadcast. Okay, going back to the phones now. Yeah, he's going to go back on Thank the phones. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, Howard. Very good. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Nice job. I I I I I I I I. I... Uh, Darn show, what would you like to, to uh, discuss with Howard? Uh, I'd like to talk to you about, a, uh, about doing an interview with you with the New York Post. Oh. Is this, is this John the Stutterer? Yeah, hi. Hey, how you doing? I'd like to do an interview with you. Just take a couple minutes of your time. Can you do that? Um, <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> to quite frankly, I I I I I I, I pull medically I I of uh, pose the uh, the the uh, the uh, post because of the. Why that they the way that they treat Howard and the way that they uh, uh and the way that and the way that they are in the pocket of Bush uh, Bush the right. Republican Party and the and the religious right. So I, so I, so I will have to respectively, respectively, the they the, decline, the sir. Oh, so you're against the uh, the FCC violations. What do you think of Yucko the Clown? I, I. Hey, what do you think of your gun? You uh, screw you, you homo. Uh, you fell for uh, Screw you, you homo. I knew it, you uh, I will see you in Vegas to box you, you pussy. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, oh, yeah, that's right, homo. I will screw you in Vegas. Uh, I will... Ah, uh, I I will see you in Vegas to kill you to box you. Oh yeah. I'll see you in Vegas, pal. Hey, and you better you box Vegas me too. Excuse. And you better not to duck the fight. You you better not duck the fight, you pussy. Uh. Fight me in Vegas, pussy. Fight me in Vegas, pussy. Wow. Wait, no, if you got this fight, you are a pussy. All right, there you go. Well, there he is. He's answering the phones all week and working hard to get 
John's job, and there's so many people yet to go. It's going to be tough. Dan, the song Parody Man was great. John, the stutterer. And we still have ten more or eight more candidates to go. You wish you could hire them all, don't you, Robin? Absolutely. Oh, Howard, also, I, dude, I got the uh, John the stutter with Captain Jenks. He, he just lost it. He really he lost his mind. Let me hear that. Where's all his songs? Go get his songs for me. Should be here. Uh, Stern Show, what would you like to discuss with a Howard? Hi, John. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, who's this? This is Carol. I'm, I don't live too far from where you live in Philadelphia. Uh, uh hi, Captain Jenks. How you doing? Who? Who? Uh, Captain Jenks. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Uh, this isn't Captain Jenks. Oh, uh, yes, it is. It sounds like him. No, this isn't Captain Jenks. This is Captain oh, yes, it is. It's Captain Jenks. No, it's not. I, I, oh, yes, it is. It's Captain Jenks. It's not. Oh, yes, it is. It's Captain Jenks. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Uh, what do you want to the the, the, the the what do you want to uh, discuss with Howard? I want to see if it's possible if um they could send you home early because you're doing a real bad job. Uh, well, I'll do, put, do, put, put you, you, you in home. No, I want to see if they'll send you home early, because you're doing a real bad job. Uh, well, 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 screw you, Jenks. You midget, you. You little prick. You little midget. You're doing a real you thing little now. prick. Oh, man, you just get angry at everybody. You little prick. You just get angry at everybody. <laughs> you little prick, midget. <laughs> <laughs> you ugly little midget. <laughs> <laughs> you still there, prick? <laughs> Is there anything you... <laughs> Yes, there is, but 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 what? It's almost, but, but by the time you finally ask, what question, do you want it? I'll put you on the air, prick. What do you want to talk about? Well, it's like it's, it's by the time you got everything. What do you want to talk about, prick? <laughs> by the time you got out everything, I'll put you in Vegas, prick. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Well, why don't you go f your mom and dad, prick? You know, by the time. What you, do you want to talk about? By the time you got out. What do you want? To talk about ass, I put you. I put you on hold now, ass. If 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 I put you on hold, ass. Go your mom. Go your mom, you ugly little midget. I put you on hold. Your mom's over here, right? I put you on hold, ass. Wow. I, 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 I,
I. Tanks really got you going, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, well, well, that little ugly midget started with me. He started with me, Howard, didn't he? I had to defend myself. But he just gets so, he, you know he's just yeah, trying to pull your chain. Uh, so? So he started yeah. with me? He yeah. started, he started with, me. with you and it's going to drive you crazy. He's a little midget. You're just getting nuts. He's a little midget, but he drives you crazy. I think yeah, but he started with me. I think we should just have him on the regular phones all the time. Right. And he should just do his thing. That was so funny to me when he started screaming, What do you want to talk about? Wow. <laughs> uh, Howard, everyone here can attest to the fact that I am a sweet, uh, a sweet guy. The only time that I get mad is when people f with me. I I, I, I only get mad when I have to defend myself. I I I I I I I. Right, Kate? I'm a sweet guy, aren't I? Right, Howard? Right, Howard? I'm a, 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 a right, Howard? In, 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 in solid rolling <laughs> via her reaction to me. A, All right. Howard, yeah. can't, can't you attest to the fact that I'm a sweet guy? You're a very sweet guy. You just get that, so totally crazed by everyone. But it's funny, I mean... You should be working on crank anchors as far right. as I'm concerned. I can tell you a story, man. You know, the E-guys are a bunch of dirtbags. You know what they did yesterday? What? Right. They screw with John. They asked him, they said, John, did you ever know what Yucko looks like without his makeup? And he said no. So they made him believe that one of the guys walking around was uh, was Yucko without his makeup on. <laughs> so there's a guy walking around, like, one of the, uh, I forgot who it was. I don't know, maybe it was Richie or something. It was walking around the office with a cell phone pretending he was Yucko. So he, ah. he, he got a hold of him, and he wanted to kick the crap out of him. No, no I did, 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 didn't uh, threaten the guy. I, I was I'm, just oh, trying to listen <laughs> to his voice. <laughs> You're driving him nuts here. I know. Oh, oh, Howard, can I, can I? <laughs> he still doesn't know, so it could be anybody. So no, he's still screaming. Howard, everybody's Yucko. He doesn't know who Yucko is. Can I? Just, it's like are you a, a funny little? <laughs> no, listen. I just want to thank you for the week. <laughs> oh, I want you to know that I think you did a great job. I, a lot of people are writing in. It's, it's, and think that you... It's <laughs> an awesome... No. 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 Um, ideas? No. Oh, he wants to no. pitch. Come on. Please, Howard. It's going to take forever. It's either now or on a Thursday. <laughs> okay. Well, the, the, can, can I just... I want to thank how, you. Oh, wait a minute. One idea. How... Give me your best idea real quick. Come on. I don't want to cut you off, but i, I got to okay. get going. Hurry up. Hurry okay, up. Uh, on, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Give him 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. Go. <laughs> okay. Okay. One following on the, um, the, uh, the glutes. All right. No. Listen. No. You'll write it down. And t Why did you put all your good ideas the on the website? The contest. You know, could have a female genitalia. Tell you guessing contest. All right. You we could have a w w woman, uh, a I, woman I, in her twenties, thirties, forties, and fifties, and all right. Uh, uh, I don't want to do that. Can, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Okay, listen to me. You had a great week. Okay. Don't end on a low note. Okay. When you have a high note, you end it. Okay. You did great. A lot of people okay. loved you. You didn't even think you'd last a day, and you put in a whole week's worth of I'm work. I'm proud of you. I see already you're beaming. You're proud of yourself. You're working. You're out of the house. I'm you, handsome, too. And you're handsome, yeah. and you did a good job. Oh, yeah, I'm real. What is going on with you? You did good. Yeah. Leave it at that. I accept the compliment. Yeah. I enjoy reading on the website your daily diary yeah. of what went on at the station. Yeah. It's good. Good, solid week. I wish you luck in the voting. Fantastic. Uh-huh. 
Okay, thank you, Larry. If you get the job, if the audience thinks you're the funniest guy, It'll you're here. It'll be a pleasure to have you here. It'll be yeah. a pleasure to have you here. Okay. That's it. Nothing more to be said. Okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> there he is. All right, he's absolutely uplifted from his week worth of work. I this think is wonderful for him. He feels good. I could see it. Usually he's depressed. He didn't think he could make a week. He did. He did. Hey, a couple more phone calls before he goes? Well, absolutely. He should work, put in a day's work. He's still working the phones then. Yeah, let's see what he can do. <sighs> All right. That's uh, John the Stutterer. How many phone calls has he managed to answer a day? Like four or five? I think one day as many as six. <laughs> that was his big day. Right. John the Stutterer was with us all week. Just want to say a, uh, a far thee well to him. Far thee well. Thank yeah. you, my friend. Here he comes to say his adieu. His goodbye, Robin. Okay. Hey, John the Stutterer. Uh, hi, Howard. Hi. hi. How'd it go on a scale of 1 to 10? Was it a week of 10? Was it a 7? Was it a 1? Uh, I'd say that that annoying. Annoying. Yeah. All right. We can't even get a ten. Uh, oh, well, 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 if if you want, may, may you say it ten, Robin? I'll say no, it. No, no, no. It was annoying for you. It was annoying. Yeah. Annoying. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, look, uh, John basically answered the phones. He went out. He, he tried to do a few funny things. He, he came in. He enjoyed uh, sharing his stutter with us. I'd, see, I'd give you a 10. You did a great job. I'm very, very proud well, of you. Well, nice. And I know your doctor told yes, and your doctor yeah. told you not to get excited on when you take phone calls. Yeah. You could stroke out because of your yeah. high blood pressure, but uh, yeah. you ignored that advice and yelled at people. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, but but I just did... did that friend of myself. Uh, oh, oh, Howard! Just one quick thing. Stern show. What would you like to discuss with Howard? Hey, is this John? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey, man, you're doing a great job this week. I just want to let you know. Okay. I think you're doing a great job being a faggot. <laughs> when I see you in Vegas, you make up where it's fag. I'm going to knock your faggot teeth right down your faggot throat. I am going to cover you to death. And if Howard and Tom don't put this boxing match together, when I see you alone, I'm going to pummel you to death. I'm going to break your jaw and knock your faggot teeth right down your faggot throat. And you better watch your back. And when, and when Dan Slowberry guy is not with you on a stupid rockabilly guy or Joey Boots, I'm going to beat the out of you. I'm going to knock your faggot teeth down your faggot throat. You make up wearing what you fag. You make up, you make up wearing fag. Take that makeup off and expose yourself. Take it off, you pussy. Take your... They were torturing John the Stutter around here yesterday, telling him that Richie from E yes. was really Yucko the Clown. Uh... And that that's him without his makeup. <laughs> So John was following him around trying to figure out if he was really Yucko. Make up off and expose yourself, pussy. Make up off and expose yourself. Take it off, you ugly little midget. You five foot three midget. You ugly, smelly scumbag. Take a shower. Take a shower. Oh, my God. <clears throat> You're going to stroke at him, I'm telling you. No. Nah. We I'll can't let okay. you have the job if you're going to do that. All right. Well, thank you for enjoying uh, and sharing with us your humor. Oh, uh, oh, um. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What? Thank you. Uh, to All right. To put the hot chi chick. Um, <laughs> in the beyond. <laughs> in beyond <laughs> the, 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 the valley of the the the, 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 the dolls. The, the um the girl who played play, the porn star 
point. I, I, the, the, the K, the, the K, 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 Williams. She was real hot. Not the first beyond. Uh, no, it, no, 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 okay. Not the no. first valley no. oh, no. of the dollar. All right, all right, thank you. I got to move but along. It, thank you. Uh, John the Stutterer, we love you. Great hey, job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great performer, John the Stutterer, and he worked hard this week, and I appreciate it, and good for him. You do a dead-on impression of that guy. <laughs> it's eerie. <laughs> I, 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 if Tom doesn't put on this, this fight, I'm, I'm gonna kill you, you sleazy scumbag. All right. <laughs> He's got like a like a oing, oing, oing. I, get, I get sweaty just starting to do that. I can't imagine what he goes through. It's a hard life. It is. All right, Robin, let's do some news. All right, here's big news. Benji received a letter from John the Stutterer, who says, "I'm writing to let you know that I am withdrawing from the Get John's Job contest." What? Oh, Howard Stern exclusive. What are you talking about? There's almost no way I could deal with the stress of a daily job. I think Howard is well aware of this. I certainly want to die, but I don't want to have a stroke due to a rise in blood pressure. So he realizes that he can't handle it? But if he, if he so wants to die, well, why not die doing this? He doesn't want a stroke out. He's determined how he wants to die. He's overwhelmed by depression and loneliness. And this would solve it, I think. I lack the required motivation to work. work. Oh. Quite frankly, I feel like jumping in front of the Broad Street subway... Ultimately, I lack the courage to do so. Well, thank God. In my humble opinion, Dan, Double A, or Shuli should get the job. Each of them is funny and, most importantly, would work hard. So he, so he's throwing his support to three other people. Hmm. Take care, Benji. I wrote this to Benji. You're a great guy and an integral part of the show. Oh, he doesn't know Benji. Very underrated. <laughs> I think Benji wrote this letter. <laughs> it is weird. Like, he... Puts his name on the back of the letter. He writes sincerely, and then he puts over with an arrow, and his name is and on the back. And then the name is on the back? Yeah, just some obsessive-compulsive thing where his name has to appear on the back of the letter. I'm, I'm, yeah, I thought my, he might be doing a little, you know, asking him a little too much. Yeah, it was way stressful. Come on, John, cheer up. You yeah, did. You did. You did a great week. Yeah, he's, he's just... Uh, you know what else? He might be on disability. If, if he shows him he can work, then they're going to throw him his ass right off of it. Oh, maybe that's true. He'll really be depressed. <laughs> well, that's a, that's an <laughs> argument I'd accept. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why didn't he write that? Yeah. That's something you can understand. Enough said. Yeah. I'm sorry, John. Well, all right, John. We'll withdraw your name from there. I'm, I right. think I'm going to leave it into voting anyway. I don't care. I'm not with Suppose him. Suppose he wins. <laughs> We'll take the second place. He can he can uh, he, he can, can turn it down. He can his throne. Yeah, to the next guy. Give over the tiara, <laughs> so to speak. If our Miss America can't serve, you should call him, uh, guys, and let's let's hear it straight from the horse's mouth. There's a ton of stuff to get to, but I do want to get John the stutter in here. I was listening to his message the other day on our voicemail, and he indicated that he was doing personal appearances now, and that. His new manager had booked it. I got this after like a 10-minute stammer. You know, it was like, ah, 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 ah. But uh, his new manager has gotten him a gig in a boxing match for 300 bucks, And I was like, whoa, that is a crap deal. What's the manager and doing? isn't it with somebody who was heckling him at one of these personal appearances? Because for 300 bucks, he could just go stutter. <laughs> uh, you're in a boxing outfit with your shirt off, dude. <laughs> and dude, I gotta tell you something. Looking at those abs, I don't know if you're in boxing shape. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't I know, know if you're in golf shape. <laughs> <laughs> Little or bowling flabby. shape. Little or, bo flabby. or bowling shape, even. Tell me what's going on. I'm worried about you. You told me you have uh, some kind of condition where you couldn't even work here because you could go into a cardiac arrest or a stroke. Yeah, um, well, well, one... N n Night, I 
m made a I made a rare if I made a rare uh do you have a manager now? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right, you have a manager. Yeah. You made an appearance somewhere? No, no. no. A rare uh, appearance. No, no. No. A rare oh, what? I, I, I made... I, I, oh, my headphones are wrong. Uh, 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 I made... I... Uh, I made uh, a rare... Uh, rare a, a rare... A rare appearance uh, out... Out. No, 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 Howard. No. I, 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 I am very <laughs> reclusive, as you know, Howard. Right. Why did and you make an appearance? No, money? No, 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 no. Why did you make this? an appearance, then? No, no, no. <laughs> what? No. 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 What no. I <laughs> mean, Howard, is that one night I night decided <laughs> night. to... Night. To I go do, out do, to do, try to. All right, let let me understand. Let me let me let me get pick up some. All right, some you, girls at no. a club. All right, you went out to pick up girls at a club. You made the appearance at the club as John the Stutterer. No, it, no. You just went out as uh, socially. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, you no. went out and you got struck down as usual, right? Yeah, but but but. Why don't you always just say you're mute what? and you don't know how to talk? Oh, it's fine. Sign, sign language. Well, to, 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 uh, oh, okay, Howard. Get a chance with oh, chicks. To make oh. a long story short. Thank God. Uh, this, uh, this girl recognized me for, from the show, and she was actually quite n n nice to me. What um, she claimed sh she had a boyfriend and uh, um uh and 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 i i was uh, 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 so this guy so this guy saw me talking to her and uh he stood and he started making fun of me and he said to her what don't don't you know who this Loser is he's that stuttering retard from the Stern Show. Oh my! You should uh, you shouldn't be talking to him to get away from him. He was uh, a, 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 a he was he a, a a little and then oh not the N word. Inebriated. Oh, inebriated. Inebriated. Yeah. He was a little no no inebriated. No no and and no and 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 <laughs> and, uh, and, and people were watching, and 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 I didn't want to seem like a a a, a pussy. A so pussy. A, a pussy. A pussy. A pussy. Yeah. So we uh, so we so we got, uh, so we got uh, in uh, e e e e e e e e e Others' faces and 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 No, he's about five foot six, one uh, sixty, I guess. What are you? Oh, I'm a, I'm a, little over. Oh. Five eleven. All right, listen. Stop it. One fifty-five. All right, can I say something here? Let me say. Let me stop you. So. 
the people at the club <laughs> gonna box? broke it up, and 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 that's the night I met the Damon Feldman and 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 the and, and, the and, and, and Damon. Uh, and uh, hold on, hold on. And Howard, he, is, uh, he is my true friend, right. and he saw it, and he suggested hold it, hold it, hold we it. to get in the ring. No, no Howard. No, let this, me say something. This guy is a prick, and I really... What's the guy's name? Uh, to, uh, Ryan Scotia. Ryan Scotia. No, Ryan Scotia. Ryan Scotia. Yeah, Brian Scotia. Oh, Brian Scotia. Yeah. All right, on the Did phone. Did we have him? Yeah. Brian. Yeah, I'm right here. Uh, this guy, he's not giving you this right side of the story. Go ahead. No, no, did, he, did he tell you? Did you, did you no, tell him how lying. you bumped into me and spilled my drink all over me and then started talking to my girlfriend? The, the, no, she, she, no, the, the, no. 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 That? Yeah. You, got, you got no chance to beat me at all. Do you understand that? Do you understand that there's a website out there that's giving me two to one odds that I'm going to beat you? You're a retard. The, we're a retard. But, but, Listen, prick. I'm listening. That girl is not your girlfriend. Look, she's sleeping right next to me right now. Put her on the phone, then. I ain't waking her up. Ah. That's what I thought. Howard, Howard, listen. I'll bring you Friday night. How about that? Listen, she, listen, she started talking listen. to, listen, to, listen, to me. Me. I don't start fights with people he what are you trying to say he's got on a red buddy. silk robe he's Listen, got a red Frank. sick robe silk robe on he's got red boxing shorts everlast boxing shorts you've got two big red boxing gloves on black socks and I black think he's socks he's gonna be dressed like this until the fight and glasses well, he's gonna be covered in red when i'm done with him let me ask him why are you getting involved in this for three hundred dollars what are you doing a uh, howard look what are you doing john john do you, have have a box with glasses do you know how to but, box Doug, bring in yeah, the, I do. Br I do. Bring in a, uh, bring in those. Uh, what do you call those? He's got those hand Howard. mitts. Yeah, the hand. Let me oh, see really? your box. Listen, Howard. Let Listen. me see your box before you say anything more. John, what, we have. John. What is it, Doug? He has gone through some training for this fight. You know who his trainer is? Who? Tell him. Me, myself. <laughs> Let me see him. You take the, no what do you call those training. pads? Yeah, I got it. I don't you know, know what they're called. You now people have to punch into the pads. Right. pads. We put Yucko's face on it to enrage him even more. All right, you hold the pad. Let me see you hit those pads. Yeah, ah. Uh, Let me see uh, your punch. Uh, 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 I'm. Let me uh, see. Don't uh, 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 I'm. Hearted Rocky. All right, Rocky, go uh, over there. John, we have an hour to kill if you want to tell us your height again. <laughs> right, here we go. I. I. Now, does he have to box with glasses on? Can he see anything without his glasses? <laughs> He's gonna box with his glasses on. <laughs> Crazy! You're Rocky nerd. All right, let me see your box. Oh, this is too funny. Pick your silk. All right, that's all right. Leave it on. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, but the guy's gonna be moving. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's only hitting one pad. Right. Hit both. One <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, that's crazy stutter anger. Do you understand? You're supposed to hit both pads. <laughs> you're supposed to. You're supposed to mix it up. Where's your jab? Where's your Where's your, where's your left? Where's your upper right? You only has a right. Where's your... Hey, John, where's your left? Oh, there it is. Sounds like nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> Sounds like nothing. Wait, let me see your right. Left, right, left, right. Uppercut, undercut, overcut. Uppercut. Cold cut. All right. Cold cut Nice. Nice. Are you out of breath? He's completely... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Howard, the most important yeah. thing in boxing is to breathe on your punch. Yeah. He didn't breathe one. He's going to pass John, out in like 30 John, seconds. John, talk to me. Are you okay? No, I can't. He can't talk. <laughs> John, don't say anything. Say something. Something. Energy no, wait, let people hear how out of breath you are. Come here. Talk. Wow. Are you crazy going in the room? This guy for real. How's he going to do this? Come here. Talk Why to the mic. are you fighting with him? John, talk into the mic. Can you say say your name? Oh, okay. What? Yeah. I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> he just wore himself out hitting a pad. Can you, you know, maybe, though, he's not stuttering. I'm maybe fine. He just punch himself out before he talks every night. I'm fine. You're dizzy. I'm fine. You're going to get knocked out by this guy in three seconds. Well, Howard, look. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a two-to-one underdog dog on SBGglobal.com. Yeah. But, but listen... 
Listen. Oh, listen. Oh, <laughs> listen to you out of breath. Listen to you. Listen. Let me tell you. Go You're going to have a heart attack. Howard. <laughs> Slow that Howard. Down. What year is it? 2004. All right. Howard. You didn't even get hit yet. Howard. Have you ever been hit? <laughs> yeah. Howard. You ever been punched in the face in a boxing match? Howard. He talks like Muhammad Howard. Ali and he hasn't been hit. Howard. Howard. <laughs> Howard. I am not going to let myself get hurt. If I feel I can't continue in the fight, I'll stop. Well, that'd probably be. Well, that's such a defeatist attitude are you, to have. Hey, but 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 three hundred dollars even to go risk Howard. yourself, yeah, risk How your life. How many rounds? Yeah. Was it really worth it? Was that girl going to go home with you anyway? No, she wasn't. Exactly. Out. You're going to fight over a girl? That's lame. How many Howard. rounds are you supposed to do? So 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 he called you a stuttering retard. Who cares? He grabbed me by the throat. He did. Yeah. He grabbed me by the throat. Are you all right? Are you no. trying? No, he's having a heart attack. He started it. You no. having a heart attack? No. He started it. Get on that microphone. Let me hear you cry. No, I'm oh, not. What's crying. going on? What are you doing? He grabbed you by the throat. Yeah, I had to get my breath. <laughs> How are you going to fight? You can't even hit a pad. Oh. Bro, do you run at all? No. 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 There's no road work. What kind <laughs> of training are you doing? You could come out with me today and run five or six miles. Let me see how you're doing. I'll tell you, bigger box. He can't run five or six miles. No, I can't run, Howard. Oh, what are you doing then? <laughs> Dude, I got to see you running eight, at least an eight-minute mile. Howard, Howard, I assure you, if I feel I can't handle it, I'll stop. Is your, well, box, is your, is your boxing promoter here? Yeah, he is. Right, let me let me talk, let me let me get the let me. But get really, how many rounds is it supposed to be? Because he can't even get through one. You're good at yelling at people. You're not good at fighting. You're yeah. not even hitting the gym. You got to bench press. You got to do. Can you? Can you how many pull-ups oh. can you do? Uh oh. Forty. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, 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 Marty, can't you objectively say that I threw some good uh You threw some good rights. Punches there. You threw some good rights, absolutely, but you're out let of me, Let me end it. This is David. David Hyde. No, Damon. Damon Feldman. Oh, Damon. All right. You know me, Howard. Bernard Hopkins. I used to promote Oh, him. yeah. How you doing, Damon? All right, buddy. Damon, what, what, what are you up to here? $300? Well, we'll see. Maybe if we pack the house, give him a little more heat. He pack the house? I, I was in the same place, and these guy, two guys... We're going at it, and they said they all look at the size of you. You're a man. Uh, you're a man's man. You can handle yourself. Yeah, I can see that. Was Tyson a few years ago. Too. All right, all right. You're a Jewish real farmer. All right, this guy here. You, you see, he can't even. He can't he's punch sick, a bag. I, 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 hey, Beetlejuice fell for me. I'm sick, too, Robin. So. He's sick. He's thirty <laughs> seconds of hitting a bag. The guy's ready to collapse. Uh, he's even a two to one favorite on SBG. No, he's two to, He's not the favorite. Or uh, underdog. <laughs> he's the underdog. All right, well, on SBGglobal.com later on, he'll be on the, be the favorite, I think. All right, listen to me. Right listen to me. Up. What's going on here? I want the fight called off. Come on, Howard. No, stop it. Ain't you, happening, Howard. You're going to send this guy? I got this guy locked down. I think John's going to be all right. I think he has a size, and this guy's only 5'4". I'll tell you what, I'll pay you 400 not to fight. How's that? I'll give you $500 right now to call off the fight, courtesy of Kill Bill 2, the new film by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Action pack conclusion to Kill Bill saga. Available on DVD August 10th. Oh, I think John's like sick or something. John, yeah, look, he's mean, staring into space and he's just. John, look at me. No, I'm okay. What's going on over there? No, I, um, I'm hey, Howard. okay. Uh, but you realize you can't do this, right? Yeah, but he's been wanting Hold to do it a this second. for Damon, weeks. Hold it a second. Damon, give me a second. Okay. What is going on right now? Well, Howard, look. look All right, look, you just I realized something, didn't you? Well, Howard, it was the heat of the, Howard. If someone grabbed you, I understand. By so you should have done something about it right Howard, then and there. For years, you, you sucker punch him. You, Howard, you grab yeah, a bottle you and you hit him over the head. For years, match. I have Boxing been match. called a stuttering retard and made fun of people, and I just. Yeah, but but but, dude, going in the ring when you're this out of shape, <laughs> is insane. that's like committing suicide because you someone called you a retard. Yeah, you can't get in the you're ring. Get Howard is three yeah, one minute rounds. Three women around. This you guy couldn't last ten it. seconds, yeah. and nobody was even How hitting him. The other, the other guy might not be able to last ten either. I'm going to be a brawl. I mean, they, these guys been bothering me about it. I'm putting on Listen a picture of Damon, medicine. one punch to this guy, he's down. Mm. He just uh, got beat up by air. A little bit. He just got beat up by, by punching. <laughs> by air. He punch a little bit. Oxygen beat him up. Just Take it <laughs> easy. The guy's not training. He has a mental condition. He's not supposed to be stressed. He could die. And, John, do you own a pair of sneakers, by the way? The black socks and the black shoes aren't working. It's his style. Uh, uh, yeah, we are arguing yeah. boxing shoes later. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you want to announce the end of the fight? Are you really going ahead with this? 
You got to You know what? It's bigger to say I don't want to do this. Hold on, hold it. Tell me what what you think. Only in America. Uh, well, I feel obligated. Uh, I don't look know. At me, look at me. No, no, no. Look at me. What I should do. You just. I'll tell you what you should do. You better leave the country before you fight this guy. <laughs> you're good at yelling at people, not at boxing, and you're not even that good at yelling at people. Right. <laughs> Yell at Ralph. Keep calling him a homo. Ralph likes it. That's good. And you're, he that's won't great. box you. Ralph's a good guy. He doesn't mind when you do it. And you're out of breath not doing that. Fight you. You're not gonna you're not gonna beat up anybody, trust me. And you could get really hurt. I yeah. will have a videotape, Howard, for next week. A videotape oh. of what? Can't wait to see that. Well, we're gonna bring it in. Of the murder. Hey, can I say something having worked on a couple of these fights? John, have you ever been hit in the face? Oh yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Have you ever responded after being hit in the face? No. Well, <laughs> well, by a chick. well I got well, into a lot of fights. When I was a all kid, right, right. Let, me, uh, let, me, let me let me get you out of this. Hold on a second. What's this guy's name? You're fighting again? Brian. Brian. Prick. Brian. Prick. Yeah. Let him get out of this gracefully. Right. Leave him alone. You know what? It's 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 not. That's what he wants to do. Yeah, it, it's not a fair fight. D Damon, it's, Damn it's, right, he's, gonna get, he's gonna get killed. We, hey Brian, you're a lot smaller anyway. So I mean, John's punching better than you. Three one minute rounds. I think we're gonna do it at Deco Nightclub tomorrow night. Come on. Wow. You had no, 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 this can't go on. Damon, you're going to kill the guy. Hey, he, John's been calling me nonstop saying how bad he wants this match. John's insane. <laughs> he just I'm punched getting, himself out after 10 seconds. I'm beginning to think something's wrong with you, Damon. Yeah, uh, Damon, come on, Damon Robin, did you I'll see him box? Got, this is going to be the biggest fight, bigger than Tabby. He boxed for 10 seconds. Listen to me. He John just boxed for 10 John. seconds, and he almost passed out. And you say he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't know how to John, it, but he you want to fight, fight this John, fight. go ahead. You don't look well to me. <sighs> you don't look good right now. Are you all right? What's yeah, going on? Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. Tell me what happened. All your wind is gone. <laughs> uh, Howard, look, listen, I, I am scared. Well, well I'm still oh, yeah, right. mad at this. Wait, let, let me let me handle it. Hey, 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 buddy on the phone. Brian. Brian. I'm still here. He could kick your ass if he wanted to. I'm he just letting you. Yeah, I know he could, but I'm just letting him out but of the Howard, gracefully. See, he doesn't want to hurt Howard. you. Yeah, I don't want this you getting hurt. This is something. I, I, this is something I. John, look at me. You're a lover. You're not a boxer. I know. There's no reason to do this. It means nothing. You're just going to get slaughtered. Yeah, but it's better than getting in a street fight than he gets arrested. So he could do it in the ring with boxing. Wait, 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 you're trying to tell me you. something. What are you trying to say? If if I feel that I can't do it, I'll just stop. Look at me. I just saw what you did in here. You can't do anything. Let yeah. me tell you, the worst place to make that decision is in the middle of a fight. Right, right. Tell you no. what, go to a gym today and, and spar a couple of rounds, three one-minute rounds, and see if you can get through it. He'll be dead from this. At least the guy sparring with you will hold up on you. If the guy have hit, some mercy on you. If the guy hits you in the face and he hits you again and he hits you again and he hits you again, it's sort of too late to stop. Dude, I, I trained Shotokan karate for four years. It was intense. I'm telling you, you ain't you You're nothing. not training at all. Uh, let me ask some, Howard. What would it take... How much money would it take to, if I can get you in the ring? Me? I am the next Don King. You Fifty million it. dollars. <laughs> go out and go to up. work now. Fifty million. You got I it. Guarantee you ten million on pay per view uh, percentage. Ten million. I don't need you. Come on. What do I need you for pay per view? I'll do it myself. Let's let just give me, me fifty million I'll get up front. The opponent for you. What kind of deal I'll did he just give you? You said I need fifty million. He says I'll get you ten. You're gonna give me ten. That's some negotiation. Give me ten plus ten. percentage. Come on. <laughs> I tell you what. How about I take it all for myself? I'll take the entire percentage. Because I, I am the best promoter around. Believe me, I am gonna be the next Don King, and I'm telling you, okay, I'm gonna well, put you. I don't I want to fight. With a great I, I'm match, smarter Howard. than John the Stutterer. I know I can't fight. Uh, <laughs> come on. You got the reach. You're six five. You got whatever. What, are you gonna get him a girl? <laughs> well, I'll put it in Philadelphia at Deco Nightclub Friday night if you want. Oh, in the nightclub. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? We'll right next to Delilah's. Howard versus Paris Hilton. You know what, Howard? It's funny. You've got a microphone that reaches twenty million people, and he's got a telephone. He's a better promoter. <laughs> uh. All right, John. Yeah. Get yourself out of this. Come Dan on, John. Be a man. While you got me here, and I can talk to Damon for you. You don't want to do this. Three hundred dollars, dude. You're gonna get your face pummeled. And you're not going to hold up for a, 
You're not going to fold up. You with glasses. That's dangerous. You can't even. You, you've never even boxed before. Dude, it's hard. I know it is. Is that the first time you ever hit a, a, a heavy bag? Heavy or bag whatever it was that Doug. Was? You ever hit Doug? Is that the first time you ever punched a, a pads? Yeah. It is. Yeah. All right. So now you see it. So it's a little bit more to it. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. Smoke oh. weed. Tell the guy, look, tell the Smoke guy on the crack. phone. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, I cannot box you. Well, Howard, listen. Like, like I said, I'm the... Great. I know you're a tough guy. Free, uh, the rock. No, I know you're a tough guy. I know you're a tough guy. But listen to me. It's enough for the fight. No, you're no, out no. of the fight game officially. I'm going to give you $500 courtesy of... of uh, Kill Bill 2? Yeah. And Damon, I'm going to give you a trip for two, including airfare and hotel, to Las Vegas... I thought you were going to send him to the funny farm. To see the UFC's unfinished business match from the MGM Grand Hotel. That's going to be your payment for calling this off, which is a lot more money than you would have made having him box. Don't miss the UFC's unfinished business this Saturday night, August 21st, only on pay-per-view. You got anything for Brian? I think that'll make him go away. No. Brian? I'm still here. Uh, you got anything left for Brian? As always, I could give him a really nice watch from Steven Singer Jewelers. All right, that's nice. A five hundred. Uh, oh, all right. Tom just gave up with five hundred bucks. Right. You get five hundred. I'm calling off the fight. You hear what I said, Brian? I hear what you're saying. I get five hundred. Yeah. You get five hundred. John the Stutterer gets five hundred. Damon's going to Vegas. All right, let me ask you something, Howard. That's it. Can I'm I now you guys. Okay. okay. I'm gonna, he can't. I, he, he's in no condition to fight. If I call this fight off, can I still get a plug for the rest of the match? Go ahead. Card? Go ahead. I got a hell of a show at Deco Nightclub right next to Delilah's this Friday. I got the fighting stock blooper, Jared Vasquez, and uh, six other matches on the there card. There you go. You okay, see, everyone John comes out. will still make an appearance, and maybe we can just, like, shake hands and a ring and end it. How's that? All right. Now, Whatever you guys no. no. I, 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 I would suggest they don't even get near each other. Right. All right, so what do I tell, um, what about the uh, Damon Feldman promotions? I don't know. And what about the situation? Dude, I, that's not my problem. I'm trying to help this guy out. Right, get but, his ass kicked. Okay. Right. I, you got to have a little compassion. We're going to take it off the line also. You're a strong, FBG. tough guy. Yeah, you know how to guy. handle yourself. He doesn't know how to handle himself. Hey, come on, I'm Jewish, man. Whatever. <laughs> You're not like any Jew I ever saw. Oh. All right. <laughs> That's no Jew there. Who right. hit him too many? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even know. The rabbi. The Jewish bomber. The rabbi hit him a couple I of times. I think I'm going to get Gary to fight soon. Yeah, I mean, if I can't get John, what See, about John, now you feel Gary better, right? Yeah, yeah. You can breathe again. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I. 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 Must admit. What a Fred fight. Right, Howard. I was afraid. To uh, say no, no to the to, to Damon Damon because uh, he's a friend of m mine, mine and and, and I'm and glad and that I have you my uh, friend. Yeah, it's enough. Oh, help me out. All right, so I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> Am I going? You're to going to Vegas. Going to well, I'm Vegas. telling you, I'm going to put on the one of the biggest fight cards in two years. Good. You better be All my right. guest. That's, that's good. Let's guarantee. take some phone calls. Very, it's very very emotional right now. Yeah. Every it's a very emotional day. I just saw him hit that. <laughs> oh. Ralph, go ahead. You're on the air. Well, it, it sounds like everybody came to their senses. Yeah. Uh, but how come you're giving this ball a trip? I mean, he was going to so take advantage of that poor guy. He's I want everybody to walk out happy. I'm trying to help John he the stutter. He was going to pay him $300 to get his ass kicked. No, you don't understand. I was giving him the shot. He kept calling me. I was just doing him a favor by ending yeah, it not in the street the national the radio show and you promote it yeah, well, he, 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 many times I'm the next the fight, thing, buddy. the fight would have happened for free so he gave exactly. him a couple hundred bucks. that's it it's over <laughs> Goodbye. I'm doing this for Howard Stern. Remember this. Damon Feldman Boxing Promotion. Damn the song parody, man. Oh, thank God you guys called that fight off. I would have felt so bad for John. Yeah. You know, he gets wind of just trying to speak a sentence. Right. I mean, he should just stick to assaulting the English language and not mess with other humans. <laughs> exactly, Dan. <laughs> yeah, he's wrestling the English language and he's losing. I don't know. That gets him out of breath. Yes, John. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Good. I want to... Uh, Help John out here. I want to fight for him. Nah, that, that, that's a plus move. The card is over. The card's Who's over. Who does he want to fight? Who does he want to fight? Yes, Mike. Mike, go ahead. Do you, re 
But when he was out of breath, he didn't stutter at all? Yeah. By the way, when you were out of breath, you didn't stutter at all. I could see already your chest hurts, doesn't it? Tell the truth. What's going on? Yeah. He's yeah, probably having some blood pressure issues just for months. I'll be having a heart attack. Are you having a heart attack? Nah. I breath all the time. His well, eyes. I bet you if we took his blood pressure, it's sky high. His eyes are rolling into the back of his head. It, 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 that was the toughest fight you've ever had. Just put him on a treadmill every time he comes in. What? He's, he's clammy and his color's off. We might have to get him checked out. Mm. Robin, yeah, check his vitals. We didn't no, bring I'm a okay. doctor in for this. Robin, check his vitals. You're clammy. <laughs> I'm sure he is clammy. I'm sure. I didn't know we had to bring a doctor in for the announcement of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he could do one more shot? If he puts his gloves back on, maybe he could just... No. No. In the face once. no, no. No, no. Yucko, go ahead. Hey, I would say John's on talk, but he can't even freaking do that. Uh. Listen. <laughs> what? You, you are an ugly... You are an ugly little midget John Wayne Gacy look-alike, and you hide behind your makeup and costume. Roger! Roger, you pussy slut! All right. Your girlfriend's a slut. I'll fight you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come back. You stop what happens. Your girlfriend's a slut. Your girlfriend. Well, let him respond. You John. You really Wayne. think you should be challenging you, people? You John Wayne Gacy. You John. Wayne. Yucko, what is that? You John Wayne Gacy. What? Look alike. He said it again. You John Wayne Gacy. Look alike. Hey, hey Howard. Can I ask you a question? You look like Robin Williams. Stop hiding behind your makeup. You bug-eyed, big-nosed prick. You ugly prick. Stop, you fuck stop, fucking stop hiding behind your... your... Stop hiding behind your makeup. You what is that, Yucko? Stop. I'm telling this. Show, show Howard. Stop hiding behind your makeup. All right, he's gone. He's gone now. Stop hiding behind your makeup, you Robin Williams. You Robin Williams. Roger Davis. Don't challenge anybody else. Roger Davis. Yes. All right, John. Howard, how about this? Damon, it's over. Those two have a grudge. How about we get them in shape for six months? Oh, please. We need to stop it. How about that? Why don't you want to be a boxing promoter? Yes, VP. Get some boxers. Yes, VP. Howard. Yeah. Hey, now, this Damon guy, he's horrible. I mean, what's going on here? Why is he treating John like that? Because I'm friends with him, and he he asked me. I'm only uh, helping Don't him tell me you're friends with him. You're talking crap. Why don't you step in the ring then? Oh, come on. What, now it's all like you're promoting the guy. You're ruining him. I'm only helping him. He, he didn't get arrested that night because of me. I yes, text. To the boxing well, text. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But look, when he's, he had the opportunity in the club to do something about it, and he didn't. And I think this whole thing's an act. He's he going to get killed. In the last two times. He'll get killed if he gets into the ring. Yes, Gio. Yes, Gio. Hello? Quick, you have the last word. Well, I guess that is the last word. What is it, Dominic? Hmm. It's another guy calls and hangs up. Thank you. Yes, Marianne. Damien, I'll pick your ass with my tongue. You, you're picking on John? How dare you pick on a wig well, and a fist? Well, that's my aunt, gone. You want to know? You don't need your fist. Use your tongue, big shot. I'll go word for word for you. That's your friend? That's how you treat somebody? How? Get him off and you gave him a trip and he's still asking for things? No, get the good. hell and get out of the uh, studio. On, man, you pig. That's you stinking pig. I'll fight you with my tongue, man. Let's go at it. That's All right. Thank you. Well, John, the fight is off. Thank God. I can yeah, see. Yeah, we all feel better now. I got to go to commercial. Dude, you look like you're ready to keel over. No, I'm okay. No, there's something going on there. You look like you're going to keel over from just hitting the pads for 10 seconds. I think he's nervous because I'm, I'm not mad at you, John. I'm the one who's for Howard Stern. Yeah, yeah, don't don't give him a hard time, David. Nah, this is all. You nervous about him? You think no, he's not going to no. be your friend anymore? That's it. No. Walking home. No, I'm no. joking. All right. All right. Everything's good. Well, Everything works out for the best. Make an there, Deco, Friday. He can't even talk. <laughs> I'm okay. All right. 
Go oh, see a doctor. Yeah, lie down. Why don't you? You want to lay down on the couch? You want to lay down on the couch? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, lay down on the couch. John. Yeah, he's... It's okay. Thank God I stopped that fight. Oh. You know what? You got anxiety, and you're out of shape. Yeah. yeah. You're a veal. Remember. That. Hey, Howard, can I ask you one more you question? Move. What would it take for me and you to co-promote a boxing event? Oh, will you stop? Come on. That would be know. big. Your boxing's but dying Damon, right now. it's over. That's why I'm doing this. How about I get you into boxing? You go, not me. Damon I don't Thurman box. Howard Stern can make the this guy doesn't box. We don't box. Around. We don't box. Promotions. you got to get some boxers. You have Don King on here. We could do that twice as good as him. I'm the new new age of boxing coming along. And with yes, your Dominic. help, we can do it huge. I, I'm, interested. I'm interested in this promoter. Where is he like what? I'm Where is he licensed? You have to be state licensed. I'm licensed all over, PA and Dower. You're not licensed in New York. You're not even on the computer. No, You're not no, licensed. No. If you look my name up, buddy, I promoted Bernard Hopkins at the first thing in Spectrum. You're not Michael licensed. Grant, in the, you're, Tyrell Biggs, Larry you, Holmes. Are you a driver's license or, or <laughs> he is boxing? Not a license I'm a former pro fighter, 9 and 0. You check me out. Excuse me, you are not licensed promoter in the state of New Jersey or New York. I'm not in New Jersey. Fact, I'm PA. Matter of fact, thank you. Matter of fact, promoting a fight and putting money up is a felony. There's a well, fishing you know license. That? Let me tell you something. I'm bringing <laughs> back really Ivan Robbins, who's going to fight Arturo Gatti. What do you want me to say? Let I got the you, hottest you're not fight cards around, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Enough. Enough of this. Okay, Howard. I'm caught up in a world I can't get in. I can't I'm get just into. excited to meet Howard Stern. I feel like throwing punches now. I'll challenge anybody you want me to fight. Uh, Doug Goodstein, you can fight him. Nah, he has a good right hand. Oh, okay. that. All right. <laughs> you fight, fight him right now. What is we'll that, be, Doug? Can we just punch him in the face? If, just tie his hands How How we just do the toughest Jewish guy in New York or Philly or something? I've got to take a break, Rob. When we come back, we're going to do the news. <laughs> I have some tapes to play. John the Stutterer, I think, is going to have to lay down for a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, he punched himself out. John, you want a beer? And that was less than a minute he was punched. <laughs> that was the greatest no. thing I ever saw. No, I don't drink. Oh, you don't drink? Oh, good. No, no. I'll, I'll have a beer. training. I'll have a beer. <laughs> we'll uh, be back right after these words. Thank you, Damon. All Thank right, you, John. Right. Bye-bye. Yes. Here's Robin calling in sick. Hi, uh, Gary. Yeah, this is Robin. Hope you can hear this. Uh, obviously, I am under the weather and uh, don't think I should be at work tomorrow. So here's your heads up. Hope you get this in a timely fashion. I'm going to try to get this out of me and be back by Tuesday. Bye-bye. 95 X. Debbie Shushel's going to sit in on the news. I told her she could. I know some people are turned off by her. I can't stand her. But I like her. She's here in person? In person. Why would people not like her, Howard? Here she is. Debbie even looking feminine and pretty. Hi there. There you go. With her big jugs walking in here. Happy Hanukkah, Howard. Oh, here we go. Happy Hanukkah starts right away. Perfect Hanukkah. Well, I wanted to know, I, I want everyone to know I brought you some Hanukkah gelt, and even for you, Fred. I know that Debbie Schlussel turns off a lot of people, but I feel she does have a lot of information. Don't hack me in China. Thank you. And, uh, you know, just sit down, Debbie. Just stop with handing out things, because no one can see it. Your Jewish candy. I got the gilt. She's got Jewish candy. Gilt. I <laughs> wonder the Jews get the uh, the rap about money. They hand out chocolate money. <laughs> Money's nothing to you, is it? Well, you know what? I I can't afford to give you the real gold coin, so my grandfather used to give us that for Hanukkah. You know who? who uh, her, I said Debbie Shushel's going to be here. I heard John the Stutterer go berserk. He doesn't no. like you. Did you know he didn't like you? I don't even know. Did you know Screw this? Him. Were you aware of it? <laughs> no, I was not. Oh my God! He has songs about you and everything. <laughs> I think that that's a commentary on the sad state of his life, that that's what he spends his time on. What, where is he? I, I mean, really, did you have any idea that he's married? No, I had you? no idea. I didn't either. And I don't care either. <laughs> I do. I'm just curious, Why would are you? you care? Yeah, what is it about Debbie? I don't, I don't understand him picking on her. What is it, Gary? He's coming in now. He was in the bathroom. Oh, in the bathroom? No. Uh, That's I, pretty I, gross. I, 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 Wait, do I, have a, do I get a bodyguard for this? Ronnie, come protect me. No. I need a bodyguard, Howard. Did you wash your hands? I, uh, uh, well, I rushed. Uh, you did? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Real quick, in a sentence. Okay, well. What's the problem with Debbie Shushel? 
<laughs> well, I don't like her because she's one of these. Because like, eh, 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 like, eh, like, eh, oh, eh, Fred, eh. stop. I got to talk here. <laughs> because, 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 not, not, because, because not, not, unlike that right, not unlike not, that hypocritical right wing slut, and the Coulter. <laughs> she is anti abortion. She's anti. Are you anti abortion? I'm pro life. Um, oh. She is anti. But it's not the most important issue for she, me. Uh, she is anti. Gay rights. Is that right? You're a she is gay anti, right. anti gay rights. Listen, I think everybody deserves the same rights, but I don't think any group should get any special rights. Um, she she is anti gay rights. She is anti stem cell research. Is no, that right? I, I'm for stem cell research. Oh, I, you are. I, yeah, that's, um, that's incorrect. She is anti. <laughs> He's still gonna hate you. <laughs> she is. Uh, she's anti premarital sex. Are you? You've had premarital <laughs> I, sex. I'm not going to comment on that. Have you um, had premarital sex? I'm really? not answering. You're not, not a virgin. Are you? Nobody, are you a virgin? My personal life. Hold it, honey. Howard, Wait a second. Howard, Howard I didn't answer this that. the last you think time. She's I a virgin. That, and she I'm not going to answer it again. She's a virgin. I'm not answering. Uh, holy you're cow. cow. Um, I'm a lady, and I won't be answering. She's anti. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold it a second. What's your stance on oral? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you really? I mean, you're no spring chicken. I mean, really? What you? Thanks, are, Howard. No, I mean, how old are you? <laughs> I'm not answering that. Really? Question. Why? I think it was already outed on that issue. How old are you? The other times I was in the You're studio. in your 30s, right? You're, 30, mm -hmm. you're 36, right? No, 35. Uh, and you've never had sex? I am not commenting on that, Howard. I am shocked. <laughs> That's Howard, the most interesting Howard, thing about you. None of this is on that list that Will had me prepare. You're going to close up. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm for premarital blood. I, are you against birth control? No. 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 Are you, ag are you uh, against gay marriage? Yes. Gays should be allowed to get married. Why not? You said you're for equal rights. I think a marriage is between a man and a woman. She's man. anti. Listen, what? She's anti. Why are we engaging pornography? <laughs> you're against pornography? pornography? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why? It's a, it's a huge business. Listen, I believe, in, I believe in free speech, but I personally don't approve of it. That's my right. Personally. Are you against Would I, pornography? Would you I'm have not, it shut down? Listen, I'm not for the restriction of free speech. Okay, well, then you're for, right. then you're for pornography. And and and, and uh, she and and, and uh, all right. I get the uh, idea. Did I come on the show to hear this this bozo talking yeah, about how he doesn't bozo. like me? Yes, he's me. You He's are, making good points. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I didn't even know this about you. you. I didn't realize the virgin. You are one ugly right wing. Oh, uh, you don't have to say. Uh, hey, 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 hey. That's not. All I can no. say, John, no. is look uh, in the uh, mirror. Uh, 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 I do not hey, Artie, understand Artie, Howard, this is the how she can be a fan of yours because she is a right wing nut, and, 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 and you are the diametric opposite of everything she stands for. She's pro Sam. Actually, I she's think Howard and I agree on a lot of things. No, I'm very she's libertarian pro on a lot Sam of things. Brown back. Are you? She's pro George Bush. I, I She's think I pro am pro Jerry Falwell. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. She's pro Pat Robertson. You're pro S Senator Brownback? What? I have no problems with Senator Brownback. Wow. I'm against the FCC thing, Howard, but, uh, but oh, I think no, he's a good no, guy. No, because you were on Scarborough Country, and you were against the... Berman sisters who had a <laughs> sex advice show on at 10 o'clock. I just and told them they were hypocrites. Listen, so I was if with you're one of the against Berman them, wow. and how can you it's be? Interesting. If uh, you're against the Berman sisters, you have to be a, 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 against Howard. How can you be? Are you against trying to shut down my show? How can no. you oh. be against <laughs> the? No, she's just Berman everybody who is trying. To how can you be show? against? The Berman sisters, they are... Listen, I was... This is a gynecologist. Howard, Howard, I was... Let her respond. Let her respond. And she was on Scarborough Country. I was on... Let her respond. Let her respond. They 
Wait. All right, Josh. <laughs> Monday night football thing. Okay, she was just getting right, right, some right. Monday night football. Is that true? I love, mo- oh, I love Monday girl, night when football. When the girl, no, when the girl, when the girl, when the girl dropped her no, towel. No, I think it was Terrell ridiculous, Owens the big thing. fuss that was made over it. I don't know where he's no, getting that. No, she was on Scarborough <laughs> country, and she was... T- I did Patrick not say Cannon. that. She, she was we didn't even talk about that on there. I don't think you were listening to And she was talking about the moral decay of society. Well, we're part of that. She was on... With one of the permanences. I was a girl. Can I talk this about is a girl a hypocrite. hasn't had sex in her entire I'm life. Shut up, Howard. You know nothing She's about my personal life, and I'm not going to tell you anymore. Are you about saying it. that you are against premarital sex? I'm not. I'm not. I'm asking you that. It. Not about you. What about what about, what like what about, what about hold, it, hold it? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. What about what about? That? Anne is a friend of mine, and I she's think that's slut. unfortunate. She's a slut. How do you know? She, How do you she know? She said on Listen, Geraldo I'm one sure time, have if to I had, she said on Geraldo, quote, if I have sex with a different man every night, good for me. But yet she preaches family. Okay, values. I don't know about and that. I'm not here to comment did, on her. And she, <laughs> and she carried on a hot and heavy romance with Bob Guccione Jr. And she, what does that have she, to do with because me? Because she loves Jerry Falwell. What does that have Robinson, to do with she me? She is a hypocritical what does it have to do she, with me? Because she, per- okay, Howard. Right, hold on, hold I thought on, I was here on. to do the news. Not hold listen to this second. guy preach about Ann Coulter. This is interesting news. Right. Let me ask you a question. Because you were criticizing him. Sisters. Can I, can I respond on. to that? Let me, let me Robert, ask can I respond about the Berman sisters? Yes. Okay. They are a lot more Not that I want to give them any more publicity because nobody watches their silly show and now and we they just are raise their, listener, their viewership like a thousand percent. But I was on Scarborough Country with one of these well, Berman the sisters and she was talking about she was talking about the moral decay of society and she's got a sex show and she's a hypocrite. And listen, these You're two Berman Yentas with their jappy show on whatever station it is, pig. they need to be put in their place. And I'm not a pig, but what thanks. About, but what about you this? You look like one. All right, oh, enough, stop. John. All right, look thank in the you, mirror, John. Please. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. All I right. look a lot better than you. Okay, I may what have you been smoking? But I look a lot better than right. you. Right. It's gotten you personal. It's gotten pig. personal. And thank you, John. You who loves Pat Robertson and Jerry Fuller. All right, thank you. Okay, you John, love John, it's John, enough. Okay, All right. okay. John, are you, you done with the stuttering thank Jihad you. You and Debbie? <laughs> thank you, John. John made a lot of good points. Gee, I didn't know I was going to be coming into the stuttering jihad on Debbie Schlossel. I'll tell you, he stutters, but he yeah. watches her and he knows everything she says. Well, I gotta gee, say, then he needs to get a life. I guess he's a little obsessed with me. I mean, that's I'm mean, i very sad. impressed with John the he stutterer. He raised a lot of interesting points. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. And None it's of not the a, points I would like this to This is not a personal question. If you were, I don't know, you're running things. Would you say that premarital sex is wrong? Howard, I think people need to do what they need to do in their personal lives, and it's not my business. Okay. And I don't think that government should be involved. People do what they want, and I do what, what I want. What about your personal beliefs? What are what about they about it? premarital sex? I, should it's one have, business what I think Should about one it, wait for gonna, marriage? Well, you, it's you have nobody's opinion. business. So then you can't be here today if you won't give your opinions. <laughs> I didn't come here to talk about that. I came to do the news. Well, you Did can't you pick and choose. Did you consider yes, for I a can. moment that she might be a virgin? Yeah, I started thinking. I have no idea. Business. I'm not discussing it. She's a virgin. Wow. It's none of your business. 35-year-old virgin. Wow. I am not. You don't. You I have know no it. idea. I don't you, care. Howard, I'm you have no you. idea. I know you've never had premarital sex. Wow. Whatever you want. Whatever you want to think, Howard. It's none of your business. Don't you wonder? Hey, what I'm just. I'm just you want to know something? This is it's probably the, the most interesting thing about you. Yes. <laughs> well, you know what? Mystery. No wonder I think you know the girls so much. Have some mystery. You know what? I think the problem is too many girls go on the show and they discuss everything about themselves. They take off other clothes and there's no mystery. Well, whatever. I'm just telling you, I think it's amazing. Look, and if you want to write, mode. if you want to write a book that's interesting, <laughs> write about 35 years of sexual those. frustration. I don't need to write about that. That's uh, not my life. I have to take a break. We're going to do the news. <laughs> I'm, I'm Unbelievable. In shock. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Howard Stern exclusive. A 35 year old virgin. Wow. Wow. You, they should be an, a monument erected to you. 35 and intact. 
Wow. Whoa. That's the name of her new book. Okay, I didn't say yes or no. It's none of your business. I'm saying yes because if you're against premarital sex, I believe I that you would. I didn't say what my view was. I, I said just, everybody has John to do what they want know. in their well, own. What kind of yeah, a stuttering fool knows what I think. Didn't sound like no such idea. a fool. He seemed to know everything that you believed in. No, he was wrong and about a lot of things. He said I was against stem cell research, which I'm not. He said that I was Wait supporting a second. the FCC. Are you for stem cell? Know, which I'm not. Are you for stem cell research? Like the president is for stem cell research? No, I believe that it's. I believe in stem cell research. Which I think it should be expanded, and I don't see that there's a problem with it. It's right. uh, I what don't... kind of birth control do you practice? <laughs> the, um, I look at stuttering John. <laughs> John, the I mean stutterer. John the stutterer. Sorry, it's like, it's like you get the mixed. Have up. you ever been touched below the waist? Hey, that's none of your business. I'm not discussing my personal. Should the Janet life on Jackson show. incident have led to a fine? <laughs> um, for her, nobody else. Right. Okay, we're I mean, going to take ridiculous. a break. We're going to take a break. Everybody, calm down. A lot has been said, wow. and a lot of feelings have been hurt. <laughs> yes. What is it, Susan? Yes, Susan? She hung up. We'll be back right after these words. We'll do the news with Debbie Schuschel today. Ladies and gentlemen. James, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Howard? Hey, now. Uh, turn on my tickets. Oh, all right, here. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Guess what John the Stutterer is trying to sing. Here we go. I, uh, I, sh 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 I got it. Yeah, it's a <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't have that one. I got it. I'm going to write it down right now. I got that one. Do that again? <laughs> Did you get it, sir? Uh, not at all, no. You got it already? I got it, yeah. Isn't that funny? I'm like you the last time. I don't know what he's doing. Well, what were you saying? And, and I'll give you a hint. I'm trying to figure out which version he's singing. All right, let me uh, hear that again. Right, Fred? You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I know the song. I think I know the version. All right. Oh, you think you can get the version? Yeah. Knowing his taste, I know the version. Exactly. All right, here you go. I, uh, I, sh 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 oh, I got it. I got it. Sh sh All right, now. I don't know that one. All right, sir, tell me what you think it is. I think it's uh, my Sharona. All yeah. right, I, I think you're wrong. I'm going to lock you in on that answer, though. Okay. I'm going to show you what I wrote down. What do you got? I wrote down, I shot the sheriff. Oh, gee, me. I sh sh sh. What'd you What'd you write down, Fred? Absolutely. I yeah. shot the sheriff. It'll be the Clapton version. I have the same thing. I shot the sheriff Clapton. Just All don't right. know if it's live or studio. Sir, you want to change your answer? Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, you want to change? I shot the sheriff. All right. <laughs> I hope it's my Sharona. It's not my Sharona. <laughs> I think you're wrong there if you say that. Uh, there yeah. you go. I shot the sheriff. It's not Eric Clapton. It's, it's Bob Marley. It's Bob Marley. Uh, I sh sh sh. <laughs> Shot the sheriff. <laughs> well, mm, what I did, let him shoot the deputy. <laughs> Good for you. What else did uh, you do? Sure about that. That's a weird song. I shot the sheriff. Rolling Stone has a great uh, story about Bob Marley. Of Bob Marley and the Whalers. Uh, I didn't know much about the cat, and man, there's a lot of good stuff in there. It's this month, and uh, I know you made the cover. Yeah, I shot the sheriff, and I did not shoot the deputy. When I used to hear that song, I figured, well, he shot the sheriff, but uh, everyone's accusing him of shooting the deputy, and he didn't do it. Meanwhile, I think it was I shot the sheriff, and God damn it, I didn't kill the deputy. Like, uh, uh, you know. Right. I was trying to kill them all. I was I trying to get the them all. shot the sheriff, but I missed the deputy. That's what I always thought it was. Did you? Well, that's yeah. what it's supposed to be. Mm. Very angry guy. All right, dude, you're going to uh, the WrestleMania 21. You've won a trip for two, including airfare and hotel, to the sold-out WrestleMania 21 in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Don't miss WrestleMania 21 on April 3rd at 7 p.m., live and only on pay-per-view. Hold the phone, okay? Awesome, Howard. Thank All you. All right. Back after this. Where were we in the... Uh... We were playing the John game. Oh, that, yeah. That's a cool game. I like that game. Uh, uh, I will... Uh, I, I, I will... Oh. That one got me. I think I, uh, I, think I, think I, I got it. I that one. Well, you guys are good. Well, <laughs> I don't have that one. I think I got it. Let me try to write it. Uh, 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 I, w uh, uh, I w will... Oh. I will... Oh. You know that one? Yeah. What is it? I think I know it. I will always love you. That's what mm -hmm. I have. I say no way. That's what I have. 
I mean, I, I will always love you, but it's like, which one? It's yeah. like the song that he wouldn't sing, but right. I think it sounds like. You're it. talking about the song by Whitney Houston. Yeah. yeah. I will always love. There's no way that's right. You know why they, they might have had him do this just from a humor standpoint because she holds that eye really long. Yeah. You're right. I. I. Because she, she goes, <laughs> talk about a broad who's self destructive. I get, so, I was just about to say, I get so effing depressed when I see Whitney Houston. Now, she Me was too. like clean cut, like church going, great singer, beautiful. She looks like a, a she looks like a, a, a homeless person. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like take pleasure in that. Really? Do you really? Yeah. I, I get I depressed. Think it's so sad. I get, I get depressed. So incredibly talented. <laughs> no, I like it. I just like to know. See, I, I do. I see, do. I don't know what's wrong with me oh, that I have I to. I think that's horrible. Yeah, I'm I, so. I'm I like so, that she fell on her ass. I'm so disheveled and out of it. I like to know that there's people out there who have it together. You know, like I, I love. You do? Yeah, I like to know there's because it gives me a goal. Like, Apparently, they're not though. Yeah. When I was a little boy, when she falls apart. Apart. I'm like, what chance do I? Have? See, when I was a little boy, see, I'm just the opposite. When I was a little boy. I would fan my number one fantasy was that you know I would be on the radio and I would be you know I'd be very successful. Well, that's and true. And I had this fantasy that there would be a nuclear accident <laughs> and everyone would lose their voice but me and I'd have to do all the commercials <laughs> and I would have to be the only guy who could Oh, be so everybody else just gets devastated. Right, because there's no way I I dreamed of myself being talented enough to actually <laughs> get work. So everyone else would be ruined. You had to eliminate the competition. Yeah. And I'm skulls, I'm broadcasting. Wow. What is that? What was that song by Salt and Pepper? Shoop, doobie, doobie, shoop. Or something like that. Shoop. Shoop. Shoop, yeah. You think that's what he's doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know the name of that song. Uh, shoop. 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 Don't bother me? <laughs> ah. oh, I don't know what that is. Shoop. Uh, shoop. Shoop. <laughs> Ready? You got anything for it? I, 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 have, I have no idea. Anybody know? No. Can you let it go a little longer? Nope. That's it. I think he's choking and he's the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> he's really in trouble. Uh, Billy Squire. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you're on he stroke me. What, maybe you're... Just a sinner girl. <laughs> we should have gotten that because he sounded like he was having a stroke. Uh, well, it threw me because it... Me, uh, stroke me. I was thinking of SH words and it wasn't. Right. There's another guy who kind of lost it all. Yeah, but he didn't self-destruct. He just no. lost his popularity. He can be traced back to... Me and Dan, a song pirate man, was thinking about this. His career ended because people thought he acted gay in a video. Yes. Right. <laughs> See, people say that, but I don't think that's what ended his career. Really? Nah. I, I think it was just like, he didn't have any cool songs left. No, these oh, missteps okay. can't hurt you. Yep. He rolled around on a bed in like a pink sweater. Or yeah, something. but Rod Stewart did disco and he survived that. There's a lot of guys who act all gay. Yeah, but Rod Stewart changed audiences. Mm. Maybe. Billy Idol, I mean, Billy whatever his Billy name Squire. is. Billy Squire. Billy Squire, he didn't develop a new audience. Do you guys remember on K-Rock when you first got here, you would do the, the BSs of rock and roll? Do you uh -huh. remember that? It would be Sp Squire, Springsteen, and Bob Seger. <laughs> 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 that was like a block, you know. I don't understand. What was the, the BS? BS? Billy, Billy Squire, Squire, Bob Seger, and Bruce Springsteen. What's the joke? BS. They're initials. Yeah. They would do the BSs of rock and roll. Yeah. It was like a block. 
of songs. It would play all songs. Oh, by... oh, oh I see. Somebody else. Did. I thought even we did yeah. that. No, K Rock. Oh, no. K Rock oh, no. would have a, a, you know, like in the afternoon. Yeah, no wonder they were. Was just, <laughs> no wonder the station's such a juggernaut. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, you were thinking it was a bit you guys did. Yeah, I was like, I didn't do any BS as no. a rock and roll. You were waiting for the punchline. Right. <laughs> now, K Rock would just have the BS as a rock like, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> uh, I, I want you. I want oh, you to I want know. me. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, we got to keep quiet and let him do it. You're right. I, I shouldn't blurt out the answer. It's fun to play at home, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I want you to want me. I need you to want me. I, I need you to need me. Might be one of my favorite songs of all time. I love you. You to love me. He has no musical ability. Um, I know we were in the middle of that Robert Blake press conference, that impromptu press conference on the steps of... It's time to bring in uh, John the Stutterer with his mom. Never met his mom. Going to find out what it was like to raise John the Stutterer, what age he started stuttering, how it all began, and how he got to greatness here on the Howard Stern Show. i just like to know what uh, impact this has had on her life. Yeah. Being the mother of a superstar. I'm... Oh, oh, oh. There's John the Stutterer's mom, whose name I don't even know, and John the Stutterer. We'll we'll find out all when they sit down. Well, he looks like his mom. Yeah, John looks like his mom. I can see that. Yes, that's a good thing. John's mother's name is Eleanor. I've just learned. Can he say her name? Uh, that's a good question. We're gonna we're gonna get right to that. Hi, Eleanor. Good to uh, have you on the show, and welcome. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. John, of course, is a favorite of ours. We love having him in. He uh, he mixes it up. He knows how to uh, make the crowd crazy. I notice she doesn't stutter at all. She speaks very well. Uh, when I was younger, I went to speech class for years. Is that right? Yeah. You stuttered? A little. I had problems uh, pronouncing words. Really? Yeah. Well, join the club. Yeah. Fred has that problem as well. <laughs> John, leave that microphone alone for a second. How are you, John? Oh, uh, uh, well, 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 uh, well, well, uh, why, well, why, well, it's, it's, uh, uh, all right, save the question for later. Okay, we don't need the answer right away. I can't believe Fred's going to do that right in front of his mom. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> Eleanor, Robin asked a good opening question. Can John say Eleanor, or does he have difficult with it? <laughs> Not when we're uh, usually by ourselves. John doesn't stutter as much. Is that true? Oh, is that right? I mean, he stutters, but not as bad as he does, like, say, here or with other people. In a calmer environment, John does better. With me. With you. He feels safe and more comfortable with you. We were always very close. Yeah. Do you love your mommy? But, well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Of course I love my mom, yeah. Would you say you're a mama's boy? 
No. <laughs> like, I know I'm a mama's boy. I love my mommy. There's nothing wrong with loving your mom. Can you say mommy, or is that hard for you as well? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll say yes. Uh, I'm going to guess. Uh, well, Can he call you mom? Uh, is, is it difficult? Does he uh, stammer with the mom? No. He doesn't. Let me hear you say mom. Mom. Oh, look comes at you. Right out. Look See? at that. That's interesting. You are a mama's boy. You are a mama's boy. <laughs> Robin is right. Well, maybe he is to a certain extent, but I never could really, you know, tell him exactly what to do all the time. Is there a Mr. John the Stutterer? I mean, is there a husband in this, or is your husband it deceased? It was the Immaculate Conception. Yeah. How did, oh, how no. did he, well, tell us about the conception of John the Stutterer. <laughs> what, what was that like? Um, well, I had problems. I mean, I had toxemia and all. Uh -huh. Really? He and was he a was, tough um, birth. He was premature. Oh. He was premature. Yes, he was. Well, maybe that now, does he have brothers and sisters? One brother. Older? No, they were both born in the same year, but John, the beginning of the year, and my son, Michael, at the end. Wow. So what, now, where is your husband? Is he is he no longer in the picture? Oh, no, I've been married 41 years. Oh, you have a, you have a father, uh, John, that uh, is part of your life? You're hiding, too? <laughs> yeah, uh, well... Got issues with him? Well, then, no, I uh, he uh, he sh the dust at uh, a home. Uh, he Did you just belch? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, 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 no, uh, okay. uh, uh, well, <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 Want to come? Did oh. He didn't want to come. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, well no, but come another see, Robin, he, I don't blame him. Uh, he has <laughs> em emphysema. Oh, okay. right. oh. Yeah. Well, there's so something I want to get back to, though, because she says that she had two children within a year. Yes, a lot of people do that. A lot of people think they can't get pregnant. Right, if they have a baby, right? And then right. all of a sudden you got knocked up again. Yeah, there's about ten and a half months difference between wow. John and his... Were you breastfeeding? No. No, oh, I wasn't breast. And when he first started to talk, did he have this problem right away or... No. Didn't okay. have this problem. Um, so when did when did John become John the Stutterer? Did he start uh, when he was... Uh, did he start when he was like five or six? Um, Maybe around when he five. Is that Between when they start five school? And six, a little bit when he started school. Oh, right. uh, I, 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 I remember it. It is it is it is it is it is you were five? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, hold yeah. on a second. Oh, then, let no, your mother get a word. That's an important this, point. This, John, I let have to <laughs> emphasize this, though, Howard. It was, it it was, was the first. It was the day of first day. The grade. First grade. Yeah. Yeah. The School, the trauma of separation teacher, from your mother. The, the, te the teacher did what? The teacher asked me. me my, my na 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 name na na name and and, 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 and and I stutter on my name. Wow. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you something. I think the pressure of school sometimes, the separation from the mommy, is too much for some people. Well, uh, up until that point, was there any? You know, he he went through kindergarten, or was it right into first grade? Um, the way we had moved to the neighborhood. He went right in the first grade. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So, so that was a trauma. No build And up. I really didn't think I would have a problem with John because he was more outgoing than his brother. Right. I noticed in the notes you said John was this uh, very muscular guy in high school, strong, big, confident. He, really? He uh, had uh, well, that, shorter uh, hair. What well, happened? That, well, the, uh, well, well that, let your mother uh, answer, for God's sake. She's hogging the microphone. <laughs> really? I, I just want stop to it. That's an uh, uh, Stop it. Excess. He really is a loudmouth. For a guy exaggeration, though. Let your mother what? talk. That's an exaggeration. Tell, tell me the way you remember it, Mom. For a guy who can't talk, he really talks. Um, yeah. <laughs> he started exercising. Right. We got him. Oh, that's bench what happened. And weights. Right. And um, he was probably around 15, 16. Mm-hmm. 
He weighed, at that time, he went up to 185 pounds. Wow. wow. solid muscle. He had the neck of a football player. Wow. He had muscles. No kidding. He could go down the basement, and he would exercise for hours. Wow. wow. Fact, that's why he hurt himself. Hurt he, himself? Uh, well, he uh, pulled muscles and all by exercising too much. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh, you can't exercise too much, John. Right. He did it for hours. <laughs> well, I mean, if he'd gotten some guidance, I mean, it sounds like he was a big, good-looking guy. I uh, was going to bring some pictures. But I would we, love to see those. We hadn't lived where we're living right now too long. and You things still packed up. Right. Yeah. Kind of. You seem like a lovely woman. And uh, John's a nice guy. I like John a lot. Um, I so don't know what went wrong. Um, I oh, really you do <laughs> notice that something went wrong. <laughs> something went wrong, for sure. The, guy, the guy's a mess. Because no. sometimes a mother can't he, see. Because, Mom, he's on a lot of medication. He's on a lot of, yes. you know, he's, he's a and big when mess. when did all of that start? Yeah. The, the need for medication and... When he was um, probably around between 18 and 20. Uh. Right. Right. Um, I'm taking up. him to a therapist and psychiatrist. That's what Who happens. told you that he needed this kind of help? Oh, please. What would she need to have to someone tell her? <laughs> well, when he started <laughs> acting different, he was in uh, high school. Yeah. And he would come home, bang the door, you know, run up the steps, bang his bedroom door, and stay in there. Oh. Right. All right. And he was getting to the point where he was just not talking to us anymore. Right. So why not until down. that time he had been an outgoing, confident young man? He always had friends in the neighborhood. He was very well into sports. Huh. It's probably kids were starting to tease him because his stuttering it, got bad. Was that it? In high school. Yes. I, I, the kids started teasing him, and he cracked. And let me tell you, a lot of kids have nervous breakdowns when they're 18 or 20. It means time to leave the house. Again, he had to leave the home, leave mommy. Uh, that more as Another stressor of separation. I'm telling you, this guy doesn't deal well with separation. Yeah, well, oh, Lord come on, Howard. don't be a loud mouth. Let your mother Howard. talk. She, 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 her, um, she, 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 better picture oh, all right. so no, she's well, you teased in a junior high school is what you're saying yeah yeah because you're stuttering yeah yeah all right yes or no answer yeah. please yeah. So because another, i had no friends the stuttering got worse hold it let your mother talk be, yeah. be, be, be polite you had <laughs> friends john in the neighborhood that you always played with and yeah. It was in high school when it, yeah, it but was no, bad, but it got much, much worse but, in high school. Right. But no f friends. <laughs> from, from the, from <laughs> You're the school. And, 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 Mom, I was, <laughs> I teased incessantly in, 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 in the guys like Fred too. sitting in the background uh, doing it. So, yeah. well, I, I, I know you, like... Do you I think all the teasing, do you th Mom, do you think all the teasing, Fred just collapsed. Where's Fred? <laughs> I don't know. Where'd he go? Fred's back there doing the John impression, yeah. but, but, but do you think John maybe collapsed from under all the pressure, he cracked, so to speak... So we needed medication. Uh, he what did the psychiatrist say to you about John? At Early first, on, yeah. um, they diagnosed him as schizophrenic. Oh, oh yeah, I agree with that. No, <laughs> no, 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 he wasn't. He's not. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What, what has he got? What do you think is his problem? He has obsessive compulsive behavior. Right, he told me that. Which he did have treatment for, and he's nothing like he was. Yeah. Right, right. He would never let anybody but me near him or touch him. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a few people touch him. If you was to touch John, other than myself, usually, you know, just... He'd go like berserk? That. Yes. What Even do you mean? his own brother couldn't touch him. He felt right. He, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? What would he do? Would he go berserk? He would um, get very upset and think that he caught something off of you. Oh, we should have had him on the show back then. Yeah, where were you then? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> well, what you do you think today? Now he is a superstar... He is known wherever he goes. 
Now, what do you what do you wish for him? I mean, do you is is it life as good as it gets, or or do you wish him more? I bet you wish a new part of the expression that he'd get laid already, right? <laughs> as a woman, I mean, you know how important that is to a man. Yes. Yeah, yes. he's having a hard time with that. I um. I don't watch TV all day. I can't work anymore since right. 1997. Mm -hmm. right. And, like, for instance, I w I seen a Montel Williams show. Right. He had some people that were really disfigured, all right. other kinds of things wrong with them. Right. And they were talking about how people make fun of these people when they see them outside. Right. So the people in the audience, they're clapping, and they're going, ooh, and ah. But these people, if they were to see these people out on the street, just like with John, they'd they would be goof. making fun of them too. Mm. Right, 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 right. Yeah, um, these, John so, is. Yeah, I know. I know those kind of people. A very nice guy. <laughs> yeah, they're all in this room. <laughs> no, but, uh, we like John. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You know, um, I you, don't think you're really making fun. of no, him. you're laughing no. along with. Yes. I, I try to. I, I, I yes, hope that's the right. Great I Every do like. Every what we do actually laugh with John. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if we know what he was yeah. talking about, yeah. we have very little patience. No. <laughs> but John is a great guy. I wish for John that uh, maybe. Well, we tried to actually give him a job. He he. Mm -hmm. Right away in the contest, you turned down the job. He did. Yeah. Did you know that, Mom? He turned down a job. We he, offered him a job. He told me he felt as if he couldn't handle a yeah, job. Yeah. Yes. You know, he might have been right. <laughs> <laughs> the hour. Um, mom, 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 my high blood pressure. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, how do you feel when you, when Fred does that impression of your son? Is that what his life was like in high school? Do it for mom, Fred. Uh, do, do. Well, I like I, Fred. I... <laughs> I, 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 yeah, no, yeah. Does that drive you crazy or is it a, an honest impression of him? I'm not mad. I like Fred. Right, and yeah. I, again, like I said, I hope you aren't really making fun of him that you're laughing I don't think we are. No. I, I have to get in touch I'd with I'd say we no. are. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, I would say yes. Uh, in particular, Fred. I like, I like John. <laughs> Fred's not doing it in front of your mother. He's doing it to the side of her. I think Fred, we think Fred is making yeah, fun of Fred. <laughs> and we're I not. But actually, John is a good guy, and he's a good sport, so that's why yes. we feel. You know what I mean? Like, we could tell he's all right with He him. is a perfect radio star, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. But, yeah. but, 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 but uh, Howard, well, 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 what I was saying is... You know what I just realized? I laugh at Fred, not you. <laughs> I mean, Fred's sitting there in the back doing it. It's funny. Oh, my he does sound like you. Yeah. yeah, so we're not laughing at you. We're laughing at me doing it. I, right. right. I, 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 I really... <laughs> Fred. Can't handle... Can't too much <laughs> stress be, be, because... I, you know, I'm not. You're delicate. Making excuses, but. You are making excuses. So I'm no, going to tell you something. No, you could work my, a job with us. You could have done it. And I got my news for you. high blood pressure, and I get <coughs> these. Ah, uh, you're and fine. And I take the medication for the. Mo mo we would have loved you here. You would have had tons of friends. Every day you would have had a wonderful. life. You would have been coming here. You would have been hanging out with us. You would have had a great time. At a boy right, lunch. Am I wrong or am I right? I... Well, well, Howard. Let your mother answer. Bit, Stop being rude. Yes? Ma ma yes, Mommy? Maybe. Yes. It would have been great for him. Of course. Yes. Uh, Howard. What does John do all day? What does John do all day, Mom? Yeah. John, stop for a minute. Okay. Even the train oh, comes to a halt. Your, your poor mother <laughs> can't get a word in. Mom, what does he do all day? Honestly. He says good morning. I think the medications that he's on mostly makes him sleep. Right, really? Right. He doesn't. No, I home. love medication like that. He's been, <laughs> <laughs> he's been living on his own for what? Six, seven years now? Since yeah. that. N 97. <clears throat> Where do you get money to live on your own? Let your mom answer. Oh, okay. Go ahead. He gets SSI. Uh -huh. SSI, Social Security or something. Yeah. And does he go to therapy or is he just on medication? Oh, no. He sees a psychiatrist every week. Oh. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's got a tough life. I, I don't say it's easy. You know, it's hard to not be able to communicate. 
Now, sometimes you get these electronic devices you stick in your ear and it takes away all the stuff. Have you tried that stuff? You know, um, I always worked until a lot of things happened to me. Uh huh. And I can't work anymore. And I was going to try to get John one. Yeah. But money wise, and I'm not complaining. Go ahead. You know, money wise, I can't do that anymore because I'm on disability. How much does a thing like that cost? Um, from what I heard, three to four thousand dollars. Oh, really? I'll give you a grand right now if you want uh, to start a fund. I'll give you a grand. I'll give uh, you a grand. You made it. I'll give you a grand too. Yeah. In fact, hey, I got a grand courtesy of uh, West Craven's Cursed. I don't know if John remembers, but right before all my problems started, I told him that I wanted to, to uh, you know, start saving up to get that for uh -huh, him. Uh huh. Uh huh. To yeah. give it a try. Yeah. Well, hey, put this thousand in here. This is this is a. Uh, $1,000 courtesy of Wes Craven's Cursed, the hit werewolf thriller starring Christina Ricci, this Joshua is a Jackson. This good movie. I like this movie. Is it good? Yes, it was great. And Shannon Elizabeth in a frightening, unrated edition available on DVD June 21st. Take the grand and start working toward that. I mean, maybe uh, get the guy a little uh, device or something, stick in his ear. But don't wear it here. I'll throw you right out of here. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting to no. hear him with it and without. No, what but for one show. But then I want oh, him back as okay. a stutterer. Uh, yeah. Well, he's got to add to his act. Yeah, I want to hear him speaking normal. <laughs> John didn't start with this arm movement until he was well in his 20s, though. No really? kidding. Yeah, his arms flail around like a fish. Like so a fish out of water. It's getting worse. It yeah. has gotten much worse. Yeah. Yes. Do you think you'll ever meet a girl and settle down? Would you like that? Oh, I would love that. Yeah. But just want John or my, and my other son just have a normal life. Well, what is, what's the deal with your other son? Is he okay? Oh, yeah, he works and everything. He came in with us today. Because, oh, he's here, uh, too? Your brother's here? Oh, we could meet yeah. John's brother. Bring him in. Let me say hi to the guy. What does he do? Does he does he work? He yes, works he works. For, um, I don't know if he's had one here in New York, Boss Coffs. Oh, so he's a worker. Yes. Does he stutter? No. Uh, you jealous of your brother that he doesn't stutter? Tell the truth. N yes. N no, yes. no. Who said yes? No. Yes. no. <laughs> no. Is it, uh, there's your brother. No. Hey, how you doing? I don't know your name. Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, hi there. Yeah, Mike, you can't be a star on the show. You don't start it. <laughs> You're too normal. Now, Mike, uh, you are the star of the family because you can talk, right? Yeah, I can talk. You can talk regular. Yeah. So, uh, now what about this son? You got, you got a girl in your life? You must be able to get chicks. Not right now. No, no, no. Really? You're not no. a bad looking guy. Uh, thanks. No. But you've had girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. You've gotten laid? Yeah, yeah. No kidding. This Thanks, John, sorry. Brother's getting laid and he can talk. Nah. Well, kind, of, kind of weird talking about that in front of my mom. But I was going to say, I Let see you're having some problems. Your mom's been around the block. She knows what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, she has. She, she's the Terminator. She's like, you can't kill her. She's, no. like, she's been for everything. She had a liver transplant. No kidding. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, she had a quite a, like open heart surgery. And... bypass. You ever get mad at your brother and say, you know what? Smell my fingers, man. Here, eat your heart out. You know what I mean? After you come no, home no, from no, with a no. chick. No. Never? No no, <laughs> no, no. You never rub it in? Hey, uh, who'd you I, don't, I You know what? I don't even see my brother much anymore. No. We don't live together. and You okay. know what I mean? We just, we just don't see each other much. And, uh, he, you know, he's up, like, most of the time at night and stuff. And, you know, you, most of the time during the day he sleeps. And, yeah, he's yeah, like a vampire. And I'm working. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Howard. I'm, 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 I'm. The quite re re the, the inclusive. I mean, I, I'm, I'm. Oh. You don't want to see your brother? I, I, well, why don't you see your brother? What's the matter with you? What else you got to do? Get on the normal people's schedule. Hey, you know why don't you, you go to bed at night and come and get it, walk around during the day? Howard, I'm, I'm. <laughs> All right, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm happy. I'm a very. The press guy, I see my psychiatrist once a week. I, I go food right, shopping. Let me ask your mom a question. You're monopolizing all of her time. I'm sorry. How often does she get on the air? So do you approve of his behavior on the show? Do you uh, listen to the show when John is on? Sometimes he's wild sexually. He acts out. He does. Uh, uh, do you, I, or he you blurts out things. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, sometimes I <clears throat> don't care for what he says. Right. Yeah. Oh. He's wild. He's wild. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Seems yeah. a little angry, doesn't he, Mom? Especially a woman. Yeah. How about when he tells well, all the know. hoary sluts in the Philly clubs right. to die, die, yeah. die? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you ever hear him I do that? I didn't hear him, no. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. No. Want to tell your mom why you want all the hoary sluts to die? <laughs> well, 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 uh, uh, 
Changing your tune in front of your mom? Because they reject... <laughs> because they reject you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, please. and ridicule me. So. All right. Yeah. Well, you got a point there. Yeah. John, you graduated from high school, right? Yeah. Yeah. I... 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 I graduated I, from... I, <laughs> Fred. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> Catholic school. Oh. I hate religion. I I know. No, I no. know. You curse God. Yeah. Did you know he curses God? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, I'm sure you're a religious yes. woman, and uh, this is very. No, uh, she's no, not religious. No. Yeah, she's not religious. No. No, no, but I believe in God. And yeah. I tried to get him a good education. And the funny thing is, I think he's a great guy. He's got a lot going on for himself. You're gonna think that's strange, but I look at you and I think you could have a great life. But uh, I don't know. I uh, think yeah, John holds himself back a lot. Yeah, he's very, I really he's do. Very, very intelligent. He's he's one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. I know. Actually, I know. And he's very, very well spoken. Like, mm -hmm. He he can be well, very. Well, I disagree with you. Well, no, no, but I mean, in he, his he, head. He, <laughs> yeah. Like when he writes and stuff like that, he can be very articulate. I, I very understand what you're saying. Uh, in fact, he surprised me with some sort of political analysis. The yeah, other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I I sent it to J to Jason recently. Yeah, it was very intelligent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We well. used to get them in the um, Daily News, the Philadelphia Daily News. Oh, he and got magazine. published. Oh, really? Yeah, they never paid him for him. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. Just Marcy, you're on the air. You're on with uh, John the Stutterer's uh, mother, uh, Eleanor. Hello. I just want to say it's a pleasure to speak to all of you. Howard, I've been a long time listener. Um, I'm actually a speech language pathologist, and the device that they're talking about that goes into the ear, uh -huh. it is actually amazing. Really? How much you, does it cost? Um, it is a couple of thousand dollars, I'm sure. I've seen it on the news um, numerous times where they've had stutterers like John. That, uh, as soon as you put the device in, it just stops it. It's like they hear themselves in like um, like a delayed kind of uh Reaction. Uh -huh. and so why don't we uh, get one of these? Let's try it on. Yeah, we'll get one. I'll get one. I'll try it on you, John. It's it, gonna cure you. It's amazing. I feel so bad for him every time I listen to him, and it would just make his life absolutely wonderful. Now, and stuttering does come also from trauma. Yeah. And what I was listening to when he said first grade, and I think you were saying you moved at that time, so going into the first grade, and you know maybe a new, um, you know, new school, new people, that might have been the trauma that started it. Yeah. And again, when you said um, around like 18 years old, uh -huh. you know, that he started, you know, with uh, needing medication. Again, that was, again, what uh, Howard said, the trauma of, you know, now becoming an adult and everything like that. Yeah. What do you know so, about that? Maybe yeah. even his brother being born. When you were a baby, it freaked you out. You wanted to be the only one, you know what I mean? You didn't have much time as a star. Yeah, you didn't yeah. have enough time to be the star of the family. And you, and you achieved stardom through your stuttering. <laughs> Who the hell knows? Yeah. They were Did very he close. Have... They were very close as boys, yeah. Yes. Hey, by the Did way... Did he have the natural stuttering that happens at around, like, age three? The children usually naturally stutter around that age because they're, they're trying to speak so much, so then they do stutter, but then it does go away. Oh, but then, right? a, then a child that who will continue to stutter, it does not go away. See, he went to Catholic school, like he said, and I would go over there and I would call on the phone... And uh, he was going to speech class. I wanted him to go. Right. Um, right. He told me that if John doesn't get up from the classroom and go to speech class on his own, they will not make him. Oh. So you All went. through the years. Oh, yes, a little. Well, now and then. Uh -huh. Because I kept after him. Yeah. But he most of the time wouldn't go, so he was always dropped. And every year I would have to go oh. through the same thing with John. Hey, speech expert lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you something. You sound kind of hot, are you? <laughs> Not particularly. Oh, god damn. I'm picturing like a tight little outfit. Uh -huh. Excuse me, Mom. Uh, very very soon, again. hopefully. <laughs> Who do you look like? I, I really don't. I'm, I'm look... short, but I'm losing a lot of weight. I've just lost 68 pounds. Oh, oh god. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, I know. You, sound all... yeah, you would make fun of me like anything, but oh, I'm waiting for the apart. day for me to come on your show and show you how hot I've become. All right. I just lost interest in what you have to say. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, how is that? Thank you, Marcy. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, John. Good luck. He says thank you. you. Know, she you hung up I'm before thinking. he could answer. That's some speech yeah. therapist. But you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. Once <laughs> she hung once up on you. John has the device yeah. and he no longer stutters. What will be his excuse for staying at home and sleeping all day? Yeah, he might be pissed at that device. <laughs> well, He's set in his ways. Well, well, no, but I, because I would still look the way I. 
Oh, you're not. You're not wrong and with and your look. No, you look good. You look better than I do. <laughs> no, no, you mess. you do. I mean, I wish I looked like you. You're thin. You got a head of hair on you. Look at you. My God. Yeah, calm down. Go nobody, ahead. Nobody looks at you and says, oh, there's a weird guy. You look perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> no, you do. You look perfectly normal. Well, I won't say you look perfectly normal, but you're not that weird looking. <laughs> well, I think he needs a little color. He never gets that. Yeah, he can use some sun. Yeah, well, maybe if he woke up during the day, he could get some sun. Yeah, Dracula. Yeah, I, 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 I'm a big mess. I'm, 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 I'm whiter than Johnny Winter. All right. Well, listen, I want to say this is a fascinating family, family that's had to put up with a lot of crap. I want to ask Mom, how'd you get a liver? Really? Yeah, Artie's going to need yeah, one. Yeah, where he, do you get one of those? To know about how do you that. sign up? Um, well, I had the uh, type of liver disease that mostly women get. Oh. And I never drank or did drugs when I was younger. Right. So uh, it's, um, what a waste. They believe. <laughs> yeah. Are you right. Yeah. Right. You got a liver. What do you have a liver for? <laughs> but um, they believe the kind of liver disease I got is caused by a weak immune system. Oh, look at you. And it uh, also caused you to, to get osteoporosis, which I have, and I got rods in my legs. Oh, wow. A lot of problems. And diabetes. You, and diabetes. diabetes. Jeez. Yes, I do How do you it. keep everything together? High blood pressure. Wow. And heart conditions, which I did have a heart attack and bypass surgery. Wow. Oh, Lord. She's, she's got like a lot of mechanical parts in her and stuff like no that. No kidding. Like a cyborg she's like a bionic woman. Yeah. She's like Terminator 3. Yeah, she yeah, has she's, artificial she's like lenses Terminator in my eyes. You have artificial, artificial lenses woman. in your eyes. Oh, huh? from the cataract surgery. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, you're and John, else. you sit at home complaining? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your mom's got your beat. <laughs> All you need is a little color. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd be fine if you just had some color. <laughs> well, I, I have micro I was lucky to get a liver. You were? Yeah. I really didn't think I would. I didn't think I was anybody considered special. Right. Um, well, you're we, special to John. He can't be away from you. Well, we never had a lot of money. We were never millionaires, but we always had nice homes and right. cars and... John and Michael had everything a kid would want when they were growing up. How often do you hear from John? Do you stay in touch with him on a daily basis? Oh, he usually calls me every day. Oh, hey, Vey, how long does that last? Um, <laughs> sometimes pretty long. Yeah. What do you do? Do you just put the phone down and then come back after about a half hour? No. No, you listen. I could not do that. <laughs> you no. shouldn't listen to him, huh? No. All right, well, there it's you go. He lots of times. He really, honestly, I mean, he stutters and all, but not as bad. Stephanie, go ahead, John. Hello? Yes, Stephanie. Hi, Howard. How are you? Hi, baby. Um, I'd like to make a little donation to John to help him get that device for his ear, if I can. Well, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to try and get one of those devices. Maybe you could try it out here. Yeah. And then uh, see if it works. Why waste the money on it with if it doesn't work? Well, that's true. I was just thinking, and I listen to you every day. I love you guys. And uh... What we need you to donate is your vagina to John. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It better. We don't need it's... money. <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could come up with a couple of grand. Oh, God. Look, it's worth a hell of a lot more than that. <laughs> thank you. All right. She's having a good laugh. All right. Listen, this is a wonderful family. I want to thank all three of you for stopping yeah, by. Let me give a, a plug here. Do you can win a date with John? Yes. Wow. I'm reading this properly. Have a chance to win a date with John the Stutterer this Friday night at 8 o'clock at the Wharf Tavern in Aston, Pennsylvania. Really? I, I mean, uh, how'd this come about? Oh, Whose idea was it? Who do you well, think? Well, that, that's... Are Philly sluts about eligible to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, sluts? Oh, 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 oh. That is oh, only applicable, oh. of course, to... to uh, women? Women, yeah, women, No men can be in this? No, no, of oh. course not. Yeah. Why? Well... All right, see John July 11th at 8 p.m. at the Smoked Joint in Philadelphia. Are you now making personal appearances? Yeah, I... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what yeah. do you do? You get up there, you stutter a little bit for the crowd, and then you uh, sit down? Well, uh, oh, well, 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 maybe it should be a surprise. Well, well no. <laughs> does he just, you know, does he come the, in and he fly in from the ceiling um, or something? Do they else? drop him on his yeah. head? <laughs> um, um, the, the one at the smoke the joint, the <laughs> joint, July, uh, oh, that, oh, that, oh. that, that. Mom, that are you been, going to that? It, it is no. no. How does he it, get to these places? It, it you going? Is the no. classic rock sh 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 trivia. All right. Were you just pleasuring yourself over there? No. Oh, no all right. No, okay. No, Look no. Well, how does he get to these places? <laughs> I hope they're within walking distance of your home. Uh, well, 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 mom, you don't well, drive him to his appearances. Uh, no. All no. Right. So, so, so a girl can win a date with you. Yeah. 
if they go over this Friday night at 8 o'clock at the Wharf Tavern. Now, when yeah. will that date occur? At that night or some other time? Um, well, what... How far is that from your house, too? Oh, well, well that was... You know what you can do? You should flap your arms. You'll take off and fly oh, over there. Oh, <laughs> well, well, that was put together by my great man, <laughs> manager... The, manager? Uh, oh, Damon is... Feldman. All right. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Listen to me. Somebody's gotten a hold of him. <laughs> what yeah. is that, Fred? <laughs> Damon... <laughs> Feldman. Yeah, and 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 and, 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 and hopefully and that day, hopefully that day, that will, that day will lead to the what? See Kyle. The copulation. Oh, all right. All right. All right listen. I wish you luck with this. Seat. I hope some of these girls enter the contest. It would be terribly embarrassing if they have this. This uh, chance to win a date with Johnny Sutter. And only guys, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Only evil Philly guys. Uh, excuse me, I won the contest. You're coming home with me. Uh, <laughs> or else it's a fraud. I, this will lead to copulation. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, son. You'll be, you'll be hanging from a hook in my basement. <laughs> Don't you dare flap away. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Casey. <laughs> John, we have an hour to kill if you want to yell help. <laughs> Eleanor, uh, have you ever seen uh, John? John has had sex with some porn stars. You know that, don't you? Are you aware of that? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, he You has. don't like that he's only been with porn stars? No. No mother would like that. No. But all right, listen, a man has to do what he has to do. He's still a man trapped in a boy's body. And that's it. Eleanor, you're a pleasure. I wish you luck. Hope the thousand bucks goes toward this hearing thing where you can uh, then get your stuttering fixed, except for on this show. Hey, oh, and, oh, oh, how, uh, how, uh, well, uh, let's save uh, it for next hey, time. Uh, oh. well, maybe, uh, oh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, oh, hey, you, get off my car. Maybe, 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 is that where the stones got that song? Hey, you can employ me. It's off to work we go. <laughs> yes, Gary? When you go to... All right. Yeah. If, if you want to go to line two, we have a representative willing to donate. This oh. oh. Hey, wait a second. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Cousin Amy. Yes, it's Amy. Amy, you're represent. What's the name of the company that makes that great device? I represent SpeechEasy. Speech easy. Uh, yeah, and the company is Janus Development Group. Uh -huh. Right. Public and company? The, co the company is Janus Development Group. Yeah. And I'm willing to do my part, which is the evaluation, for free. They might give the device. I'm not sure, but I'll do my part for free. Great. Oh, you would need an evaluation. Right. The evaluation is $350, and I'll do that for free. Oh, now, yeah. what kind of evaluation? I mean, listen to him. <laughs> no, I do I do Wait, is so you Robin? The part that's a complete rip-off you'll do for free? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do the evaluation. No, I can fix it. Can you really? Can you? You mean, in other words, can... you can evaluate him to see if he's even right for the device. Right. And who is this? This is Howard. Oh, Howard. Yeah, I can fix it, Howard. You can fix it? What wow. I can fix it. Wow. What do you mean, fix it? What? You mean you can fix him? I can fix him. I can fix the stuttering with the device. It's amazing. Uh, I, we got to do this. What, to, tell me how soon so we can get this going. So what does the evaluation wow. say? Okay, well, I can uh, say it again. I mean, I mean, just what? I mean, look at him. He's a man. Yeah, you know what? He can't, he can't Everyone, speak. Is, all right, let's let's put it this way. Everyone's asking, why does he need an evaluation? Are there some people who can't be helped by it? Yeah. Right, that's true. Eighty percent of the people are helped, and so yeah, they need an evaluation because it's programmed for the client. So some people need a little bit of a delay, and some uh, people need more of a delay. So okay. you have to you have to do an evaluation. You just can't do it right. without an evaluation. Okay, so but Amy, I'll, I'll do that piece for free. Amy, I am uh, anxious. For you to do the evaluation. How soon can we go? Uh, I, I could do it tomorrow. Great. Where are you? I, I'm in Manhattan. John, you got to do it. Uh, so what do, I have do to, it? what do I have to do? John. He's, he's here today. Can he, can he get it done today? Can I get it done today? I, I guess I can get it done today. All right. I'll hook you guys up after the show, all right? Okay. So what do I have to give you as far as my contact hold information? I'm going to put you on hold, okay? Okay, great. Howard. Hold on, Amy. Thanks. Okay. I'm excited John, about this. are you going to go? You're not even speaking. What happened? Uh, oh, no. I'm telling you, he's going to no, lift up the gun. <laughs> Who are you, Frankenstein? He, he has achieved flight. <laughs> he just lifted up off the ground. 
I'm excited wow. about this. This is yes. great. Yes. We could also send you to a place to get some color, too. <laughs> yeah. Tanning oh, bed. Yeah. Or... Oh, hey, Mom, you realize or, if we fix him, your phone bill is going to go way down. <laughs> you will be on the phone for like five minutes. To give him some color, we can just have Sal do his makeup. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. We can do that. I got tanning cream. Hey, just think, to be very tan. Just think. Very we'll get tan. We'll get you to stop stuttering. They'll take you off SSI. Before you know, you'll have all the pressure of a job. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're you're real real real. <laughs> then you'll really be oh, in trouble. Oh, or, oh, oh, or, hold that you thought. could send me... <laughs> Oh, a whorehouse instead. Sal, oh, what is it? More no. good news, Howard. Go ahead. Thousand dollars for the mom, a device for John stuttering, and I have an extra fifty dollar bill for John's mom if she takes her top off. Oh, oh, get out of here! What's the matter with you? You're perverted. <laughs> You're an animal. Nobody would want to see my body. After don't say all that. These oh, you don't know Sal. <laughs> yeah, Sal wants to see it. All right, listen. This is a nice family. I'm, I'm, it's an insult. Fifty dollars to take your top off. A hundred. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Eleanor, and good luck to you, John, with this win a date over at the Wharf Tavern in Aston, Pennsylvania. Good luck in your evaluation. Yeah, can't wait to see what happens here. And July 11th at 8 p.m. at the Smoke Joint in Philadelphia. Uh. Yes. No, no thanks needed to uh, be given. I was going to say, I think John needs about thank five hours Thank you so much, Howard. Oh, thank you. Howard. Thank you. And thanks uh, to your lovely family. We'll be back right after this. And by the way, thank you to uh, Wes Craven's Cursed, the hit werewolf thriller starring yeah. Christina Ricci, Joshua Jackson, Shannon Elizabeth. A frightening unrated edition available on DVD June 21st Check for the uh, moment. All right. We'll be back right after these words with the news. Howard Stern. All right. We've got a bunch of stuff here. First of all, John the Stutterer was in the other day. Yes, with his... Mother and brother. Yeah. It was kind of weird to, you know, meet the family behind John the Stutterer. I never thought of him as having a family. I don't know why. This is kind of weird because we leave our voice machi- voicemail machine on all night. And, um, we, you know, when John the Stutterer was here the other day, this, this really cool girl called up and said she works for a company that has uh, a device that they stick in your ear. And, and it, it can, stops your stuttering. Yeah, and she said it can't help everyone, but there's a good chance. She says, I'll evaluate Richard for free, and if this would work for him, uh, you, you mean know. John for free. Oh, who did I say? Richard. Oh, Richard. I don't know why I called him John. <laughs> I don't know. I'm off, I'm off a mish. <laughs> but anyway, so John the stutterer basically was given an opportunity to stop his stuttering. Yes. So we got this message from him two days ago, and you tell me what he's saying here, right. okay? Hi, dude. Dog, I hope you're not angry that I called the call for but I'm in 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 the in the darkest that depths of the depression. I I wish I had the courage. To jump in front of the subway. I don't want to uh, um, mate with that speech therapist for that. Um, and, 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 I stuttering the dev voice because it won't uh, change anything for the positive. He doesn't want the anti-stuttering device that would cure him of his stutter because it won't change anything. And then he goes on to say that I think because he, he would still look horrible, but she's not even that bad he's a looking not a guy. Not a bad looking guy. But. Um, that's weird, isn't it? Like, yeah, to he's me, stuck on his stutter. Just being able to make a phone call without having to drain yourself. Express himself, yes. You would think would be like a miracle in his life, but he doesn't want to get rid of the stutter. Just this phone call would make me run to that woman's office. I know, it's exhausting. It's exhausting for him. My self-esteem... What, Art? I was going to say, do you think part of him is afraid to sort of take those shackles off and then be expected to live in the real world. You well, know, like it's been a great excuse for all the bad right. things, and if he doesn't have that, he won't have any excuse for why his life sucks. He'll yeah. have to go out and get a job. Well, yeah, he'll be expected to live like a normal person, yeah. get a job, support himself. It, 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 my, my low self-esteem is 
rooted in this, the way the way I look and 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 the the fact is. <laughs> you know what we <laughs> we should not only I, inc- I, improve I, his stutter. I, I, <laughs> yeah. We should also send him to that MTV show where he will make him look like Brad Pitt. I, I, we'll let Kathy Hilton Hilton I, I want to be. <laughs> Hilton I. <laughs> I guess Kathy's trying to make that the new term. Hiltonize. I'm going to Hiltonize yeah, you. Yeah. Like you're fired by Trump? Yeah. Like, that's hot. She's that's the, Hiltonized. That's the new slogan. It's hot. It's I'm going to Hiltonize you. I'm going to Hiltonize you, you son of a bitch. I feel bad for John. Yeah, me too. It's too bad. Yeah, no. He's got so we should together. take him and get that done anyway. Want to get back to the message? It's not over yet. Okay. Yeah, we should, we should shackle him <laughs> like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Put him on a board and wheel him into the office. And force him not to stop. <laughs> Can't get w- women. Uh, sis, things just won't change. So my room raising it. Can't get through it. Yeah, we might be able to hear what you have to say. That's the use. Uh, 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 hey, hello. Hi, this is an AT and T internet radio <laughs> with a relay call for this number. The caller has said, "My name is Jack Meoffer. May I speak to John the Stutterer, please?" Yeah. Uh. Uh, I, I wanted, um, I, I want to, <laughs> <laughs> poor operator, toss for salad, uh, 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 hello? hello, the caller has said, take that stuttering flappy tongue and shove it up my dirty Oh, 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 I, I, I hope that you, 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 you one moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. This, the bitch on the phone is annoying me. Uh, I wish you, you, you weren't deaf, you, you prick. Uh, uh, uh. uh <laughs> She's on the phone. The caller has said, you're such a stupid, stuttering asswipe that you couldn't take that flappy tongue and lick a fat, smelly if you tried. Go ahead. Ah, I, 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 that the relay operator's ass is the size of a Mack truck. What did you... Excuse me. Do not put the relay operator into this. I will report this to the supervisor. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tell him I want his <laughs> now. I want to bend you over your computer and <laughs> your stuttering <laughs> And as I do so, I want you to scream out, I, 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 I. I, 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 and then I want to shoot my delicious goopy love shake all over the relay operators that's it ah, I'm turning you guys into the supervisor well, 
<laughs> What's trouble. wrong? I told you not to bring the relay operator into this. People actually have to use this line. So now I'm turning you over to my supervisor. <laughs> no, no, the, 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 this is my friend. It's my lover. Good try. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> That's it. Now I'm going to help nice you. That's it. <laughs> Hilton Eyes. You're Hilton Eyes. Turning you into my supervisor. Mm. You know what getting Hilton Eyes is? Is to have a rich grandfather that leaves you a bundle. Yeah, yeah. being in the family. Having a lot of money, you can be very Hilton Eyes. You can't teach that. And going to finishing school.